you just casually answered the last question of the college entrance examination physics test, which caused a collective sensation among 6 billion people in the country. You were even admitted to the prestigious Dragon National Defense University because of a question about electromagnetic cannons on this year's physics test paper. They originally just wanted to have a little fun in this kind of exam, but unexpectedly, you, a student from a low-ranking high school, deeply embarrassed them. At this moment, physics teacher Wang Defa was knocking on the blackboard while earnestly advising the students in the classroom. Everyone, you must give up on the last major question in the afternoon's physics test. Understand? Everyone nodded in response. You also nodded while twirling your pen. You have been in this parallel world for three years now, but unfortunately, you don't have any special abilities. It's really disappointing. The last major question in the physics test in this world is always difficult. It often requires you to tear apart some terrifying scientific research projects, such as explaining the production principle of a water-fueled engine or the maximum load capacity of a space elevator. They often directly use cutting-edge technology to set the questions, aiming for an impossible challenge. So, everyone's strategy is to give up. Su Qin, did you hear that? You are not allowed to touch the last major question, said Wang Defa, the bald teacher. Seriously. You nodded. You are the hope of the entire experimental class and the only student in the class who has a chance to be admitted to a prestigious university. This is just an ordinary high school in a small county. All the talented students are concentrated in two top classes. It's considered impressive for students in the regular experimental class to be able to get into college. You stretched lazily. As a newcomer, you were ignorant. After doing a simulated physics test once, you became the subject of ridicule. The exam was approaching quickly. After the invigilator explained the exam rules, they started distributing the answer sheets and test papers. As soon as you received the paper, you immediately filled in your name and then skimmed through the paper, only looking at the questions without attempting them. After roughly browsing through the distribution of the questions, you were surprised to find that the last major question in physics was actually about explaining the modern concept and design requirements of an electromagnetic cannon, and candidates were also required to fill in the missing parts of the latest generation of electromagnetic cannons. Zhao Yue, who was next to you, sneered with a disdainful smile. Su Qin, this guy doesn't even know any answering techniques. He can even figure out the answers to the first three multiple choice questions just by looking at the questions. Now all he has to do is write down the answers. He definitely won't pass. However, he suddenly noticed that you were actually looking at the last major question in physics. What's the meaning of this? Zhao Yue was taken aback. Are you serious? Go and do the last physics question. It's not something that a human can do. It's a question created by the country to select extraordinary talents. We are just small town problem solvers. Why are you even attempting that question? Regardless of Zhao Yue's blank expression, you show no reaction. You just take your pen, pencil, and ruler and start writing and drawing on the paper. The current materials are incorrect. The desperate accumulation of nanomaterials and carbon fibers is the wrong approach. What needs to be done now is to use them for practical purposes as soon as possible. That means increasing the range, lengthening the barrel increasing the weight of the base, and increasing the initial velocity of the projectile, and by designing the aerodynamics of the projectile, ultimately achieving a range of 300 kilometers, your expression remains unchanged. The knowledge in your brain seems to emerge inexplicably, nourishing the brain of this time traveler. At this moment, you also attract the attention of many people in the examination room. The invigilator walks over and, upon seeing your answer sheet, his expression becomes even more blank. This boy is doing the last physics question. He even skipped calculating the electromagnetic resistance and went straight to designing and improving the electromagnetic cannon. The two invigilators look at each other in astonishment. This is a bit too extraordinary. Zhao Yue also feels that something is not right. It's already 4 o'clock now, and half of the two-hour exam time has passed. Zhao Yue raises his head and looks at the clock hanging on the wall. Su Qin is still working on that question. Is he crazy? Does he really think he can design it? At this moment, in the provincial capital's command center for the college entrance examination, an old man with an unhappy expression in his eyes says, you guys in the college entrance examination command center are impressive. Even I have to be confined with you. It seems that we really need to isolate ourselves from the outside world until the very last moment. Several leaders from the Ministry of Education next to him all force a smile. It's the rule. Old man. The old man mutters. If only I had let a few of the doctors under my command come up with the question. I couldn't resist the temptation to come up with it myself. And now you've dragged me here. Zhang Lao, please don't be angry. This is the rule of the college entrance examination. Zhang Weigua nods and then starts typing on the keyboard. He is communicating with the people in his research institute. Seeing this, no one around tries to stop him. You see, 
He is one of the question creators for the college entrance examination. If it were any other question creator, they would be in a place without communication devices. They can't come out until the college entrance examination is over. But this old man can freely use electronic devices. He just needs to be present here. There should be quite a few people who can answer this question. But those who don't draw a design will at most get one or two points. Zhang Weigua continues typing on the keyboard and says, When grading, we absolutely cannot give face to those who just guess. Yang Yutsai quickly nods and says, Zhang Lao, don't worry. And at this moment, in the examination room, you continue writing and drawing. You feel that your brain is full, like an ocean of knowledge. You can access a large amount of information at any time, or perhaps some insights derived from this question. Enlightenment, it is more appropriate to use enlightenment to explain. Is this the cheat code for time travelers? Your hand keeps writing rapidly at this moment. As for other questions, you no longer care. You only feel that what you are writing now is absolutely correct. You would rather write it again now and repeat it when you go back. Grasp all the details and don't want to deal with the comprehensive exam paper. After all, if you answer the comprehensive exam paper now, you can still get into a good university. The value of what you are writing now is immeasurable. Finally, 10 minutes before the end of the exam, you finish writing two full pages. The answer sheet for this question is about the basic principles. As for the proof, it is placed in the other answer sheet for physics. If someone in the country can understand it, they will naturally access the answers to their other questions. As for if they can't understand it, find a way to figure it out. And at this moment, a bell rings in your mind. Ding! It was detected that the host immediately wrote down the content of their understanding during the test. Through the system test, the super comprehension system has been bound. Beginner rewards have been obtained. And the brain's computing speed has increased by 1000%. The level of brain computing speed is equivalent to a 1 slash 1000 first generation computer. At this time, Zhao Yuwei beside you was flipping through his own test paper. Because he was too focused on your state, he fell behind in progress on his own test paper. Zhao Yuwei was thinking while sweating profusely, but he was calm in his heart because he knew that there was still someone talented over there, struggling with the last physics question. This absurd scene is simply laughable, isn't it? Finally, Zhao Yuwei saw that you started to move. He only saw your hand quickly filling in the answer sheet. You read the question and immediately started filling in the answers with a pencil. Even the process of thinking was faster than using a scanning machine. Even with a computing speed equivalent to a 1 slash 1000 level elementary computer, it is a level that the human brain cannot reach. At this moment, you only feel that your thoughts are developed and you have confidence in mentally calculating all the equations. A proctor walked over. After looking at you, he shook his head. After looking at another proctor, both of them had regret in their eyes. They knew this young person because they were high school teachers at experimental high school themselves. Now they were assigned to be proctors. And it was understood that they were not supposed to cheat for their own students. But it was okay to distribute the test papers a little faster. Finally, as the bell rang to signal the end of the exam, the male proctor took a deep breath. Then he looked at you, who were writing furiously, and silently counted to five in his mind. All right, all candidates stand up. The college entrance examination ends at this moment. No more answering questions. Then all the students stood up, and you stood up as well. There was not even a trace of nostalgia, nor any thought of writing a few more rows of answers. Could it be that you had already made up your mind to focus on the last question? The male proctor was also taken aback. This was indeed possible. Many talented children would aim for the last big question in physics during the college entrance examination. As long as they could answer it, or even get a score of three, they would have a chance to soar and be directly admitted. Was this Su Qin's plan? With this thought in mind, the male proctor began collecting the answer sheets. Finally, when he received your answer sheet, he was completely stunned, because he saw that your answer sheet was full. Every fill-in-the-blank question had an answer. Every big question had the necessary solution steps written down and it was very concise, without any extra steps, just like a standard answer. After the exam ended, you didn't linger and left the examination room directly. You yawned and stretched. There were many students on the road, all with excited and happy smiles. The college entrance examination was over. After 10 years of restraint, they could finally relax and take a break. The period of time after the college entrance examination is the most relaxed time in life. You felt your stomach, feeling numb. Just a moment ago, you didn't feel it. But now that the exam is over, you realize that you're starving. However, as you walk back to the classroom to pack up and prepare to say goodbye to the homeroom teacher and leave, Yu Yuzhu walked over, her expression full of worry. Su Qin? You looked up and asked, What's wrong? She clenched her fist and her eyes were filled with concern. Who told you that? Did you spend over an hour doing the last big question in physics? You don't care who told me. Just tell me if it's true. 
Yu Yuju asked persistently. Yu Yuju is very attractive. She is considered the most beautiful girl in the whole grade. Not only is she the class monitor of class 3, but her grades are also good. She ties her hair up in a high ponytail, exuding the youthful energy unique to high school girls. You didn't plan to hide it either. That last question was quite interesting, so I took the time to do it. You're so childish, Yu Yuju immediately exploded. Zhao Yuwei deliberately provoking her. You really want to do that last question? Why are you acting like a child? You were also surprised. It's none of your business if I do the last question. Just then, you heard a voice outside the door. Su Qin actually went to do the last big question in physics. It only took her 10 minutes to finish the other questions. She is indeed the first in class 3. It's quite funny. Zhao Yue's voice came. He was standing at the door of the temporary classroom with a few other boys. The tone is full of sarcasm. You suddenly stand up. Yu Yuzhu was taken aback. What are you doing? You're not going to hit someone, are you? We're adults now. Fighting can land you in jail. Yet, you just rushed out, still carrying your backpack. Zhao Yue at the door also looked stunned. After seeing you run out, he instinctively raised his arm. What are you doing? Are you going to hit someone? I didn't say anything wrong. You were the one doing that question meant for geniuses. The next moment, Zhao Yue only saw you rushing towards him as if you were going to hit him. However, you went straight past Zhao Yue's side, opened your bag, and sprinted 100 meters, going down three floors in one breath, and rushed out of the exam site. Su Qin, wait for me. Yu Yuzhu quickly followed and ran down. In the end, she found you inside a noodle shop at the entrance. You were eating the buns sold at the noodle shop, and you also ordered two bowls of fried egg noodles. After the exam, you felt like you were starving. Yu Yuzhu gasped for breath and walked up to you, puffing up her cheeks. Why did you run? You chewed on the bun and mumbled unclearly. I'm hungry. The homeroom teacher hasn't said we can disperse yet. We should go back and gather now, right? It's fine. Going back early or late is the same. You said nonchalantly. In less than two minutes, you finished a basket of Xialong Bayo. As for going back to gather, it depends on the situation. You've been in the same class for two years in your past life, so you no longer think like a student. Whether we gather or not doesn't matter. Yu Yuzhu sat down angrily and asked, What are you thinking? You calmly replied, Shut up, I'm almost done eating, then we can go back. Soon, a steaming bowl of noodles was served. You ate heartily until you finished two bowls. Now you finally felt comfortable in your body, without that feeling of hunger. Ding, brain processing speed increased, requiring more energy which means more food intake. Half an hour later, the two of you finally returned to the classroom. The next moment, the homeroom teacher, Yen Daochuan, immediately rushed over. Su Qin, did you smash your physics exam? I heard from the invigilator of the second year of high school. Were you doing the last big question of physics there? And it still took a lot of time to do it? Su Qin, I didn't. Yu Yuzhu following beside her. Yen Daochuan. In short, Su Qin's main focus now was a disavowal. Eventually, it was dissolved. Now this wasn't experimental middle school, but some other school, a middle school used as a test site. Su Qin returned home, only to go to school tomorrow to organize things. When the elementary school teacher's mom came back, the first time is to ask, Brat, I heard your homeroom teacher say, did you go to do the last big question in physics? Mom's eyes with anger. Su Qin, I didn't. I don't admit it. When he came back, his dad, who drove a big car, was also silent. He smoked a cigarette and didn't say anything. If you fail the exam, then repeat it again. Dad sighed and finally held his tongue. Su Qin, surrounded by people. The main fight now was one against his own output. The key Su Qin now can not return the words or something. Can only be a dead give up? Good and Yuzhu seems to have not put their own words of recognition out. Now only witnesses in. But in the end, the future is their own. In addition to parental concern, the teacher can only shake his head and sigh. The next few days, the system did not react much. Su Qin is also a good rest. He is the first day of high school enrollment to cross over. Is a real Rita high school, but exhausted. Today there is nothing to do. The internet cafe to surf the internet. Two days later, Zhang Weigui is at the moment in the outdoor range, next to a group of researchers standing, and a few soldiers, as well as a general officer. This is the second generation experimental electromagnetic cannon. You military look at the practicality. Saying this, Zhang Weigua waved his hand, ready to start the experiment. The range is now 20 kilometers. Although it's still a bit poor, when the third generation is upgraded the range can be increased to 50 kilometers. The range of a conventional unguided missile was also 70 kilometers tops. Although the current version of the electromagnetic cannon's range wasn't big enough, it had a bright future and there was room for improvement. That general raised an eyebrow. 
Wasn't it this year's college entrance exam question that was the electromagnetic cannon? It's a hot topic on the internet now. What's the progress? Zhang Weigui shook his head. Mostly no one will be able to make it. The simplest electromagnetic cannon has a simple principle. But what we want to select is students who can give constructive advice. The rewriter for the third question of that puzzle was a doctoral student from my institute. And it's already being rewritten now. And it's mostly likely to be ineffective. The lieutenant general also sighed. That's also true. How can there be so many talents? However, just at this time, a doctoral student rushed back. Dean Zhang. Zhang, that doctoral student's tone was filled with anxiety. Zhang Weigua was stunned. Why are you back? It's not allowed to leave the field in the middle of the college entrance exam rewriting. Ah, the doctoral student was wearing a large mouthful of rough air and was panting. It looked like he had run back. Critiquing. Batching to a paper. He, he proposed. A 400 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon. Chapter 004, First Admission Level, Notify the Local Government. Zhang Weigua was originally prepared to curse. Good for you kid. When I came up with the questions, I could have been pulled over to squat for a month by the question team of the college entrance exam, although I was able to use the communication equipment that was almost as bad as sitting in jail. As a result, your kid even did not come to the correction of the rest time to run out of their own? I'm not sure if I'm a good person or a good person. However, when Zhang Weigua heard it, instantly, he became even more angry. Snap. With a sound, he slapped the doctoral student's head, but turned it to his shoulder before hitting it. You brat. 400 kilometers of electromagnetic artillery. Are you kidding me? We've been working on this project for three years, averaging one version a year, and the current EM gun only has a range of 20 kilometers, and we won't have a range iteration until the next version. You're telling me a high school student rode out 400 kilometers? What about your senior sister? Did she also look away? Didn't I tell you two to deliberate together? That doctoral student was hit a bit. This time all wanted to cry. Very aggrieved. Senior sister. Senior sister told me to come back. I've only just gotten halfway through the math. And senior sister has already done it. She told me to come back and call you right away. For you to personally go over there. This time, Zhang Weigua's expression was instantly grave. Zhang Lin you would never lie. Her character, too, was not the type of character that could easily mess things up in a hurry. Instead, she was very calm, and as long as she was certain of something, then the odds were that it was deemed necessary. General Wang, I'm going to make a trip over there now. Zhang Weigua turned his head and said to the lieutenant general next to him, Go ahead, I won't go over there. The experiment will be seen tomorrow. The lieutenant general smiled and said, I don't understand this aspect of the theory. I can only see the range and power and accuracy. I'll leave the rest to you guys ha ha. After saying that, that lieutenant general left with his own guard squad. Zhang Weiguo also did not delay and immediately got into the car. At the entrance of the research institute, standing at this moment were armed police soldiers with loaded guns. Boom, the vehicle started. This vehicle was a bulletproof vehicle. Moreover, two military hummers came up behind it, showing the importance that Zhang Weiguo had in front of the officials. Soon, the car arrived at the local college entrance exam batching center. Director, a tall, beautiful 26 or 27 year old woman walked over her expression filled with gravity within. She had been waiting at the door for a long time. What's the situation now? Zhang Weigua was also stunned. Zhang Lin Yu was waiting for herself here? Just how big of a matter was this that could pluck her out of her own thoughts, to the point where she could come and wait for herself to make a decision anymore? Zhang Weigua got off the bus with a few researchers, and the armed police soldiers behind him also got off and stood guard. As far as what we have seen so far, all the theories of this candidate's paper are correct and a completely different thought process has been put forward. Zhang Lin Yu said while leading Zhang Weigua inside, but the entire answer box, it's just an approximation. I suspect that there should still be an answer, only because it can't be written. Ha, huh? Zhang Weigua immediately understood the reason for calling himself over. He picked up his phone. Yang Yu Tsai, come over immediately. I'm in the script correction center. Give me authorization immediately. I want to view a student's exam paper. For all subjects. Science. Math. English, all that can be viewed, transfer them to me. The Minister of Education over there was in a meeting at this time, and was also stunned to receive a call from Zhang Weigua at the meeting, and there was even a bit of a lack of reaction. But instantly, he understood the seriousness of the matter, regarding the issue of this year's college admission quota. Let's talk about it tomorrow. I now have something to go over immediately for a bit. This Minister of Education, directly put the meeting on hold. He immediately set off, before departing. He made a phone call to that side, in the name of the Minister of Education. 
I am officially authorizing all the information of the candidate Su Qin's college entrance exam papers to the Ministry of Military Industry. I hereby record this to keep as proof of authorization. When Yang Yutsai rushed over, he found the scene to be very silent. Those ordinary teachers who had come to correct the papers, not to mention, were now all invited out of this machine room, and the room that was now big enough to accommodate 30 teachers to correct the papers was now only occupied by Zhang Weiguo and his party. Of course, there were armed police standing at the entrance. What's the situation? Yan Yutsai came over and asked. Minister Yang, wait, the armed police at the doorway, unexpectedly stopped Yang Yutsai. Yang Yutsai, ah, so exaggerated? What kind of information has been found now? Surprisingly, I'm not allowed to go in either? Academician Zhang gave the order. The data is being examined inside right now, and no one is allowed to go in. The armed police officer who was blocking the way was also a bit embarrassed, but he remained firm in carrying out the order. His expression was grave. This, Yan Yutsai was stunned. Checking the data? It had already reached the step of checking the data? This also meant that this current candidate's theory was completely correct and complicated. Giving a new design before going to the step of checking the data. Yan Yutsai paced in the doorway, watching the researchers inside with their work notebooks out running data there. Nervous, he didn't know much in this area, but knew how much technology was involved. Xiao Lu, he called his secretary over. Minister. The male secretary walked over. Immediately, block out all the news. Go tell the teacher who just corrected the papers inside this classroom that nothing here can be spread out, and a confidentiality agreement will be made up later. Yang Yutsai commanded. Regardless of whether the content of this answer is true or not, having gone to this step of data checking, that candidate would inevitably be broken by the Military Defense Technology University. Therefore, keeping the candidate's information secret was a must. Yes, half an hour later. Zhang Weiguo walked out from inside. Elder Zhang, how's it going? Yan Yutsai asked somewhat nervously. Starting the admission procedure for the third level? For this type of talent, the admission procedure had priorities. There were four levels in total. The fourth level was normal admission, breaking the rules, while the third level would have to be enrolled early, and the second level would need to send a special person to pick them up. As for the first level, Yang Yutsai cannot remember. Anyway, it should be more serious. In the Department of Education for decades he has not seen or heard of the first level of admission procedures. Zhang Wei was slowly exhaled. No, at the same time, he shook his head. He wanted to say something and got stuck, which seemed like regret, or, so excited that he couldn't get the words out for the moment. Now, initiate the first level of the admission process, send someone there immediately, hurry, notify the local government. Chapter 005, Pretending to Hit the Face? The armed police came. Su Qin yawned and laid down on the sofa in boredom. Comfortable. The rest of these two days was really comfortable. The feeling of eating and sleeping, sleeping and eating was really cool. Son, I sent you $200. Go out and find your classmates to play. Don't just stay at home all day long. Mom looked at Su Qin who was lying flat at home, a little worried before going to work, and gave $200. Su Qin, on the other hand, nodded helplessly. Got it. You go to work. The flowers of the motherland in the class are waiting for you to water them. Mom is an elementary school teacher. The time to work is still relatively free. Did not go in the morning when there is no class. To do their own lunch before going to work. Alas, Li Shufen sighed. She was really worried. Now Su Qin state. As if she had completely lost her fighting spirit. Nestled in her home. What the class teacher had said before had gone into her heart. Plus the fact that she was in the education industry herself. Li Shufen no. Sons this college entrance examination, certainly smashed, that is the last question of physics, the selection is a real innovative and applied genius, last year, there were only 10 people in the whole country who had done this question and were able to get the qualification for a breakthrough admission, among them, the vast majority of them were from this kind of military industrial family, with scientific research abilities cultivated since childhood, ugh, Li Shufen sighed, Xiao Qin, you don't have to be stressed, if you fail the test, you fail the test, the family won't blame you. Just keep trying next year. Don't challenge that question next year. Su Qi nodded with some annoyance. I know. Your old man just go out quickly. It's not that he doesn't respect his old mom. The main thing was, it had been said all the time over the past two days. And it really was a callus to the ears. Su Qi is now resting his brain. Because the previous high-speed brain use led to now still a little dizzy. Eat a lot of pulling a lot. The brain is also a little buzzing. He asked the system. Super intense brain use will lead to brain exhaustion. It is recommended that the degree of brain use is only controlled below 50%. According to the system, 
It was his own rapid arithmetic intensity from those 10 minutes of answering other questions that was too much. But now, it's much more comfortable. Su Qin rubbed his brow. Bang, Li Shufen opened the door and went out to work. And at this moment, a message was sent inside the class group. Yu Yuzhu, does everyone have something going on today? Why don't we all come out as a class and get together? Let's have a meal. At all members, Yu Yuzhu was the class president and usually didn't have a stance. So she had a cordial relationship with her classmates. Okay, okay, class presidents send a location. I'm coming too. Sign up. Sign up plus one. Su Qin looked at the class group that had blown up and was somewhat reluctant to go. He still wanted to lie flat for a day. And at this time, a private message that popped over. Yu Yuzhu, Su Qin, do you want to come? Su Qin hesitated for a moment. Now since the class president had come to specifically ask himself, not going would be too much of a loss of face and he didn't have much to do. The three years of high school were not much of a good buddy, and the summer vacation that was expected to come would definitely be a boring three months. Of course, provided that he really failed the exams, Su Qin gave an affirmative reply. Come, you use you, good, I'll wait for you. Su Qin, how many meanings? He doesn't procrastinate either, takes a shower and sets off. The beginning of June was already starting to get dry and hot, and the summer heat was gradually starting to penetrate the city. Su Qin took a cab over there. This is a local party hall. Is newly opened. More than $2,000 can be wrapped up. When the whole class spread a little one person is also $40-$50. Su Qin. Here, Yu Yuzhu was on the second floor. Excitedly greeting Su Qin. Su Qin. No. Why are you so excited to see me? What for? Su Qin walked up. By this time, there were already four or five girls in the upstairs hall. All of them were Yu Yuzhu's close friends. Come play switch. Yu Yuzhu handed over a joystick. Su Qin was stunned. Eh? Switch is still around. Indeed. Except for the contents of the college entrance exam. Basically this world was almost the same as the previous life. Okay. Su Qin nodded and played Smash. It was a four-player Smash battle. Once on the field, Su Qin was killed in a crazy mess. Ah this. He hadn't played this type of game before. And he didn't play this in his previous life. A few girls laughed in unison. You're such a rookie. You use you laugh lightly, let me teach you ah, come, down and right, and you'll be able to send out a long range attack, and, when you gather full chi, you can fire a big move, she began to demonstrate, however, Su Qin was just stunned, ding, learning content detected, start comprehending, one by one, information, was being madly infused into Su Qin's information, only, this time, the volume wasn't very large, it was just some ordinary gaming skills, without that difficult feeling from before. Su Qin was a bit confused. Good guy. The system can learn anything. Games can also be learned? How about it? Learned it? Yu Yuzhu asked. Su Qin nodded. Come. Then, the next game. The three girls in the opposite game were muslined. Then the next game. Su Qin was muslined again. In the third game, Yu Yuzhu had everyone play Su Qin together. And again, it was muslin. Yu Yuzhu. Ascending great you can do it too. Have you played it before? Su Qin shook his head. Mostly because you taught me well. Yu Yu Zhu. What did I teach ah hello? And just at this time, a boy, wearing an apron, walked over. He was carrying some food. Hmm. Su Qin. Su Qin looked up and realized that this was Zhao Yue who had been sneering at himself before. You're working here? Yu Yu Zhu was a bit surprised. Zhao Yue raised his eyebrows. How can it be a part-time job? This party house is a property bought by my family. And it's under my control now. All the money earned belongs to me. Su Qin, I want to ask you, what were you thinking at the time? How could you even think of doing the last big question in physics? Of course, it's an exaggeration to say it's an industry. In fact, it was just a normal bombing party house. His brother opened it, but his brother had something today and asked him to take care of it. And the whole family came together at night to clean it up. Su Qin picked up the coke and silently took a sip, with no intention of answering. His expression was calm. However, Zhao Yue was still pursuing. Really? I want to know who gave you the courage. It's amazing that you were able to muster up the courage to do the last big question in physics. That's something only a genius can do. You don't really think you're smart, do you? Zhao Yue's smile was arrogant and looked happy. Because, he got his revenge. Every time the highest score in a single physics subject was basically grasped by Su Qin, making him, who loved physics, feel bad. Therefore, Zhao Yue liked to focus on Su Qin's physics score intentionally or unintentionally, and to combat his other scores. After all, he himself was in the rocket class, and his overall score could be stronger than Su Qin's. Yu Yuzhu immediately spoke up. Zhao Yue, aren't you going too far? Don't say it. 
Zhao Yuwei blanked out. Why? I'm just asking a normal question. That's all. Yu Yuzhu blocked in front of Su Qin. He chose to go for that question. Naturally he has his own plans. Why do you care so much? It's really obnoxious. Wow. Are you guys in love? So envious of you are Su Qin. Being able to have a woman block the knife for you. Zhao Yuwei said with feigned envy. In his tone, he was full of sarcasm. However, Su Qin stood up with a calm expression. Zhao Yuwei, are you idle? You're really as sick as fuck. You think you're shooting the flunky? Still suppressing here. Ha! Huh? Scram! Zhao Yuwei immediately exploded with anger. You're the ones who are rolling. I'm not doing this business anymore. Just return the money. What are you bullshitting about? By saying this now, he could still let Su Qin be condemned by the class. However, just at this time, rumble, a few cars, drove to the front of the boom party house. Bang! Bang! The people in the cars all got out. Hooray! All of them were armed police with loaded guns. Chapter 006. Congratulations Su Qin, pleasantly mentioning the special admission to the Defense University. At that instant, Zhao Yuwei was instantly stunned. With that, there was trembling. Legs were shaking. Really trembling. Fear? That was fear. This was his brother's party house. Although it was not under his name, but now if anything happened, then naturally it was for him to take the blame. Although his family might have rushed over in half an hour, but now it was in his hands that something happened. Someone dabbled in contraband? This was Zhao Yuwei's first reaction. Then, he immediately shook his head. These were all students from key middle schools. Even if they were experimental classes instead of rocket classes, they were still well-behaved students who could basically make it to the undergraduate line. All of them were honest study masters. Even if there were a few jerks, they wouldn't touch the contraband Ah, Grass, Zhao Yuwei spat out a sentence and immediately ran downstairs. He was the one who was in charge. So he had to take the blame no matter what. Su Qin, I don't have time to talk to you. You remember, the college entrance exam you physics lost to me. I'm the grade physics first, I accept the last big question all right. Zhao Yuwei's voice faded away. Su Qin, this kid is really competitive and only targets himself in physics. What happened? Yu Yuzhu looked out the window, a little worried. It can't be a classmate fight, right? What are those boys on the move doing downstairs? She was the class president. If something happened she was also responsible and was also ready to go down. Yu Zhu, you go down first. Me, I kind of want to go to the restroom. A girl immediately prepared to slip away. This is not doing something bad to be weak, but a sense of fear cultivated from childhood. After all, from a young age, adults told that, if you don't eat slash don't sleep slash don't listen, then let the police uncle take you away. Me, me too. Another girl walked away. The few girls who had just played the game together all didn't want to follow down. Yu Yuzhu nodded and didn't blame them. Well, then I'll go down first to take a look. Su Qin was beside him and said calmly, no need to go down. His appearance, cloudy and light. It was as if, he knew what this group of police were here for. Hmm, Yu Yuzhu was stunned. Su Qin, do you know what this is for? That's armed police with guns ah. I've only occasionally seen armed police with guns on duty in the busiest city centers. Her mind was mature enough compared to her peers, but she couldn't help but worry now. Su Qin didn't say it outright, but insisted. Wait, no need to go down. They will come up. Yu Yuzhu, a few girls. Wait, good guy. It can't be that you finished the college entrance exams in the past two days and then let yourself go and did something incredibly bad, right? It really is, woohoo, I'm finally an adult, can be jailed. And at this moment, the armed police inside the three cars all came down. Swish swish, several armed police instantly ran and blocked the several entrances of the boom party house, and four armed police stood at the location of the main entrance. Then, a middle-aged man in his 40s or 50s walked down from the car. When they saw this middle-aged man, all the students were stunned, confused. Wasn't this the local education director of Jiancheng? Why do you recognize? Before the college entrance examination pledge meeting he came over to speak for more than an hour. Spouting spittle. And still in the sun. Who doesn't recognize ah? Turned into ashes all know. Here. The secretary of education gasping for breath. Obviously rushed over. Even the ride did not calm his panting. Is this the site where the third class of the experimental middle school held its reunion? Are you the students of experimental middle school class 3? In his haste, he forgot to say his grade level. Yes, it is. This was said by Zhao Yuwei, who had greeted him at the moment. Chief, what is this about? Are you a student of the third class? The director of Zhang Cheng's education bureau asked. Zhao Yuwei was stunned. No, I'm the owner of this party house. Here comes a student from the third class. Hurry up. Obviously, this director was in a hurry. A real hurry. The armed police fighters next to him were alert to their surroundings. 
and although they didn't raise their guns but kept a vigil at the scene, as if they were trying to prevent someone from storming out, they were very vigilant. Forget. It's. Jiangcheng Education Bureau Director directly shook off the sweat on his forehead. He directly disregarded his image and shouted, Su Qin, is Su Qin from Class 3 here? Is Class 3's Su Qin here? I heard your homeroom teacher say that you made an impromptu decision to have a reunion in the morning, and the homeroom leader reported to him that it was here. Su Qin, is student Su Qin here? All the students that, all were confused. Ha, huh? what do you mean? Jiangcheng's Education Bureau Chief, with his armed police uncle, came to look for Su Qin? Isn't this a bit too outrageous? You usually were all confused. Turned your head and looked at Su Qin incredulously. You wouldn't be out of your mind, would you? What have you done? It can't really be that you've done something bad. Associated with the previous Su Qin as if she was fully aware of who the police were coming to find. She was now completely anxious. Su Qin had failed the college entrance exams and then given up on himself? Is this really doing something bad? You, if you failed the college entrance exam, you can just take the exam for another year. Yu Yuzhu was on the verge of crying with anger. That look was not at all like to an ordinary classmate. Who are you to give up on yourself? Su Qin, good fellow. Your reaction is also a bit too big. I'm Su Qin. I'm up here. Su Qin waved his hand and said casually, You guys come up. His voice was flat, as if he didn't care at all. Upon hearing this, the Jiangcheng Education Bureau chief instantly rejoiced. You're Su Qin? It was as if he had won the lottery. Zhao Yue was also instantly surprised. Good guy. Su Qin this is really doing bad things. This is really going to be arrested. Can't turn over for life. You kid. Failing the college entrance exams won't go to prostitutes. Right? Right right right. Director. He's Su Qin. I'll take you up. Zhao Yue bent down and bowed next to him. And was ready to take the director of education up. The few of you stay here and order the surrounding area to be watched over. Dispersing unrelated people. The director of education was also overjoyed and hurriedly went up. And in passing. He also gave orders to the armed police next to him. Yes, the armed police fighters received the order. Zhao Yue, arresting someone, without bringing armed police? How many meanings? But he didn't think much about it. He only felt that this should be some kind of special arrangement. Then, went upstairs. As soon as he went upstairs, Zhao Yue started the mocking mode. Su Qin, what bad things you hurry to give an account. Confess from leniency resist from severity. You are still young now. Early explanation. Early out. Our classmates A, wait for you to come out the second battle college entrance examination. I will send you a set of 5-3. However, just as Zhao Yue was taunting there, Jiangcheng Education Bureau Chief then rushed a step, eyes inside full of excitement. Instantly held Su Qin's hand. Su Qin, good student ah. You're really a good student ah. Zhao Yue, Yu Yu Zhu, who was crying like a pear. A few girls who just played smash together. The students who just walked up together to watch the fun. Su Qin coughed. There's something to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. My mom called me back for dinner. Others. It's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You eat a dirt dinner. Jiangcheng Education Bureau Chief's tone was agitated. Just just after running through his thoughts, he directly opened his mouth. Student Su. Congratulations on being admitted to Defense University on an unqualified basis. Now immediately go back and pack up your things and immediately report to Defense University. An hour later. The instructor from Defense University should be arriving in Jiangcheng and personally come to pick you up. Zhao Yue, W, 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 W. Yu Yuzhu with red eyes, W, 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 W. All students, W, 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 W. Chapter 007, Mom is shot. Really not a crime? Everyone, was frozen. What? What do you mean? This is, really accepted by the University of Defense? Su Qin went to do the last big question in physics and really did it? He's been accepted? This, it's simply impossible. Zhao Yue was instantly confused. His eyes full of shock. Su Qin, you were accepted? You did. Do the last big question in physics and really got accepted? This, this can't be. How could this be? It can't be like this. A fiery feeling instantly assaulted his face at this moment. This was, truly, a slap in the face. It was too much of a slap in the face. He had also been taunting. Mocking for two days now. He even went inside the school bar and posted the relevant forums. Mocking Su Qin all the time. Everyone around him knew that he had been taunting Su Qin there. Zhao Youwei's gaze was dull and the person was dumbfounded. From today onwards, he was the one who was socially dead. This slap in the face came too fast. The surrounding students were also confused. Defense University? Su Qin was actually accepted by the Defense University? This is simply too unimaginable. Really? Is this really true? I can't believe it. 
The county's minister of education has come. How can this be fake? It must be real. No way. This is too unbelievable. Crikey. Kneel down. Brother Su Chin, vice class president. You. Are. Me. The. God. The last big physics question? That's nothing but my brother Su's body. The surrounding students were shocked. As for Yu Yuju, there was the same dullness in her gaze. However, amidst the shock, more was indeed elation. Yu Yuju asked in surprise, Su Qin, did you really make the last big question? Cough cough cough. The Jiangcheng Education Bureau chief immediately coughed twice. This kind of thing is strictly forbidden to discuss. Right now we only know that Su Qin's classmates were admitted because of the last big question in physics. And there are hundreds of examples of this every year across the country. So let's not discuss it too much. In a moment, someone will come and sign a confidentiality agreement with you. And each of you will have a subsidy of 5,000. No one is allowed to spread it off. Yu Yuzhu was full of happiness. Which was sincere, you. Are too good. Su Qin, on the other hand, waved his hand. Actually, it's just a blind cat bumping into a dead rat. But it's also quite thankful for your recent defense of me. I know all about it. In the past two days, Su Qin was able to take a good rest without being disturbed, and it was actually due to Yu Yuzhu, after all, she hadn't exactly told the others that she had spent time doing the last big question in physics. Moreover, she prohibited the class from discussing it in the group, and also requested that people not discuss it in private. Even in the campus posting forum, Su Qin could see Yu Yuzhu's account speaking for herself. No, nothing. Yu Yuzhu instantly flushed her pretty face and lowered her head. I'm the class president. This, this is what I should do. Wow. Then thank you class president. Su Qin smiled faintly. For some reason, hearing Su Pingsheng thanking himself in the tone of thanking the class president, Yu Yuzhu only felt empty in her heart. Classmate Su Qin, you should hurry to clean up now. The education director's tone was somewhat anxious. The teachers from Defense University are already on the highway and will arrive within an hour. Defense University? Defense University? Su Qin's tone was truly as if he didn't know. Which defense university? Su Qin really didn't know about the defense university. Joking. The hell as soon as he crossed over. He directly started the hard life of high school. The worldview of his previous life could not be used at all. There was not much time to rest. He had to be busy to understand the world situation. And there was no time to seriously understand the problems of the university. The surrounding line. Zhao Yu Wei. Yu Yu Zhu. Good guy. You don't even know about defense universities. Ha. Huh? You don't even know that question is Defense University Direct, and you're going to do the last big question in physics? So counterintuitive? Yu Yuzhu hurriedly carried out popularization. Defense University is the University of Defense Science and Technology, that's the scientific and technological university of our country's military defense, and the students inside will all become the pillars of the country's military scientific research talents. You went in, should have a great future. Su Qi nodded. Well, it's the National Defense Science and Technology University. Then I get it. Okay. Then classmates you continue to play ah. I'll go back home first. Su Qin waved his hand. His reaction was bland. Really bland. After all, he was already a person with a system. If he was staggering again, it would be too much of a disgrace for us travelers. Students wait for a moment ha. Huh? Everyone stay put. In a moment there will be staff from the Ministry of Education coming to find everyone to sign a confidentiality agreement. The director of education didn't forget to instruct as he left. The education director wanted Su Qin to get inside the minivan. Can I take a ride in that police personnel carrier? Su Qin asked. The education director was stunned. This might be a violation of discipline. The armed police were under the military side. He was the ministry of education. But he couldn't instruct them. Director, it's possible. If Su Qin's classmates don't refuse, they should be able to have their military registration the day after tomorrow. We've escorted prisoners here as well. They can ride in our vehicles. The armed police captain leading the team said. He liked Su Qin's character. Favored. Very bland. And still a talent from the Special Recruitment Defense Science and Technology University. All of them were in the same system. All of them were comrades in arms. That's fine. The director of education nodded. Su Qin sat in. Next to him sat several heavily armed armed police. He greeted and then began to check the inside of the car. Well. Other than the armor being thicker and there being special functional areas, he couldn't see much else. System? Su Qin asked in his mind. The system didn't respond. Well, just looking at this seems to be ineffective. Comprehend the system? When can I comprehend it? Doing questions? Or when being taught? Right now Su Qin only knew about these two situations and only triggered these two moments of comprehension. So overall he still didn't know much about the system. Soon, arrived home. At this time, 
Li Shufen called back. It was the principal of the elementary school who told her to go home immediately, which made her completely puzzled, not knowing what the situation was. The principal of her elementary school also did not know what the situation was, saying that he had received a notice from the Ministry of Education, which was to let Li Shufen go home immediately. Papa Su Qin was out of town. He was the driver of a large vehicle and was still out of town making deliveries. Mom, Su Qin waved, naturally opened the door and went in, and behind him, followed by Jiang Qing's education bureau chief and a few heavily armed armed police warriors. Li Shufen? You, brat, what did you do? Did you do something bad? Ah, you say ah, how do you usually teach you? Li Shufen instantly became anxious and immediately came up and grabbed things by the ears. Leader, he is still a child. It is my poor discipline. There is something to find me as a guardian on the line. As a mother, Li Shufen saw this situation. The first thing she thought of was to help Su Qin reduce his culpability or carry it off. However, only to see the Minister of Education of Jiangcheng step forward. Su Qin's mom, your family's child, there's good fortune, admitted to the Defense University in an early break. He's going to report to Defense University now. Li Shufen, Chapter 008, huh? Being confessed by Yu Yuzhu on the spot? Your child, there's good fortune, admitted to Defense University early. He's going to report to Defense University now. The words of the Jiangcheng Education Bureau chief echoed in the room. Of course, the door to the house was closed, fearing that it would be overheard by the people outside. At the entrance, there were also armed police soldiers standing guard. Li Shufen, mom's expression, at that moment instantly stiffened. It was dumbfounded, really dumbfounded. This flip was too big, making her unable to turn it around at all for a moment. Su Qin hastily rubbed her ears. Mom you put my ears down. This also hurts too much. Hiss. I really didn't cause any trouble. Li Shufen looked at the Jiangcheng Education Bureau chief in front of her. Her eyes filled with inquiries. She did recognize this person. This was the Education Bureau chief of Jiangcheng. She knew that. After all, she was also a teacher. And the local leaders still knew each other. And had once come to inspect the school. Is this true? The director of education nodded deeply. Yes. It is estimated that the teacher from the Defense University will arrive in 40 minutes. Please help your children pack their things and report to the school now. Li Shufen instantly wept with joy. When she left the house this morning, she was still worried that her son had failed the college entrance exams, and at this moment she was actually admitted by Defense University. This made it a little difficult for her to cope for a moment, but it was joyous. After a few minutes, she reacted and wiped her eyes with a single tear. Okay, I'll go pack things for him now. However, Su Qin raised her hand high. Leader, I have a request. The education director was stunned, but immediately asked, Just say it, Su Qin student. I'll try to fulfill any request you have. Su Qin, I want to stay home for another day. Is it okay to report tomorrow? Director of Education. Li Shufen. Mom immediately face a black, you brat. Now do not hurry to take a shower. I now clean up you follow. This is the University of Defense. You even think about reporting tomorrow? The education director didn't give a reply so quickly, but went out and made a call. Half a minute later, he came back with a complicated expression. Well, the teacher over there agreed, but the requirement is that there should be plainclothes policemen keeping an eye on them, and they will leave early tomorrow morning. Now, the one who was confused was Li Shufen. Ha, huh? this was Defense University. It wasn't some ordinary university that had so easily agreed to the somewhat excessive request from her son, that is to be militarized management of the school law. Uh, Li Shufen was anxious. You brats will not be do not want to go it. Defense University but how many people dream want to go? You. Must go. Su Qin. Come on. How can mom think that she is doing something bad? Call pop back. Let his partner wait for him over there. It's not too late to take the high speed train back. Let's get together as a family before we leave. Su Qin was helpless. This going. It is estimated that at least two months to start. Although he is crossing over. But the old two are emotionally attached. That kind of emotion in the blood cannot fade away. Well, it's okay. Li Shufen thought, immediately picked up the cell phone and made a call. Soon, Su Jun over there gave a reply. I'll be there at night. The education director smiled. Then I'm leaving now. There will be plainclothes police downstairs with you in a while. Su Qin should also be followed by plainclothes if he goes out. Don't be too nervous. With that, he pushed the door and went out. Teacher Li Shufen still hasn't reacted. How big a part of you? Is this? How dare you make other teachers wait? Su Qin waved his hand, signaling that he didn't know either. He was just trying, and as a result, he didn't expect to really agree. It seems that the drawings one drew should be taken seriously. He didn't finish the drawing himself, because he really couldn't draw it anymore. 
and electromagnetic cannon technology, that wasn't something that could be finished in two hours easily, and at that time, he also took the synopsis, now assess the approximate value, the subsequent development is also beneficial, follow the country to mix, three days full of nine meals, going it alone, that's no fun, the pineapple country hadn't been recovered yet, and this world could be more or less the same world pattern as the previous world, moreover, Su Qin hadn't figured out the system yet, following the country was obviously more advantageous, if he really wanted to go it alone then it would be a rebellion, he didn't have this idea for the time being, ding, suddenly, Su Qin's cell phone rang, he picked up his phone and found that it was a message from Yu Yuzhu, Yu Yuzhu, Su Qin, where are you, can I wait for you downstairs at your house now, I have something I want to say to you, Su Qin was stunned, hmm, what do you mean, anyway, if he doesn't leave for a while, then he is fine, so he immediately replies, okay, you come, you use you, good, when Su Qin saw you use you's message, he also didn't react a bit, how many meanings, I haven't even told you where my house is, and you're coming over now, mom, I have something to do, I'll go downstairs first, Su Qin waved his hand, Li Shufen was a bit strange, but also nodded, I'm going to buy food, go down together, Su Qin, no, you go first, Li Shufen, over there, Zhang Linyu, who was inside the tell, also sighed, suddenly, a phone call came in, it was from Zhang Weigua, Zhang Weigua's tone was a bit anxious, how is the local education bureau getting things done, bring him up tonight, Zhang Linyu said flatly, the student had a matter and requested to leave tomorrow morning, I agreed, Zhang Weigua, who asked you to agree, Zhang Linyu, I agreed, according to the first grade it is possible to delay the departure by 24 hours, the second grade is 8 days, director, don't forget, Zhang Weigua, Zhang Weigua over there instantly caved in when he heard Zhang Lingyu say that, okay, bring it up as soon as possible, Zhang Lingyu hung up the phone, leaned back on the headrest and pinched her eyebrows, at this time inside the computer was exactly Su Qin's file, and also opened a single program, which was the model of the electromagnetic cannon, Su Qin, a high school student with no scientific research background, how did he do it, how on earth did he do it, her charismatic pretty face was full of puzzlement at the moment, genius, is it genius, Su Qin went downstairs and soon saw Yu Yuzhu standing by the side of the road, wearing a white dress, at this moment, Yu Yuzhu was holding a white new seal in her hand, how do you know where my house is, Su Qin came up and asked, Yu Yuzhu raised her head, I'm the class president, whose information about classmates do I not know, but did you memorize it, Su Qin felt something was wrong and asked, where else would you be able to find the address so quickly, this was only 10 minutes after Yu Yuzhu said she was coming, Yu Yuzhu instantly blushed with shame and lowered her head without saying anything. Suddenly, she handed over the white envelope. Su Qin, I like you. Today was originally the end of the group building. I was going to confess to you, but I didn't expect. It's not because you got into Defense University, but I've always liked you for three years in high school. I like your serious drilling temperament. Su Qin, ha, table, confession. Chapter 009, Becoming a Swordcaster. How old was Su Qin himself? He has been a little bit unable to remember. His previous life was has been a social animal for two years. As a result, now a girl who just graduated from high school confessed to himself? What does it mean? Su Qin, Yu Yuzhu's eyes were filled with fervor. Ha, huh? Su Qin was a bit stunned. We can't spoil a good girl. We all have principles. The next thing is to go to serve the country. That's a long time no way to go home. Maybe even closed management. However, Yu Yuzhu did not wait for Su Qin's reply, but directly kissed up. Only after feeling the softness between his lips did Su Qin react. Himself, was forcibly kissed? Ah, I'm supposed to take the route of science and technology military industry. How did it suddenly change to a love story? Play it. Su Qin was stunned in place for a while. A minute later, the lips parted. Yu Yu Zhu, on the other hand, naturally took Su Qin's hand, you're leaving in a while, can you stay alone with me for a while? Su Qin nodded, okay, but I'm not leaving today, I'll leave early tomorrow morning. There's still time now. My dad won't arrive for at least two hours. Yu Yuzhu sniffed instantly with stars in her eyes. Then, then let's go out and play for a while. Okay, it's like a date? Su Qin hesitated. She didn't let herself be her boyfriend anyway. One can't say right now. Sa Rue, you deserve better. I'm going to do my best for the country. It's not like people are treating themselves as her boyfriend. Wouldn't that seem like he was being self-centered? Let's go. Su Qin didn't break away from her hand. Yu Yuzhu's face value was very high, and her small hand was soft to hold, making Su Qin, a single dog, feel quite comfortable for a while, there was no reason to separate wasn't it, 
Sending the oil to the door is not mooching for nothing, and it is not to be a scum. The two just went shopping, just like a couple. Su Chin, this is for you. At an accessory store, Yu Yuzhu bought a blue astronaut keychain while handing it to Su Chin who was watching from the side. Thank, you. Su Chin took it. Then are you going to buy a similar one for me? Yu Yuzhu blinked. She pointed to a pink astronaut keychain hanging next to her. Su Chin, isn't this just giving each other love tokens? Isn't this a bit too straightforward? But he didn't spoil the fun and bought it anyway. Good, I'll keep it well. He he. Yu Yuzhu revealed a cute expression of surprise and carefully put the keychain away. During this process, Su Chin had always noticed that someone was following, but did not alert Yu Yuzhu. That must be what was said before then. If said informed to Yu Yuzhu, she instead can only worry, also can not let go of. In the end, the two returned to Su Chin home downstairs. Yu Yuzhu summoned up the courage, Su Chin, can you hug me? Su Chin nodded, good. In the end, the beautiful person entered her arms, bringing with her an ethereal fragrance. The virginal fragrance lingered on the tip of her nose, making Su Chin also unable to resist sniffing two more times. We, we are a gentleman. A gentleman would not refuse the requests of a good person. The main one is one that fulfills the request. After you go, you must pay attention to safety. Remember to send me a message when you arrive. Is that okay? Yu Yuzhu asked with a blushing face, her two small hands holding each other. Obviously a little shy. Su Qin didn't refuse, nor did he agree. If the conditions allow it, after all, it's a defense university, and I don't know how it's managed inside. In the end, Yu Yuzhu left. Su Qin felt the residual hair fragrance on his body and was a bit confused for a while. Are we off the hook? But she didn't say it either. What is this? Being booked? At this time, Li Shufen made a phone call. Su Qin, you ride a battery car to pick up your old man. It's almost time to get off the high-speed train. Let's save some time. Su Qin quickly nodded. Okay, I'll go now. Today is considered to be his own promotion banquet. I guess it's impossible to hold a banquet when he got into the defense university. Just a family of three to celebrate and forget about it. Soon. Su Qin rode the small electric donkey to the high-speed train station. Jiangcheng is a small county, but it also has its own high-speed rail station. Given that in the middle of two big cities, there are still a lot of high-speed railroads that stop by. Su Qin, a man waved at the exit of the high-speed rail station. That was Su Jun, Su Qin's old man, the driver of the big car, who was now rushing back in a hurry. Here, Su Qin rode the electric bike over. Soon, the two began to ride back in the direction of home. You. That's true, it's really Defense University? Su Jun himself was a very silent person, and now only held back this sentence. Aha! Su Qin nodded affirmatively. It's the leaders inside the county who personally came to notify us, so we have to go report tomorrow morning. Good. Su Jun wanted to say something, but couldn't say it, so he finally said this good word. However, his eyes were a little moist. This man who had topped up his family was still silent at this time. Twenty minutes later. The master and the two parked the car downstairs and went back. Li Shufen made a lot of dishes. A table full of them. Of course, this has bought several cold dishes. Duck neck, marinated chicken wings and so on. Once inside, Su Jun took out a bottle of beer from the refrigerator and finished it with a gulp. Li Shufen came out to take a look. Surprised, what are you doing? Su Jun drank the wine. His eyes were red, thirsty. Eat, 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 eat. Let Su Qin rest early in a while. Li Shufen waved her hand and said, the three members of the family had a beautiful meal, only the atmosphere was tinged with some sentimental feelings of impending parting. In the past, when Su Qin was in high school, although he only came back one day a month, but now that he was in college, and it was still a defense college, then I'm afraid that the chances of him coming back would be even less. Therefore, this meal took a long time, from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Su Qin accompanied his old man for a drink, beer of course, and had a chat while watching TV. Mom and Dad, I'm going to bed. Su Qin yawned. Good. As night fell, Yu Yuzhu sent a message, which was to ask what to eat. Su Qin replied, a table full of dishes. It's like going back to the day the college entrance exams just ended. Early the next morning, there was a knock on the door. Knock knock knock. And at this time, Su Qin had long since eaten and finished packing. There weren't many things, just things that could fit in a suitcase. Pots and stuff that didn't need to be brought. The education director was the one who said that before. Click. Su Qin opened the door. Hello, a valiant, military uniformed imperial sister stood at the door. I'm a lecturer at the Defense University and also a researcher at the central headquarters of military science and technology. Zhang Linyu. Zhang Linyu extended her hand. Student Su Qin, welcome to Defense University. 
Become the Motherland Swordmaker. Chapter 010. He's not a spy, is he? Zhang Linyu looked very young, probably just 26 or 27 years old, but had an indescribably cool temperament, and the firm military uniform on her body looked even more flattering with a hint of majesty. Su Qin didn't dare to be arrogant and extended his hand. Thank you teacher for coming to pick me up. Teacher go in and have a seat? Li Shufen instantly stiffened a bit. This was the first time she had such a close contact with a soldier. As for Su Jun, he was also very rushed at this time. Hello Su Qin's mom, we won't sit down. The military is on duty and needs to take him back in a hurry. Zhang Lin Yu calmly said. Salute the military family. Swish, beside them, the two guards immediately saluted the old couple. This time, it made both of them a bit rushed. Soon, it was time to get into the car. The car the sat in was just as ordinary. A civilian SUV, not like a military vehicle at all. Su Qin had wanted to observe it. I'll put it for you. A guard opened the trunk and picked up the thing's suitcase. Soon, the vehicles pulled out. There were a total of two vehicles, both ordinary civilian vehicles. The guardsmen were inside the car in the back. While Su Qin was originally prepared to sit in the passenger side, but in the end, he was called out by Zhang Lingyu, allowing him to sit in the back with her. In this car, besides the driver, there were only Su Qin and Zhang Lingyu. Su Qin was a bit numb, no way? Yesterday, Yu Yuzhu confessed her love for me, and today, this imperial sister also has her eyes on me? Not so much. Facts quickly proved that Su Qin was indeed overthinking. Zhang Lingyu directly opened her computer, and on it was a design drawing of an electromagnetic cannon. Take a look at this model. How is it? Su Qin took a look and inexplicably felt somewhat familiar. This seems to be a model of the drawing of the one I drew on the roll. This was making a model of his own design completely. This is also, it's too fast. It's only the third day after the college entrance exams. Right. And this is already working on your own stuff? This outrageous. Could it be that the design of this electromagnetic cannon had already been emphasized by the top to this point? In short, Su Qin was a bit confused. Yes. This is the model that was built from your drawings, but many of the details in it have not been perfected. Zhang Linyu's expression was complicated. Right now, at least half of the researchers in the entire General Research Institute are deducing the data you have here. The internal principles, the details, there are too many that have not been able to be deduced. Now you can guess why we came so fast, right? Su Qi nodded, that is to say, my guess is correct? He definitely couldn't say, ha ha ha, my system is real. See if my system is a dick? There was no way he could say he had a system unless he was stupidly ready to take himself out and slice himself up. This is speculation. Speculation that one does not know the outcome. Zhang Linyu was carefully observing Su Qin's reactions at this time, keeping all of his reactions in her mind as much as possible. He really speculated on his own? Could it be that I misunderstood him? Have you ever participated in irrelevant training? Or have you been taught these concepts? Zhang Linyu hesitated for a while and finally chose a question to ask. That's not true, but my favorite program to watch is the military channel. Su Qin answered truthfully. Zhang Lin Yu, watching the military channel makes this model whole. Ding bell bell, Zhang Lin Yu's phone rang. Zhang Weigua's voice came out, after theoretical validation. This candidate's design idea is feasible for the time being. Perhaps Eagle's 100km range electromagnetic cannon was made according to this idea. Bring the person back as soon as possible. Yes, Zhang Lin Yu replied in a firm tone. Of course. It wasn't hands-free, so Su Qin couldn't hear the relevant content. Zhang Lin Yu's mood was somewhat bitter. Bring it back? Yes, it was to bring it back. But now it was not even known how Su Qin actually came up with this design idea. In case it was a spy from the Eagle that used such a drawing to enter the Defense University, especially if it also followed along with the plan to enter the General Research Institute of Military Industry, then it would be bare pants in front of the Eagle. Still have to verify if this Su Qin is a spy ah. Alas, Zhang Lin Yu sighed. What's wrong? Su Qin asked. No, nothing. Zhang Linyu immediately regained her composure. This drawing of yours is very useful, and the subsequent development should be done in conjunction with the Scientific Research Institute. So now can you go into detail about your thought process? That is, all the details. All of it. Su Qin nodded. Here, the car was rattling, so it really wasn't very good for retelling. Zhang Linyu, well, right here. Ten minutes later. Wow, Su Qin directly threw up. In a burst of vomiting on the side of the road, the pickle-flavored buns he ate for breakfast gave off a taste. Ding! You have just enabled 30% of your brain capacity rate, and your sensitivity to your surroundings has become higher. So you are starting to get seasick. Su Qin people were vomiting stupidly. This was motion sickness. Almost vomited out his stomach. 
Zhang Lingyu's expression was somewhat grave. She looked at the word Su Qin knocked out on top of the computer with some ruthlessness in her eyes, as if she was an eagle that had spotted its prey. Because, the text that Su Qin had typed out had just broken to the moment of the key figure. Otherwise, let's just start after we arrive at the school and you rest for a while. Zhang Lingyu tentatively made this suggestion. Su Qin was relieved. That would be great. I think I do have a bit of a hard time right now. After hearing Su Qin's words, Zhang Lingyu's heart sank. Her speculation went one point further. Could it be a spy? Deliberately stuck here? A well-trained spy would definitely be able to manage to make himself seasick and be able to hold it in until the critical moment before throwing up. Soon enough, the car arrived. But it wasn't the end of the line. It was a military airport. After taking off in the special airplane, Su Qin still felt dizzy in the head. Now what? On the airplane, Zhang Lingyu came over with her notebook and asked. Su Qin hastily refused. No, I'll have to be due for airsickness in a while. Eventually, at 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon, the destination was finally reached. It was at the Defense University outside of Kyoto's suburbs. You go along and settle down first. Zhang Lingyu waved her hand after getting off the bus and said, I'll take you to the dormitory first. The driver drove and took Su Qin away. Su Qin man got a little more comfortable and nodded. Soon, it arrived. Surprisingly, it was a single room. This accommodation is also a bit too good, right? Su Qin was also a burst of surprise. Good guy. Soothing. Moreover, the bed has been put on the regular clothes. Bedding and other things are brand new and unopened. Waiting for their own demolition. Toiletries and other things have been prepared. Su Qin looked at the large campus. A stirring in his heart. It's going to start. I also don't know. When is the next time to activate the system's enlightenment? And at this time, Zhang Weigua met with Zhan Linyu. Zhang Weigua's expression was grave. After being in contact for so long, what do you feel? Zhang Linyu took a deep breath. He is normal and ordinary. Just like a normal student. Other than this electromagnetic cannon design, everything else is too ordinary. Ordinary is in. Like a spy who has been turned. Chapter 011, Drawing Paper by Hand on the Spot, Against All Odds. Su Qin was of course unaware that he was now suspected of being a spy. System, can you instill a little bit of knowledge inside my brain? It seems like I only know electromagnetism right now ah, uh, the rest is all high school physics level. He asked the system in his mind. Ding, the host can only gain knowledge from the system through comprehension. There are no other channels. The host can learn on his own. Su Qin, learn on your own? That's fine. Although it's true that it's a bit difficult. But system, you also don't tell me how I can carry out comprehension ah? Previously, Yu Yuju taught herself to play the game and also comprehend it. Isn't this a bit too much ah? However, Su Qin shook these thoughts out. He is now also hungry. From the box inside took out the mother to stuff all kinds of food. There is she stayed up late last night to do the marinated meat, marinated chicken claws, and all with the purchase of the vacuum machine sealed well. All can be put about a month. Eat a little. Su Qin directly began to draw drawings. All the drawings of the electromagnetic cannon. He has not finished drawing before. The college entrance exam paper inside is just a synopsis. That is, just draw a picture. A lot of key data are not done. So, now he was ready to draw it all. Sasha Sasha. Su Qin began to draw. And the drawings began to slowly take shape. Current level of brain capacity utilization, 50%. Su Qin drew very fast. Two or three times faster than before could be. This depends on his hand speed is not fast enough. If the hand is fast enough all can be done faster. I wonder if making a physical will actually have a range of 400 kilometers by then? Wouldn't that encompass the pineapple as well? Then how dare the eagle's carriers come? Direct gunfire coverage? Just think about it. As Su Qin thought about it, he also drew more vigorously. Zhang Lingyu's expression was grave. He has been avoiding informing on the crucial data during this process and finally threw up due to motion sickness, saying that he has been seasick. Now, he has gone to the dormitory. Moreover, Su Qin knows nothing about other scientific research knowledge, but he is open-mouthed about electromagnetism and the design principles of electromagnetic cannons, so it's obvious that he's been reviewing them in his mind for many times, and it's even possible that he's been professionally taught all the time. I have reason to suspect that this is an ignorant student after being turned by the enemy, and was compelled by the enemy with the lure of entering the defense university. Zhang Weigua's expression was heavy. Some of the officers next to him were also silent. If this was true, then, it would be the same as last time. This kind of thing had happened once before. Only, that one was a bit more raw. Obviously the topic was assault rifle shooting. He answered hard on the design of a drone. But because the level did have a few points, he ended up being admitted with a broken pass. But of course after coming in, he was given special attention, and was eventually found to be a spy. That time, 
It caused a lot of damage to the defense university. Are you sure? Zhang Weigui's expression was somewhat grave. No, Zhang Lin Yu reported decisively. It was a suspicion. Then it was just a suspicion. She wouldn't bullshit about things she wasn't sure about. She was just reporting her feelings truthfully. I'll go take a look. Zhang Weigui sighed and finally stood up. If it's really a spy, then find his traces as soon as possible while school is still in session. Zhang Lin Yu said with certainty. If it's really a spy. It's impossible for him to actually hand over the core data of the electromagnetic cannon. It's a sure thing. This is the current world's top technology, and it also belongs to the top technology on the eagle's side. That's why. Zhang Weigui nodded. Well, indeed. Go, go take a look. Soon, Zhang Linyu and Zhang Weigui led a few teachers who were also wearing military uniforms towards Su Pingxing's dormitory. At this point in time, it was already past dinner time. Su Qin should have gone to eat, but. Report. He hasn't gone out all this time. A soldier in civilian clothes said solemnly. He was the one who had been standing guard downstairs and was specially instructed by Zhang Linyu to set clear Su Qin's intentions, as well as to get a full grasp of the movements at this time. After all, now was the time when Su Qin's situation was still unknown. Genius? How could there be a genius who only knew electromagnetic cannons and basically nothing else? Whom? Zhang Weigui nodded, and the subsequent ones led the way up. Knock, knock, knock. Zhang Lin, you went up and knocked on the door. Then creaked. The door opened. As soon as the door opened, the scene at this moment caused the two people at the door to slightly freeze their gazes. Su Qin was actually drawing drawings there. This was too bizarre. On the first day of school, he actually started. And shouldn't it be hidden? Knock, knock, knock. Zhang Weigui instantly stepped forward and took a closer look. Afterward, he drew in a breath of cool air. This, this, this is real. This is those core data. Zhang Weigua, as a titan of the Dragon Kingdom's Ministry of Science and Technology, actually unconsciously exclaimed in shock at this moment. Zhang Linyu immediately stepped forward, and then was shocked by all those data. That was the real, the real core data, including the details of the design principles, as well as various drawings. All of them. However, at this moment, Su Qin didn't have any reaction, but continued to draw and write notes there, as if he didn't know that these people had come in. Now it's the detailed design of the base. Although there's still room for improvement, just use high-strength steel for now and keep the cost down to better the design of the product line. Su Qin mumbled to himself while drawing. Zhang Weigua had been stunned at this moment. The now had already drawn a third of it. This was a very fine drawing. It only needed a slight addition, and then it could be finely modeled and then start manufacturing samples. Zhang Lin Yu's body trembled slightly. This is surprisingly, surprisingly true. At this moment, no one felt that Su Qin was a spy anymore, because just this third of what he had just drawn out was enough to be the information that would make the entire world boil over, and even make the intelligence organizations of various countries go to great lengths to get their hands on it. Just these data, conservatively estimated to be worth hundreds of millions. Moreover, there is a price without a market. Genius. Zhang Weigui's gaze froze. This is genius. Sasha Sasha. Su Qin wrote there. Ding. The host is continuing to enter the state of mind flow, this state is very special, will subconsciously ignore the surrounding perception, but can reduce the energy consumption of 50% when using the brain at high speeds. Current brain rate, 100%. Su Qin didn't know that there were people around, so he just wrote there. When he was hungry, he reached out and took something out of the box to eat. However, this time, he pulled out empty. Nothing. Something to eat? Zhang Weigui immediately reacted when he saw the bags on the ground and the smell of food. I'll go buy it. Zhang Linyu immediately jogged downstairs. I'll go buy it now. The cafeteria was already closed, but the kiosk was open. It couldn't be said that it was a kiosk, it was free of charge, and was redeemed through the points given out daily. The few professors standing next to each other could see the shock in each other's eyes at this moment. Zhang Linyu this little girl. When was she able to put her foot down? The genius that she was, but has always been very arrogant. Chapter 012, if I say, it's because you guys came up with good questions. Do you believe me? Dun 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 dun. Zhang Lin Yu quickly ran back from the kiosk and took quite a lot of bread and snacks. I. She gasped as she tore open a loaf of bread. Here. Here's bread. She then personally handed it to Su Qin, who was drawing the drawings there. The group of professors were all shocked. Good fellow. Zhang Lin Yu even had this considerate scene? This was the daughter of heaven. But the youngest lecturer of the Defense University and the youngest researcher of the Central Military Industrial Research Institute. She actually personally bought food for a freshman and even tore it open and handed it over? This, was still Zhang Linyu? Swish, Su Qin didn't say anything. 
but subconsciously took the bread and sent it to the innermost part to nibble on it. At the same time, his hand that was drawing the drawings had never been quite there. Sha 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 sha. In the entire room, although there was a group of professors standing in the black, there was only the sound of the pen on Su Qin's hand scratching across the paper, which sounded crisp. At the same time, there was the sound of Su Qin swallowing and chewing. Half an hour later, hiss, Zhang Wei was suddenly felt his legs go numb. Then, he looked up and realized that a professor had put his hand on his body. Scram, Zhang Weigua frowned and hurriedly whispered for that professor to get out of the way, while still worrying about disturbing Su Qin's drawing, so his tone was very soft. Director, no, didn't pay attention. That professor hemmed and hawed and withdrew his hand. Su Qin drew at a fast speed, yet it was also not yet halfway. It was clear that this would last for a long time, but no one in this group was willing to go down. There is something? What matter could be more important than this electromagnetic cannon? Tear dash Shun Lin Yu tore open another chocolate bar. This time, she was feeding it directly to Su Qin. It was almost a subconscious action, as didn't want to slow down the drawing every time Su Qin reached out to take it. Ka, Su Qin took a direct bite and then began to mechanically chew and swallow. This was an instinctive action because at the moment, his stomach had been churning. Very hungry, really hungry. The brain was running at breakneck speed while the accompanying was consuming a large amount of energy. Ka, ka, click, that chocolate bar was quickly eaten up, and for the last bite, Su Qin accidentally bit into Zhang Linyu's finger, but after licking it and realizing that it wasn't eaten he let go of his mouth. Ah, Zhang Linyu only felt her face redden, the touch that came from her fingers made her nerves completely tense at that moment, and the attention that had been placed on the drawings was also distracted a bit at this time. Luckily, no one noticed her abnormality. The surrounding professors were all staring dead on at the drawing Su Qin was working on. Their expressions were all filled with excitement and thrill, as if they were cannons that were about to come off the production line, all filled with anticipation. Time. It lasted until the middle of the night. Eventually, when the time pointer officially reached 3 a.m., Su Qin also wrote the last sentence. Note that the predicted service life of the barrel is only 10. 000, 000 rounds but compared to other non-guided cannon ranges has more service life and can be updated at a later stage at a low cost through the individual replacement of the barrel. With this tone, it was clear that the 10, 000 rounds of service life was not yet satisfactory, and the experts who saw the scene were dumbfounded. Not, you're out of your mind, aren't you? 10,000 rounds isn't enough? Nowadays, the conventional 50-kilometer range gun, the life of the barrel is only a few hundred rounds at most, right? A thousand is a lot and you're not satisfied with 10, 000, 000 rounds of life? This is also too heaven-defying. Snap, Su Qin placed his pen on the table. At this moment, he only felt dizzy. Excessive use of brain ah, the stomach, still a little hungry. It was only much better than those 10 minutes of overusing his brain last time. Ding, the work process is over. Automatically exiting the state of heart stream. Subsequently, Su Qin looked up. He was directly dumbfounded. Good fellow. There were a bit too many people around here. Zhang Lin Yu squatting underneath himself? Ha, huh? what's with this group of old men around? Teacher Zhang. Zhang. Su Qin was a bit at a loss for words for a while. He had never even realized it before. Finished writing? Zhang Lin Yu stood up, her face clear and cold. Only, when she looked at Su Qin's face that wasn't particularly handsome, but was absolutely clean, her heart couldn't help but tremble a little. Well, the design has been completed. Su Qin slowly exhaled a breath. There are still a lot of details. It might take half a month if we want to patch it up. The details can be too much to do and it's not something that can be done in one time. These are. Swish. Before Zhang Linyu could introduce them, Zhang Weigui in the back stretched out his own hand and directly took the stack of design drawings sitting on the table in one breath. Zhang Weigui squinted his eyes and carefully looked at the design drawings in front of him. Su Qin had wanted to open his mouth to stop it. However, he directly shut up. Well, that rank is Major General. Major General. What rank? A major general who engages in scientific research? Su Qi now this rank is probably not yet able to award the title. In front of the standing a major general himself is certainly not dare to speak more. Are not a great of people. This is the honorary president of our defense university. But also the chief engineer and president of the military industry central science and technology institute. National academician. Zhang Weigua. Zhang Linyu introduced. Su Qin. Crap. This. Isn't this equivalent to. Being the head of the entire Dragon Country's military industry and technology? Principal. Ah no. Good day Dean. Su Qin didn't know what to shout for a moment. No wonder it was so familiar. It turned out that he had seen it on TV. Don't be so formal. I'll take a look first. Zhang Weigua casually waved his hand. 
Then he immersed himself into Su Qin's drawings. The few other professors around him also took a closer look. Even so, Zhang Lingyu was unable to squeeze in. Although she was said to be the genius that the entire school and institute favored, she still didn't dare to grab it in the face of these big shots. And just now, she was able to get a seat position only by feeding Su Qin. After another hour or so, Su Qin could no longer hold back and began to eat the food placed next to him, not knowing who bought it. Eat and be done with it. This, Zhang Weigua let out a long breath. If we just look at the data on paper, it is something that should be achievable. And even if it is not achievable, then these principles and design methods in here can have a significant role in our research. 400 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon ah. Zhang Weigua looked at Su Qin. Where did you learn this from? This result is enough for you to be supported by the state for the rest of your life you know? Nope. Several lifetimes is enough. Zhang Lin Yu's eyes lit up. She also wanted to know where exactly Su Qin had gone to learn this and how he had designed it. This was truly top-notch, cutting-edge technology. As for spies? Impossible. Just these concepts Su Qin took out now, that were all worth at least one aircraft carrier. There was no way there would be such a high cost for spies. Su Qin scratched his head, looking a little embarrassed. That, if I say that I suddenly thought of these when I saw that question from the high school exam, it's because your questions are good. Do you believe it? Chapter 013, Zhang Lin Yu. What are you doing? Su Qin scratched his head, looking a little embarrassed. That, if I say that I suddenly thought of all this when I saw that question from the college entrance exam, it's because your questions are good. Do you believe that? Zhang Weigua, a group of professors. Zhang Lin Yu. Not. You are fucking crazy. You come up with this thing and you fucking say it was inspired by the questions we came up with? Then why don't you say that you were given a screw from an eagle carrier and you directly built a nuclear powered carrier? Isn't that a little too far out there? Over the top. It's really excessive. I have no grievances with your excellency. So why is your excellency treating us like idiots? Zhang Weigua's expression was flat with a misanthropic face. Well, I believe you. Zhang Lin Yu also nodded along. Well, I believe you too. The several professors all nodded along. Well, it's just that we have a good question. We all believe in you. Now, it was Su Qin's turn to be confused. Hey, what is the meaning of your dead fish eyes that do not believe at all ah? I really did not lie ah. I now also have only this conclusion ah. It is not because you guys came up with a good question I can set out to comprehend it. Su Qin people also numb. In the end, the time is also very late. A line of people are ready to go back to sleep. All right, everyone go back to rest. Tomorrow convene teams 1, 2 and 3, prepare to start the reasonableness test on Su Qin's drawings, and strive to verify the feasibility earlier. Zhang Weigua stretched his old back. Right, Su Qin, don't live here, come with me to the military compound. I'll arrange a house for you. Su Qin, so exaggerated? Just like this, Su Qin had to leave the single dormitory that he was very satisfied with, and pushed his suitcase into the military compound at 4 o'clock in the morning, saying that it was a military compound. It was actually a place where only the senior researcher's family could live. At the entrance, there were sentries standing. This battle, at least, was taken out. In the end, several professors went home separately. Of course, Su Qin's drawings were locked into the lab safe by Zhang Weigui in the presence of several professors, and a team of guards was also arranged to keep watch at all times. Now, it was just Su Qin, Zhang Weigui, and Zhang Lin Yu. Lin Yu, take Su Qin to the recently vacated suite. It's enough for him to live alone in a two-room apartment. Zhang Weigua waved his hand and then went home first as well. Lin Yu? Su Qin was a bit confused. Wasn't this address a little too intimate? Could it be that kind of relationship? Just as Su Qin's brainstormed to frantically brainstorm the plot of this book, Zhang Lin Yu gave him a blank look. Well, Principal Zhang is my uncle grandfather. Uncle grandfather? Su Qin then pondered over the names of the two. Whom? Both surnamed Zhang. Then there was indeed no problem. Let's go. I'll take you to your room. Zhang Lin Yu led the way, walking in front and leading Su Qin to the elevator. This military compound wasn't like the kind of very poor military compound inside the military drama that didn't even have an elevator. Instead, it was built just like a normal neighborhood, except that there were only six buildings, and each of them was less than ten stories, and couldn't accommodate too many people. It can be said that the environment is good. The main thing was that another small neighborhood environment had been created within the Defense University making it even quieter. The smell of life brewing inside the smell of books. Soon, the two came up in the elevator. Eighth floor. Eight to three. This is the key. You'll be living here from now on. Remember to call ahead and apply if any family members are coming. Zhang Lin Yu handed the key to Su Qin. Su Qin. Family members. Can come? Aha. Uh -huh. Zhang Lin Yu nodded. 
You can tell the sentries that they will send someone to pick them up from the airport or high-speed train station. All the people living here are scientists who are important to army science and technology, and there are more than 20 academicians. You'll have the same treatment once you live in. Su Qin instantly sucked in a breath of cool air. This treatment given was also too dry. A wave of drowsiness hit Su Qin, and Su Qin only felt his brain a little drowsy. All right then, please, I'll wash up and go to bed. Su someone only felt his brain rising at this moment. He really couldn't hold on any longer. Although it seemed like someone had fed himself something to eat when he quickly used his brain, the exhaustion was real now. Obviously, for the next few days, one had to wither away. You can actually write a little bit every day in the back so that you won't be too on top of your head. Su Qin pondered. When he drew the drawings, he didn't simply call out the information inside his mind, but he selected the range himself, and then designed and calculated the scale of the drawing step by step according to the principles, as well as the amount of materials used. It wasn't just drawing a diagram, it was still a brain burn. That, Su Qin, Zhang Lin you stood at the doorway, somewhat hesitant to ask something. What's wrong? Su Qin was puzzled. What you said tonight, is the ones you comprehended, yourself, is it true? Zhang Lin you asked with a straight face, the clear coldness inside her eyes contained within. Su Qin was stunned, then nodded. Right, it's mainly comprehended by myself. I'm a person who just learns everything quickly, especially things within the science subjects. Afterward, Zhang Lin you went out. Ka, at the doorway, Zhang Lin you pulled out the key and opened the opposite room. Su Qin, you, live across the street? Su Qin was a bit confused. Good guy. Well then, because this building are all small apartments, so the ones who live there are basically young people, and the other three buildings are all large three-bedroom apartments. Zhang Lin Yu said in a clear and cold voice, then opened the door and went in. Su Qin nodded. Well, indeed, the segments of these people were not low, and it was normal to assign this house. Su Qin looked around for a week. Two rooms and one hall. Not big, estimated to be only 50 or so square feet. It still looks a bit confined, belonging to the housing that is just needed, except that this is also already enough for himself. It was better than a dormitory. There is also a separate kitchen, water heater and what not. If mom comes behind, she can also cook for herself. Comfortable. Su Qin opened the floor-to-ceiling window and walked outside the not-so-big balcony. Outside the window. At the moment, it was a gradually rising fish belly white. The sky. It was all about to lighten up. After washing up, Su Qin immediately went to sleep without the slightest hesitation at all. This sleep was very refreshing. It was really refreshing. Very penetrating. When he woke up and saw outside, it wouldn't be the middle of the day anymore. It was already fucking afternoon. Su Qin opened his eyes and opened the door to his room in his underwear, ready to go and put a water. Open the door. Ka. Only to see that at this time in the living room, sitting in a woman wearing regular clothes. That was. Zhang Lin Yu. Ah. Zhang Lin Yu's eyes were a bit dull when she saw the scene, but she just turned her head slightly, without much fluctuation on her expression. Su Qin, not, I'm in my own fucking home, how did you get in here ah? Uh? Don't you know that a single man's home can't just be broken into? One person comes in, goes out that's two people. Chapter 014, Feasibility Verification Past, Construction Sample. Su Qin was really, really numb, he would have been a more relaxed person. After all, well, men. In their own private space as long as they don't fling it around. The rest that is not just casual? But you a 26 or 27 year old imperial sister. Directly intruded into my room what is the meaning of it? How did you get in? Su Qin immediately asked back. It would be a disaster in case he was hit with a counter set in a while. I asked the sentry to come and open the door. And I see that you haven't gotten up even at 2 o'clock. Zhang Lingyu's head twisted over. A hint of blush visible to the naked eye. However, the high cooled one appeared calm. Su Qin was a bit puzzled. Does it mean that the sentries can open everyone's room door at any time? Zhang Lin Yu shook her head, but the process of shaking her head saw Su Qin's lower body, and hurriedly turned it again. This is subject to approval. The keys of all the residents are placed inside the safe, and it requires the consent of the family or an emergency, or an order from the dean himself to get it. Su Qin asked vigilantly, So you came in, what's the situation? Zhang Lin Yu's formerly cool face had completely reddened at this time. That, you can actually put your pants on first. Wow. Only then did Su Qin react. He didn't care much about it, but still went to the toilet to put on the pants after letting the water out first. Once the water was drained, the person became hungry. Gulp. Su Qin had just walked out of the bedroom with his pants on when his stomach rumbled. Zhang Lin Yu closed her laptop and put it into her laptop bag. Let's go to the dinners first, and talk about it while we eat. It's already 4.20 now. 
The cafeteria should be serving dinner as well, and I'm going to introduce you to the living facilities in the school. Su Chi nodded. Aha. He washed up and went out, arriving at the cafeteria 20 minutes later. The meals in the cafeteria were plentiful and cheap. Crap. A meat is only one piece? Su Qin was shocked for a moment as he watched Zhang Lingyu swiping her card. That's not money. That's issued material points. Students and teachers will have it. A meat dish is one point. Material is zero. Five points. The meal is free. Zhang Lingyu also helped Su Qin swipe her card and said, but none of them can be used up. This is the system designated in the past when the research conditions were difficult. At the end of the season it can be exchanged for cash. One point is five dollars. Right? Su Qi nodded. This was a meal package, meal allowance, and a meal allowance that could be exchanged for money. Su Qin played three meat and one veggie, plus three tails of rice, piling up the entire plate like a small mountain. Soon, he feasted on it. The rice was much more comfortable in his belly. Right, you still haven't said how you entered my room. Su Qin didn't forget this question. If the next time he was exercising his traditional craft there and someone opened the door and came in, wouldn't he have to die socially on the spot? Of course it's the last one. It's the dean who asked me to teach you. Just in case you overused your brain last night and something happened. Zhang Lin Yu said. Su Qin, why did they let you come? Shouldn't you just call a random guard? Zhang Lin Yu was a serious researcher. That at least had a master's degree in. Letting such a highly refined talent to wait for her to wake up. This couldn't be said to be a bit extravagant. This can be said to be a waste of time. Really he meow to waste. Because, it's more important than anything that you wake up safely now. Zhang Lin Yu said bluntly. Do you know what our Central Army Research Institute's research results were last year? What? Su Qin didn't know either. What the hell could he know about this classified issue? An electromagnetic cannon with a range of 20 kilometers. And it's still the second generation. The cool female officer didn't hide anything, but said it directly. And you, made it. It's 400 kilometers. Right now half of the entire Central Research Laboratory's team is reviewing your design, in an attempt to simulate it with computers, if it's viable. You should be directly ordained as a member of the Military Industrial Research Institute. No need to wait to slowly graduate from the Defense University. Zhang Linyu's words bluntly named Su Qin's current position within the entire institute. The main focus was one, against all odds, the rhythm of direct status pulling full circle. Su Qin heatedly smiled. Accident, accident ah. The main thing is that the enlightenment is high. What is spoken will be what. Zhang Linyu gave him a blank look. Hurry up and eat. After eating we're going to the institute. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Qi nodded. After eating, Su Qin picked up his cell phone and found that Yu Yuzhu had sent a message to himself. Your cell phone is ready to be taken for chip implantation. Remember to hand it over to me in a while. Everything here needs to be monitored. So does the computer. Zhang Lin Yu said. Su Qin understood that researchers were all like this. Or rather, he himself was no longer a member of the students now. Rather, he was a member of the Central Army Research Institute. If he was a student at the Defense University, it definitely wasn't to the point of implanting a chip, but now Su Qin could be said to be a member of the core staff, and it was only normal that the keywords needed to be monitored. The moment the decision was made to write electromagnetic cannons on the test paper, Su Qin had already built up his heart. Becoming a king himself? Su Qin didn't have that kind of ideal. Let the proletarians of the world unite. This was his most ardent pursuit. He was a member of the troop. At this moment, Su Qin only felt that the red scarf on his chest was flashing. Of course, this was not foolish loyalty. Su Qin was divided. One had to keep a hand in everything as well. To prevent someone from stabbing him in the back. Your identity card will probably come out tomorrow. So follow me to dinner now. Or I can bring it for you. Zhang Lin Yu said. Su Qin nodded. You're welcome. After eating, the two went to the laboratory. The process of entering the research institute was even more strict. Although it was right next door to the Defense University and the middle was open, the guard was very strict. A single loaded soldier stood at the door. Even, there were also secret sentries. Su Qin had no doubt that if he slipped up here with his camera, he would be directly pressed down by the plainclothes that rushed out from inside the bushes. But it wasn't too tedious. And after making sure they didn't bring anything with them, the two of them went in. Led by Zhang Lin Yu, they entered a laboratory. At this moment, Seven or eight old scientists with academician signs were doing their own experiments. And the subject, it was simple. It was what Su Qin had written down. The 400 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon. All of them, were doing his results. All are verifying. And at this moment, Zhang Weiguo over there, slammed the table. Great, great. Zhang Linyu's heart moved. And she hurriedly went up and asked, Dean, what, what's going on? 
the results of the computer simulation came out. It's feasible. We can now start working on building the first sample. Zhang Weigua's expression carried excitement. And excitement. Chapter 015, Codename, Truth. Zhang Lingyu also had a dumbfounded expression at this moment. A look of disbelief on her face. The original cool and lofty. Just like a winter plum that was proud of the cold made her. At this moment, her expression was no longer that distant and lofty. Rather, it was, truly shocked, despite the fact that before was already mentally prepared. But when this all really happened, it still made her a little shocked. Because, this electromagnetic cannon project of Su Qin was really feasible. The feasibility verification had been passed. The next step was to build samples. You, Zhang Lingyu looked at Su Qin next to her, not knowing what to say out for a while. Su Qin spread his hands. I wrote it casually. Zhang Weigua, Zhang Lingyu, you call this casually written? Crazy. For a while, those academicians in the lab were also momentarily blocked. Damn. This argument is also too angry. This is casually written. Then where else do you put them? The scientists who are here every day to waste their sleep and food? Just wait. I guess the rankings for you will come down in a few days. I'll go and report your merit now. Zhang Weigua was afraid that the formalities weren't finished and Su Qin regretted halfway through, directly letting the others go and continue their research while he himself went to personally write the report. Su Qin. Just tag along and help out. Build the sample as early as possible. Su Qin nodded. Good. For now. Su Qin appeared clear on everything about the electromagnetic cannon. Zhang Lingyu, Zhang Weigua added. You're Su Qin's assistant now, as well as a partner. Zhang Lingyu didn't refuse, but resumed her previous state of coolness and nodded. Okay. All the professors laughed in their hearts. This little ninny. In the past, she was so arrogant that she wouldn't give in to defeat. Since she entered the institute. She refused to give anyone an assistant even during her internship, and hardened herself to produce a third-class scientific and technological achievement to accelerate past her internship and finally became a full-fledged researcher. And now, she was actually willing to give Su Qin as an assistant. Let's go. Down the production line, Su Qin was also a bit excited. He also wanted to see what point this electromagnetic cannon he took out could reach. Thus, Su Qin began a regular life. He was called up by Zhang Lingyu punctually at 8 in the morning. And after eating at 8.30, he went to the production line to guide the process of supervising the various components of the electromagnetic cannon sample. After all, Su Qin was the one with the deepest understanding of the electromagnetic cannon. Bar none. Lunch at noon. Lunch break. Has been working until 8 o'clock in the evening, before going back to rest. There wasn't even time to study. A month and a half of time passed so slowly. The results of the college entrance exam came out. Su Qin took 657 which was really out of his expectation. The science composite was surprisingly 294 points, except for that one multiple choice question that I gave up at the end. I got all the others right too. Su Qin sked. The corresponding big questions in physics should have all been given full marks. And the others could all have been done in 10 minutes by themselves. And this month, Yu Yuzhu would send Su Qin a good morning and good night on time every day. And her address to Su Qin was, Yu Yuzhu, brother, what are you doing? Yu Yuzhu, brother? Have you had lunch yet? Yu Yuzhu, brother, you're off work so late tonight? The two would occasionally call each other. And Yu Yuzhu's voice on the other side was gentle and sweet. Su Qin also didn't know what kind of relationship the two had right now. It was a couple. Right. That couldn't be said. But it would be even more impossible to say that it was an ordinary friend's relationship. As for taking the initiative to confess, Su Qin hadn't thought about it. He himself probably won't have much time to socialize with Yu Yuzhu in the future. The two people should be in two worlds. Indeed, can't hold people back. When she goes to college, she should also be dead in the water. Right? Su Qin asked inside a phone call. How many points did you get in the college entrance exam anyway? This was what he had always wanted to ask. But Yu Yuzhu over there, was tight-lipped. Yu Yuzhu smiled and said, Today your diploma is I get you yo. I took it back to your mom. Auntie also please stay me for dinner. I also went to your room to look. Su Qin. My room? Su Qin judge remembered. In the hidden corner. There are two hidden magazines, that cannot be seen by people outside, even if they are dying, it has to be thrown to be able to die of the subject. In short, you usually refuse to say their own college entrance examination scores, also refuse to say that they are prepared to apply for colleges and universities. Su Qin is also more sure that the two are not possible. Now is when the red face with it. Anyway, Su Qin does not have many friends to come. A work for two years of social animal in the former class of those childish boys really cannot get along. What are you thinking about? Zhang Lin Yu walked over and knocked Su Qin's head. Holy shit, why are you knocking me? Su Qin touched his head and hastily retreated two steps. 
with displeasure inside his eyes. In this month, it was a matter of getting acquainted with Zhang Lingyu. This high and cold woman was actually a person with an extremely strong character. Likes to order. Oppression. Su Qin's overtime work was not voluntary, but was forced by Zhang Lingyu, just like a capitalist. Why can't I knock you? Zhang Lingyu held her head high with her own unique pride. Su Qin gritted his teeth. I'm the chief project engineer. You're just my assistant. At this moment, he was already wearing an officer's attire, and on his shoulder was clearly the rank of second lieutenant. Zhang Lingyu, on the other hand, was directly a major. But I have a higher rank than you. Ah, salute me. Zhang Lingyu was nonchalant. Su Qin. Su Qin's merit was down. At first, it was predicted to be an individual second class merit. Then 10 days later it became an individual first class merit. Then it became a special class merit. However, since he needed to graduate according to the regular procedure before he could be granted the rank of second lieutenant, he wasn't given too high a rank or position. So he was just granted a second lieutenant according to the system for officers in school. I fucking. But he took a deep breath. Forget it. Good men don't fight with women. Get ready. Get ready to start the experiment. At this moment, a heavy truck, which was pulling a huge cannon that was 10 meters high, slowly coming. Electromagnetic cannon. Already realized. Experimental cannon. It's out. Salute. At the door, several military vehicles drove in. Bang. Coming down from the car was an old man, and his military rank, was a lieutenant general, that lieutenant general walked over and glanced at Su Qin, this is the genius boy Su Qin, Su Qin hastily saluted, good day general, Wang Zhan's face was filled with admiration, from what your Dean Zhang said, this electromagnetic cannon should be a surprise, Su Qin straightened his shoulders and did not show any timidity, this month, he had also received militarized training, and his entire temperament had improved by more than one cut, rigid and hard, Range 400 kilometers electromagnetic cannon. Code name. Truth. Please ask the chief to review. Chapter 016. Don't rush. Let the cannonball fly for a while. This code name of truth was taken by Su Qin. It was simple. It was literally the meaning of the word. Within range, all is truth. What is the concept of 400 kilometers? It could directly envelop the pineapple country and all of it. And if the eagles wanted to make something happen then, then their carrier formations could be unguided artillery fire unguided shells. That's a lot cheaper than guided missiles. That's the kind of shells that are commonly used in war. Fire coverage. What? What? Wang Zhang was instantly blinded. 400. 400 kilometers? You guys are afraid you're not kidding me. The last time it was only 20 kilometers. Only to say after a month that the range has been increased to 400 kilometers? It's almost like a dream. Science fiction novels wouldn't even dare to write like this. Don't. Stop it. This is in the military. You can't joke around freely. Wang Zhan slowly exhaled a breath, calmed himself, and looked at Su Qin who eventually loosened his mouth. If just now he had a death grip on this sentence, I'm afraid that he could have asked for the offense to go down. However, it really wasn't necessary. Wang Zhan took the initiative to give this ladder so that Su Qin could immediately change his words. General Wang, this matter can't be said like this. Since it's in the military, how can it be possible to talk nonsense? Zhang Weiguo walked out from the back and although he looked haggard and tired all over his brow, he nevertheless looked very spirited. Spirits were high. Could it be true? Wang Zhan was just stunned at his words. Is this really not a student joking? He had just thought that this was young Su Qin joking around. Report. Su Qin's expression was firm. Electromagnetic cannon truth is ready for inspection. Ready. Wang Zhan eventually hesitated. And although he was still in disbelief, he finally made up his mind. All right. Approve the test. Start now. Yes, Su Qin received the order and then began to command. Zhang Linyu, start debugging the equipment immediately now. Zhang Linyu was just confused when she received the order. Debugging equipment? Isn't that something that the people below do? How come I, the chief engineer's assistant, have to personally get involved as well? Isn't this a little bit not quite right? However, under the lieutenant general's watchful eye, Zhang Linyu could not procrastinate and immediately began to act. Report. Equipment adjustment is complete. Zhang Lin Yu trotted over and reported to Su Qin. HM. Su Qin had a smile on his face. Prepare to launch. Zhang Lin Yu, you personally go and prepare to launch the cannonball. Press the launch button. Zhang Lin Yu. Zhang Lin Yu was confused. A launch button? Where is there a launch button? Aren't we launching this remotely? Let's get started. I'm also already a little impatient. Wang Zhang cheerfully stood next to him, rubbing his hands together and looking very expectant. Beside him stood more than a dozen colonels and major generals. In short, the sense of oppression was strong. Zhang Weigua stood there, 
similarly looking forward. This was what he had been working towards. This, Zhang Linyu was completely confused. Su Qin, what are you up to, now that there are so many people? Aren't we using the computer to fire the cannonballs here? How come we suddenly have to go and personally fire the cannonballs? Did you change what this is? This high cool female researcher, at this moment, was also already red-faced, looking very embarrassed. Su Qin grinned. There, you go and take a look. Sure enough, underneath the truth type giant cannon, there was a firing button. Zhang Linyu, this, lets me go? Su Qin nodded, well, just you go. Hurry up. Who let you knock my head just now? Zhang Linyu, still retaliating, right? In the end, Zhang Linyu stood underneath the giant cannon and placed her hand on that button. Su Qin stood straight and turned to salute the senior officers on the viewing platform. Report, the debugging of the experimental equipment has been completed and the cannon can be fired at any time. Please instruct the chief. Wang Zhan turned his head and glanced at Zhang Weigui. Zhang Weigui nodded. Aha. Uh -huh. Wang Zhan looked at Su Qin. Good. Authorize the launch. Start the experiment. Snap. Su Qin turned around and faced Zhang Linyu, who appeared short in front of the cannon. Fire. Gulp. Zhang Linyu swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This. This was still an experiment. Right? Would it die if it touched this? It shouldn't, right? This device has gone through simulation experiments, and although it's still the first time it's been fired, it shouldn't be so unlucky to get me hit, right? If it explodes, will I die? What would it feel like if I died? At this moment, Jean Lin Yu was already completely worried. Start the experiment immediately. Fire the cannon. Su Qin's voice came from behind, carrying a ghostly flavor. This was coming to urge, meaning that this mental construction foreshake of yours is too long. Who? Zhang Linyu took a deep breath, followed by a heartbeat. With one force, she directly pressed the switch. Then, buzz, a sound suddenly came out, as if an electric car started ten times louder. The entire giant cannon, at this moment, was haunted by a light blue light. Buzz, buzz, boom, this was followed by an airburst. A black thing instantly flew out from inside the barrel of the cannon. No one could see its true face, even everyone didn't even see a single flame. Ha, Wang Zhan was a bit stunned. Just this? The sound of this firing, isn't it a bit small? Zhang Weigua was also seeing it for the first time and felt a bit strange. That's right, it's reasonable to say that even the sound of an electromagnetic cannon firing shouldn't be this small? Wang Zhan began to be skeptical, all the versions of electromagnetic cannons you developed before. That firing sound can be very positive ah. This can't be a failure of research and development. The range is not that far at all? Well, Zhang Weigua was made to feel less confident. Su Qin, do you have confidence? Su Qin, below, had a calm expression, reporting to the two chiefs, I can guarantee a range of at least 400 kilometers. Upon hearing this, the officers on the stage all began to discuss. This, indeed does not look like ah, is it possible that this young man is bragging? A range of 400 kilometers? A missile is more like it. Yes, this is a cannon after all. How can this cannon have such a long range? There's no news yet, so it should just fail, right? 400 kilometers. Crazy, there's absolutely no way it can be 400 kilometers. Zhang Lin Yu's side was relieved. Herself, didn't die, since nothing happened. This was too lucky, wasn't it? Or was Su Qin's quality control really on point? After a full five minutes, there was still no news coming back. Wang Zhan asked, what's the situation now? Why is there still no news? Su Qin said bluntly, it takes 20 minutes for a fighter to fly 400 kilometers. Take it easy, let the shells fly for a while. Chapter 017, apply for a $20 million bonus for you. This, indeed, this is still overlooked. If it really is 400 kilometers, the cannonball will indeed have to fly for a long time. Several senior officers then just nodded in agreement. That was indeed the case. The shells would have to fly for a very long time. Of course, this was said under the condition that it could indeed hit 400 kilometers, except that all of them did not have such a concept before this, and all of them felt that they could check the effect of the firing once they had completed it. This accuracy, won't be a bit bad, right? Wang Zhan was a little worried. When the time comes, don't blow up the shooting range. If it misses and starts a mountain fire inside the mountains and forests, then it is also necessary to extinguish the fire. Come on people, immediately notify the local governments of the target districts and counties, so that the fire department can immediately enter a state of emergency. Wang Zhan was justified in this worry. 400 kilometers, the cannonball in the air that is not know how high an arc. In the process of rising and descending are very likely to have the deviation caused by the airflow. If the deviation is a little bit, then when the shell reaches the place, it will be a thousand miles away. Over there, the fire department quickly sounded the alarm. 
Beware of hill fires and shelling? What do you mean? The fire minister received the message with a confused look on his face. Is this a war? This small county of ours is also being bombarded? What exactly is the meaning of this order from above? It's a bit weird. At this moment, the officers and researchers throughout the test site were all discussing. These 20 minutes were a bit long. Zhang Linyu walked over and said worriedly, It's not. Something really happened. Is it? Are you confident? Su Qin waved his hand indifferently. Don't panic. Something happened. Zhang Linyu was stunned. There is something? What else do you have now? This is the most important thing. Zhang Linyu took a look. Good guy. Su Qin is there watching the news broadcast. No. We're doing experiments here. And you're watching the news? Zhang Linyu was almost dumbfounded, having never seen such a researcher at all. This was an experiment that the lieutenant general was involved in. What the hell are you putting aside here to watch the news broadcast? The Ba regime is now blocked off. The international situation is a bit grim. Su Qin sighed. Zhang Linyu. Outrageous. Too outrageous. Just like that. Zhang Linyu was here. Watching to see when things would actually get tense. There was no way his mental quality would be this high. As a result, Su Qin wasn't just there watching the news broadcast, but also commenting from time to time. The eagle is really arching fire right now ah. De Mao's side is also on fire. But this time the actor's old brother is in a hurry. TSK TSK. Nuclear wastewater. MLGB's still not stopping. If we go on like this Godzilla is coming out. But we don't have any Ultraman ah also. Zhang Lin Yu. Not. You. It's also too much of a show. Are you. Really not worried at all? Zhang Lin Yu's expression was stiff. Su Qin took a deep breath. Then put away his cell phone. It's also okay. Not worried? To be honest, it was impossible. In case it bombarded a certain school, or perhaps bombarded a residential building. After all, a range of 400 kilometers was too far, and there were too many variables that could go wrong. But I don't know why. But Su Qin felt in his heart that nothing would happen. After all, he himself was a man with a system. Su Qin, your kid really doesn't seem to be worried at all. Zhang Weigua asked every minute that passed if the shells had arrived over there. Dean, it's mainly. However, just as Su Qin was just about to reply, on the big screen, a whimpering sound came. Whimper dash. That was the alarm device that was installed on the cannonball in advance. Boom. Inside the range, it instantly exploded, and a huge flame rose up. It was a cannonball that blew up. Testing data in progress. Data analysis complete. Effective range is 405. 23 kilometers. Accuracy is 10 to 100 meters. A researcher immediately read out the data analyzed by the computer. The fullness of excitement and excitement carried within his eyes. Instantly, the entire room boiled over. Bang! With a sound, Wang Zhan's fist slammed hard on the table in front of him. Good boy, it really has a range of 400 kilometers. This lieutenant general's tone was agitated at the moment, completely devoid of the general calmness of his previous transport. 400 kilometers ah. This is comparable to a short-range missile. From today onwards, Eagle's carrier fleet will never dare to come to my territorial waters again. You kid, you've made a great achievement. Wang War eyes flooded with tears, looking at the flames still burning inside the range, hand tightly clenched fist, for a time the heart is incomparable excitement, competitive, Su Qin, you, are competitive, Zhang Weigui instantly burst out laughing, ha 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 ha, it's done, and my promise to the army is done, truth, what a great name, within the range of the cannons, it's all truth, all truth, the other senior generals were all excited as well, there were even a few generals who couldn't restrain themselves. Tears were flowing out of their eyes, and they could only control their emotions by hiding their faces. As the upper echelons of the Dragon Kingdom's military, they naturally knew the value of this cannon. With this cannon, a lot of things can be solved. If this cannon had existed five years ago, it would have been impossible for that fucking Nazad to be installed. If this cannon had existed ten years ago, then the monkeys of the Philippines would not have dared to jump in the South Seas. This is a weapon of great power. A truly great weapon of great power. Zhang Lin you jumped up violently. Really? Really did it? Really did it ah? This high and proud genius female researcher, at this moment, was incomparably excited and thrilled, and there was no place to vent that emotion in her heart for a while. Her brain instantly filled with blood. Then, she directly went forward and excitedly hugged Su Qin. We did it. You really did it. Su Qin. You really did it. That delicate body. And Su Qin were so close. Well, it would be more appropriate to say that it was already pasted together. Su Qin could feel the softness of this delicate body. If Yu Yuzhu was a bud waiting to be blossomed, then Zhang Lin Yu was a flower that was already ripe for picking, so bright that it dripped blood. You, 
Su Qing coughed twice. That, isn't it a bit close? Zhang Lingyu realized that she was too excited, and was even already actively hugging Su Qing tightly. Ah, she hastily took a step back, red-faced. This iceberg beauty with a cool temperament also revealed her petulance at this moment. Su Qin right? Wang Zhan directly walked over and helped him straighten his hat that was crooked by Zhang Lingyu. I've made the decision, give you an exceptional promotion to captain. At the same time, I'll apply to the above and issue you a national reward of 20 million dollars. Chapter 018, Rookie or Genius? The identity was too cutthroat. An additional reward of 20 million dollars. The surrounding people, all of them froze. This, isn't it a bit too high? The Nobel Prize isn't this high either. And this is a direct reward from the state? Even Su Qin also confused. Completely did not expect Wang Zhan suddenly said so. It is as if the country and the money to buy their own technology. This kind of research and development within the system out of science and technology. That is to reward the merit ah. How can you directly give a large sum of cash to buy directly? Zhang Weigui came over and patted Su Qin's shoulder. Ha 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 ha. Don't be silly. This technology of yours is also not developed within our institute. How could the Army Central Research Institute go and grab your results? This is a technology that you wrote down on the entrance exam. No one can snatch it from you. Wang Zhan also nodded appreciatively. Yes, I will apply for a reward for you according to the procedure for submission. Of course, money and military merits are counted separately. Military merits are also available. Only they might be smaller. This was the result given by Wang Zhan after deliberating. If he really gave Su Qin military credit, then I'm afraid it would have to be to the rank of a colonel. A major at less than 20 years old. This was undoubtedly too young and too easy to attract the attention of foreign forces. So for the purpose of Su Qin's protection, Wang Zhan decided to report the merit to Su Qin in accordance with the way of handing over the science and technology merit, rather than as a student of the Defense University. Su Qin hastily nodded. Good, thank you, General Wang, 20 million dollars. This was a very large sum of money. Moreover, it was given by the state. That grade was just not the same. Su Qin, congratulations. Zhang Lingyu stammered, but finally said it. You should be staying at the Army Research Institute from now on. Su Qin smiled and nodded. Aha, by the way, do you have any ideas about the development of artillery shells? Suddenly, Zhang Weigua asked. Although the precision has arrived, the development of artillery shells also needs to have a lot of debugging. Blasting shells, armor-piercing shells, which one do you think should be developed first? This question. Instantly, Su Qin froze. The knowledge inside his brain raced and he began to search for the relevant content. Artillery shells? Gunpowder? Knowledge of chemistry? I don't even know how to make gunpowder. At most I know the traveler's guide to making gunpowder ah, but that's only useful if you travel to the ancient times ah, now he meowed there's a hammer to use. Su Qin. Then, all the generals present saw this genius young scientist whose achievements were unbelievable reveal an awkward smile. That. Su someone scratched his head, somewhat embarrassed. I just have some knowledge of electromagnetism and aerodynamics. Actually, I can't build cannonballs. Well, not even gunpowder. Su Qin added. Wang Zhan, other generals, could it be that? Building cannonballs a very powerful technology? Was it something that required a very long period of study and research to learn? But normally, why did these researchers from the Ministry of Military Industry never mention cannonballs, but instead focused on their research on cannons? What the hell? Zhang Linyu, Zhang Weigui. Other researchers on site, not, don't even know how to make gunpowder? Although there is about chemistry inside up, but this is the foundation of military industry ah, what the hell ah ah hello, you are the future star ah, you are a genius scientist who got 20 million dollars from the national reward ah, three hours later, a conference room, Zhang Lingyu was sitting at the back, and Zhang Weiguo was sitting right in front, Su Qin, on the other hand, was there doing papers while surrounded, after learning that Su Qin's basic knowledge was poor, Zhang Weigua then chose to conduct an exam on Su Qin. The current situation then arose. Su Qin was scratching his head there, unable to write at all. System, where are you people? Su Qin asked in his heart. The exam won't. Save it. Quickly save ah. Where's the reverse gnosis? Ding. The current content is temporarily unable to trigger the learning function of reverse heavenly gnosis. Oh no. It can't be triggered. The volume was full of some of the most basic concepts, some basic applications. However, there was a lot of content, including chemistry, biology, physics, and aerodynamics, but the concepts in here could be beyond the scope of the EMG, which also left Su Qin with no way to do it. Under the requirement of if you can't do it, leave it blank, don't mask it, Su Qin ended up handing in a large portion of the paper that was left blank up. I'll do it, 
Zhang Weigua personally corrected it. In the end, the score was arrived at. 37 points. This, Zhang Weigua was dumbfounded. His entire expression stiffened there. Looking at the score for a while, his face was somewhat stagnant. Zhang Lin Yu was also confused. How is it possible? This is the basic test of last year's entrance exam. How come Su Qin only scored more than 30 points? Su Qin scratched his head. That, he really can't ah. The high speed rate of his brain is based on what he can do. It's impossible to create concepts that he doesn't understand. Right? These are all unlearned things. Also, it is also possible because, did not review it. Zhang Weigua finally held his tongue for a long time and held out a sentence. Everyone else will be notified that there is an opening exam after they receive the acceptance letter. And they will all go ahead and learn the relevant content. Phew. This director of the Scientific Research Institute and academician of the Dragon State looked at Su Qin with a complicated face. Originally, I said that I would let you not attend classes and directly participate in the research work. But now it seems that you still need to learn more ah. Let's do it this way. You'll still follow the original class after school starts. Zhang Weigua was completely at a loss as to what to say. Let's say you're a little chicken. Yu Heckling took out another scientific research result that was so counterintuitive that it was enough to make the whole country escort you. Say you're awesome, but you couldn't even get a passing score on your entrance test. Complicated. Now that's too complicated. It's okay. Su Qin scratched his head, somewhat embarrassed. His own basic knowledge really needed to be upgraded. He only knew the concepts related to electromagnetic cannons and the game skills inside Nintendo Smash right now. And he didn't know the conditions of the system triggers. Zhang Lin Yu. Zhang Weigua's expression eventually returned to normal. In, Zhang Lin Yu stood upright with a grave expression. From today onwards, you will be the one to teach Su Qin the basics, making sure that he can keep up with the teaching progress before school starts. Zhang Weigua gave the order. Yes, Zhang Lin Yu saluted. Secondly, form a truth research team, with Su Qin as the team leader and Zhang Lin Yu as the vice leader. Zhang Weigua spoke in a serious tone as he gave his orders as the head of the Central Military Industrial Research Institute and the honorary president of the Defense University. Allocate $5 million of startup funds to the Truth Scientific Research Group which can research scientific projects on its own. Zhang Linyu jerked her body upright. Yes, Su Qin also smiled bitterly. This identity contrast was a bit too cutthroat, right? One was a poor student who couldn't keep up with the curriculum. The other, it was directly a team leader of a scientific research team. That was a treatment that only a professor at the Defense University could have. Chapter 019, Your son has received a special merit. Son's father. How do you think he's doing in school now? Will life inside the army be tough? Li Shufen was a little worried. Her eyes moved away from the inside of the class in front of her and looked towards Su Jun. Su Jun over there only felt a coldness in his back. He can be said to be a silent rakier at home. And quickly said, that's not the army either. It's just a school. It won't train too strictly. Is it? Li Shufen was a little worried. She propped up her head and looked out the window. At this moment, a few women were descending the stairs at the location of the building because it was an old neighborhood. This building was also naturally old. The soundproofing was very poor, and the two couples could hear what was being said outside from inside the room. A woman said, You know, that kid from the Su family, the one called Su Qin, seems to have disappeared after the college entrance exams. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where he went. He must have gone out to the wild. Don't get a girl pregnant. The quality of this old neighborhood is very poor. It's a demolished building from 20 years ago and it used to be all village women from the village. From inside the village, they liked to chew the cud. Now that they lived on one floor, they were still better at gathering and chewing the cud. Not as close as before. Them, Li Shufen stood up. Angry. How? Don't. Su Jun hurriedly stepped forward and pulled his daughter-in-law back. Four people. Don't be impulsive. Now that our son is in the army, and you are a teacher, it's our loss to generalize with them. Just pretend you didn't hear it. Su Jun is a very calm person although usually is silent, but the brain is very flexible. Now the main income of the family can be earned by him driving a big car, if not before Li Shufen sick, with a lot of money, has long been saved enough money to buy a house, but also not so now the family owes more than 200,000. Alas, Li Shufen sighed, if I didn't get sick at that time, I'm afraid we can buy a new house, son to find a daughter-in-law, have a house can also straighten up some, and also be able to stay away from these tongue-chewing neighbors. Su Jun quickly waved his hand. Don't say it. There is nothing to say. The cure is worth it. I'm getting out of the car. Su Jun turned off the TV and lifted a bucket and a backpack. These are the things he needs to use to drive a big car. A colleague will come to pick him up in a while. Had had. I can tell you. This is the old woman Wang. Is the most obnoxious village woman in the whole building? 
and her favorite thing is to listen to the wind is the rain. Which family in the building has brought a daughter-in-law home? And she can say that it is bought back, or that it is cheated. I ah a month ago, that was seen. Her tone was a bit proud, that Su Chin kid ah, but he committed a big crime. I saw a group of soldiers come to arrest him that day. He was really escorted away by the soldiers. A big bag, should be in jail. The surrounding village women were immediately surprised, really? No, Su Chin doesn't look like a person who would do bad things. It's true that you can't judge a person by his appearance. Su Jun couldn't help himself this time. Damn. See if I don't beat them up. This silent, usually calm and steady man was also completely enraged by these words, is to open the door. And just at this time, the sound of discussion outside stopped. Knock knock knock. At the door, there was a knock on the door. Knock knock knock. May I ask if Su Chin's family is at home? The old couple, were both stunned. Su Chin's family? Then this is the army's people? Is it the official people coming to look outside? Yes. I'm here. Su Jun hurriedly went forward and opened the door to the room. Hurrah! There were two armed police soldiers standing at the door, as well as the director of the neighborhood committee, the governor, and the head of the local armed forces department. The reason why Li Shufen was able to recognize them was because she usually paid attention to the local news. The news in the county that this were the characters that often appeared on it. Your family's warrior Su Qin can be in the army inside the Merida. We're here to deliver the plaque. It's just as well that the sign from the military family's home is here to deliver it as well. Only to see that the two armed police officers were carrying two plaques in their hands. A small one with military family home written on it. And the big one was clearly house of extraordinary merit. The house of extraordinary merit. Instantly, the village women who were just discussing it were shocked. What is that written on it? How come director Huang of the neighborhood committee personally came to deliver it? I can't read the words. This shouldn't be a bad thing, right? Su Qin that's going to the army? Director Huang of the neighborhood committee looked towards the village women, knowing that this was his chance to put on a good show in front of the governor. Citizens, this is a meritorious plaque from the army. This is the first case in Jiangcheng to be honored by the military. He said, Jiangcheng is honored. Su Qin has been honored with a special merit in the army. The village women, they, directly, were confused. What's going on? Su Qin, went to the army? Didn't he just graduate from his senior year of high school? Now should be the time when he just got the results of his school acceptance Ah, What the hell? Special merit? Is this something a normal person can get? This? How can this be possible Ah, Special merit? What kind of merit is this? One old lady this time people are confused. She knows the most honorable one is the next village has a third class merit old lady. That old woman had been bragging about her son. Extraordinary merit. Isn't it more powerful than third class merit? Ha! Huh? Li Shufen was directly dumbfounded. Extraordinary merit? Her son had only been in for a month or so. How could he get a special merit? This is also a bit too fast. Right. This is so fast that people simply cannot believe the point. Ah, you guys are mistaken. Right? How is it possible for my son to get a special class merit? Jiangcheng County Governor said firmly, there is no mistake. It is indeed a special class merit. Subsequently, Li Shufen was just overjoyed. The son has gotten credit. Really meritorious. However, next to the Su Jun is a heavy face. What about? Others? There is a sentence. Li Shufen may not understand, but Su Jun is to know thoroughly, because when he was young, can be the person who has been a soldier. Third class merit standing to lead, second class merit lying to lead, first class merit and special class merit that can only be led inside the box. Description. Now Su Qin, his own son, might have been in danger of his life. Maybe it has. Li Shufen also understood that things are not right, right, right. Su Qin others? Merit and what is not important. The important thing is the safety of their son, the governor cheerfully said. Of course well, this is above especially let us come to notify. At the same time but also to report peace. Su Qin this is relying on the research results to take the special merit. Good luck. Chapter 020, Drone Course, going to listen to it? Li Shufen and Su Jun both revealed a look of astonishment at this moment. Their own son, received a special honor intact? This, what the hell is this? How is it possible? How long has he been in there? And he's already gotten this kind of achievement? This is simply a bit too unbelievable. Your family Su Qin. Not bad. The governor smiled and nodded his head. Director Huang, on the other hand, started to greet the neighborhood committee staff to install the plaque on it. Knock knock knock. The hammer began to knock. The group of village women who had felt that Su Qin couldn't do it a moment ago all revealed bashful looks at this moment. Old woman Wang was the first to open her mouth. Su Qin that kid ah. I've watched him grow up since he was a child. I knew that he would have a future. And now he really does have a future ah. 
I knew that he that wasn't an ordinary person. That's right, Li Shufen. You'll be blessed to enjoy this. Yes, Su Qin. This kid is the one who has made a fortune, and all the old folks in this building have been blessed with it. This reversal of attitude. Great, Li Shufen. However, smiled and responded. She knows that this group of people are not sincere, but also not to tear the face. After all, now she has to consider for the sake of her son who is a soldier, and cannot go to recruit the enemy. The prefect came in and sat for a while, then left. It can be seen that this governor is still very attentive to Su Qin, but also left a phone number, so that Li Shuf and two families have things to contact. He can help certainly help. This can completely highlight the Su Qin the special merit of the gold. This is a full collar of a special merit. I don't know how that Su Qin kid is doing. Li Shufen closed the door. A little melancholy. Su Jun took out his cell phone and called. Over there, Su Qin directly picked up. Su Qin is a scientific researcher. Is has not been controlled by the cell phone. Just inside the cell phone was installed a chip. Will be time checked just? Just now. Both of them were confused. So naturally they didn't think to call their son. As a result, the son's voice came from the phone that was very refined. What is it? What is it? Li Shufen immediately began to output. Is nothing? Cannot call their son ah. You this heartless also do not know to call back. All day just no busy. Those who don't know also sacrificed because of you. Su Qin over there. I didn't do anything. Mom, you are so angry look as to make a mess ah hey? This is not more or less a little misunderstanding of people? Su Qin's expression was filled with stiffness and incomprehension. However, Li Shufen said for a while did not say anything. Playing the phone for less than five minutes to hang up. Su Qin over there was dog-faced and confused. He obviously could not guess his old home side. Li Shufen even prepared to get their own already hung up mental construction. The pace of life in Jiancheng was slow. So slow that it felt like life could stop. Street side of the Mahjong Hall came clattering shuffling sound. A hot pot store wafted out of the hot pot aroma of the nose. So that people unconsciously can be immersed in it. The slow life gives people a kind of leisurely leisure. Li Shufen went home after her afternoon class. What to eat? Tonight? She was a little despondent for a while. There are still a lot of dishes left at home. Then let's make noodles and eat all those leftovers. Just as Li Shufen was thinking, she suddenly saw a young, energetic, and familiar figure. It was, Yu Yu Zhu. Yu Yu Zhu trotted over. Auntie, good afternoon. Li Shufen was stunned. You, are Shao Qin's classmate? The female classmate who sent his diploma back earlier? Yes, it's me. Yu Yu Zhu nodded decisively. Well, What's the matter? Li Shufen was also a bit puzzled, not knowing what her son's classmate was looking for herself for. This is not a chance encounter for yourself, and now that you have arrived at the downstairs of the neighborhood, it is obvious that you are here to find yourself, right? Yu Yuzhu was straightforward. Auntie, I'm starting school. I'm also in defense college. If you have anything you want me to bring for Su Qin, you can give it to me. I can help bring it up. Li Shufen was shocked. You, you also went to defense university? She suddenly realized that this girl's grades were better than her own son's. Su Qin had gone up by special enrollment. This girl, on the other hand, most likely went up through the normal route of the college entrance exam, and that score must have been a very high number. Yu Yuzhu scratched her head in embarrassment. When I took the college entrance exam, I played exceedingly well, just enough to get on the admission line, and got into the defense university. Good. Then you go upstairs. Have you eaten? Li Shu Fen asked. Yu Yuzhu smiled sweetly. No, then auntie will do something delicious for you. Thank you mom. Ah no, thank you auntie. Ah, Su Qin yawned. School is starting soon ah. The opening time of the defense university is so one month earlier than ordinary universities. So school will start in a few days. And these few days, had been a bit of an ordeal. It's when the ignition is gathered at the tail that it can explode with the greatest impact. So, on the stage, Zhang Linyu was speaking tirelessly there. And Su Qin, who was under the stage listened drowsily. It wasn't that he wasn't attentive. It was really that he was too tired. In these few days, during the day, he led the group to perfect the design of the truth and paved the way for mass production. At night, it was necessary to study until 11.30. Well, it was really 11.30. Right now, Zhang Linyu was at Su Qin's house, and after finishing her teaching, she went straight back inside the home across the street. System. Are you there system? Su Qin called out to the system in his heart. Quickly give me a comprehension ah, this is too slow to learn. Ding, current knowledge cannot trigger comprehension. Su Qin people numb, just learn on, monkey years and months to reach his goal ah, no way. Su Qin took a deep breath. Zhang Linyu, how about you teach a little bit of excitement? Right now this content is a bit of a snooze ah. Zhang Linyu instantly stiffened her body, 
and there was some shock in her eyes. What, are you saying, exciting, this, this is too fast, right, have not yet carefully understood it, weekdays that is also most at work ah, uh, absolutely not, absolutely not, Su Chi nodded, yeah, it's just to get some applied courses, there's not much point in the current courses ah, uh, he just wanted to be able to learn to use, purely learning concepts is too meaningless ah, uh, wow, Zhang Lin Yu breathed a sigh of relief, luckily it wasn't that aspect, however, somehow, there was some loss in her heart, tomorrow, academician one from the Air Force Research Institute will be coming to give a lecture on the fifth theory of contemporary drone combat, so you can go and listen to it, upon hearing this, Su Qin's eyes lit up, drones, then, go and listen, chapter 021, this man, what exactly is his identity, ka 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 ka, Su Qin sat in the first row of seats while stretching his body, even his bones were rattling along, he extraordinarily cherished this idle time, there was no other reason, simply because this morning he directly slept until 9.30 and then came to attend this lecture, if it were normal, he would have already been inside the factory, and now he could still be lazy by dipping into this lecture, I've made a fortune, cool, paid to touch fish, now he already had more than $6,000 a month, suddenly, the cell phone vibrated, Zhang Lingyu, that class, just listen to it yourself, I won't be coming over for a while, with Zhang Lin Yu not coming, Su Qin was still a bit more relaxed, so he played with his cell phone, at this time, Yu Yuzhu was also sending messages to herself, Yu Yuzhu, Su Qin, what are you doing, Su Qin instinctively wanted to take a picture, but after thinking about it, it was an internal lecture after all, it couldn't be taken casually, so he still typed a reply, watching the academician's lecture, I'm sitting in the first row, academician Wen Chung Yuan, you know, right, it's the academician who developed the drone that we watched the news broadcast together in our senior year before, and now it's on the podium less than 5 meters away from me, you Yuzhu over there laughed, you're lying, how could this kind of person on TV give you a lecture, Su Qin was helpless, alas, how come no one believes when one tells the truth, just like when he told Zhang Lin Yu that he really relied on his enlightenment to comprehend the truth electromagnetic cannon on his own, the result really was that no one believed it, but that really was true, I, Su Qin, Never lie. Ta da 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 dash, Su Qin tapped his cell phone, making a slight ringing sound, and passing by one by one of the students and teachers who had come to listen to the lecture. They all unconsciously looked at this young captain sitting in the first row. There is no other. Because, it was too young. This looked exactly like a student who had just enrolled in school, right? There was even no military temperament on his body yet. It was obvious that he hadn't gone through the opening military training and belonged to the category of students who had the talent and then were plugged into the defense university early, and he is now. Surprisingly, he was hanging the rank of captain? One should know that when a military academy graduate graduates, they can only be awarded the rank of second lieutenant. Graduating with a graduate degree, one could only be awarded the rank of lieutenant. And such a young freshman is a captain? Let's just sit in the front. We won't be able to sit down later. A boy wearing a military uniform with the rank of second lieutenant sat down and brought a few of his roommates with him, hello classmate, there's no one next to you, right, Su Qin shook his head, no one, those few boys were all carrying the rank of second lieutenant, obviously enlisted in the army after graduating from undergraduate school and then came back to study in graduate school, or else they wouldn't have been commissioned in advance, the boy who had just opened his mouth was obviously a bit of a chatterbox, as soon as he sat down, he was talking to the people next to him, and they were all discussing content that had nothing to do with this lecture, classmate, you this rank, that boy, suddenly came over and said to Su Qin, you can't wear it indiscriminately, just get over it, when it is caught by the narcotics, but it is going to be a big deal, take it off for you now, this concerned tone was as if he was really concerned about Su Qin, Su Qin, ha, huh? you think I'm wearing it myself for fun, ensign, speak in a more respectful tone, Su Qin said calmly, with an icy coldness inside his tone, the next moment, puff, not only that boy, but also several of his friends, all laughed out, they were all graduate students, they had all been down in the company, they were the ones who had actually been ordained, and of course they knew that the rank wasn't such a good promotion, at Su Qin's age, he is only 18 or 19 right, the captain of the army, not to mention the captain, not to mention captain, even second lieutenant is impossible, that's something you have to graduate before you can be decorated, what's the most likely rank for a 17 or 18 year old, that is, to be a conscript, to be a private, no, classmates you don't pretend ah, a moment really the audit attracted, found that I guess you have to be notified of criticism, hurry hurry, the boy was also a familiar face, 
and was about to give Su Qin his rank. I came to pick it for you. You just joined the school now. You don't know yet. I was just like you. I joined the school early. I understand these things. You can just ask me later. The next moment, Su Qin coldly swept a glance. Attention. Swish. The boy subconsciously stood up. Snap. He immediately made a stance and straightened his body. The students and teachers that came in around them, almost all of them clear military personnel, all looked at the second lieutenant in the front row who stood up, all a bit confused. Being lectured here? How much of a grudge does this have to be? That boy instantly made a big red face and sat down. You, you kid, are really not seeing the coffin not shedding tears off. I good intentions to persuade you. You so engaged. Then do not blame me to find the audit ah. You, be nice. Just as the boy picked up his cell phone and was about to make a call, suddenly, Zhang Weigua walked in with a straight face. Swish, the moment they saw Zhang Weigua, everyone present stood up and saluted Zhang Weigua at the same time. This was the honorary principal, who was also the head of the Army Research Institute, as well as an academician, belonging to the superiors of everyone present. So everyone got up and saluted at the sight of Zhang Weigua. However, Su Qin was the fastest one to sit down. He sat down very quickly. Even when Zhang Weigua's hand was lowered, the boy next to him, don't want to die. Good guy. Academician didn't even take a seat. You just sat down right. Isn't that proper disrespect? Must not be taught a good lesson? Sure enough, in his eyes, at this moment Zhang Weigua is walking over. Obviously, this is to come directly to Su Qin. This was to settle accounts. Ha ha ha. He instantly rejoiced in his heart. This kid who doesn't know the sky and the earth, this time is really finished. Sure enough, Zhang Weigua came over. Toward the first row came. However, the next moment, Zhang Weigua looked at the boy next to Su Qin and patted his shoulder. Classmate, give me a seat. I will sit next to him. That boy. How many? How many meanings? Dean, not here to clean up this person? Instead, to sit next to him? Specialize in sitting next to him? What the hell ah hey? Dean is a major general ah. Chapter 022, crazy? How dare you question the academician? The boy next to him was already completely stunned, because what was in front of him was indeed beyond his imagination. What's the situation? Who was this young man? Could it be a relative of Dean Zhang, going through the back door? It was because of Academician's relationship that he was able to be honored as a captain? So he's from Academician Zhang's family? Is he his granddaughter-in-law? What? What the hell? The boy, at this moment, was frozen. Come on, make way. It's about to start. Zhang Weigua saw that the boy didn't make a move, but instead patted his shoulder. What are you freezing for? Zhang Weigua's body carried an oppressive force of a superior. Soon, the boy gave up his position. At this time, Su Qin, on the other hand, yawned, Dean, how's it going over there at the factory? Zhang Weigua immediately replied, it's been coordinated, the production line and your side are kept in sync, and mass production can begin at any time. Su Qin nodded and didn't say anything else. The boy next to him, this, what does this mean? This person, was actually asking Dean Zhang about things? The other Dean Zhang, an academician, rank major general, is actually answering questions honestly? As a secretary? Am I crazy? Or is this world crazy? This, won't be, even if it is a relative will not have to do this point you. A horrified thought arose in the boy's mind. Could it be that, he surprisingly, really got this rank by virtue of his own scientific research? Upon rising this thought, it was as if a huge mountain had pressed towards him. This vision, it was too terrifying. Freshman, but the rank of captain, with his own strength. What level? In the future, the guaranteed rank can reach colonel right? Soon, the lecture began. On the stage was an old professor in his 70s, the deputy director of the Air Force Research Institute, as well as an academician. Hello everyone, I'm Wen Chang Yuan. Everyone should know me. The lecture I'm going to give today is about the application of detection and combat drones in the army. That is, the Air Force equipment configured by the army. Wen Chang Yuan's expression was serious, in the current situation. It seems that most of the countries in the world have paired their drones with Air Force units. But in the current vast plains battlefield of the Black Earth, the pairing of drones with the army seems more appropriate now. The detection and combat UAVs, with their vast applications. My point in this lecture is that it is also important to move forward as quickly as possible with the pairing of army and UAV units. To form army UAV units and integrate them into army units at platoon and company level. To realize air support for individual combat units. What followed was some explanation of the concept. Su Qin, on the other hand, began to listen carefully. When Cheng Yuan's idea was correct, in the current informationized battlefield, the role of drones was unquestionable. As for the current army of the Dragon Kingdom, 
it hadn't been widely equipped with drones, so in modern warfare, it was very important and urgent to carry out the reform of drone establishment. This is a reconnaissance drone model taken out by the Air Force Research Institute. If paired with the Army you can obtain a wide field of vision. Fumi Sianjian then took out a model drone that was like a small fighter jet. It was a real model, an ordinary model. However, just at the sight of that model, Su Qin's brain was racing. Ding! Perceived a comprehensible object. In the process of comprehending technology, relevant field, drones, automatically turn on 100% brain computing rate. A feeling of brain expansion came. Su Qin only felt that a large amount of knowledge was pouring inside his mind, and the knowledge was rushing into his brain as if it were an infusion, and it was being enriched in abundance. Ding! Successfully comprehended. Successfully obtained. A full set of design drawings for the drone swarm cruise system. Note, will include drone design drawings, system code, Su Qin's complexion. For a moment, was stunned. Unmanned aircraft swarm cruise system? What does it mean? But as the knowledge poured in, he slowly understood the meaning. Zhang Weigui turned his head, glanced at Su Qin, and asked, How is it? Do you have any thoughts after listening? This was, inquiring. The boy from earlier was confused. Crazy. Dean Zhang, you're an academician. A major general ah, how did you go and ask such a youngster a question? Outrageous. Su Qin, on the other hand, replied without hesitation. Paper. Pen. The tone was as if he was going to write something on the spot. The boy. So pretentious? Who's going to believe this? And it doesn't say anything. Okay. I'll go get it now. Surprisingly to everyone, Zhang Weigua didn't have any intention of looking down on, or rather questioning. Instead, he was a bit excited and started to let people go get pens and paper. When Shang Yuan stood on the stage, looking at the dissimilarity below, a little dazed, Zhang Weigua, not such a abrupt person, right? He was quite steady ah. Is there any problem with this concept that I am talking about? Any questions that everyone has are open to be raised, and I am ready to resolve them. When Shang Yuan said with a serious expression, Sure enough, Su Qin raised his hand. Without waiting for Wen Chang Yuan to call, he directly stood up. Su Qin's tone was calm. Why do drones need to be paired for the army to use? If an inspection and attack drone is used, then it can become a combat system of its own, completing the process of discovery and attack. Upon hearing this, the army officers on the stage nodded their heads. Yes, why should it be paired with the army? If it can discover and attack on its own, wouldn't that be even more of a way to capture the fighter opportunity as quickly as possible? You have to know that on the battlefield, opportunities often flash by. When Shang Yuan smiled helplessly at his words, because the current cost of drones is too high, the cost of a military drone is over $10,000, which is already equivalent to the cost of 20 assault rifles. It is too uneconomical and uneconomical to use it as the main combat force. However, Su Qin did not back down. No, there is a better way. By directly establishing a drone swarm system, with fighters, reconnaissance planes, ground attack planes, and replenishment air carriers within the drone swarm, one would be able to achieve air control in an area and deal huge blows to ground units. This is the most proper use of drones. At the words of, everyone, was confused. Ah, not, you. How many onions ah, how dare you question the academician's theory, and when you mention it like that, it's straight to a complete UAS, are you serious, crazy, chapter 023, average price of 2000 apiece, impossible, all the officers present, both those who knew Su Qin and those who didn't, especially the lower the rank, the more they felt that Su Qin was crazy, although you're a captain, well, it's awesome, everyone recognized that a 20 year old captain was indeed a heaven defying existence. The future was foreseeable would definitely have an unlimited future. If he could maintain his talent, in the future, his rank might even be able to reach Major General. There is a chance to become the existence of the director of the institute. But, you are now only 20. You go to question the scientific research achievements of a brigadier general level academician? What? Isn't it a bit too outrageous ah? Crap, this kid is really daring ah. That's Professor Wen ah. That's the deputy of the Air Force Research Institute. Academician one ah, the boy who had just given up his seat was completely shocked. You this? Indeed there is a bit too much for people to think about ah, you're already infinitely close to being a death wish. Okay, the opposite party is a brigadier general. You a small captain. Also dare to question his research results? You brat. Zhang Weigua also changed his face. This is a drone. Something that Professor Wen has been working on for 20 years. And you've even started to doubt it just like that. Can you give some face? It's not that I'm giving face, it's that you simply can't possibly come up with a better opinion. This is a study from the Air Force side, you didn't even study it. 
Zhang Weiguo was also all numb. Not. I know that your Su Qin's talent is indeed very counterintuitive. Counterintuitive to the point where you can come up with the existence of a 400 kilometer electromagnetic cannon. But this is just to listen to a lecture. Isn't it a little bit too much of a no-brainer for you to come up with a new view directly on the spot? Good. Your name is Su Qin, right? When Shang Yuan didn't get angry, but instead wore a smile on his face. Old Zhang has been mentioning you to me, saying that you have a great talent. And from what I can see now, you do have ideas. When these words came out, the students below were shocked, especially those graduate students who came to listen to the lecture. They all sized up Su Bai. What kind of person was he? How could he be mentioned by academician Zhang and said to be very talented? What had been developed? Could it be that he had come up with some extraordinary scientific research results? Su Qin, on the other hand, had a calm gaze, not flustered in the slightest by the stares of Zhang Weiguo and the hundreds of people in the entire staircase classroom, but stood up indifferently. I am Su Qin, but those results I had before are unimportant. What we need to grasp now is the issue under discussion now. When Chang Yuan was just stunned, he mentioned Su Qin's previous achievements because he didn't want this kid to look too bad when he was refuted in a while. After all, Having achievements in other fields didn't necessarily mean having research on the drone side. Therefore, when Chang Yuan specifically mentioned Su Qin's research results to make a padding first, as a result, Su Qin did not follow the rules, and directly set aside, to start the argument directly? Good. Then your idea is, when Chang Yuan took a deep breath, he was always a person who listened to other people's suggestions. So at this moment, he also really wanted to know what Su Qin's idea was. My idea has already been stated. To establish a true drone swarm system, Su Qin's tone was icy, through a large number of drones, directly sees air control in an airspace, and the entire system is able to realize enemy reconnaissance, ground attack, seizure of air control, and a long period of coverage. That means designing at least four drones? When Cheng Yuan asked, Su Qin nodded, yes, but the number of designs and production lines can be kept to the complexity of two drones through modularized design. These four are, unmanned reconnaissance aircraft, unmanned attack aircraft. These two will take on a fighter-like shape and use jet engines for high-speed movement, while unmanned energy supply aircraft, unmanned bombers. These two will take on the propeller-type hovering drone type of civilian drones. Well, Fumi Chang Yuan nodded. It is indeed possible to reduce complexity through modularized design. At those words, the officers on stage were shocked. What a guy. The idea that Su Qin had said was actually favored by Academician 1. This also meant that it really did have the possibility of being implemented Ah, This young man really has something. To be able to be favored by academician's idea, then this was already a great honor. Phew. Zhang Weiguo also breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, this kid is not reckless and direct nonsense. As long as there is something that can be shaken out, then it is also okay. At the same time, a silhouette appeared at the door. It was Zhang Linyu. She quietly felt her way in, but found Su Qin standing there. Su Qin, what are you standing for? Zhang Lingyu ran to the other side of Su Qin and sat down, asking in a hurry. Wow, I felt that this professor's design was a bit flawed, so I came up with a bit of my own idea. Su Qin replied truthfully. Zhang Lingyu, she, confused. That's professor one up here. Are you trying to lose face? You don't know anything but electromagnetic cannons ah. Sit, down. Zhang Lingyu subconsciously prepared to pull Su Qin to sit down. Su Qin opened her hand. Stop it. The boy next to him, at this moment, his mouth was wide open. This, this was the first genius of defense university ever. Senior sister Zhang Linyu. At the same time, she was also the number one school flower of defense university. Not only did she have excellent grades, excellent scientific research, and a demonic talent, but even her face value was a defining existence. The result. Now, why did it appear here? And how did she sit next to this boy? It even looked so intimate? What the hell ah? That boy, completely broke down. Everything in front of him was all just too out of his imagination, leaving him directly confused, dog-faced on the spot. Good. Not bad. When Cheng Yuan nodded his head, this idea is indeed good. Through the four models, it is indeed possible to achieve the realization of an unmanned aircraft swarm system, thus being able to achieve the goal of combat. And if it is really developed, it will even play a role that can replace the combat formation formed by 10 fighters, and it also has a bombing function. Only. The cost. It's too high. Bunjabuchi banged the table. According to your idea. Then the price of a drone would be straight up to at least 20,000. And that's still just the cost. And that's not even counting the coding for the drone swarm system. Su Qin grinned. No need. According to my design. A group of drones. It's almost just $20,000. One group. 10 units. 
Wen Chang Yuan, Zhang Linyu, Zhang Weigwei, other officers on the scene. Ha, you, your design, average price of $2,000 a unit? Crazy, DJI isn't even that cheap. Chapter 024, this drawing of his, something's up, a military drone costs only $2,000? This was simply an impossible situation. Today's drone development is in a fledgling stage. Civil basic models also need more than $2,000, and still the most beggar the kind of beggar version. Not to mention the military. Military hovering drones are at least 20, 000 to start. After all, the military drone is the need for at least dozens of kilometers of remote control distance, and at the same time also need to have the ability to drop bombs, shooting, and the endurance time is certainly much longer than ordinary drones. The main thing is inexpensive. And now, Su Qin actually said that he only needed $20,000 for a group of drones, and that there were 10 units in a group? How is this possible? It's simply crazy. Zhang Weigua people were dumbfounded. Su Qin, you are damn crazy, aren't you? You are indeed a genius. But you cannot just pretend in the field that you do not understand ah. If you say that the electromagnetic cannon side of things, then you can indeed now be considered a top expert in the entire field. A spit and a nail kind of thing. But, brother, you are not at all ah. Your level in the field of drones we passed the test ah. You simply did not pass ah. Zhang Weigua was directly numb. That was the paper he changed. This kid who couldn't even understand the basic circuitry principles of a drone. What kind of courage does he have? Not at all. Have you always been this courageous? Su Qin. Su Qin. Zhang Linyu was also anxious. She hastily pulled Su Qin's sleeve. Don't. Don't be like this. Quickly apologize to Professor Wen. This matter will be over. Don't just talk nonsense about things you don't know yourself. You'll offend people. Quickly. Quickly sit down. Although Zhang Linyu's emotional intelligence was not considered high, and was herself a self-possessed genius existence. Only, she was also aware that pussies that weren't in her field, that couldn't be pretended. Su Qin is a bit outrageous right now ah, I'm confident in my theory. Su Qin removed Zhang Linyu's hand. I'm still repeating my original point. It's actually possible to seize the entire air control through the design of the drone swarm, without having to deploy the air force, moving out the price of a fighter. I can cover the national air control of a small country in Europa. If, with my design, you, how is this possible? When Chang Yuan on the stage was stunned for a moment, crying out impossibly. Military drones and civilian drones are very different. Whether it's the material, the basic design, the self-destruct facility, that all needs to be laid out. It's not possible that so many costs are pulled down to only $20,000. This, it's impossible. When Wen Chang Yuan opened his mouth, the officers below all suddenly understood as well. Wait, good brat. This kid is bragging, isn't he? How is that possible? How is that possible? For the cost of one fighter jet, you can cover the airspace of a small country? One hundred million dollars and you can take over the airspace? You're crazy. How is that possible? War is a money burning game. A single departure of a fighter jet is a few million dollars. Just burning fuel is a few hundred thousand dollars. And a single missile out is a million dollar price tag. You only need a hundred million dollars to take control of a small country? Is not a person stupid? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. The boy from earlier was the first to laugh out. After that, it was the other officers who started to laugh. This was indeed a little too ignorant of the heights of heaven. Without any concept of war, relying on his own imagination he thought that he could sway the entire battlefield with very little money. But instead he came out and disgraced the entire school. No way. How is that possible? The money for a fighter jet? Play? That's right. What's the money of a fighter jet? And take air control? Zero zero later. This is not just to rectify the workplace ah. Looking at this situation, that is afraid that it is also ready to rectify the battlefield ah. Basically none of the officers below believed Su Qin's statement. There was no other way. It was really not possible at all. Right? The breeze outside the window blew in. But it was unable to blow away the awkward atmosphere of the entire staircase classroom. No one believed Su Qin. He he. When Shan Yuan also laughed and shook his head. You really don't stop until you reach the Yellow River. Are really not ready to admit defeat. This old professor who didn't have too many some thoughts, wasn't angry at all either. In his opinion, Su Qin was just a student who didn't know the heights of heaven, and he was also such a student in his studies, many times not thinking deeply before opening his mouth and judging the whole thing. All right, everyone stop scoffing. People have such courage. Do you guys? When Chang Yuan raised his head and swept a glance at the officers below, the people here were not pure soldiers. All of them were scientific researchers who were engaged in military industry. So, all shot up. Cough. Soon, the scene quieted down. The general had spoken. 
Who else would dare to open their mouths here? When Sheng Yuan glanced at Zhang Weigua, then I'll dispose of myself? Zhang Weigua nodded. He was the first in command of the Army's Ministry of Science and Technology, while Wen Cheng Yuan was the second in command of the Air Force's Ministry of Science and Technology, so it was reasonable to say that Zhang Weigua was also considered a leader, so at least it was necessary to ask for his opinion. When Cheng Yuan looked at Su Bai, all right then, since you said that it is possible to reach this level according to your design, then you can try. Can you take a drawing out now? The question, thrown at Su Qin, aha, he didn't dwell on it too much, but nodded dryly. Pen, paper, soon, Zhang Weigua personally sent it over. He took two steps forward and placed the broad pen and paper in front of Su Qin. Without any hesitation, Su Qin directly started drawing the drawings, that feeling of knowledge pouring in inside his mind made him unconsciously want to write it all out, so he didn't have any care at this moment. All right, everyone else sit down for a while, I'm going to send you all an article, so everyone read it. When Shang Yuan did not realize the seriousness of the matter in the slightest, he waved his hand, signaling that the others could do their own thing for a while. Ugh, Zhang Lin Yu sighed, can't stop you, why are you so stubborn, just like a bull. Zhang Lin Yu was also all helpless, he really couldn't pull it off ah. As for Wen Chang Yuan, at this time, he had already started looking at Su Qin's drawings. Old Zhang, did this student of yours have a foundation in drones before? He raised his head and asked Zhang Weigui next to him. At this moment, Old Zhang was looking at the messages in his cell phone. Ha, huh? Zhang Weigui was confused. Drone, no ah, uh, Su Qin doesn't know anything. He ah, uh, his drone level is estimated to be the level of a freshman, so it can be said that he doesn't have any. Zhang Weigui subconsciously said. However, Right after Zhang Weigua opened his mouth, when Cheng Yuan had a gloomy expression. You, are you sure? This drawing of his, there's something to it. Chapter 025, Future Air Control. The moment when Cheng Yuan said this, the surrounding students were all shocked. Ah, this drawing, a little something? What does that mean? The scientific research officers were baffled. Acknowledged by Wen Lao Chang? What? How is it possible? Zhang Weigua was the first to call out impossibility outright his eyes filled with astonishment inside. How can this be possible? Su Qin his drone level was a test paper that I personally corrected. It was originally less than a passing level. And the recently scheduled courses didn't teach drone content either. Zhang Lin Yu, did you carry out the drone course in advance? Zhang Lin Yu shook her head blankly. I, I didn't ah. Uh, I just strictly followed your arrangement. The one who was shocked by these words was Wen Chang Yuan. How is this possible? The drawings he drew out now would at least have to be drawn by a graduate student who has studied it intensely for a year or two. This is a drawing that is absolutely in line with aerodynamics and drone structural science. Wow. Somehow, Zhang Weigua sighed in relief. Fortunately, it wasn't that demonic. It was just a level comparable to a graduate student in the relevant specialty. That, too, was not much of a problem. It wasn't as exaggerated as with the electromagnetic cannon. Ha 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 ha. That's just fine then. A bit of self-study coupled with talent should be achievable. Zhang Lin Yu also nodded her head. Fortunately, Su Qin wasn't that powerful. He hadn't reached that point of being able to achieve anything at the touch of a button. Yeah, Su Qin's learning talent is actually not particularly high. I've been teaching him for more than a month's worth of lessons, so I'm probably quite clear. She was very clear about Su Qin's learning level. How can I say about talent? Not bad, very good, but not top-notch enough. It was completely incomparable to her own. This was Zhang Lingyu's arrogance, but rather an objective fact. She was an existence known as a genius in the past. No, when Cheng Yuan immediately spoke out heavily, even his breathing became a bit ragged. Now, all unrelated personnel go out immediately. Everything that happens here is kept secret according to confidentiality. Immediately, the students and officers present. Ah, what the hell? Didn't we say in the beginning that we should read the relevant documents and papers for ourselves? But how come we're starting to be told to get out of here after only a short while? This reversal came too quickly. Is it necessary? Zhang Weigua was also stunned. He was unaware of the level of this drone. So he was also just a dog-faced dumbfounded throughout. But after he saw Wen Cheng Yuan's appraising look, he immediately understood. Other than Zhang Lin Yu, all others leave the field immediately. Call the guards over and control this surrounding. The entire school building, all clear out. All classes are immediately suspended. Although Zhang Weigua was not the principal who was in charge, he spoke with more vigor and power than the principal inside the defense university. This was equivalent to the difference between an incumbent general and a principal inside a military academy. Of course it was the general's orders that were more mandatory. Yes, soon, along with the arrival of the guards, the entire school building was completely emptied. What's the situation ah? 
A boy asked his companion who had just struck up a conversation with Su Qin. I don't know. That boy, at this moment, was already completely shocked. What had happened? Shouldn't that captain have gone through connections and back doors to finally get this rank? Was this a breakthrough promotion? This should have been someone else giving him scientific research ah. But why? Just now, academician Wen Chung Yuan was also so shocked at the drawings he made? Even the building was already completely sealed. How is it possible? This boy, his eyes were dull and full of disbelief. So young a person, how is it possible to have such a wealth of research experience? And also took out so that the one academician are for only side eye, willing to clear the scene for its scientific and technological achievements. How is this possible? This is impossible ah. In this world, there was one more person who was shocked. What is this? Yeah, what the hell is going on here? I don't know ah. It seems like the building is closed because of a special situation. You this is not nonsense. We all know is sealed building, but damn not special circumstances how can seal. Compared to the clamor and noise downstairs, the upstairs was much quieter. The latter classroom that was full just a moment ago is now empty. In the front row, Su Qin was holding a pen as he gently wrote and drew. Sha 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 sha. Inside the entire classroom, there was only the sound of his brush strokes as he drew. Half an hour later, swish, Su Qin finished drawing one drawing and started the next one. Give it to me. When Chang Yuan couldn't wait to take it over and began to watch the contents. What's going on? What exactly are the results of this? Zhang Weigua couldn't read it, but that didn't delay him from impatiently wanting to know the results. Wait. When Chang Yuan immediately dived down to check the entire drawing. This was the design plan for the unmanned attack aircraft. Aerodynamics. This doesn't pay much attention to aerodynamics, and it's only even just past the speed of sound. This academician in the unmanned field had a somewhat dull gaze at the moment. A drone with such parameters shouldn't be able to gain much of an advantage. But, and yet the cost of construction is only 15,000. Suddenly, as if it was a bolt of lightning, a large amount of information ran through and flowed inside his mind. Everything instantly connected, and a bold idea appeared in Wen Chang Yuan's mind. Subconsciously, Wen Chang Yuan was ready to slam the table, but he hardened himself for fear of disturbing Su Qin who was drawing. Good. Excellent. Zhang Weiguo was stunned and hurriedly asked. What does this say exactly? Is this drone's performance good? Wen Chang Yuan shook his head, but his eyes were filled with admiration. The performance of this drone. It's poor. Extraordinarily poor. Zhang Weiguo was baffled. Ha! Huh? Zhang Linyu was also dumbfounded. This shouldn't be. The thing that Su Qin took out. That should have been an unbelievable performance ah. Uh, then. What does that say? Zhang Weiguo hurriedly asked after him. He didn't believe that this result of Su Qin would be so bad. If it was really like this. Then when Chang Yuan wouldn't have this expression. Who? When Chang Yuan took a deep breath. Although, the performance is indeed poor. But, this entire drone, with its low cost and weak performance, this speed is yet enough to capture the enemy's fighters. And while cruising, it directly self-destructs at a set position, thus destroying the enemy fighters through the chance of self-destruction. Take the air control. Chapter 026, Su Qin is our army's man. Don't you dare. It was. Su Qin had never had the intention of designing a super counterintuitive unmanned fighter that could dogfight with the latest Eagle fighters from the very beginning, but rather an existence similar to that of a cruise missile. If, a missile that can continue to cruise and will not be detonated by heat trapping bombs is always waiting for local fighters, how would the enemy's air force, then, be able to cope? And how can it cope? Therefore, when Wen Chang Yuan saw this drawing, has been completely excited. Just, just this one drawing, it's enough. With just this one drawing, it's possible to produce batches of combat drones to seize control of the air with suicide attacks. Air control. When Cheng Yuan's excitement was obvious. As for Zhang Weigua, he was still excited even though he didn't know in which direction this design was bullish. That means, relying on this drone, it can fight against the enemy's fighters? Humph. When Cheng Yuan slowly exhaled. This Su Qin. Another credit. Zhang Weigua swung his fist violently. Good boy. Zhang Linyu just stood there staring blankly at Su Qin who was in front of her, still drawing something there, her eyes a little confused. Growling dash suddenly, Su Qin's stomach rumbled. His hand that was drawing the drawings also unconsciously slowed down a bit. I'll go buy some food now. Zhang Linyu immediately got up and trotted away from the classroom. Ha! Huh? When Shang Yuan was just confused. It's just drawing a drawing. Shouldn't it be over by now? Ha! Huh? Zhang Weigua was smiling. Take a look. When Shang Yuan looked down and was instantly shocked. Nice guy. At this moment, Su Qin was drawing the second diagram. He didn't have any pause at all, but instead just continued to start drawing the second design directly. And, it seems like, the same fine work, it's not. Ah this, 
When Chang Yuan was shocked by this scene for a moment to the point of being unable to speak, his gaze a bit dumbfounded. The last time Su Qin looked like this, Zhang Weiguo was very proud. That was when the truth was developed. Is that how the real truth was taken out? When Chang Yuan is the Air Force Scientific Research Number 2, of course, know that in the end how that is a wait. At the moment only feel incomparably shocked. Your family Zhang Linyu, how come you are suddenly so good at talking? In the past, when she was drinking at your house, she asked her to buy a bottle of wine and directly refused. But as a result, she is now actually buying food for this freshman who was several years younger than her. He suddenly remembered and then asked. Afterward, Zhang Weigua's smug old face immediately darkened. It was as if the cabbages he had raised had been vaulted over. Ha! He didn't say anything, but turned his head to the side. Soon, Zhang Lin Yu came up with the food. This time, it just so happened that it was mealtime in the cafeteria. And instead of buying instant food, she simply packed four meals up from the cafeteria, which looked very sumptuous. Little girl understands ah, bringing ours up as well. When Chang Yuan was cheerful, smiling as he prepared to take it, Zhang Lin Yu's tone was icy, no, it's all for Su Qin. When academician's hand was just stiffly placed in the air, for a while, it did not retract. He kind of didn't believe his ears. Ah, 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 ah. All for this kid? You, this is more or less a billion a little bit wrong ah. Sha 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 at this moment, Su Qin was still there, constantly drawing the drawings, while also annotating and explaining the principles on the drawings, very focused. When Chang Yuan calmed himself down, who, it's fine, it's probably a big meal, it's just that, Su Qin seems to be very focused right now, and it's not right to disturb his scientific research state, right? However, just as when Chang Yuan was wondering there, Zhang Lin Yu, skillfully opened the lid of a serving of rice and picked up a spoon, she, have the shredded fish and rice, filled that spoon up, and then held it up, open your mouth, Zhang Lin Yu unexpectedly, personally fed Su Qin, and at this moment, Su Qin subconsciously opened his mouth, then, he ate the food in the spoon cleanly, Zhang Lin Yu naturally continued to start feeding a second mouthful, when Chang Yuan, crap, what the hell, is this still the same genius girl, was this still the same Zhang Lin Yu who, at a private party, had said that she would take on a daughter's body in the future and take over the position of director of the Army Central Research Institute from her own uncle through her own scientific research achievements? This was the number one genius of the entire Army Research Department for 20 years. Surprisingly, she's feeding a brat? And willingly, what the hell? When Chang Yuan, at this moment, was already completely dumbfounded, he turned his head in a daze and looked at Zhang Weigua next to him. Old Zhang, this grandniece of yours. Hurrah! Zhang Weigua was already gloomy at this moment, looking at Su Qin with a hateful look. Don't, old Zhang, don't get excited. When Chang Yuan immediately worried if this violent old Zhang would take out a knife and knife Su Qin, stopping it at the first opportunity. This is not your family's niece-in-law. This is the future of the country. The future of the Air Force and Army scientific research. He deliberately pulled the Air Force into this, fearing that Zhang Weigua wouldn't be able to hold it. This is not just a talent of the Army Research Department. It is still a talent of my Air Force Research Department. You army will not want to take it alone. It is shared by all. When Chang Yuan here played a rascal. If Zhang Weigua because of their own cabbage was arched. Angry. Then their own Air Force Department can logically pull Su Qin also to the Air Force Research Institute. You fart. Although Zhang Weigua's face did not look good. He immediately retorted. Su Qin is none of your Air Force's business. That's our army's captain. I personally gave him the rank to wear. What's that say about your Air Force? Shameless. When Chang Yuan, amazing, for the sake of talent even his own grandniece got involved. Zhang Lin Yu, on the other hand, blankly glanced at these two old men and continued to start feeding. At this moment, Su Qin, although the situation outside was not in his head at all, not even the slightest bit aware of it, but subconsciously still ate the food that was brought to his mouth. It was like instinct. MMM, the fish and meat shredded is delicious. There's also a bit of maple tofu mixed in there. It's flavorful and smooth. Hmm. Why isn't it the same bread as last time? Is this someone feeding me? Su Qin was suddenly stunned. Then looked up. He then saw Zhang Linyu who was feeding himself. The two of them stared at each other. Zhang Linyu's small face instantly turned red, completely losing the appearance of the high cool genius girl from before. Ding. Please enter the state of concentration as soon as possible. The heartstream state is about to be lost. Su Qin hurriedly returned inside the work in front of him. Only, he still saw it. That blushing face. H.M.? I flirted with another beauty? It's not, is it? Chapter 027, This Cost, Can't Be Saved. Of course, Su Qin didn't know anything. He had nothing to do. 
If you think too much instead of self-centered, the little girl that is clearly blushing, that is because of the fever blush, off their own thing? What's the matter with you? So, Su Qing full of their attention back to the drawings in front of them, who, he slowly exhaled a breath, afterward, it continued to start drawing the drawings, current concentration, 99%, current concentration, 100%, the host has successfully returned to the state of heart flow, please maintain, current energy intake is stable, and can continue to supply the brain with high speed operation, just like that, Su Qin continued to start drawing the drawings, while next to him were the two academicians who were there watching nervously, as well as Zhang Linyu who was feeding her. The second drawing, is it useful? After seeing the half-drawn second reconnaissance drone drawing, Zhang Weigua asked nervously. He didn't understand this aspect, so he could only ask when Chang Yuan. Well, when Chang Yuan nodded, for the time being, we can't see the level of technology yet, but it's definitely a qualified drone design drawing. I'm instead hoping that he won't be able to draw it. Somehow, such a thought rose in Wen Chang Yuan's heart. Indeed, if he once again easily drew design drawings that would put the entire Dragon Air Force Research Institute to shame, then it would simply be too much for people to live with. The drawings that a group of researchers had spent half their lives pursuing. You, a young man, just took it out? Isn't this not even letting people live? It should be about right for one sheet. One is a jet drone, while the one drawn now is a propeller drone. It shouldn't be that good at it. When Cheng Yuan finally spoke up, Zhang Weigua also nodded. He didn't believe that Su Bai could still take it out anymore. Indeed, he didn't believe it anymore. This drone has a name. Suddenly, Zhang Linyu, who had just fed a portion of rice, stood up, glanced at the drawing next to her, and opened her mouth. The two took a look. Indeed, Hornet. The name of this unmanned fighter is called Hornet. When Chang Yuan savored the name, indeed, it's well acquired. This drone's attack method is to directly self-destruct and the enemy's fighters are directly interchanged, just like the hornet that gets out of its body and pulls out all its intestines after attacking once with a stinger. Well, the name can indeed work. Zhang Weigua also nodded, and the name of the second drawing also came out. Hummingbird. The name of the reconnaissance-type drone was Hummingbird, Swish. After a total of over an hour, Su Qin finished drawing that drone, and then started the third drone drawing, when Cheng Yuan was the first to take it over. How's it? Zhang Weigua was nervous. And in the end, all that answered him was Wen Cheng Yuan's silence. After a while, good. Wen Cheng Yuan nodded heavily. The extreme electronic control design allows the scout drone to be able to do long stays, and the low-cost camera control surprisingly manages to keep the cost of the entire drone at a thousand dollars. Yup, this reconnaissance drone, costing a hefty one thousand, it was even several hundred dollars cheaper than DJI's entry model drone. This was simply outrageous. Good. Zhang Weigua heavily swung his fist towards the air. Su Qin this kid is competitive. Once this good news came out, the one who appeared the most flat on the scene was instead Zhang Linyu. She just opened the next portion of rice and started mixing it. This one, it was sour cowpea minced pork and fried squash. Zhang Linyu mixed the rice, and then she served up a spoonful. Ah, she let out a sound. Subsequently, Su Qin subconsciously opened her mouth and caught that spoonful of rice, then chewed it contentedly, without a single pause in the movements of her hand at all. The color of the sky, too, gradually began to change. The sun was setting in the west, and the sky was already red at this moment. The entire building was surrounded by a company of security guards, not allowing anyone to enter or exit, completely controlling the situation at the scene. The passing students of Defense University were stunned. What is this situation ah? Uh, directly sealed the teaching building? Isn't this a bit too outrageous? Why is it still sealed? A boy asked his roommate next to him. His roommate was the boy who had persuaded Su Qin to take off the fake military insignia at the very beginning. At this moment, his expression was gloomy and depressed. I don't know. Don't ask me. He just buried his head in dry rice, attempting to turn his grief into an appetite. Students passing by around the school building would voice their doubts. This building has been closed for a whole day. What the hell is going on? This has never happened before. Could it be that someone jumped off the building? Impossible ah. Could it be that some large-scale scientific research results have been produced? How can such a thing happen? Can a large scientific research result be taken out just by talking about it? Something should have happened. If it's about scientific research results, how about I take my head off and kick it as a ball for everyone? Only when twilight slowly descended did Su Qin complete the third drawing. Naturally, at the first moment, when Chang Yuan directly took it over. This third drawing, however, had taken more than four hours to draw. The two academicians were already numb by this time, and had both taken turns eating, before they finally managed to wait until Su Qin finished the third drawing. 
Hiss, the moment he saw those five densely packed drawings, when Chang Yuan directly drew a mouthful of cool air. Don't just draw a breath of cool air. You tell me instead. Zhang Weiguo was anxious. He couldn't read it. If he were to change the technology on the army side, he would basically know it all. Hurry up. When Chang Yuan's expression was grave. Well, it's also a hovering drone. But, it's even bigger than a normal small helicopter. Zhang Weigui, what the hell? Drone, but bigger than a helicopter? What the hell? This is a resupply aircraft, providing ordinary drones with unmanned replacement of ammunition and batteries, thus being able to safeguard the operation of the entire group. Fumi Shirabuchi took a deep breath. The cost of this one alone occupies 5,000. This time, the one who was confused was Zhang Weigui. Not, you're crazy. The cost of one helicopter is at least 100,000. How dare you give me the idea that this drone is bigger than a helicopter, and as a result has higher functions, and it only costs 5,000? When Chang Yuan nodded heavily, well, because the important operating system is missing. All of this, it all has to depend on, having an excellent operating system, no human operation, no human operation, that AI program, must be in place, otherwise, the cost of this can't be saved. Chapter 028, Hand Rubbing Code? Crazy. Yes. Su Qin is now taking out these three technological products that are not too much of a breakthrough in the upper limit of science and technology. At best, it is considered a collection of aerodynamics, drone mechanics, and design. This hardware are still just floating clouds because Su Qin had compressed the communication system to the extreme. This itself was one of the most important systems of the drone. On the battlefield, drones belong to weapons that could be easily interfered with. After all, the drone pilot in the rear had to pilot a drone dozens or hundreds of kilometers away, and that often required satellite-level electromagnetic signals. However, there was no way to guarantee a signal on the field. There were simply too many sources of interference with the signal. Unless, unless the mothership is used as the center, and the supply plane is allowed to directly act as the signal center, and signal command the surrounding drones through the supply plane. Otherwise, there is definitely absolutely no way to do castrate so many communication boards. What this builds is not a cheap and practical drone, but a pile of garbage. When Chang Yuan slowly opened his mouth, his tone grave. Zhang Weigua was directly confused. Since you know how to develop it, then why haven't you guys focused all of your direction on the communication system centered on the supply plane? You can engage in cooperation with us, it's not difficult. When Chang Yuan gave him a blank look, is that the point? The point is how to contact the supply plane. In that situation, there is no way to contact the supply plane as well. If the supply plane is terminated that can be a whole group of drones will have to be paralyzed altogether. Wow. Zhang Weigui responded and nodded. But, suddenly, when Chang Yuan took a deep breath, in his mind, a thought surfaced. But what? It's fine. That simply couldn't have appeared. That's not the kind of technology that should appear in this era. When Chang Yuan shook his head, directly skipping over Zhang Weigui's question. Indeed, it should be impossible for it to appear. It should be impossible. Nope is definitely not going to take that thing out, when Chang Yuan's eyes were tinged with gravity. However, at this moment, Su Qin was continuing to draw. The fourth one, the fourth drawing was, Jet Bomber. It can carry 10 bombs? That's indeed okay, and that's a speed that's close to the speed of sound. The top speed can't even exceed the speed of sound, so the cost can be kept at one or two thousand dollars again. When Chang Yuan nodded, Zhang Lin Yu curiously asked, then does this mean that Su Qin, his research this time, has yielded results again? However, academician Wen shook his head gravely. No, his current design relies too much on the AI. To design it this way without an operating system, then this design is bound to fail. The cost is saved, but there is no way to make it practical. Unless, an artificial intelligence level operating system can be designed, able to use the supply plane as the center and directly command the drone swarms within the group. Fumi Sianjian finally spoke up about this shortcoming. And this drawback was precisely what the present day Dragon Kingdom lacked. It's impossible. Impossible. Zhang Weigua also sighed. Outside the window, it had completely dimmed at the moment, and the sky was dark. Let's go. Let's eat. It's impossible to write an AI program like that. This design of Su Qin's is ultimately only going to be reduced to a persistent topic for the relevant universities to work on, and it would be good if there's a breakthrough within 10 years. Zhang Weigua felt very sorry. Even he knew that artificial intelligence was the shortcoming of the entire Dragon Kingdom. Therefore, there was no possibility for Su Qin to create another miracle. But, to be able to leave behind a lasting subject to take out for research, Su Qin is also pretty good ah. Zhang Lin Yu suddenly spoke up, pointing out the problem. The two old men glanced at each other. The two smiled at each other. Ha ha ha. Yeah, 
that's rather the two of us being too demanding. Well, to be able to leave a persistent topic to be sent down to various research institutes and universities for research, Su Qin's second class merit this time around is also a no-brainer. And this is also a major breakthrough direction for the future drone fleet. Indeed the expectations are too high. The two academicians only reacted at this time. Yes, even if there were no results, this was still an extraordinary achievement. This was a topic that was qualified enough to be able to be issued to universities and research institutes across the country for research. This was definitely an unattainable honor for someone of Su Qin's age. Then, we'll go eat first. You take good care of him. When Chang Yuan stood up, only feeling a sore back, the words that followed were naturally addressed to Zhang Linyu. Zhang Linyu nodded. Good. She looked at Su Qin, who was still drawing there, with a hint of dissimilarity hidden in her eyes that she didn't even realize. Ka, the two academicians had just opened the door to the staircase classroom and were just about to walk out when, suddenly, Su Qin violently took out the last drawing in his hand, computer, Java language, once these words came out, Zhang Linyu's body, suddenly stiffened, afterward, she immediately reacted, okay, I'll go get it now, she immediately trotted off to get the computer, while Su Qin's sentence, it caused the two academicians to directly freeze at the door, ah, still coming, no way, is it really that counterintuitive? The two men looked at each other. Both saw the shock and impossibility from inside each other's eyes. Taking is a kind of incredulity. Not. You are engaged in hardware ah. Uh, you build cannons. Build drones also even so. But that operating system is software ah. Uh, that is to write code ah. Uh, that cannot be a field of ah. Uh, even the two academicians on the software things are not so understand. Is just starting. Cannot affect the degree of work only. And Su Qin. Surprisingly ready to know foundation hand rubbing code? Crazy. Knock knock knock. At the door, Zhang Linyu had already brought the laptop back. Here, I've turned it on and will plug it in right away. Her movements were quick, and she directly plugged in the computer. And Su Qin, his hands were already on the keyboard. He even, directly began to tear the code by hand. Can you, read it? Zhang Weigua poked Wen Chang Yuan next to him with shock inside his tone. Wen Chang Yuan was also in a cold sweat at this moment. I'll immediately call someone over now. In our academy, there is a younger reserve academician who is focused on software. I'll have him come over now. In this aspect of the program, it was indeed a bit too young. So much so that the highest segment in the field of military industry was a reserve academician. Hello? When Chang Yuan telephoned. Quick, come to Defense University. There's a student here who wants to hand rub the code for an advanced drone swarm operating system. Come and take a look. Chapter 029, The Operating System Was Written, The Entire Room Roared. Chien Ji over there was dumbfounded at the words, Ha, huh, a student writing a code, what are you calling me over for? Aren't you back at the institute now? Why are you still at the Defense University? According to Wen Chang Yuan's arrangement, he should have returned to the Air Force Central Research Institute long ago now. As a result, he was actually still over at the Defense University now? What's the situation? Hurry up, come here. Wen Chang Yuan's tone was, well, impatient. Guarantee that you definitely won't regret it. This technological achievement is really powerful. This code, it's worth a lot. At the words, Xianji over there is not believe, showed a smile. Dean Wen, you can be too underestimated our line of science and technology, to know the code towards the artificial intelligence aspect, to come up with the results but it is very difficult, or else so many programmers that are considered a researcher? So, impossible. The latter one, impossible was what he said to himself in his mind, after all, the opposite party was his own vice dean, the number two person in terms of research in the Dragon Air Force, it was better not to contradict such a figure, it was better to go over and take a look now, he he, if that student can really come up with results that amaze me, I'll stand upside down and shit myself on the spot, Xianji is only in his fifties, his mind is still relatively young, and he thought so in his heart, then, in the latter classroom, Xianji stood next to Su Qin, reading the program from the front all the way back with a synchronized computer. Holy shit, Qian Ji man directly stupid. This, this wasn't even at the level of a researcher. This writing code, it had to be at least a 20-year-old coder. And, this artificial intelligence program, very fierce, the algorithms for training are advanced. This machine learning board is also written with depth. The methods are more complex and at the same time immensely efficient. Every data that would have needed to be pushed through this time is all planned on. It was all written. How? Zhang Weigua's tone was a bit impatient. When it came to the code, he was even more confused. What is written densely? Usually want to use software. Directly call the affiliated code engineers to get it done on the line. Military scientific research itself is more emphasis on hardware. 
in the hardware to achieve a step-by-step -step breakthrough. This, Xianji's voice has some trembling. Directly take this program, take it to training, learning. At the end of the training, the program will choose the optimal result on its own, and ultimately form a mother hive algorithm that will send different commands down to the connected drones, thus realizing the drone hive network. This, algorithm is a top-notch algorithm that has never appeared before now, and I don't know if it can be realized. The moment these words came out, the other three people present, were all blinded. Zhang Weigwei, Wen Chang Yuan, Zhang Linyu, not, this was a bit of an exaggeration, wasn't it? If the previous drone design was already impressive enough, capturing the entire design requirements, it turned out that this operating system was actually such a top-notch existence as well? What? This is a bit outrageous. Who? Su Qin's breathing, gradually became even. Soon, he lay down on his back. Well, he fell asleep. The entire program is estimated to take at least 10 days to write. So, Xian Ji looked up and predicted the time needed for the entire project. And there's no way to get anyone to help because we simply won't. Zhang Weigui and Wen Chang Yuan looked at each other. Well, this would really only be a long-term battle. Writing code could take a lot more time than drawing a design. Otherwise, there wouldn't be an existence that was made into a mountain of shit in the programmer community. In the next few days, Su Qin had been soaking in the staircase classroom. And this latter classroom, now directly placed a comfortable detachable assembly bed, specifically for Su Qin to rest. As for eating? That could be Zhang Linyu personally hand-feeding. The others didn't have this treatment yet. These 10 days, a full 10 days. This code was written for 10 days. And this building, too, was sealed hard for 10 days. What's the situation? Now we can only be squeezed inside the old teaching building. The ash falling from above is choking me to death. A graduate student looked up and couldn't help but spit out. During the use of the new teaching building where Su Qin was, and because half of the school's teaching buildings had just been renovated and were still in the process of removing formaldehyde, a large portion of the students could only go to classes inside the old teaching building that had just been opened. When do you think we can go back? The boy asked. The boy who had spat on Su Qin earlier for wearing his rank indiscriminately was about to collapse. I don't know. He was numb ah. Originally, he thought that the boy had really just simply gone and stolen someone else's, or purchased a fake military rank from the internet to have a good time himself. As a result, now directly let the whole teaching building sealed for 10 days what the hell is that? The ones in charge there now are no longer a guard company. Rather, it's a company transferred from a nearby unit. That's not even the school's guard force anymore, but a unit that can really fight. So, the boy, the man was falling apart. The freshmen nowadays, are they all this fierce? My mind is fried ah. Snap 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 snap. Su Qin was there with his full attention on the keyboard. And at the same time, he was eating with his mouth open. Zhang Linyu had been here the whole time, needing to feed him every hour that passed. Originally, Zhang Weigua said it would be fine to find a cafeteria and to come. Zhang Linyu blankly went back. Could it be that these codes can be seen by unrelated people? What if it's a spy and is filmed and leaked? Zhang Weigua was directly choked up. Well, indeed, right now, even the people who fed Su Qin, those were all people who needed to be on the inside. It would be a big loss if this was leaked out by spies. Spies also tended to hide very deeply. And at this moment, standing next to each other, there were many people, one by one, the academicians of the Army and Air Force Research Institutes were sitting in the back of the room, behind the staircase classroom in a disciplined manner, watching Su Qin tapping on the keyboard, in the midst of completing the final finishing touches, it's almost, Shen Ji was very excited and turned his head to the academicians, a group of old men with grey hair all looked at each other, then, got excited, phew, eventually, Su Pingsheng lowered his hand, done, the first thing that caught his eye was the well-dressed, energetic, and beautiful Zhang Linyu. Then, clattering, applause, thundering came, Su Qin turned around, hurrah, in the entire staircase classroom, at least 20 to 30 old men were sitting, and these people, without exception, were the scientific research giants of the great nation. They, in unison, applauded Su Qin, chapter 030, truth, within the range of a canon, to be honest, Su Qin really didn't know where these people had burrowed out from. It was as if they had appeared out of nowhere. Of course, inside that state of extreme concentration, he was only aware of the screen in front of him for a moment. So naturally, he couldn't notice the situation. Quickly, look at the results in the end. Zhang Weigua was the first to open his mouth and said in a hurry. The other academicians sat back and didn't move. They didn't come to see the code, and some of them didn't even know a thing about it. They had come to witness history to witness a scene that was destined to go down in history and into the history books if the results. I'll do it. Xianji took the lead and rushed straight over. 
He was the person with the highest attainments in military software in the entire Dragon Kingdom, and was also a reserve academician, so young to already be a reserve academician, then in a few years, he would properly be recognized as an academician, Shen Ji directly read it, in the end, he slowly exhaled, combining all the previous codes, I was able to give an exact conclusion, Shen Ji was excited, with excitement, this drone swarm operating system, has feasibility, now it's just a matter of utilizing the super drone training resources to perform large-scale machine learning on this project. It will be able to do so, and carry out missions off the grid. Thorough battlefield application. At the words of, instantly, the academicians at the scene once again unconsciously applauded. This was their heartfelt applause, each of their eyes with excitement. Excitement, because, this is likely to succeed. Then, how much data do we need to use for this training process? When Shang Yuan seized the blind spot and asked, Xianji shook his head, then looked at Su Qin. This showed that this one question could only be answered as the person who personally wrote this drone swarm operating system. Su Qin slowly exhaled. Please immediately construct 200 groups of drone swarms and build a test site for experimental data collection. Subsequently, distribute them to universities around the country and start training at the same time. If all the supercomputer arithmetic power in the country is enabled, it should be able to be done within a month. At the words of, the scene, 4-1 was shocked. One month, the nation's supercomputer arithmetic power within a month. This was undoubtedly a huge request. To know, usually even if they are such an academician, to use their own institute's supercomputer, that can be to fight the application, can get seven or eight days is not good enough, and Su Qin this opening. That hack, it's directly to take the nation's supercomputer computing power. This does not only include the three major military industrial research institutes in the country under the jurisdiction of the various research institutes. It also includes the supercomputer computing power inside the major universities. This undoubtedly requires a lot of administrative power support. That is not only the support of scientific research power. Even, there are military research institutes, that are inside the military. It would have to be a huge force to carry this order out. But, this, how can this be implemented? Qian Ji Man was baffled. He was considered powerful, right? It was basically the number one software person in the country. It was him that did more than let three or four supercomputers of the institute take it to him to go for machine learning at the same time. The result, now when Su Qin opens his mouth, he directly wants to use the nations from supercomputers? Crazy. Su Qin, do you really need so much computing power here? Zhang Lin Yu only felt her scalp tingle, and her person was in some kind of trance, her eyes dull. That much arithmetic power is too much, right? Usually, I can only apply to use this supercomputer of the institute and that too only for one day. Su Qin's expression was firm. Whom? It's necessary to use so much arithmetic power. Only with a large number of algorithmic iterations can the drone swarm operating system adapted to the battlefield be completed. And only then will each supply machine be able to act as a hive, giving precise commands to each drone to carry out combat missions. Zhang Weigua took a deep breath. The resources that this would require. Undoubtedly, too much. He raised his head and exchanged a glance with Wen Cheng Yuan next to him. Both of them, saw the decision in each other's eyes. Su Qin, are you serious about this? Determined? This old man at the head of the army's military industrial research institute had glittering eyes and a determined look in his eyes. Aha. Su Qin nodded. Good. Zhang Weigua stood up violently. Immediately issue an order that I, as the director of the Central Research Institute of Military Industry of the Dragon Kingdom Army, formally request that all supercomputers under the jurisdiction of the army be called up for use by Su Qin's project. When Cheng Yuan laughed cheerfully, the boss and I have already communicated. All the supercomputers of the Air Force's Military Industrial Research Institute can also be called upon. The two academicians who had been friends for many years exchanged glances. Then, at the same time, they turned. At the same time, I would like everyone to write a petition and send it down to all the university institutions. And the petition goes upwards, requesting an executive order. All of you, sign your names together. Zhang Weigua opened his mouth. Good. The first academician nodded his head. He was researching assault rifles, and although he was completely clueless about software, ah, programs, this and that, he knew the usefulness of drones on the battlefield. I'll sign the first one. He stood up. Then, one by one, the academicians spoke up. I'll handwrite and draft the petition. This was an academician who researched surface-to-air missiles, and under him was a whole team of researchers with an institute of their own. Everyone, all chose to come forward, because, inevitably, this was a huge poem of a change in air power. In the history of the world, this will be a great poem, as long as, it can succeed. Good. 
Zhang Weigua saw that his colleagues were so facetious, all of them agreeing, and was also immensely pleased. At this moment, even his eyes followed and loosened up. Good, great. And just as the petition was being written, suddenly, a person pushed the door in. Wait, there's me. It was a male voice with a middle voice and a dignified tone. Hurrah. That was Wang Zhan, Army Lieutenant General. Wang War. There were literally group generals under his hand. Since you've all pretty much written your petitions, let me issue a letter of urging in the name of the East Sea Group Army, urging each university and each state-owned enterprise to supply all of their supercomputers to Su Qin for use. Once Wang Zhan made this remark, instantly, the academicians present were blinded. Good guy. Originally, we here is only the scientific research circle of things, but also all the military industry things. As soon as Wang Zhan came, directly pulled the active army over to stand in line. This is a bit too outrageous ah. General Wang. Zhang Weiguo was baffled. Although he is also a major general, but there is no way to represent the army. He is only the rank of a major general, but in reality, he is still a scientific researcher, but only under the military. However, at this moment, once Wang Zhan came, this was directly moving the military in. Ha ha ha, Wang Zhan laughed, then patted Su Qin's shoulder. You kid, the truth has already come off the production line, and has officially begun to be mounted. The first unit has already been assembled in the army. The soldiers under my command are rubbing their fists this time. They all want to cross the strait. Truth. It's off the production line. This also means, pineapple country, at this moment, is already within cannon range. Chapter 031, The Softness of an Accidental Hit. Upon hearing this, the scene once again resounded with thunderous applause. Everyone, cheered for this moment. Bang, with a sound, Wang Zhan directly slapped Su Qin's shoulder, appearing to recognize it. You kid, this is really a great achievement. Behind if the eagle's carrier fleet dares to come, again, then wait for it to blossom. The saying that truth was within the range of cannons was indeed true. Anything that could reach a range of 400 kilometers would be considered a short-range guided missile. How expensive are guided missiles? The cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars to start with. That expensive construction depends on its excellent dynamics design. Long cruise status. After all, it's a missile that can turn in the air. It can't be cheap. As for the truth, that's a cannon loaded with shells. How expensive are cannonballs? A few hundred dollars all right. Long Guiyuan. The two are not on the same scale at all. Truth is a real cannon. One that is big enough to fire consistently and conduct fire suppression. Generally speaking, there wasn't any army yet that could use guided missiles as ordinary artillery shells. Moreover, guided missiles weren't just expensive. They were also exceptionally easy to intercept, as the need for guidance would inevitably lead to a slowdown in flight speed. As for artillery, I haven't heard of anyone intercepting artillery shells that have already been fired. The cost was so low that an intercepted missile would be worth dozens or hundreds of artillery rounds at least, and it wouldn't necessarily be intercepted. Wow. Instantly, the entire ladder classroom erupted in applause. All the academicians gave their most heartfelt applause, which was a kind of admiration, a kind of pride. Good. Good, Zhang Weigua instantly burst into tears. This is not that he is pretentious, but he has indeed waited for this moment for too long. 400 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon ah. From now on, within the range of the cannon, are all truths from the red flag. Cough. Su Qin was so slapped by Wang Zhan because his body was too weak. Heck, he was directly slapped down on the seat. A feeling of vertigo came. What's wrong? What happened to Su Qin? Hurry, call the military doctor. For a while. The entire staircase classroom was in chaos. A group of academicians and officers who had swung around in research labs and battlefields were all completely flustered at this moment. If something happens to Su Qin, this was bound to be a loss for the entire country. Soon, Su Qin was carried away. The person who carried him was Wang Zhan. There were also a few guards, who together carried Su Qin to the car. Hmm, a soldier standing guard below rubbed his eyes. Was it General Wang himself who just carried that person to the ambulance? His tone, tinged with confusion. Yes, it was. The comrade next to him nodded. Who was that ah? Could make General Wang personally carry him? Just when the two small soldiers standing guard were still there in a daze, suddenly, a group of old men rushed down. And this group of old men, without exception, the ranks on their bodies were all shiny enough. The worst, was Colonel. Universally, they were all major generals. This was the group of people who had the greatest dedication to military industrial research from the Dragon Kingdom and stood at the very top, with anxiety in their eyes. They all followed that ambulance for a while. Zhang Weigui immediately waved his hand. Hurry, go and drive over. We'll go to the hospital together as well. Hurry, 
Immediately arrange for the guard company to move out and open up the road. There's a traffic jam outside at this hour. Hurry up and get the road out of the way. Upon hearing this, the two guards standing guard were even more confused. Ah, what segment? Surprisingly, it can be taken so seriously? Just now, I seem to have seen it, that being carried. Isn't it just an ordinary student? Why is it so capable? I get it. A soldier nodded with confidence. Military cadets are the future flowers of the army. Taking care of the flowers, no amount of pouring resources is enough. And at this moment, a major officer appeared behind them. Snap. The two men each received a blow to their hats. Why didn't you two go call a car over just now? Ah, battalion commander. Isn't it not possible to go AWOL? The two big-headed soldiers were a bit confused. Lousy. That battalion commander had a speechless face. You too. Which company? Go back to the old man to feed pigs. The two big-headed soldiers. Why? One of them, still a bit confused, asked. Unauthorized communication during guard duty. Feed the pigs for half a year. Go back and collect your punishment yourself. The battalion commander didn't say any more, but went to arrange the vehicles. Half an hour later, the nearest army hospital. Su Qin was lying on the bed, passed out. The doctor next to him stood up and looked at the report of the results that had just been done. Nothing major, just too much exertion and overuse of the brain. Need to take a good rest. That military doctor looked at the black pressurized piece of major generals and colonels in front of him, and for a moment he only felt some blackness in front of his eyes. It's fine. As long as it's fine. Zhang Weigua breathed a sigh of relief. It's okay. Wang Zhan also relaxed. Zhang Lingyu stood by the side and said seriously, I think that from now on, Su Qin should have to attend studies normally, and tomorrow also happens to be the opening ceremony of the freshman class at the Defense University. Otherwise, if we continue to follow this and do research, it will be his potential that will be consumed. Zhang Lingyu's tone was serious. In the face of the lieutenant general in front of her was not at all intimidated. Wang Zhen spread his hands. I don't know. I have to ask your principal. Zhang Lingyu turned around and looked at Zhang Weigua. That look, carried a chill. Zhang Weigua scratched his head and smiled heatedly. That's also my intention. Then the rest of the things will be left to us. Su Qin will attend to his studies recently and relax as well. When Su Qin woke up, it was already 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening. There was only one person in the room. All the others had left. All had their own things to be busy with. And not all would be gathered here. You're awake? Zhang Lin you came over in surprise. Aha. Su Qin only felt his brain rising. Not very comfortable. This feeling was already felt when he was hammering the code, but it wasn't obvious at that time either. And as a result, his body collapsed after the collapsing string broke. What's wrong with me? Zhang Lin Yu was worried. What the doctor said. You are overworked. Just writing code you wrote for 10 days ah. 10 days? Su Qin was also stunned. He then felt that he had only written for 3 or 4 days, but it turned out to be 10 days? Take a quick rest. Don't get too tired. Zhang Lin Yu stepped forward and pressed Su Qin, who wanted to get up. Su Qin, on the other hand, originally wanted to get up. As a result, he didn't see that. At once, he bumped into Zhang Lingyu's upraised. Above it, that was a burst of softness. Chapter 032, Absolute Protection from the State. At that instant, Su Qin was confused. He originally had his brain in high speed after that was all a muddle. And as a result, when he was clearly getting up normally, he bumped into something soft, and it directly blinded him. What is the situation? He was stumped there for a while. What are you? You doing? Zhang Lin Yu immediately bounced back after feeling it. You, 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 humph, Su Qin. Su Qin was dog-faced and confused on the spot. I, just now that was bumped into her that soft up? I don't make ah. God pity. Su Qin now brain melon buzzing. Is really completely no feeling? Simply do not know that he actually hit up. This time the brain is if the speed of operation is reduced. Ding. After 12 days of intense operation. Your brain needs to temporarily rest for 12 hours. During this period or there will be a slow reaction. Su Qin, why didn't the dog system tell me earlier? Zhang Lin Yu had a red face at this moment, while she lowered her head, not knowing what she was thinking about. Just thinking about it, her face became even redder. It was as if it was tinted with a layer of redness. Hungry, Su Qin said with a straight face. Good. Zhang Lin Yu directly picked up the meal prepared next to her, took it out to the microwave and heated it for three minutes and directly brought it in. Su Qin was also stunned. Surprisingly, there's a ready-made meal? Well, I made it for you. I thought you would wake up earlier. Zhang Lin Yu said. Su Qin. No, actually it's fine to eat takeout. There's no need for you to personally cook. The two of us are just revolutionary comrades in arms. Open your mouth. Zhang Lin Yu sat down next to Su Qin and started preparing to feed. 
Su Qin, actually, I can eat by myself. Open your mouth. Zhang Linyu's tone was a bit icy. This was the kind of attitude she originally had, except that at the moment, she was doing something very gentle with an extremely proud attitude, feeding Su Qin with a high and cold face. Su Qin, in the end, he was truly experiencing what it meant to be fed by someone for once this time. It was still a high cold beauty, and the military rank major, and now wearing a military uniform. Gu Dong, Su Qin swallowed a mouthful of saliva. You're a major. Feeding me. It's not good, right? Zhang Linyu gave a cold look. Open your mouth. How could Su Qin dare to resist? He could only obediently open his mouth and swallow the rice. However, the moment it touched the rice, put Su Qin directly sprayed out. A flavor that was salty to the sea went straight to the top of his head, as if someone had put the king of salt in it. It was too damn salty. He was not a person who wasted food. No, it's more appropriate to say that Su Qin himself is a person who cherishes and economizes. It's impossible to spit out what can be eaten, and it's impossible to pour out food that hasn't been swished. As a result, this really made it impossible for him to swallow. What's wrong? Zhang Linyu had an embarrassed look on her face. Su Qin, why don't you taste it? Zhang Linyu immediately tasted a bite. Sure enough, she spat it out as well. I'm sorry, I'm not a very good cook, but I clearly followed the online tutorial. What tutorial did you follow? Su Qin asked. Just, the tutorial for small fried meat ah. Zhang Linyu said in a confused manner. But you damn well fried bacon. This piece of meat you got from the cafeteria is called bacon. And put what kind of salt in it? Su Qin couldn't help it and directly spat out. Right. Sorry. Zhang Linyu's face. All of a sudden. Turned red. This was different from before when the part was accidentally touched. This time it was really embarrassed. It was too embarrassing to belong to. Go. Go out to eat. Su Qin sighed. It's also true that letting what genius girl cook ah. This one is the one who has been eating the main of the organization's cafeteria growing up. Can cook by herself? Can she cook well? It is estimated that it is afraid of the five grains. Ah, well, then let's go out to eat now. Zhang Linyu lowered her head and assisted Su Qin to get up. The two went to the door and were followed by plainclothes. Captain Su, we are the guard squad assigned to you. We will protect your safety in plainclothes on the outside. We will follow from afar. A man at the head said. Su Qin nodded and did not refuse. Now that he had mastered the technology, if the eagle knew about it, then he should also be the target of espionage. It was still good to be careful. Rice can eat countless meals. Life, only one. Indecent is the king. Soon, the two of them found a barbecue stand and ate. Zirazira dash, the now grilled meat skewers were still moist with oil. Very tantalizing. Suchin ate five or six skewers in one breath before stopping. Finally, got comfortable. Wow. He leaned back on the plastic chair picked up a coke and drank it. Comfortable. Zhang Linyu on the opposite side was also eating, only in small bites. At this time, she had changed her clothes, she was no longer wearing a military uniform. She was wearing a normal shirt, which looked particularly charming. The people passing by in the surroundings couldn't help but take a look or two more. Truly, Zhang Linyu was indeed a goddess-level figure. A 26 or 17-year-old woman was more mature and more charming than a 16 or 17-year-old with less of a trace of youthfulness and a lot of added flirtation. I have to rest for two days, Su Qin said. Well, Principal Zhang approved it. You don't need to follow the project behind you. He will do the rest. Zhang Lin Yu took small bites of the barbecue and replied. Not bad. Old man Zhang knows how to touch fish. Su Qin stretched his back. And just at this time, a few drunks staggered over. Little girl, you look pretty. Come over and drink with us. One of the drunkards opened his mouth. Thanks to the fact that Zhang Linyu was not wearing a military uniform, if she was wearing a military uniform, she would not dare to come. But wearing a military uniform would not dare to come to the barbecue. The barbecue stall owner would surely take the initiative to treat them, which would be out of order. Scram! Su Qin raised his hand, not wanting to say more. Don't get in the way here. Fuck you! That drunkard instantly widened his eyes, copied the bottle and was about to smash it on Su Qin's head. The next moment. Dang! The sound! These drunkards were pressed to the ground by the plainclothes who rushed out. Freeze. All give me down. Who the hell are you guys? I know the director of Liang who was in charge of this area. I am his brother-in-law. You dare to press me? That leading drunkard had an angry face and was still struggling there. He still thought that this was a police officer. However, suddenly, he didn't move. Because, he felt a cold sensation. That is, the, the barrel of a gun. These few plainclothesmen, all of them were holding pistols. They were responsible for surrounding Su Qin's security. Armed for protection. 
There was a concession when they encountered a suspicious person. If they posed a threat, they could shoot them on the spot. Chapter 033, $20 million bonus from the state. Who are you? You guys? The big man who was pressed to the ground was incomparably terrified at the moment. His eyes filled with fear inside. Don't move. Let your brother-in-law come over to lead the people off. Su Qin slowly squatted down in front of him. Well, inside Su Qin's tone was full of disdain. This kind of person who only knew how to fight viciously, there really wasn't much to say. You guys, fuck you guys. If you have the ability to make me call, if you have the ability to make me call. The man's eyes were full of indignation. Just now he was still afraid, only to be provoked by Su Qin. He was also on top. Call him. Su Qin nodded and signaled. The plainclothes man who pressed him nodded. Then took out his cell phone from inside the man's pocket and dialed his brother-in-law's number. Soon, several police cars came. Da 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 da. A few police officers came down. Their eyes filled with scorn. Because, they saw the guns held in the hands of those plainclothesmen. It wasn't a police pistol. Rather, it was a military pistol. It was a different model. But the training on the police side was going to do a course on guns on the military side. Just to prevent a situation of accidental injury. Unexpectedly. Surprisingly here is really the military side. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law save me. This group of people have guns in their hands. They must have smuggled them from somewhere. Arrest them all. The man saw one of the policemen and hurriedly called for help. However, the next moment, these people are causing trouble. Take them all away. After saying that, directly holding handcuffs, it was over to handcuff these few drunkards. You are involved in sexual harassment. All of you come with me once again. The police officer who was called brother-in-law had an icy expression and said with a wave of his hand. Now, it was that big man's turn to be confused. Why? Why did his brother-in-law, who used to be quite spoiled, not care at all this time? It seems to be favoring the opposite side? You are. Su Qin thought carefully. Director Liang right? Hey. Yes, that director Liang immediately came over, accompanying a smile. He is very young, also only 40 years old is also considered to be the kind of career path to go relatively smooth. Go back and react with the top. There is a suspicion of abuse of power. Send an investigation team down to investigate. Su Qin waved his hand, then signaled that he could leave. He turned around and walked away. The next thing was for the plainclothes to butt heads with them. Su Qin actually didn't want to bother with these things. Brother-in-law. The man was a little confused. Not expecting his brother-in-law who was the director to be so cowering in front of that young man completely unlike his usual appearance. Slap. The man was slapped violently with a sound. Director Liang angrily rebuked. Do you know that the other party is a big shot with plainclothes protection? That's the fucking military. How dare you touch that? It's even if you usually fight with people outside. I can still pull a partial fight. And now you're fucking with the big boys. Whoever you like. I'll lose my job sooner or later. I went back to write a check. You motherfucker yourself a good explanation. Strive to come out soon. The man's expression. Some dull. He, completely confused. He did not think of how big a basket he had stabbed. What? Zhang Weigwa's side directly slapped the table and stood up after receiving the call. Zhang Linyu and Su Qin were harassed by that sneak when they went out for a barbecue? Nothing happened, right? Is the security in the suburbs of the capital so bad? What the hell is going on? Instantly, the cap protecting Zhang Weigwa was all of a sudden enraged. That emotion was instantly taught, and all that was carried inside his eyes was fury. And then he picked up his cell phone. A phone. Directly called the police department minister side. How do you guys manage the people under your hands now? Is policing this bad? It's the suburbs of the capital. And there's malfeasance and favoritism on the part of the police station chief. Investigate. What are you waiting for? The minister of police was also confused when he was sprayed. Over at the Ministry of Military Industry and Technology. What are you calling me for? This minister is still very young. 60 or so years old was 80 out of the head of Zhang Weigua that was a spray to find the north. In the end what happened? So that the Ministry of Military Industry and Science and Technology side so nervous? Then, another phone call. Hello? This is Wang Zhan. There are police under your hands who almost detained one of our general seedlings. You know. A cold sweat. Instantly rose straight up. Wang Zhuan. The general of the group army. The sweat of the Kyoto police minister instantly flowed down. And so. The Kyoto Police Department sent out an official document overnight, immediately notifying all places to hold a 15-day public security patrol campaign to register and clean up the idle people in the society. The police minister, on the other hand, personally arrived at that small police station. A time, the wind was stirred up. The entire Kyoto police force was stirred up internally, and people were on edge. Which precinct doesn't have a dilettante? Isn't that normal? It's also impossible to get rid of a... 
That group of people although is the social instability of the molecules, but people did not commit a crime can not be forced to go to the detention, right? Which big shot did they piss off? All of the precincts in charge, at this moment are scared. They are afraid that something has happened in their own precincts. Su Qin, the one who caused all this, was yawning and carrying the barbecue. How much did you pay? Su Qin weighed the packed up barbecue, probably about two or three pounds. The boss was dead set on not wanting it. In the end I stuffed five hundred dollars on the table. It feels like I should have given more. Zhang Linyu sighed and said. In the end there was no way. It must have been exposed. Zhang Linyu at that time, hastened to explain their side as the army. Otherwise I'm afraid that other customers, barbecue stall boss, that have to go to the police one by one. After all, everyone is to see the gun. The result, that boss is dead set on not receiving money. Have to treat. Zhang Linyu could only give cash. And because she didn't know the exact amount, she gave some more. Blood loss. Su Qin only felt blood dripping from his heart. This bit of barbecue topped out at $300. You even gave $500 directly. This is not a loss to grandma's house. Seeing the expression that cared so much. Puff. Zhang Lin you couldn't help but laugh. It was a really happy laugh. Because. Su Qin. Even though it's your treat. But you are at least a rich man with $20 million of national prize money. Right. Why do you look so poor? Zhang Linyu skimmed her mouth, looking very cute, the opposite of her usual high-flying style. Moreover, this drone project of yours, even though it's a project that counts in the system, but it should also be able to get a fixed $8 million. Right, where does it look so poor? Su Qin was stunned. Hmm, that $20 million. Arrived? It's arrived. Zhang Linyu nodded affirmatively. The card is here with me. I haven't transferred it to you yet. $20 million. In cash inside the bank card ooh. Su Qin, $20 million, still given by the state. Chapter 034, VE 200, 000 to see the strength. When holding the bank card handed over by Zhang Linyu, Su Qin's complexion was also slightly dazed. 20 million ah. And this is not what through what illegal means to get 20 million, but real from the national financial inside their own allocation of money. The origin can be said to be justified cannot be positive again. This is with your ID card to do. Directly bound to WeChat or Alipay can be used directly. Zhang Linyu smiled and said, the password is the last six digits of your ID card. It can't be taken out without face verification before. Su Qin only felt somewhat heavy. How about it? Getting such a large sum of money, still a little happy, right? Zhang Linyu tilted her head and asked. Obviously, she was observing Su Qin's state. She was curious as to what this genius-like teenager's reaction would be after touching the money. Ahem, money or anything else is not a problem. I feel that such things will corrode my determination to contribute to the country. The coppery stench of money will only taint my heart of abject patriotism. Su Qin's tone, resounding, it was as if, he was clean with both sleeves and didn't care about the money at all. Very noble and clean. Su Qin said as he took out his cell phone and opened Alipay to start tying up his card. Puff, Zhang Linyu burst out laughing again. This person, his body was rather more mature than his mouth. Your whole body only has a hard mouth. A dead duck's mouth belongs to yes. The high cool female researcher held her head high with a blooming smile on her face. I'm not interested in money. Not interested, Su Qin added. Moreover, I should have another place that is hard. Zhang Linyu was first stunned. There's another place that's hard? Then, she immediately reacted. A blush accompanied by a rolling sensation instantly hit her cheeks. She was also already 27 years old. And although she was said to be unearthly and had never had any close male friends, she did know something about this aspect of men and women. You, Rascal, she spat. Su Qin did not say much, but cheerfully opened the cell phone. After seeing the $20 million lying inside the bank card in a regular manner, the smile on his face could no longer be put away. Seems like the family still has external debt, right? Mom's body. I don't know whether the previous heart bypass surgery will have problems. At that time, it was done just in general, or else it still needs to be checked. And that house can be replaced. Poor sound insulation. The surrounding neighbors cannot. Buy a villa? Researchers have to struggle hard? Can only suffer? The country has long since corrected this phenomenon. And now the bonus for researchers is a maximum amount of $8 million. Now has long been not a few decades ago. The treatment of scientific researchers is not low. Su Qin to buy a villa to drive a luxury car is not the slightest problem. And no one will say he has a disciplinary problem. Just kidding. The state issued my money. I cannot use? Have to donate it? On what grounds? Scientific researchers have to be a god? Who? Su Qin took a deep breath. At this time, he felt that the barbecue packed back on the table smelled even better. Mmm, -hmm. it was simply beautiful. Direct woohoo take off. 
At home, at this moment, Li Shufen was sitting on the bed, playing a video call with Su Jun. You say, my mom's so sick, although it is said that the body is not a big problem, but the youngest sister selected the hospital is also too expensive. Our three sisters spread down, live a month is 10,000 ah. Li Shufen's tone, full of sorrow, Li Shufen's mom, naturally, is also Su Qin's grandmother. Alas, MS, Li sighed, she was all worried to death. It's fine, I'll make two more trips this month, I should be able to earn an extra thousand dollars. Su Jun didn't know what to say, and in the end, he could only say this, he was a big car driver, and even though the car was owned by the company, he was also earning more for more work. No way, Li Shufen immediately refused, how can you do that? When the time comes to tire you out, that would be worse. Before I got sick it could all be because I was too overworked. Su Jun over there was silent for a while, but still made a decision. In a moment, he lit up a cigarette. Who? Su Jun exhaled a breath. He decided, a moment to go to talk to the supervisor. Let him arrange two more trips to himself. Is not a month not to go home? It is four days of rest do not want. This can also earn more. A smoke ring, slowly floating into the air. At this time, he was outside a restaurant, because his partner is still eating, so he first came out to smoke. Alas, your brother's money should also be paid back this year. Pay it back with what money owe. With, Su Jun was silent for a while and finally spoke. Use the $50,000 saved up. No way, Li Shufen immediately refused. That's the money left for Xiao Qin for emergency use. In case he has to pay fees at school, the tuition fees haven't even been paid yet. Su Jun wanted to say that military schools don't need tuition fees. But in the end, he remained silent for a while and didn't speak again. That money, indeed, was reserved for Su Qin. If you can't move it, then it's better not to move it. Think of a way to make two more trips on your own. And just at this time, group chat Su Family Yard Su Qin initiated a group call, inviting you to join. Su Jun suddenly saw that Su Qin, who was usually not a talker, actually played the video inside the group of three people. This was too uncommon. Rare. Sun called. Go take a look. Li Shufen immediately spoke. He is usually the least favorite to speak inside that group. This might be something. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Jun nodded. Then hung up the phone. Soon, all three members of the Su family revealed their heads inside the group chat. Su Jun was outdoors, standing next to the big car. Li Shufen was at home. Su Qin, on the other hand, was inside the dormitory assigned to him. Dad and mom. Su Qin waved his hand. Do you guys lack money in your hands lately? Without any hesitation. He directly opened his mouth and asked, straight to the point. Upon hearing this, both Li Shufen and Su Jun were stunned. Li Shufen didn't hesitate and immediately opened her mouth. There is money to use ah. Recently saved up some money. If you want I will call you now. Is the living expenses at school finished? When Su Qin left, his family took 3,000 for him, saying that it was not enough to ask for more. Su Qin shook his head. No, it's not that I want money. I am asking if you want money. Li Shufen. Su Jun, do we want money? You're a study child, asking if we want money? This, is a little too abnormal, right? Both of them were a bit baffled. Ding dong, Li Shufen's cell phone, vibrated. She looked down and, hurrah, Su Qin directly transferred. On WeChat, 200,000. Mom, WeChat to you transferred 200,000. First take to use ah, in two days I direct bank card transfer over. WeChat transfer too much, easy to be blocked. Su Qin said with great wealth. Li Shufen, Su Jun, Chapter 035, Yu Yuju, a surprise for you. Li Shufen and Su Jun, people were both completely dumbfounded. That is completely dumbfounded. Didn't react. Was really didn't react. This, what is this situation? Ha 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 ha. At the first moment, Su Jun was directly laughing out loud. That was amused. Son, you can still joke after going to military school. Not bad, compared to the usual kind of dullness. It's good to be lively. Don't be like me. Su Jun unprecedentedly said a few more words at this time. In the past, he was as shy as gold. He does not believe that Su Qin can really transfer 200,000. This is simply impossible. Even if the military school has a subsidy, that is two or three thousand dollars a month. Not to mention that the current son is still at the undergraduate stage, is not going to have too high an amount of salary. And, now only go just two months off, which is so fast. Get 200,000? Therefore, Su Jun is completely unbelievable. Su Qin, Dad, I'm really not joking. I've already transferred it to mom. How much do you want? Why don't you just don't drive a big car in the future? It's not much fun, and people are tired. They can't get any money. Su Qin persuaded that dad's job was indeed tiring. 
and it was working for someone, and it wasn't his own car, if it was his own car, it would be more or less the same, after all, it was to rest whenever he wanted to, Su Jun's face sank, you're still here to tease your dad, just when he was a little angry and ready to have a good lesson, Li Shufen spoke out, really, there really is $200,000, son, where did you get this $200,000, did a foreigner contact you, that kind of money we can't earn ah, that's the behavior of selling the country, even if we have more money, we can't sell the country's secrets to the outside, Su Jun, he, instantly confused, really, is there really $200,000, where did Su Qin get the money, after hearing his wife say that, instantly he also reacted, it can't be, it can't be true that the country's secrets were taken out and sold, right, right, nowadays, this kind of news, can be a lot, for example, there is an employee who originally worked in a state-owned enterprise, was compelled by foreigners, after selling the technology of their own enterprises, not to mention, but also under the guidance of expatriates, the examination of civil servants, and continue to sell state secrets, now, my own son, it can't be that he was compelled in this way, Su Qin, you go turn yourself in immediately, Su Jun's tone instantly became grave, looking fiercely at his son inside the video, this kind of money can never be earned, this is a criminal offense, this is selling out the country, you hasten to explain, in the end, did what things, can recover losses on the recovery of losses, and evidence of the veins of the agencies outside the country to give an account of the police, now go to the police, you should also be able to make a merit, will be more spies dug out, and perhaps not be convicted of a crime, Su Jun that is directly began to command, fighting for Su Qin can be liberated as soon as possible, as for MS, Li Shu Fen, that was pretty much the same, Xiao Qin, you have to hurry up and turn yourself in, turn yourself in at least you can have no worries about your life, the big deal is that it's life imprisonment, let's fight for leniency, Su Qin, this old couple is treating me like a suspect now, right, are they so down on their own son, outrageous, in the end, Su Qin could only show his hands, yes, I am the spy, I sold the secrets of the atomic bomb, instantly, hearing the words, the expressions of the old couple, directly and immediately changed dramatically, as if it was a face change, from the worry just now to panic, the old dad was even more pained, you, you kid, you, Li Shufen was frightened, you, how much money you got, now you hurry to go abroad to hide ah, let the people over there, pick you up, pop's hole is a hate iron is not steel, mom's idea is much simpler, as long as they can be good on the line, in the end, Su Qin still did not let the misunderstanding expand, explained, do you remember the special merit I took before, ha, huh? the two were stunned, yes, it's that merit, then the above rewarded me with 10 million dollars in cash, and now I also have money in my pocket, and this money is completely from formal channels, rewarded by the state, so there's no need to worry, Su Qin said seriously, in order to enhance the persuasive power, he also took out the proof of the rewarded cash, after seeing, the old couple, they instantly relaxed, only, both still carried some disbelief, 10 million, how is it possible to reward so much, Su Jun was full of thinking about this amount, and really didn't find out which other scientists had received such a high reward, it was too high, this amount, good, good, it's good that it's okay, it's good that it's the source of the right way, Li Shu Fen, on the other hand, is glad that, his son did not have an accident, did not make a big irreversible mistake, pops, I will give you to transfer 200,000, a moment you transfer to mom, Su Qin directly said, what the family owes in debt, pay it all back, and remember to take mom to check the body, the previous surgery is not to be reviewed, you guys have always felt that the inspection fee is expensive, don't economize, now go and take a look, in two days I will give you 2 million dollars back, it wasn't until he hung up the phone that Su Qin finally pacified the old couple. The phone hung up. Li Shufen reconnected the phone with Su Jun. Both of them had tears in their eyes and looked at each other at this time. Afterward, both laughed. On your mom's side, just get the money normally, as well as pay back all the money owed. Su Jun finally said. Li Shufen's tone was a little choked. Then you are not allowed to work overtime. It's not good for the body. It's better to come back and rest on vacation. Well, Su Qin lay on the sofa too much money, can be really happy, who said that having money will be troublesome, stand out, I promise to give him a big mouth, life with money, that is beautiful, okay, more money, then buy a house for the family chant, a whole set of villas, and then open a store for the old man what, please people to manage, can also follow leisure is not, Zhang Lin Yu looked at Su Qin with a smile on her face, what's wrong, don't mention it, 
My mom almost didn't call the police to arrest me when she heard I had so much money. Su someone shook his head awkwardly. When he made the call, Zhen Lin you could have been inside the room and didn't leave. He he. Zhen Lin you had a smile on her face. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Su Qin scratched his head. In a few days, school should be starting right? Yes, school will start soon. Suddenly, a message popped up on the phone. Yu Yuzhu, Su Qin, are you at school? Yu Yuzhu, making a video? Chapter 036, Yu Yuzhu also came to Defense University? Su Qin's expression, slightly, was just stunned. Yu Yuzhu, Yu Yuzhu is also here at Defense University? Yu Yuzhu, if you want to make a video, then make a video. What's the point of asking me if I'm at school? It's useless to be at school. We can't be in the same school. You can't get in. Make it look like you're going to give me a surprise by appearing in front of me? What's the point of playing? Uh, I'm in. Su Qin tapped the words and sent the message over. Zhang Linyu stood up. She didn't see that Su Qin was chatting with a girl. So it was just time to go back. I'm going back too. The new students are already returning to school one after another. And it's time for me to prepare for the course. Course, Su Qin didn't understand. I do have lessons. You can call me teacher now. Zhang Linyu blinked her eyes, looking high and icy. Su Qin, okay, okay, you're still a teacher right? Playing around like that? When you're in class, you have to be careful Lu. You're not allowed to doze off in class. And you must pay attention to finish your after school homework properly. You're not allowed to. Zhang Linyu was about to start posing as a teacher there. Ready to educate a bit when? Teacher. Su Qin's mouth brought up meaning smile. You also don't want your classmates to know that you're actually my research assistant leader, right? I'm the, that team leader. Instantly, Zhang Lin Yu's body shuddered. I, I'm going back. She immediately fled. It was indeed like this. Su Qin was now half a head lower than her in rank. But if we were to talk about positions, then the scientific research group that someone Su was currently leading, that was directly responsible to Zhang Weigua. It could be said to be one of the most important research groups in the entire Central Research Institute. It was only that the current Su Qin hadn't been able to make the effort to open up the research for a new project. There was no other reason. The rapid comprehension process was too fast to need to open the research. Thinking of this, and by the way, Zhang Lin Yu had also gone out. Su Qin began to communicate with the system. System, since it can be directly comprehended, wouldn't I be able to output unlimited research content? There's no need to learn or work hard at all? If it played out like this, that would be exciting. A capitalized life flat okay? Ding. After each realization, the host will have the threshold of realization raised. And when there is no breakthrough in basic research, you won't be able to break through the results of the last realization in the same field of technology. If you want to realize eternal life and a cosmic empire, if you want to realize eternal life, cosmic empire, the host can't simply rely on heavenly enlightenment to accomplish it. And you need to work hard on your own as well. The system's reply caused Su Qin to be stunned. Ha! Huh? This. What does it mean? It also requires your own efforts? And. Immortality. Cosmic empire. Crap. System. You're for real. So exciting? Laying flat? That's not my style. Su Qin took a deep breath. Calmed down a bit. And finally decided. You can't lie flat in the back. You have to study hard and push the technology line into the future. Which man? Doesn't want to feel the starry sea? And just at this time, the cell phone rang again. It was still sent by Yu Yuzhu. Yu Yuzhu, Su Qin, where are you? Su Qin was also a bit puzzled. This little nymph asked herself where she was doing. She should not have started school yet. She was still in Jiang Chang. So she honestly replied, in the dormitory that the school arranged for me. Yu Yuzhu, give a location. Su Qin, I'm going to order you a takeout. Su Qin touched his stomach. Well, it's true that he didn't eat enough. No. It should be a little hungry again. The after effects of the brain's overcomputing were still there, so it was natural to eat more. Although it was said that a lot of barbecue was packed back, but now it was already cold, and there was no microwave or anything in the house. Although it was said that one could use the gas stove to boil water and steam it, but the whole barbecue, that can still be called barbecue? It simply doesn't taste good anymore, okay? Okay, I'll give you the location. Su Qin honestly sent the location over. He himself was now in the family area within the defense university, and it wasn't a classified troop, so sending the location was fine. Yu Yuzhu, the merchant called me and said that there are guards in the family building, so they can't send it in, so remember to come downstairs and get it later ooh. Su Qin nodded. It was indeed like this. Okay, I'll go down and get it when I call. Right, aren't you going to play a video with me? Suddenly, Su someone thought of a question and sent a message asking. Yu Yuzhu, I have something to go out right now so I won't be playing. 
Thus, Su Qin also started reading the paper. Current brain computing rate, 20%, using 20% of the computing power to read the paper. It was quite fast to learn. Originally Su Qin's brain could be considered smart. Multiplying it by two times was basically the limit of human beings. So, the speed at which the paper looked, was fast. In just half an hour, he completely finished reading an internal military paper on electromagnetic cannon theory. The author of the paper, was Zhang Weigua, and the publication time was half a year ago, which belonged to the most cutting-edge technology now. Hiss, Su Qin drew a breath of cool air. It seems like the truth electromagnetic cannon in principle. With the principle Zhang put forward, there is no essential difference ah, the system to give me the antithetical comprehension. It seems to be on the basis of the original improvement? It seems like, it was really like this. That is to say, Su Qin has no way to obtain a breakthrough in the existing technology of the counterintuitive black technology through the counterintuitive enlightenment, such as controllable nuclear fusion and what not, which all need to rely on their own later and then work hard. Alas, he sighed, I wanted to lie flat, but unfortunately it's not possible. And just as Su Qin was sighing there, the phone call came in. Hello? Hello? Take out. Come downstairs and get it. Over there, it was a female voice. The voice was somewhat familiar. But Su Qin couldn't recall whose voice it was. Maybe it was an illusion? Anyway, girls' voices are all pretty much the same. Right? Female takeout workers, also quite rare ah. Without further thought, Su Qin stood up and went downstairs to get the takeout. Just as he walked to the door, the guard on duty saluted. Swish. Su Qin returned a military salute and then walked out of the military compound. He was also at the rank of captain now. And although he was wearing his regular uniform, it was still an officer's regular uniform. Eh? After looking around, he did not see the so-called takeout. Outside the military compound, it was silent, with only the lights cast by the street lamps shining on the road. And there was no sign of the takeout on the hood of a car parked next to it. However, have you seen a takeaway? I just ordered a takeaway. Su Qin asked the guard. The soldier standing guard was puzzled and replied, Captain, Defense University doesn't allow takeout orders. There's no way for takeout to enter the school. Su Qin, then didn't you use you say she ordered it? Just when Su Qin was about to call the takeout clerk, suddenly, a pair of small, warm, jade-like hands that blindfolded his eyes. Su Qin, your takeout has arrived. It was a clear and guffawing, yet somewhat mischievous voice. Chapter 037, Virtuous Wife and Mother Type Yu Yuzhu. Su Qin turned around and was just stunned. Yu Yuzhu? This was Yu Yuzhu. How did she appear here? Su Qin's mind was flooded with countless multiple thoughts at the moment. His brain was completely buzzing, not knowing what this was all about. This was a defense university, not to mention the University of Housing, now is some ordinary university, will not allow people outside the school to casually enter. And the entrance of the University of Defense but there are sentries standing guard, that is even more unlikely to allow unrelated people to enter. After all, these are the future pillars of the country. It is impossible for them to be threatened by people in society. To know, outside the spy, but drill through the head want to mix into the defense university. As a result, you use you actually came in directly? How did you? You come? Su Qin's entirety was a dog-faced daze. Somewhat dazed. Indeed, he was completely unresponsive. Why can't I come over ah? Yu Yuzhu was dressed beautifully, with a small white dress that showed off her seductive figure and even her snow-white, bumpy collarbones were clearly visible. The long skirt didn't cover her calves, and her meticulous white calves were slightly exposed, carrying a sense of pure temptation. What's wrong? Not happy to see me? Su Qin swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Also, also not, just a little surprised. Is it a surprise or a shock? Yu Yuzhu beamed, stretching out a finger, gently tapping it on Su Qin's forehead. You say, is it that seeing me come makes you feel unhappy? God have mercy. Su someone really just felt surprised. Other than that, there really wasn't. That's not true. I'm just curious about how you got in. Let's forget about this for now la. The guards are arresting me. Now let's quickly go and hide. Yu Yuzhu pulled Su Qin's hand and immediately ran towards the inside of the family neighborhood. Swish, the two soldiers standing guard didn't stop them, but let the two go in after saluting. Only, after the two walked past, one of the sentries said to his companion, That's Captain Su Qin. Right? It's the youngest researcher in the entire military compound. But how come I heard that he and Major Zhang Lin you are? The soldier next to him hastily made a shushing sound. Shu, don't dare to talk nonsense. This kind of thing. Let's just pretend we didn't see it. Don't ever take it out and spread it around. If this gets out, the two of us will be finished. Ding. The elevator opened and Su Qin brought Yu Yuzhu back to her room. Somehow, 
when he saw Zhang Lingyu's closed room door. He always had the illusion that he was stealing someone. It's not right ah. I don't have any relationship with Zhang Lingyu either. We're just pure revolutionary friendship. Then it's fine ah. Thinking of this, Su Qin sighed in relief, which is behind her back. She's here. This is also a good classmate of mine from high school. Su Qin. You. This is your dormitory? Yu Yuzhu stared wide-eyed and dumbfounded at the room in front of her. It was two rooms in one hall. Not big, but this was a dormitory. Which school directly allocates a dormitory with a suite of rooms to students? I'll have to say, inside the school are not all prison-like bunk beds, and there is a bed under the table that are considered so good that people cannot help but praise the bed under the table. The result. Now, Su Qin even directly live on the two rooms in one hall? Su Qin. What exactly is your situation now? Yu Yuzhu, all confused, placed the bag she had brought up on the table. Ahem. Su Qin coughed. That, actually, I slightly have a little bit of merit. This is the dormitory that the school assigned to me. Yu Yuzhu, like this? You've only been at the university for a few days ah? And you have a single dormitory? I don't believe it. Yu Yuzhu held her head up in disbelief. Who was Su Qin? Su Qin wasn't just an ordinary person who was competing with herself for the first place in the class. Although they were considered excellent inside the class, but when put on the whole country, or even on the big platform of the Defense University, then it was actually just one amongst a vast number of beings. This is the Defense University. It's the school that all young people who want to serve their country aspire to enter. It was either officer's school or Defense University. Although Su Qin was specially recruited, it wasn't as if he came in and was arranged such a good dormitory. I. I don't believe it. Yu Yuzhu blinked. Don't lie to me. I'm very smart. Su Qin. Look there. Saying that, he pointed to the military uniform hanging next to him. Hooray. That was. A military uniform with the rank of captain. It was the clothes of an officer. After seeing it, Yu Yuzhu's expression. Instantly changed. Ha. Huh? You. Really? Su Qin nodded. Yes. The current me is a captain officer. Already officially a soldier. This was also considered an achievement and it was okay to pretend a little. Wow. This time, Yu Yuzhu believed it. Giving Su Qin 10 guts, that would definitely not dare to casually wear military uniforms with military ranks. How did you do it? It's only been here for two months. Right. And you can get your own dormitory? I also want to have this kind of dormitory ah. Su Qin suddenly seized a point and hurriedly asked. Wait. I haven't asked just now. Why are you here? Moreover, you also want to have such a dormitory. What does this also mean? Seeing that there was no way to hide it anymore, Yu Yuzhu didn't delay anything but simply admitted it. I scored 607 in the college entrance exam, and I got in. I'm now a freshman at the Defense University, just like you. It's a light weapon research and development major. Su Qin, which major are you? Su Qin, high school entrance exam, 607? Not right ah. You usually contested most 601 right. On the level of 985 are enough. This time directly 607? Su Qin main hit is a dog face confused. No, you're a bit of a span too big right? Humph, can't you overplay? Yu Yuzhu snorted coldly and raised her head. This is my acceptance letter. Let me show you. She took out a copy of the acceptance letter inside the bag. Sure enough, this was the acceptance letter from the Defense University. And after opening it, there was a 3D model of a long sword, representing the identity of the sword maker who forged the sword for the country. This acceptance letter Su Qin have not yet, no other, simply did not have time to make. Or, in fact, he hadn't been enrolled in Defense University yet, but directly into the military, and was still grasping at straws there. Something still needed to go through the process. Not bad. Su Qin nodded. Then your college entrance exam score is higher than mine. Humph, Yu Yuzhu raised her head, revealing a happy look. By the way, this is what I made for you to eat. It's locked fresh oh. Saying that, she took out a thermos box from under the bag, and after the thermos box was opened, inside was an ice pack that hadn't melted yet, as well as a couple of thermos boxes. Inside the insulated boxes were, were two brats, and a couple of cupcakes. This is, you personally made this? Su Qin was also stunned. Yu Yuzhu nodded. Aha! Brought it from home. Chapter 038, you asked if I could fall in love? Zhang Chang was at least a day's journey away from the defense university if one took a normal flight, but without a flight, the high-speed train was a day or two away. It was nearly across the entire Dragon Kingdom. It was a little hard for Su Qin to imagine how a girl could bring over a thermos box with food alone while taking her own luggage. And, even the cupcakes, they didn't fall apart in the slightest. A man with a cold heart has a hot stomach. What's more, Su Qin was never considered to have a hard heart. This, 
Su Qin, for a moment, was somewhat speechless. Can we eat now? Can ah, Yu Yuju nodded her head. Then, she immediately shook her head. No, you can't eat it now. She immediately stood up. That was because I thought I didn't have the conditions to cook. So I barely made Brussels sprouts and cakes that can be eaten cold. Now that you can cook here, then I'll go and buy vegetables and come back to cook and eat for you. Without waiting for Su Qin to respond, Yu Yuju pulled Su Qin out to buy vegetables. At this point in time, it was just in time for the closing time of the nearest Yonghui supermarket. The two didn't delay, and Yu Yuju quickly chose some ingredients, as well as various types of seasonings. Still want to buy rice? Su Qin was a bit baffled for a moment. Of course, you can cook and eat by yourself, Yu Yuju said seriously. But the school has a cafeteria ah, and you don't need to pay for your meals usually. You have points. He thought it was because Yu Yuju didn't know the school's rules, and that there was actually no need to personally cook. But the cafeteria isn't open 24 hours ah, there's no takeout at school. What if I'm hungry at night? I can cook for you. For a while, Su Qin was a bit baffled. Until 11 o'clock, when the table was served with a steaming one sweet and sour pork, tomato scrambled eggs, and chili pepper stir-fried meat. Su Qin was a little bit feeling not quite real. How is there a kind of feeling of a virtuous wife and mother? Yu Yuju can be said to be the two extremes with Zhang Lingyu. Yu Yuju belongs to the type that cares for the family, although the ability to work has not been particularly good, but loves life. Zhang Lingyu, on the other hand, was a ten-fingered person who didn't dip her fingers in the water, and just doing academics, that was already top-notch. Eat? Yu Yuju racked up a piece of sweet and sour pork for Su Qin and said, Aha! Su Qin nodded. He slowly put the ribs into his mouth. The flavor. Very good. The small fried meat was also delicious. It was especially in line with his own tastes. Worthy of being from the same small city, the two people's tastes were highly similar, and the dishes Yu Yuju made were completely on Su Qin's appetite. Although the cafeteria of Defense University was delicious, it was the north after all. There was still a difference between the dishes in the north and the spicy free Sichuan and Chongqing. As soon as the spicy sensation entered his mouth, Su Qin only felt as if he had returned to Jiangcheng. Cozy. This was the best meal he had ever had when he left home. It was especially fragrant. This meal, Su Qin ate clean. Yu Yuju's cooking skills were very good. Obviously the type that had been cooking since she was a child. Su Qin. Yu Yuju was a little lost in thought. What? Su Qin was stunned. Seeing that Yu Yuju hadn't eaten anymore, he thought that she was up to something. Sure enough, her expression was a bit ugly. I just saw the school rules. School students can't fall in love inside the school. Su Qin also remembered. Indeed, all military schools are prohibited for current students to fall in love inside our school. This is written inside the school rules. If it is said to be with other schools, then it is not prohibited. After all, the fear is that if you fall in love inside the school, if you get a female student pregnant, this is a military school, a place where iron bones are strong and the spine is cultivated for the country. It's fine. Who goes to college and falls in love? Su Qin said indifferently as he plowed through his rice and took a big, delicious bite. What's so great about falling in love? Let me tell you, it's hard for a girl like you to get into defense university. Never fall in love. Spilling blood for the country is the right way. Be aware. Before Su Qin could finish his words, he realized that a fist had smashed into his head with a thud sound. You asshole. Yu Yuju was almost in tears. The school rules are written like that. So aren't the two of us not allowed to be together? I should have known that I wouldn't have enrolled in Defense University. After saying that, Yu Yuju trotted back. Although the closing time of the dormitory was very early, it was lax lately because school hadn't officially started yet. Su Qin was stunned. He looked at the still steaming meal on the table and didn't react for a moment. The two of us. In love? He was a straight man, but not a fool. He still knew these things, and what Yu Yuju that meant. He also understood. This was almost no different from a confession. Thinking of this, Su Qin picked up his cell phone and made a call. He was calling Zhang Weigua directly. Zhang Weigua was the principal, so he should know. Hello? Zhang Weigua over there, who was staying up all night working there, saw that someone had called, and was instantly filled with displeasure. Which ungrateful one is it? Calling me in the middle of the night? What segment was he? How dare someone call him in the middle of the night? Wasn't this looking for unhappiness himself? Although it wasn't as bad as wearing small shoes. Calling the head boss at night was itself a sign of very low emotional intelligence. Especially if it was still late at night. Unless it was something very important. I hope it's not too bad news. Zhang Weigua could only think that it was bad news that required his immediate decision. Then, picking up his cell phone. As a result, he realized that it was actually Su Qin who had called. Without any hesitation, 
he immediately picked up. Hey, Su Chin Ah, what's so important? His tone, at that moment, instantly changed, instantly shifting his attitude by 180 degrees, completely as if he was speaking to a babe in the same tone. Those who didn't know, thought it was Zhang Weigua's young lover, old Zhang Ah. Su Qin didn't have to be polite with Zhang Weigua. He was the one who had asked himself to be called old Zhang, saying that it seemed affectionate. I want to ask, does our school allow on-campus relationships? Zhang Weigua. Ah, before picking up the phone, Zhang Weigua already had several guesses in his head. Could it be that the concept of the electromagnetic cannon had gone wrong? That wasn't right. It had already been mass-produced. Or was he asking about the machine learning results of the drone swarm? Not right ah. Didn't he tell him to take a good rest on his own, and just leave the running of the code to himself? What Zhang Weigua thought was most likely at that time, was that there was a new concept. This is going to be a major breakthrough, right? The result. He play play did not think ah. Su Qin unexpectedly, is here to ask if it is possible to fall in love? Ah, crazy. This is a bit wrong ah. Chapter 039, pouring it all out. The whole country. Of course, the final reply. Zhang Weigua was stumped. That. In principle, on-campus relationships are not allowed, but rules are dead, people are alive. That that, anyway, as long as the other party is willing, you just don't have to cause too bad of an impact, I can cover it. However, having a child's or whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, she's that big, I've been anxious for a long time. Obviously, Zhang Weigua misunderstood. He also thought that the person Su Qin asked was Zhang Lingyu. Okay, hanging up. Zhang Weigua looked at Su Qin who had nonchalantly and directly hung up the phone, and was a bit out of his mind for a while. He looked again at the paper he had to write on his desk. It was the one he hadn't finished before, about electromagnetic cannons. His grandma, what the hell is there to write? If that Su Qin kid becomes my nephew's son-in-law, the scientific and technological achievements taken out just these two times are enough for a hundred of me to work hard. I'm 80 years old and still can't rest and take a break? Sleep. For the first time, Zhang Weigui rewarded himself for going to bed before 12. Of course, he obviously misunderstood. He thought Su Qin was asking Zhang Lingyu. After all, the relationship that the two had shown did have some closeness as well. More importantly, that was Zhang Lingyu's own choice. The next morning, Su Qin was called up by Zhang Lingyu. Did you cook last night? Zhang Lingyu asked with a suspicious face, looking at the dishes on the table that had been eaten clean, but had yet to be washed. Pretty much. Hungry. Su Qin didn't think much about it and casually replied. Wow. The female officer over there hesitated for a moment. Soon after, she ruffled her sleeves. Let's go look at the drone training process. After class is over I guess we won't have all day. Just leave these dishes to me to wash. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Qi nodded. Soon, Zhang Lingyu washed the dishes. Her mind hadn't been here. And she had been thinking about a problem. Otherwise, she was definitely able to discover. On this cupboard table, there were clearly two pairs of chopsticks. She hadn't even thought about it carefully and thought that it was a pair left over from Su Qin's cooking. Okay, trouble you. Su Qin began to dress and wash up. Half an hour later, the Defense University Supercomputer Lab. Hello, student Su. A man in his 60s stood up and shook Su Qin's hand. Su Qin didn't dare to be arrogant. This was a professor. Hello there. He hurriedly bent down to shake hands with the man. The training process is now 1 15th complete, and it is expected that in another 28 days, the training will be completed. Regarding the collection of training materials, it's already in the process of being collected in an organized manner now. So basically, it won't delay the progress of the supercomputer's training. That professor began to explain. So far, there are 231 supercomputers in training across the country, and they have already reached the peak where they can be activated. Hmm. Su Qi nodded. Zhang Weigua and Wang Zhang's energy could be greater than he had imagined. He originally thought that he could only mobilize a hundred supercomputers at most, but he didn't expect that this breath was more than 200. Nearly all the supercomputers in the country had been called up by themselves. Let's go. Let's go see how well the drones are built. Su Qin took a deep breath. Zhang Lingyu followed closely behind, but the entire person's mood was clearly somewhat fluttering, not knowing what she was thinking about. At the same time, a certain 985 university. At this moment, a group of graduate students were there theorizing with the teacher who managed the supercomputer. Teacher, today is the time we made an appointment. Ah. It's through the school's reservation, so why won't you let us use the arithmetic power when it's time? This is the school's resource. Since the school has given out the reservation procedure, everyone needs to abide by it. How can it be our time to use it? But in the end, we are not allowed to use it? They were the ones who went through the formal procedure. So, they were furious. 
Which connected person had taken the spot here? This is too much. A few graduate students were furious. The teacher who managed it raised his head slightly and spoke calmly. There's no way. Anyway, this supercomputer, you can't use it now. This is a directive from above. There is an urgent mission. This teacher was answering truthfully. As for the content of the mission, he didn't know about it either. He had only given the authorization. And all that followed was being used by the people above in remote operation. I don't know how many days this mission will last. Anyway, this mission isn't over. The above is going to use it for a day. Then this supercomputer can't be used by you guys. So, you guys figure it out, or just die sooner or later. That teacher was also helpless. However, this group of graduate students were completely fried in their minds. This is definitely just for other people to use. There's a dark secret in this. How can this be? This is a society with the rule of law. Everything should be according to the rules. Could it be a relative of the principal? This is too much. We have to use this to run the program. Ah, this time missed the appointment. That will have to wait until when. It was supposed to be the whole school teachers and students lined up in the use of it. How can we cut in line? This is absolutely not allowed. We have to send it to the internet. Let the netizens comment. Students nowadays can be completely different from 10 years ago that is. In some ways, schools are actually considered disadvantaged. After all, when a certain impoverished student with an $8,000 secondhand defeated I, a $4,000 cell phone, and a $4,000 iPad, attacked the school with a big rumor on the internet, the netizens would also give their support. And even after the exposure was reversed, there was still a portion of the grandparents who would choose to continue their support. So, that teacher is also a bit difficult to deal with. This would be troublesome if it was really sent to the internet. It would also need to be told to the top and then urgently deleted. After all, this matter had a high rank. Everyone turn off your cell phones. I'll show you the annotations on this document. The teacher said helplessly, telling all these graduate students to put their cell phones down. Then, they then saw why the school would hand over the right to use the supercomputer without hesitation. Hooray! This document that. It was issued jointly by the Central Army and Air Force Military Industrial Research Institute. Stamped with a seal. What's this? What's this big deal? Recently, is there any major achievement? Upon seeing the labeling of the issued document, this group of graduate students instantly shut up. Just kidding. That was the Central Military Industrial Research Institute. And it was issued by the Air Force and the Army together. This pattern that was already pulled full circle. Damn. I'll be damned. Hurry up and delete the video. Sorry, teacher. I'm stupid. Teacher. I deleted the video on my cell phone. Give you a bow. Soon, the graduate students dispersed. This scene was not just happening here. At the same time, it was all over the country. Every supercomputer. All were running the code that Su Qin had knocked out. Running at full power. Chapter 040, A Pirate, Sent to the Door? Su Qin slowly looked at the drones that were flying one after another, with gravity within his expression. So far, the entire drones had all been manufactured. It was only that the model that needed to be trained, to serve as the operating system. Right now, this was just in front of being able to take off, test, and land. What's needed now is that algorithm. When Cheng Yuan looked deeply at Su Qin, his eyes somewhat complicated. Now the supercomputers all over the country, all of them are running the program for identification. Hopefully the results will come out earlier. The first batch of test planes of the drone fleet could all be built by Wen Cheng Yuan. Their Air Force Military Research Institute had the most complete experience in building military drones. So naturally, it was given to Wen Cheng Yuan to take charge of. And this was also a task that Wen Cheng Yuan himself must take. It was important to him. Aha. Uh -huh. Su Qi nodded. I hope that at the same time, we can arrange the production line as well, and be able to mass produce it as soon as possible. Upon hearing this, Zhang Lingyu was all confused as well. Production line? But we haven't even completed the testing now. If the system you wrote out, has problems, I'm afraid that the production line that was set up would be wasted. Zhang Lin Yu's words were pertinent. The production line, that was to wait until the complete experimentation was completed, and had been passed, determined to have real world value, before it could be set up and established. It was absolutely impossible, to simply set it up. After all, that would require a great deal of money. Good. When Chang Yuan directly nodded his head, I'll personally manipulate the design of the production line and strive to be able to directly start the mass production of the production line as soon as your operating system comes out and the verification is completed. In his tone, he carried a firmness. Wife, when academician, how can you agree to this condition? Zhang Lin Yu was all confused. Wen Chang Yuan, this was a very stable old professor, right? In this current situation, 
Shouldn't one wait for the verification to be completed? If one were to start straight away, the risk taken would be a little too great. Right. This was too impulsive. When Chang Yuan slowly exhaled a breath, who? He raised his head and saw Su Qin's glib expression. Do you know, on Wang Zhang's side, how powerful it is now? Zhang Linyu was stunned. Wang War? Isn't that the general of the army group army? What's going on with the research institute of the Guan Air Force? General Wang. He doesn't seem to be involved with the Air Force side, right? Zhang Lin Yu asked tentatively. However, she saw when Cheng Yuan's cold smile. Ha! Just yesterday, Wang Zhan pulled a truth cannon yesterday and went straight to the Ministry of Finance. Do you know how much he asked for? Fifty billion dollars in cash. And, every year for the next ten years, there will be more than fifty billion dollars of cash funding just for the production of the truth cannon alone. Fifty billion. Sparing Su Qin, who had personally designed the truth. He smacked his lips at this moment upon hearing this. This is not the total funding. It was extra added. For truth alone, this is equivalent to one twentieth of the total funding. This amount of money is definitely not a small amount of money. This is money that can repair an aircraft carrier well. When has the army been able to have such a large expenditure? The army's single largest expenditure is usually the development of tanks and fighting vehicles. As a result, this time, a single cannon directly asked for $50 billion. When Shang Yuan's tone was serious, if the drone swarms can be successful, then they can also definitely be listed in the country and form combat power at an extremely fast speed, to the air control of modern warfare, form an absolute advantage. So, it's not really a bet. Millions of production lines, it's all a small matter. I'll do it myself. It couldn't be helped. All the technology Su Qin took out was too tempting. It was just a little too exciting. If it really succeeded, this is bound to be a big leap in the history of the Air Force. And just at this time, suddenly, Su Qin's cell phone rang. Ding ring. Over there, it was Wang Zhan who called. Wang Zhan's tone was very calm. Little Su, what are you doing? Su Qin replied truthfully. Over at the Air Force Research Institute, looking at the testing machine for the drone, Wang Zhan instantly became alert, like a thief being guarded. His tone filled with suspicion inside, when Shang Yuan didn't say anything strange to you. Right. Like arranging a bed for you at the Air Force Research Institute or something. At those words, when Shang Yuan was all angry and laughed, I'm not that shameless. Su Qin was discovered by your army. Then it belongs to your army. The rank is on the army. Still afraid that I will rob you? Wang Zhan laughed, it's just that I'm afraid you'll snatch it. Su Qin just listened there awkwardly. How is he like a little daughter-in-law? Su Qin, we're loading the truth cannon. Can you come over? Come over to discharge the first cannon. It's kind of an army tradition. I'll have a helicopter pick you up at the school. It'll take about three hours to get there. Su Qin nodded. Okay. It was idle anyway. So he might as well go out and take a look. He was also interested in the feeling inside the army. Thus, half an hour later, Su Qin took off in a helicopter directly from the tarmac on the top floor of the Air Force Research Institute. I've gotten my rank for so long, but I haven't been to the company yet, Zhang Lingyu said loudly, while covering her ears to block the loud sound of the propellers as they took off. Ha! Huh? Then I haven't been there either. There shouldn't be any strange traditions, right? Su Qin was also a little worried. However, it was worrying. Although the two were said to be in the rank of the army, they were also scientific research talents and would not really be able to get them to practice inside the army. After all, every minute of a scientific research talent can be precious. In case they practice to waste one, it would be more than worth it. Soon, when the airplane landed, a group of army generals were waiting there. Among them were not only Wang Zhan, even Zhang Weigua was there. Principal Zhang, why are you here? Su Qin was also stunned. Had had. I had to come and take a look at truth's actualization. Zhang Weigua rubbed his hands together. He was the one who was looking forward to it the most. This electromagnetic cannon was also a project that he had tracked all the way here, and was incomparably excited about this moment. How many doors does the truth have now? Su Qin asked. This was asked to Wang Zhan. There are seven doors that have already been listed, and now production is being stepped up. As much as possible, 1,000 doors will be listed for this artillery regiment within a month. 1,000 guns. This was undoubtedly a terrifying number. If it was an ordinary artillery regiment, Getting this many guns would be insane. There would be no time to move them, and no way to ensure the safety of the regiment. But this is the truth. The truth of a 400 kilometer range. What if I fire my guns from 400 kilometers away? Well, shall we begin then? Su Qin inquired. Just as Wang Zhan was about to open his mouth, suddenly, a soldier rushed over. Regiment. Commander. This wasn't talking to Wang Zhan, it was talking to the head of the regiment behind him. There are people being robbed by pirates. 
It's that group of pirates from Wolfsbane again. Chapter 041, Truth, Within Range of the Cannons, SH. What, didn't we just crack down not long ago? The special operation has only ended less than half a month ago, and the group of pirates from Wolfsbane are here again? Fuck, that regimental commander, at this time, was also cursing at the top of his lungs, completely disregarding the fact that there were generals around him anymore. The occasion couldn't be cared for. He was truly infuriated. Captain Huang, what's going on? Wang Zhan frowned and asked. It was impossible for him to know everything about what was going on below the garrison. After all, the entire East Sea Group Army's garrison area was equivalent to half of the country's coastline. It's pirates. The Yellow Regimental Commander came over and said angrily, that group of pirates, on a reef outside the high seas, artificially filled in an island. How can a group of pirates have the strength to fill in the sea and land? There must be an eagle's backing behind that. Not only that, as soon as we went to exterminate them, they ran away, came back and continued to entrench the island. That's an area of the open sea, and our troops can't stay for a long time. Su Qin also heard and understood. This is a group of pirates, and ordinary pirates are not the same. Perhaps behind this group of pirates there will be support from the eagles, which makes the military of the dragon country is also jealous. Let's go take a look. Su Qin turned his head and asked Wang Zhuan. Aha. Wang Zhuan only felt that his face was not shining at this moment. Although that was a matter for the marine police and navy now. But after all, it was within the area where he was stationed. And the people had already sued to themselves. This has to go and take a look. Soon, the naval ships set sail. Two destroyers carried the marines. A group of people to the place where the robbery had taken place. A transport liner, at that moment, dropped its anchor on the continental shelf and floated there. Get on board. Wang Zhan waved his hand. Soon, soldiers from the marines boarded the ship and took control of the scene. When Su Qin brought Zhang Lin Yu up, what he saw was a mess. The goods that were valuable and could be carried had already been taken away. Those that were not able to be carried, were directly dumped into the sea. On the surface of the sea, there were containers floating one by one. And those containers, were sinking rapidly. After waiting on the ship and seeing the tragic scene above, Su Qin even clenched his fist. Bastards. Inside the crew room, there were more than 30 crew members tied up. Among them, there were two women, disheveled and disheveled all over, as if they were broken dolls, lying godlessly on the deck. Hurry up and send them to the hospital. File upwards. Quick. Wang Zhan's expression was frozen. He gave the order. However, the owner of the ship, who had just been untied, was in a state of shock, and hurriedly said, Leader, it mustn't be reported upwards. If the pirates know that it was us who reported it, then we will be finished in the future. That's the group of pirates in Wolfsbane. Although, the losses were all his. Even though, it wasn't even covered by insurance. Even though, it was his wife who was humiliated. This shipowner still held back the grief in his heart and told Wang Zhan to never report the case. He was afraid of retaliation from the bandits. General, Captain Huang came over unable to bear it in his heart. There are still a few women under the cabin being. The entire ship has lost all of its cargo, and there are female compatriots who have been. There was a male crew member who resisted and was finally killed. Bang! Wang Zhan slammed his fist and directly smashed it on the wall, and what he carried in his eyes was full of hatred. Suffocating ah! This, Zhang Lin Yu saw this scene, also could not bear to cover her mouth, and hurriedly took off her own clothes and covered one of the young girls. We, will give you justice. Zhang Lin you could only say this in relief. However, that young girl was baffled and shook her head. It's no use. They have been in this sea for five years. Five years. This is already the second time we have been targeted. I, ooh hoo. This is the ship owner's 18 year old daughter, who was originally a flower like age, but ended up being spoiled by those bastards. What's even more hateful is, now, it's amazing that they have no way to take action. It was the high seas. And, once the special action is declared upwards and passed, it will be discovered in advance, and that group of bandits will directly run away in a puff of smoke. This, Zhang Lin Yu was, for a moment, stunned. She didn't know how to comfort, completely at a loss as to how to comfort, preside over justice? There was simply no way to take down the other party right now, neither to beat the grass and scare the snakes, nor to strike with thunder. This, was actually very difficult. Damn it, let the navy side mobilize a few speedboats. We'll go straight on. Just a few hundred bandits. Afraid of shit. Wang Zhan angrily rebuked, with determination inside his eyes. Old me has about a thousand soldiers on board right now. What am I afraid of? Wang Zhan himself had a big temper. Plus this was the moment that completely ignited him. It was too much of a bully. However, Captain Huang immediately blocked. General, it's useless. 
Now if we strike, it will be quickly discovered by the other side of our movements. Now our suspicion is that the group of pirates have GPS support from the Eagle, at any time is monitoring our fleet movements. Once there is a movement of our navy, that group of pirates will scatter in a huff, and, even if the air force is deployed, it will likewise be captured by the satellites, which will ultimately lead to spooking the pirates. Bang! Upon hearing this, Wang Zhang could only ruthlessly slam his fist on the table once again. His eyes were filled with resignation. This eagle, was also too bullying. More importantly, right now, Long Boy needed to focus on the big picture and stabilize the development. For the time being, it was impossible to start a conflict with the eagle. Woo woo, that messy young girl. At this moment, sniffing, the whole person's emotions completely collapsed. Originally she looked at the army that came. The heart also rose a trace of hope. The result to now. Hope. Has been completely broken. Even the army is useless to do her justice. Ah. Zhang Lin you didn't know what to say. For a while. She was also speechless and choked up. A feeling of empathic powerlessness rose up from her heart in full force. However. Just when the group of people were very pessimistic. Su Qin. Popped up. I have a plan here to eliminate that group of bandits. What do you guys think? As soon as Su Qin opened his mouth. The. Instantly. Everyone. Were blinded. Ah. You Su Qin. You are a scientific researcher. Right? We admit. You in scientific research is very good. But that how to say is also scientific research ah. And military above can be not at all related. Now you want to mention a program out? What do you mean? The people present were all a bit bewildered. Zhang Lin you immediately persuaded. Su Qin. Don't. We are scientific researchers. We don't know anything about this area. Professional things should be left to professionals to do. However, Su Qin was shaking his head. The way to break the game is simple. That island, from our coast down, just 200 kilometers, within range of the cannons. It's all truth. Chapter 042, crazy? You're a researcher. Upon hearing the words, instantly, all four were shocked. Especially those officers and soldiers in the first line of battle were baffled. This young scientist, is out of his mind? How is it that he is netting some nonsense here? This is simply impossible, right? It's simply too bizarre. Truth is within the range of a cannon? Our country has artillery with a range of over 200 kilometers? The artillery regiment leader who had been following along earlier hurriedly spoke up. That, this captain researcher, the cannon with the greatest range we have right now only has a range of 70 kilometers. Any further range would be a short-range missile. If we want to use short-range missiles, it's something we have to apply for with the rocket army side, and the cost is too high. That belongs to being a deterrent weapon, and it can't be used easily. These frontline generals, they know their weapons like the back of their hands. Cannons? Just 70 kilometers of range. Can't even reach it. It's useless. All right. However, Wang Zhang, after hearing this, was slamming his head. Holy shit, why didn't I think of it? Focusing on this as a high-tech weapon. Simply did not think to use to the actual battle inside. Just think of hurrying to install it. Combat thinking is still not corrected. The words of Wang Zhan, is to let the officers and soldiers present for the shock. Ah, General Wang, are you serious? If Su Qin, a young researcher, said something that everyone might have questioned because they didn't know his identity, then that military rank on Wang Zhan's body was something that made it necessary for everyone to remain in awe at all times. Therefore, Wang Zhan opened his mouth. It was bound to be a word. There really was such a long-range cannon. Zhang Lin Yu also reacted, and instantly that powerless sadness on her face disappeared. Turning to initial relief, don't worry, we will definitely do you justice. That group of people, must receive the punishment they deserve. That young girl was stunned. Really? Really? Let's go. Plan a battle plan immediately. Wang Zhan immediately got excited. Before leaving, he didn't forget to say to the people around him, protect all the victims and settle them down. Immediately conduct a medical checkup. Let them wait patiently for a day or two. Our military will give them an explanation. Soon. A group of people began to formulate a combat plan in the combat research room inside the destroyer. Looking at the satellite map, Wang Zhan directly said, When the time comes, start shelling directly. After the shelling is over, we'll set off from these waters to clean up the battlefield. At that time, let the helicopters take off first. Arrive at the scene at the first time. Arrest the relevant people. And if they are dead then collect their bodies. Live and let die. The other officers all nodded their heads. Well. Since there were cannons with such a long range, it was just a matter of firing them directly. After all, artillery shells are not expensive. Directly bomb. Then A goes up. However, at this moment, Su Qin's body, on the other hand, began to tremble slightly. Ding. 
Military command technology detected. Being read for you. Adverse enlightenment talent used. You listen to the combat command from senior general Wang War. Comprehending the top combat command talent on your own. And are in the process of automatically acquiring the relevant command knowledge for you. A stream of information. Like an ocean. Entered Su Qin's brain. What's wrong? Feeling the slight trembling of the body of the man beside her. Zhang Lingyu immediately assisted and asked with concern. Not feeling well? Otherwise, let's go back first. We can't be used here anyway. After all, they were scientific researchers. Although it was said to have a military rank, it was only a scientific researcher. And in front of experiencing many things, there was no way to be comparable to these real soldiers who were tempered by swords and fire. Su Qin didn't speak. He just stared at that sea chart with a deadly stare. There was a hint of sharpness in his eyes. One by one, the information that was converging inside Su Qin's brain at the moment was rapidly converging into a line of experience that could be called upon. It was as if a strategist was pouring in his ears. Countless information on the art of war and modern warfare was poured into Su Qin's brain. Comprehension completed. You have completed your understanding of military tactics. At this point, the discussion was nearing its end. Basically, there were no opinions. The basis of this tactical designation is in having ultra-high range cannons. So there's no use having any objections. And the next thing to do is basically very simple. Directly on the cannons Colin Ruwashi bombard his mother. So that the group of bandits flesh and blood sprinkled in all directions. If there is no opinion, then the combat program is so settled. When the time comes by me to personally command, Wang War finally opened his mouth and said. Su Qin instantly stood up his body and saluted. General Wang. I request to be in charge of formulating the combat plan. I have a better program. Once these words came out, instantly, the officers and researchers in the room were all confused. Ah, you, you're a scientist. Now, you even want to formulate a battle plan? Just now you proposed to have a super high range cannon. That is indeed your research results. Everyone may be unaware of it. After all, that still belongs to your field. Everyone has no concept of your new results. But, you are now saying that you want to designate a combat program. It's simply crazy. Su Qin, stop it. This is the army. No drama. Zhang Weigua, who had been silent all this time, opened his mouth at this time. Throughout the entire process, his mouth was closed tightly. Having lived to Zhang Weigua's age, he had also crawled and fought his way through the scientific research system for a lifetime, and had carried the rank on his body for a lifetime. He naturally knew when it was time for him to speak and when it was time for him not to speak. In a combat situation like the current one, Zhang Weigua had a good idea in his heart. Although his rank was Major General, he should not be able to match an ordinary second lieutenant in terms of combat command ability. Therefore, keeping one's mouth shut was what a researcher should do. This isn't a school. Human lives are at stake. It's not up to you to mess around. Therefore, when Su Qin said that he requested for command, Zhang Weigua immediately opened his mouth to stop it. There were some things that could not be done. Zhang Linyu also nodded. Su Qin, don't, this is the army ah, none of us know anything about this, area, Wang Zhan also looked grave, little Su, you're a scientific researcher, but you don't understand the combat aspect, or rather, do you have any opinions on my arrangement, if you have a better idea, you can mention it, of course, this latter sentence was basically polite, letting you mention your opinion, you couldn't really mention it, could you, this was a professional, however, Su Qin directly spoke, yes, the current battle plan, there is the suspicion of relying too much on the truth cannons, our fleet staying here will most likely aggravate the pirates vigilance, prepare the ships before the shelling, after the shelling stops, they will be the first to flee, we have to make them lose their vigilance, Su Qin directly outlined the chart, the cargo ship that had just been outlined, immediately mobilize the helicopters in the name of escorting the wounded, but leave two of them on this freighter and cover it with a sea camouflage camouflage cloth, afterward, the fleet retreats, that group of pirates is bound to lower their guard, and may have a celebration party as night falls. When the shelling begins, they won't be able to prepare themselves. As soon as the shelling begins, the helicopters will be deployed to control the relevant sea area. Do it, and get them all in one net. Chapter 043, Opening Fire The moment Su Qin's words came out, all of the people at the scene were already completely confused. His plan, it shouldn't be considered complicated, it was very simple. The fishing boat will be directly covered up, because this fishing boat was destroyed the engine system, which itself is the pirates did, so it was not supposed to be able to move, at least to repair a day or two to drive back. Then, this fishing boat, can be used as a stronghold to hide the troops, let those pirates think that the dragon country's army has withdrawn back, so naturally they will relax their vigilance. At this moment, Zhang Weigua, 
that is completely useless to use his brain. But Pope Su Chin, don't make people laugh here. We are engaged in scientific research. Hurry back. Do you think you are filming a military drama? The more complicated the plan, rather the worse the implementation. He was the one who didn't use his brain and didn't know how to evaluate it. All he knew was, let's not fiddle in front of professionals if we are not professionals. However, Su Chin was not pulled by him. Instead, there was a pair of hands that directly pulled Zhang Weigua. This, this plan, Wang Zhan's expression, a little dumbfounded. Those hands were his. He had a death grip on Zhang Weigua's hands, telling him not to act rashly, while his eyes were deadlocked on top of the charts, assessing the possibilities of what could be implemented. It can be. Wang Zhan snapped out, pleasantly surprised. Although this fishing boat doesn't have an apron, if we throw away all the crab replenishment cages in the front, after all of them are vacated, it is able to accommodate a helicopter landing, and if we go back, it will definitely make that group of pirates relax their guard, and the shelling will have the best effect then. Good. Let's do it. With these words, Wang Zhan obviously agreed with Su Qin's plan and completely affirmed that plan of his. Zhang Weigui. Zhang Weigui. Confused. What the hell ah? Su Qin. It seems like you damn well shouldn't have this military power. Why is it that not only are you a scientific researcher, but you also know so much about combat ah? Outrageous. This dean of the Army Central Research Institute of Military Industry, at this moment, was very complicated to look at Su Qin. For a while, he didn't know what to say. Looking at Su Qin's eyes, it was called a like looking at a monster. Next to Zhang Linyu. Su Qin. When did you know military command? Fake right? Su Qin didn't have any fluctuation. Good talent. When I was small, I liked to read Sun Tzu's Art of War. Also, it was General Wan who started it off well. Next to him, Wang Zhan. Brat. I still don't know what that plan of mine is like. It's just a conventional way of fighting. While this idea of yours is a breakthrough from the conventional. And it's a breakthrough from the conventional that can completely maximize the effect. Otherwise, why don't you stop being a scientific researcher and come to our army? I'll give you a colonel. Zhang Weigua violently rushed out with an arrow step. Wait. Su Qin belongs to our army's military industrial research institute. No one wants it. Not even the army. His expression was tinged with resentment. It was as if he wanted to kill Wang Zhan's eyes. Wang Zhan, how much does it cost to train a qualified officer? How much does it cost for a demonic military industrial researcher? You don't want to risk my beloved baby nephew and granddaughter-in-law. Don't force me to fight with you. As soon as these words came out, the surrounding people, their gazes all rested on Zhang Linyu who was next to them. Nephew's son-in-law? Is this officially confirmed? Good guy. Su Qin was truly a winner in life. Not only is he good at scientific research, he's even good at the art of war. And now, you even have such a beautiful a girlfriend, and also by the parents of others to certify. This is also a little too heavenly, right? NVA. Su Qin. I will not speak. Just so see you guys perform. It's really not that he doesn't want to speak. It's mainly that this is too much of a reversal. Also, there's a little bit of coolness in pretending. So why not let them marvel for a while longer? Ah, Zhang Lingyu's clear and cold face turned red all of a sudden. Let's hurry. Hurry up and execute this plan. It's important to punish that group of pirates. In the end, it was still Zhang Lingyu who broke the silent atmosphere. Su Qin also nodded with some intent. Right. Now that we retreat as soon as possible, we can leave more time for that group of pirates to prepare for the party. He grinned, revealing his white teeth. Let today be their bloody orgy. Soon, the preparations began. The two warships began to slowly pull apart. President, I really want to drink too much right now. Pour me a glass of sake. A pirate in front of the computer said to the boss behind him. Bastard, now we have to keep an eye on the movements of the Dragon Kingdom. Be ready to enter the air defense facility at any time. The man who had been made president, on the other hand, licked his lips. He was reminiscing about those two women today. President, why don't we hijack the people back and let the brothers have another good time? The pirate with the computer continued to ask. Snap, the hat on his brain was knocked off. Is your brain mush? If we don't hijack people, then the Dragon Kingdom military won't be under too much pressure. After all, there's no demand to save the hostages. It's just going to come to a siege. We'll just run away. The pirate president's face with a cold smile. But if we take a hostage, maybe we will chase to the ends of the earth and not let us go. I see. So, that pirate nodded. The big deal is that we'll just go back to the territorial waters of the country. The eagle's army won't drive us away. Bastard. The president raged. How can we be pirates and keep running back to our gold masters? Watch the computer. The pirate didn't dare to squeak anymore, but carefully stared at the computer for fear of missing a message. After a while, 
a message was sent over. The Dragon Kingdom's naval vessels have retreated. There are a total of two warships this time. Great. Finally I can drink the sake of my hometown. That computer communicator pirate was happy. Hurry up and return the message. My English is not good. The president slapped him on the head. The Dragon Kingdom's army. Nothing more than that. Just like the previous times. Even this time. They don't dare to come out for a siege. Soon. The entire pirates of Wolfsbane Bay were active. The food and drinks were all brought out. The entire hall was all filled with fastidiousness. Sake. Yakitori. And sushi. There was even a specialized chef. If someone didn't know. I'm afraid they would think this was a Japanese restaurant. President. Do we need to enter the air defense facility? A pirate asked. The president. On the other hand. Was happy. No need. The Dragon Kingdom's troops have all returned to the harbor. If we come out now it will take at least three hours. Our superiors will inform us. Drink. Long live the president. A group of pirates. All excited. Alcohol and food. Intoxicating them. However. What they didn't know was. On the shore. A young man not yet 20 years old. Surrounded by a group of officers. Pressed a button. Fire the cannon. Chapter 044. Let the cannonballs fly a little longer. Five minutes ago. Report. Firing angle adjustment complete. Firing target adjustment complete. One by one. The commissioning process was underway. And the artillery position looked very busy. At this moment, there were 10 truth giant cannons standing here in a regular and tidy manner. The 30 meter high gun barrels towered high. It was as if. A sea defining needle. The total height of the truth giant cannon was 40 meters. Already the height of a usual 7 story flat building. And the overall cost was not cheap. More than 10 million a door. These 10 doors. That's all we have now. Wang Zhan was somewhat emotional. HM. Next to him, Zhang Weigui nodded. It's just too big and expensive to build. An ordinary cannon only costs a million. And the truth cannon's cost, too, is already more than 15 million. It was, regrettably, 100 million dollars to build six doors. The 50 billion just approved would only be three, zero 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 doors. The cost of construction, indeed, was too high. If the cost of construction is a little lower, and the size can be scaled up a little more, then it will be able to be mass marketed, such as each regiment with a hundred doors. Wang Zhan grinned. If it could be used as an ordinary cannon, it would be too beautiful. However, Su Qin, at this time, was standing there. Right. This cost, it can be pressed down ah. These materials use now. All of them are very common materials. If there are new materials appearing, for example, this gun barrel can be compressed downwards. The base is also, if a higher density material is utilized then the cost can certainly be compressed as well. These, should be the direction that needs to be worked on in the future as well. Su Qin thought of this, and also sighed. The road is long. There were still a lot of things to be done. Su Qin, what are you thinking about? Zhang Lingyu's face was a little red at this moment, because she could clearly feel that there was something wrong with the atmosphere of the two of them right now. Even the surrounding officers who passed by from time to time looked at the two of them, and it felt exactly like the two of them were already together. She pulled Su Qin's clothes. Whom, Su Qin recovered from inside his own thoughts. I was thinking that if the new material gets a breakthrough, then the truth cannon is also able to get an upgrade. Zhang Lingyu's eyes flickered a bit before she nodded her head. And at this time, a major officer walked up to Su Qin and saluted. Report. It's ready. Ready to launch. Although he was a major, the military academy could be so much higher than Su Qin. And this level was often a big hurdle. There should have been no need to salute Su Qin. Even if Su Qin's position was higher than his. But, he was in his own respect and still saluted. Aha. Su Qin nodded. Then, begin. At this time, the night had already dimmed. It was quiet around the compound. Here, it was a deep mountain. The surrounding trees had been cut down a bit. And the ground was paved with asphalt that had been brushed with green paint. Ensuring that it could blend in with the surroundings. Even so, the truth giant cannon didn't even look out of place here. Su Qin. Are you sure you can really shoot 100 shells in a minute? Wang Zhan was uneasy and confirmed one side. Su Qi nodded affirmatively. Well, it's definitely possible. One minute, 100 shells. The plan is simple. 10 truth giant cannons. Within 10 minutes, fire separately, each firing for one minute. After firing, that giant cannon will immediately retreat. Just as soon as they fire, the helicopters depart immediately. Totally in time. The content of Su Qin's plan was very simple. A continuous 10 minutes of fire suppression. Because each of the truth giant cannons was a different location in this deep mountain. So it was able to ensure that they wouldn't be exposed at the same time at the same time. And minimize the possibility of it being happened as much as possible. 
Good, Wang Zhan nodded. Then, you give the order. The order to fire the gun for the first time was to be given to Su Qin to give, because he was the developer. This was the rule within the army. The trial of the listing was to be done by the developer himself. So that was the army's respect for the researchers, for this group of sword makers. Soldiers are guarding the border with their lives. The motherland of the group of sword makers and not all their lives into the cause of the sword for the country? Su Qin slowly exhaled a breath. His eyes, calm, fire, bang, with a sound. Su Qin directly pressed the button to fire. Afterwards, buzz, 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 buzz. A sound like the sound of the motor of an electric car amplified dozens of times came, and a black shadow suddenly shot out directly from the muzzle of the cannon. There was no use of the traditional cannon smell of smoke or the beauty of suppressed fire. Much more, just the maximization of the motor's killing efficiency. In one minute, 100 shells were fired. This was the advantage of electromagnetic cannons. No need to clean the chamber. No residual powder to clean up. No need to wait for the chamber to cool down. Nothing else. Because, in itself, the cannonball track had a full liquid cooling system. After testing, the truth cannon could continue to fire for 5 minutes. That is to say, it can continuously fire 500 cannonballs at the same time. And with one cannon tube, it can fire 3000 cannonballs. It lasts for 30 minutes. Buzz, buzz, buzz. At the back, another truth cannon started firing shells. There were no flames blowing up. The cannonballs, at this moment, were breaking through the air. At a distance of more than 200 kilometers away, the cannonballs also needed to wait. Good. Start retreating immediately. Seeing that this one had already been fired, Wang Zhan immediately gave the order to move. Yes. Soon, the moving began. First, the base automatically retracted the fixed foundation anchors, and then it could be pulled by the high-powered trucks. Fifteen minutes later, there was not a single person in the entire launch site. All disappeared. It was as if there had been no one here in the first place. It's gone straight through. Completely. There was no trace. And in the darkness of the air, a shell was making a leap. And the airspace over there has been completely cleared. I don't know. We will suddenly change being told to drop altitude. Ah, said a co-pilot flying an airliner. Maybe it's a military operation. Now let us drop altitude. Just drop it. It should be the airway is occupied. The older captain said calmly, but, the co-pilot was about to say something. Boom! The sound of breaking air, rang out. That wasn't the sound of a fighter plane. The two immediately turned their heads to look. Hurrah! They saw that in the airspace position above the front. A, a black line, stretched out and flew past them. It was as if, the, the amplitude of the corners of the god of death's mouth were outlined. Chapter 045, We've Been Attacked. What, is that? In the eyes of the deputy pilot, there was a hint of fear. What appeared before his eyes was just too much beyond his imagination. It made him not believe it at all. Immediately call ATC and report upwards. The captain instantly reacted. This kind of extraordinary event that appeared in the air was something to be reported immediately. It was necessary to let the top know the current situation as soon as possible. It's possible. Be a plot by a foreign power. Therefore, it was necessary to let the tower side know as soon as possible. However, right after the debriefing was completed, the the ground gave a reply that switched roles. An icy female voice said, Hello East Airline H8213. What you are seeing is our military maneuvers. Please maintain your current course and do not approach the target. After landing, a relevant person will find you to sign a confidentiality agreement. Please cooperate. The two men looked at each other. Them. Confused. This is. This was from the military? That one long line. Was it even something given out by the military? Captain. Look. That's not a line. That's a very small pellet. And it's fast and moving. It wasn't until they just flew past from underneath that the two of them got a good look at the long line. That was certainly. A single shell. The two. This. What is going on? It can't be. Cannonballs? Why are they flying so high? Fake it. And also so many. The eyes of the two men. Completely dumbfounded. Only fortunately it was the autopilot that was there. Able to ensure the safe flight of the airplane. Without anything too much going wrong due to the emotional shock of the two captains. At the same time, Wolf's Tooth Bay. At this moment, one of the tin houses within Wolfsbane Bay was being lit up. Ha 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 ha. Drink, drink. One by one, the pirates were raising their glasses to celebrate at this moment. A dish of Japanese food was placed on the table at this moment, looking very sumptuous. Judging from the state of the Dragon Kingdom today, they won't dare to pursue us in the future. This route will be ours in the future. The pirate president stood up and said to his minions, ha 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 the navy of the dragon kingdom, and you're talking about a strong army in the new era? Joke, we've robbed four ships, 
The first three times we would still give chase a bit, this time none of us are pretending. What a pain in the ass. I'm going to give my grandfather the good news. He's there asking for me. I'm afraid your grandfather will enter the Yasukuni shrine after he dies, right? Ha ha. At this moment, only that president was seen, straightening up his body. Gentlemen, the video will be connected soon. Yes, young president, a group of people, all of them stood up and erected their bodies. Yamamoto Jiro exhaled slowly, only to see a pale face appear on the screen. Jiro, I hear you did well this time. Over there was an old man, probably in his 80s or 90s. Grandpa, Yamamoto Jiro was just about to open his mouth, said what to call in front of the subordinates. Yamamoto Jun's tone was icy cold, but his eyes contained an unhidden relief, looking satisfied with this second grandson of his. Yes, President, Yamamoto Jiro stood straight. We've managed to make the Dragon Kingdom's navy turn a blind eye to us after four pillages. When the next supply from the Eagles arrives, we should be able to have military landing craft, so we can record another battle and get more support. Well, Toshi Yamamoto nodded. The soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom are all soft. We, the descendants of Sakura, are the ones with the purest blood. It must be. Kill back. Kill. All the Japanese pirates. At this moment, all clenched their fists and shouted. However, just when they were excited there, suddenly, boom, a sound came out. That was, the sound of a bomb exploding. Pop 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 pop, accompanied at the same time, was a shattered window, a large amount of glass, splattered in all directions. Jiro, what's going on? Toshi Yamashita immediately asked. It's an explosion on the other side of the island. It might be a warehouse explosion. I'll go take a look. Yamashita Jiro, who was the junior president, immediately reacted, pushed open the door, and prepared to go out. It didn't occur to them that it might be an enemy attack. After all, if there were any suspicious targets, the satellites from the Eagles were ready to give them support on their vision. However, the next moment, Yamashita Jiro's body exploded as if it were broken meat. Accompanying it was the explosion of fire. Boom. 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 One after another. The sound of explosions came, and along with it, there were also wails of pain, and the entire restaurant, which originally had a lively atmosphere, directly shattered at this moment. For a time, the entire island was like an inferno. The flames of the god of death engulfed the island reef, taking in all the lives altogether. And even though this was a group of filthy beings, the god of death still wouldn't be polite. Boom. The sound of explosions stretched out, one after another. From a high altitude, the 500 square foot island reef was currently littered with explosions, flames, and broken limbs. Bang! A landing craft was shot and then martyred at the same time, blooming with brilliant sparks. Even the ships parked in the harbor were all blown up. The entire Wolfsbane Bay, at this moment, had been completely plunged into artillery fire. Death, spreading out. Z Z Z Z. Over there, Jun Yamashita, who had watched the signal break, was completely confused. His expression, completely stiff, his own most valued grandson, as the original most promising successor of the Yamashita Association, died just like that? He watched with his own eyes as his grandson turned into a lump of flesh, even, couldn't even let out a wail, just died like this, how, how can this be, bastard, how could this happen, bastard, in his grief, he dialed a call out, at the Eagle Pacific Naval Command, several officers raised their glasses and clinked them together, clang, the wine glasses touched, making a crisp ringing sound. Cheers to the Dragon Kingdom's bottom line being tested downwards by us once again. Cheers, several officers, were excited. This is all Major General Smith's scheme. Your scheme is like an ice-cold sword, ruthlessly plunging into the heart of the Dragon Kingdom. A colonel officer bragged. Ha ha ha, Colonel Brew's mouth is still as sweet as honey. It's a pity that I'm not Chase to give you a kiss. Major General Smith was beaming. He was also excited. This was a credit. As long as we create some more disputes, suppress the range of the Dragon Navy within the territorial waters, and completely take that part of the South China Sea. Then, the Eagle Navy's position in the Pacific Ocean would remain a crushing situation. Suddenly, a phone call came in. Hello? Colonel Blue picked up the phone, which was dialed from a military phone. What? What? How? Is that possible? Colonel Blue, inside his tone, instantly took on panic. He stared blankly at Major General Smith with some panic in his eyes. Major General. The group of pirates we supported. It seems like they were attacked by missiles. Chapter 046, if you come to the army, I'll make you a captain. What in the world is happening? Smith's face carried shock. Now, they were originally still celebrating for that one success, and even opened a bottle of red wine worth 10,000 knives, just to celebrate for this moment. 
as it was a historic moment. Originally, this success was going to be reported to the Congress. How could it be possible? How could the Dragon Kingdom be able to take an attack on that group of pirates in Wolfsbane outside of our satellite's detection? Smith violently stood up and immediately asked. I don't know. Colonel Blue was also very shocked at this time. I will now put the call into the system and ask you to have a conversation with him. Immediately, Smith said sharply. Soon, Toshi Yamamoto's appearance appeared on the screen. Toshi Yamamoto said angrily, You guys, why didn't you give us the information? We didn't use to receive any warning that this was a shelling from the Dragon Kingdom fleet. Our boys, all of them didn't enter the air defense facilities. If in the past, Yamamoto Jun could never dare to talk to his own eagle father like this, often in a humble manner. But at this moment, he lost his second grandson's heart's uncontrollable anger. It was already close to the limit. Smith sniffed and was also stunned. Immediately mobilize the satellite map and present the current situation immediately. How is the weather now? There was also a possibility that the weather was so bad that there were dark clouds gathering over the ocean, which would make it possible for a few ships to escape the satellite's reconnaissance and be able to approach that artificial island under the satellite's constant surveillance. However, the reply from the technician soldier was shocking. The weather in the Pacific Ocean is very good today, and it's even clearer near Wolfsbane Bay. A rare good day. We haven't spotted any fleet around. But now, it did turn out that Wolfsbane was under artillery bombardment. These three sentences that came out in a row from the technical soldier made all the people at the scene completely shocked. This, what is the situation? The weather, it was fine. It also means that the Air Force and Navy of the Dragon Kingdom, that are outside of the cover, is definitely impossible to pass unnoticed, that is completely impossible to do. The target is too big. Could it be? Short-range missiles. In order to take Wolfsbane Bay, the Dragon Kingdom actually used short-range missiles? The group of naval officers present looked at each other with shock in their eyes. A short-range ballistic missile could cost more than 10 million Dragon Kingdom dollars. The Dragon Kingdom's cost of construction was a bit cheaper than their own side, but it was still 7 to 8 million dollars. And a missile. Again, it was simply not possible to easily take down Wolfsbane, which had an air defense system. As for cannons, they hadn't even thought about it. Wolfsbane was 200 kilometers away from the nearest coastline of the Dragon Kingdom, and it was simply out of the range of cannons. The Defender missile system we placed. Did it fire? Smith's eyes were sharp as he immediately asked. On Wolfsbane Bay, there had to be an air defense system equipped with three rounds of Defender air defense missiles placed, capable of intercepting a missile attack when it was detected. This in itself was the fundamental reason why Jun Yamamoto was willing to send his grandson out there. No. No. The technician's eyes carried shock. The air defense missile system shows no detection of any missiles in transit. The air defense missiles didn't launch but instead martyred themselves in the explosion. This news instantly made the Eagle Navy officers present, completely shocked. How is it possible? This is impossible. How did the Dragon Kingdom do this? This is completely impossible. Smith took a deep breath, and finally made a decision. Now immediately dispatch helicopters to rescue them, and try to rescue as many of the survivors as possible. We need to know what happened at the scene. General, the technician's tone, full of panic. Right now, the bombing continues. It was only on the satellite map that the Wolfsbane base fire was still going on. Under the baptism of artillery fire that lasted for 10 minutes, it was. It's impossible. There were any survivors. Buzz. The sound of the helicopter's propellers resounded over the sea, and the helicopter gunship just hovered installed. Below them was a sea of fire and wreckage. What are we going to do now? A soldier asked his squad leader. I don't know. It's logical to eliminate everyone and take the living back when we can. The squad leader was very surprised in his eyes, and his expression was somewhat confused. Obviously, do not know what to do now, because, where would there be a live captive in this? Immediately land. Let's go inside the air defense facility and take a look. If there's no one in the air defense facility, then we'll completely eliminate this group of pirates. Thus, a group of people began to search the air defense facility. Sure enough, captured two pirates inside the air defense facility. Don't. Don't kill us. One of the pirates even spoke broken Mandarin. Under their active confession, it turned out that these two people are specialized in coming in to move the wine. The result of a mistake also survived. The other people all died in the bombing just now. The two people because of the fear that there is still a bombing, they do not dare to go out. Take them away. Just like that. After arresting these two pirates, the helicopter also retreated. Just like that. It's over awe. While looking at the fire reflected on the surface of the sea, that squad leader's eyes, somewhat empty, were glowing. This was the fourth time he had boarded this man-made island. In the three times before this, not even a single ghost was caught, 
And this time, not only had he captured two alive, but even that group of people had all been completely killed. Not even the dregs were left. Two. Incredible. He swallowed a mouthful of saliva. What kind of unbelievable technology do we have? In the end, with the return of the helicopter, the entire mission was declared a success. Report. Caught two pirates. A soldier reported from the doorway. Well, I'll personally go interrogate them. Wang Zhan's tone was excited and he immediately stood up. At the same time, everyone looked at Su Qin. This time, not only was the technology taken out by him, even the battle plan, it was also him who came up with it. Su Qin was undoubtedly the big contributor this time. Clap, clap, clap almost no one took the lead. Everyone applauded Su Qin at the same time, with admiration inside their eyes, which made this group of officers feel heartfelt admiration. Su Qin, Wang Zhan took a deep breath. If you are willing to come to the army, I'll leave you a position as a regimental commander. Chapter 047, those who commit crimes against my Huaxia will be executed even though they are far away. All the officers present were shocked at the words. This, also too much to be valued, directly leaving a position of a regimental commander. Moreover, it was still given to a 20-year-old young man, simply let people feel incredible. Only, everyone, felt heartily convinced. This tactical arrangement, is indeed very talented. This does not have a certain level, that is completely unable to arrange out completely worthy of a position of a regimental commander. Instantly, Zhang Weigua's eyes rounded, revealing a ferocious expression. Want to snatch someone from him? No one would be able to. However, just when everyone thought that Zhang Weigua was surely going to come out and block the way, saying something about Su Qin being from a scientific research institute, and that it was impossible to take him out as an officer. Clouds and clouds. A clear female voice rang out. No way. Zhang Lingyu stepped out and opened her arms. Blocking between Su Qin and Wang Zhan. She looked at Wang Zhan with a wary look. Absolutely not. Su Qin is from our army research institute. It is definitely impossible for him to actually enter the army to lead an actual position. And it's best not to hang on to an imaginary position either. This female genius researcher was in a hurry. And was truly afraid that Su Qin would be scooped up by the army military. After all, which young man could refuse the urge to command thousands of troops and horses? Who could restrain the longing to build a career? Ha 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 ha, Wang Zhan laughed out loud. The other officers all laughed as well. Zhang Lingyu was acting too obvious, completely writing on her face that she was interested in Su Qin. Don't worry, I am not going to steal your boyfriend from you. After all, your uncle Wang already has a wife. Wang Zhan grinned, his tone full of flirtation. Zhang Lingyu's face turned red. You, me, everyone, too, was gauging Su Qin's reaction at this moment. Su Qin, who was standing at the back. I also don't know what's going on ah, obviously just now, he was so serious, how come he started talking about lovey-dovey things, Zhang Weigua coughed, ahem, 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 let's do this, we'll go back first, and I'll leave the next thing to you guys, Wang Zhan nodded, well, don't worry, afterward, Su Qin stood up and walked towards the door as well, it was true that for the time being, he did not really have the intention of entering the military, doing research in order to utilize his talent to the fullest, he had to stay in the military's research institute. Just as Su Pingsheng walked out of the command post, suddenly, a calendar cry rang out. Salute. Splat. It was the crisp sound of military boots stepping on the floor. Neatly organized. Swish. Su Qin turned around and saw that a group of officers were raising their hands and giving themselves a military salute. Among them, included Wang Zhan, a lieutenant general, two major generals, and several colonels were saluting themselves at the same time. What this undoubtedly expressed was the highest respect. This time, Su Qin could be said to have saved a big face for the military, and also weeded out a tumor that had been breeding for a long time, demonstrating the national prestige. It was foreseeable that in the next period of time, the forces outside the country would not be so arrogant anymore. Su Qin hurriedly returned the salute. He also didn't dare to be arrogant. Soon, the three of them boarded the fueled helicopter and flew back towards the direction of the school, inside a resettlement room. At this time, that young girl was just lying on the bed, wrapping herself very tightly and tightly with the quilt. Her tears could not stop flowing, and her body was trembling. Xiao Ya, the man wanted to say something, but stopped. He didn't stop when that happened, because, there was no way. Those pirates took rifles and pressed them against the heads of their own party. As long as they dared to resist they would not hesitate to open fire, so much so that he did not dare to act rashly when his daughter was being harmed. This made him, only felt that he, as a father, as if he was a waste. I hate. The man's mood. Incomparable grief. He gripped the handrail beside the bed. With ferocity inside his eyes. 
No matter what, after he went out, he must find a way to take revenge. Bosun, a woman came over. She was also spoiled, but her mental state was slightly better. Right no. Sorry. The man immediately lowered his head. The woman, who was also one of the victims, felt even more guilty, not daring to look up. It's fine. Ship captain. If the sons and daughters don't have the means to help us seek justice, let's forget about this matter. Our big deal is to change a shipping lane. The woman's tone was flat, but she was able to hear the low tone. This, the man was stunned. The woman calmly spoke. We have no way to retaliate. The other side are all immortal. Murderous pirates. We also have no weapons. How to fight them? Forget it. Forget it. These words, like a thunderclap resounded in his heart. It was, helpless. It was, agonizing. But there was no way. In the face of such an absolutely irresistible thing, the power of the individual seemed so insignificant, completely unable to think of a way to take revenge. The other party is an outlaw. I, the man for a while grief and pain. The young girl who heard the words, at this moment is the body trembling. The whole person's emotion withered. And just when the atmosphere of the whole room, are low to the extreme point. Bang, an officer walked in, holding a laptop. Everyone, we have successfully eradicated that group of pirates. This is the level at that time. I hope you can take a look. That group of pirates has been completely eradicated. Then, the video played. Hurrah. It was, a video of a sea island being bombed. It's, their ship. The ship's captain was the first to recognize it, with excitement inside his eyes. That's that group of pirates ship. I also saw one of the pirates inside. I recognized it. It's that group. Boom. Boom. The fierce cannon fire, completely engulfed the entire island, and the flower of death quickly bloomed. All the victims of everyone, all looked at this scene, their eyes, there was some daziness, there were even people pinching themselves there, confirming whether or not the scene that happened was real. For a moment, they couldn't believe that it had really happened so simply. Ha 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 ha. The boat captain was the first one, to laugh out. His smile was tinged with violent mood swings. Ha 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 ha. Oh, as he laughed, he burst into tears. Dad, that young girl, at this moment, also cried out in pain. This was the first time she cried since she suffered that kind of blow. The victims in the entire room, all cried into a ball. That emotion was finally released. The officer, looking at this scene, quietly wiped away the tears at the corner of his eyes. In the end, he slowly spoke. Those who commit crimes against my Huasha, will be executed even though they are far away. Everyone, please feel free to fish in the original shipping lanes. From today, it's all different. Chapter 048, finished, in love. Su Qin's brain was a little buzzed when he returned to the Defense University. Tired, a little tired. Just this one round trip on an airplane, that was six hours spent. Don't look at doing so many things, but the bulk of the time spent on the plane ride was actually spent on the plane ride. Zhang Wei was sat on the car and waved his hand. I'm going out to have a meeting. You guys take the car back to the school by yourselves. I'll let the car from the institute pick it up. Although there was no special car to pick them up inside the Defense University, the Army Institute of Military Engineering had one. Thus, both of them also got into the car and embarked on their return journey. Su Qin, what exactly is your brain made of? Zhang Lingyu asked with seeming curiosity. Su Qin, what do you want? This brain of mine, it's not for sale. Slicing is also not okay. Zhang Lingyu gave him a blank look. Who wants to slice it for you? Cut. Tomorrow will be the official class. Are you ready? Su Qin was startled. It's over. I haven't even bought my textbooks yet. Zhang Lingyu, is there a possibility that in our defense university, not only do you don't need money for meals, even books are all free? Someone will distribute the books at that time. Su Qin nodded, then leaned back on the seat and fell into a deep sleep. The seats of this car were very comfortable. It was a commercial MPV, and seeing Su Qin ready to sleep, Zhang Lingyu turned on the backseat rest mode and directly raised the chain, directly isolating it from the front seat, so that the driver didn't have a way to see what was going on in the back. This makes Su Qin also for a time really into the dreamland, until the car stopped before waking up, only to see, he had just woken up, a face that was very close to him, Zhang Linyu, surprisingly close to him, extraordinarily close, Su Qin could even see her fluttering eyelashes, ah, what are you, you doing, seeing Su Qin opened his eyes, Zhang Linyu was startled and directly stood up, her eyes full of astonishment inside, Su Qin, shouldn't I be the one to ask you what you're doing, it's you who posted over, you're still backpedaling here. Zhang Linyu was like a child who had been caught stealing candy, completely lacking the usual kind of coolness. I I I. I didn't do anything ah. I just saw that you had dandruff on your face. Well, 
I'm just helping you to remove the dandruff from your face. How so not love clean ah, head even have dandruff. Wash hair must be diligent ah. Su Chin scratched his head. I have this flat head. Do I really have dandruff? Moreover, I just washed it last night. When she saw Su Chin's hair that didn't have any dandruff at all, Zhang Linyu only felt incomparable regret. One shouldn't have picked this reason. Forget it. As long as you're not stealing kisses from me that's fine. Su Chin leaned back on the seat and stretched his body. How? How could that be? How could I possibly do that kind of thing? Zhang Linyu's face, all of a sudden, turned red. She only felt her cheeks rolling, and then she twisted her head to the other side. Humph. In the end, she even turned her head arrogantly and snorted coldly. Su Qin, what's this cold humming you're doing? It's not like I said anything. Eventually, the two arrived at the school. What do you want to eat? Can I make it for you? Zhang Linyu asked tentatively. Su immediately took two steps back. Don't bother. I really don't dare to eat what you bring out. Politely declined haha. Zhang Linyu beamed. You call this a polite refusal. I will definitely learn to cook good food in the future. You remember that for me. I will definitely come and prove myself. Su Qin said in horror. Big brother, take my life around. I'll go back first. If you have something to do, go and get busy. In the end, the high cold female genius temporarily gave up her intention to cook a meal for Su Qin to prove herself. Okay, then I also have things to do. So I'll leave first. Ten minutes later, Su Qin returned to the dormitory. Just as soon as he exited the elevator, suddenly, a beautiful, graceful figure appeared at the door of his room. That was, Yu Yu Zhu. Su Qin was also stunned. Yu Yu Zhu, what are you doing here? He also didn't change his name. After all, the relationship between the two of them right now was still just that of classmates, and it wasn't as if they were called by their nicknames. I am here, waiting for you ah. Although Yu Yuzhu was a bit puffed up, she still said sweetly and glutinously. Yu Yuzhu and Zhan Linyu were two completely different types. Yu Yuzhu belonged to the small family, her face value contained more of a warmth, and she could cook a good handful of dishes. At first glance, she was the existence of a virtuous wife and mother. You didn't tell me in advance either. Su Qin was also a bit puzzled. It's not so bad to come suddenly and then wait for so long, right? You still have the nerve to say that you turned off the phone yourself making me so worried. Yu Yuzhu became even more angry when she thought of this. She said angrily, but what was hidden in her eyes was more of a sneer. Su Qin took out his cell phone and took a look. Sure enough, it was already turned off. Although he hadn't played much with his cell phone on the plane, he had been out for a whole day. Plus he hadn't charged it last night, so it really should be out of power as well. How about I give you a key? Su hesitated for a moment and finally spoke. That way you won't go empty when you come. Yu Yuzhu was first stunned. Then, a blush bloomed on her face. Can. You do that? That. That's fine. I can come over and cook for you every day that way. Yu Yuzhu revealed a snickering smile. Su Qin. Come and cook every day? Isn't this still a bit exaggerated? This is just an ordinary classmate's relationship we have. Ka. Opening the door. The two entered the room. Yu Yuzhu had bought vegetables and was specifically here to cook. By the way. How did you get in? Su Qin followed beside and played along. Isn't there a guard post at the entrance? Oh the soldier brother standing guard saw you bring me in before. So he just let me in. Yu Yuzhu replied honestly. Indeed. It's just a military compound. And it's still inside the defense university. So it's not so overly nervous about the defense. Forty minutes later. A table of dishes. Was ready. Sichuan fried back to pot meat. Boiled pork. Tiger skin green pepper. Purple cabbage and egg flour soup. Tomato scrambled eggs. Five dishes. Colorful and fragrant. Su Qin only felt very comfortable as he feasted. This stomach, all of a sudden was soothed. It has to be our Sichuan and Chongqing dishes. The dishes in the north, are really not used to eating. Are you full? I'll go wash the bowls. You usually saw Su Qin put down the dishes. So she packed up and went to wash them. Clatter dash. Right. What you said before. Can schools talk about love affairs? Su Qin thought of it and immediately said. Although it is said that in principle it is not allowed to fall in love within the school. But the principal said, I'm the exception. He didn't think much about it. It was just that Yu Yuzhu was asking before. And Su Qin had asked. So that was the answer. As a result, Yu Yuzhu's face, instantly reddened. She gathered her courage and walked next to Su Qin, tiptoeing up, kissed Su Qin's face. Um, Yu Yuzhu's voice, was very light and shy. Chapter 049, Regular Face Slapping Drama. Su Qin, you, after feeling the touch on the side of his face, he was instantly confused. This, straight hooked kiss over on. What do ah? Yu Yuzhu lowered his head, did not dare to look at Su Qin again, but just sat there, red faced eyes hiding. Su Qin, 
This night, Yu Yuzhu slept here in Su Qin, only, she left early the next morning. Of course, since there were two bedrooms, they were sleeping separately. Bang, at seven o'clock or so, Zhang Linyu directly rushed in. Su Qin, hurry up and get up, go to the opening ceremony. Su Qin stood up shakily and nodded. Soon, after packing up his preparations, he was ready to go out. Zhang Linyu sniffed her nose and said vigilantly, Wait, how do I feel? You hear, there are other girls' flavors? Su Qin was stunned. How do you know? A girl spent the night here with me last night. Zhang Linyu gave him a blank look, revealing a disgusted expression. Just you here? How could it be? I don't believe it. After saying that, she went out and went to wait for Su Qin. Su Qin shook his head helplessly. He is really saying the truth. That is not lying at all. You don't believe it yourself then forget it. I am a person who is very self-conscious. After the two walked out of the military compound, they separated. Su Qin was going to gather inside the students' ranks. Those majoring in electromagnetic weapons, gather here. A male student stood there with a firm expression. That was the year leader of the major, who was elected yesterday. Su Qin didn't know about this. After all, he was still busy fighting pirates at that time. He walked directly inside the ranks and just stood there, because he got up too early. The rank he didn't wear. It was temporarily in his pocket. Everyone was a classmate. And Su Qin didn't want to be too noticeable. So he didn't wear his rank either. Are you from our class? A boy walked over and frowned when he saw someone he didn't know well in his own class's ranks. Anon? Yes. Electromagnetic weapons major class 3. Right? Su Qin nodded. The boy frowned. I'm the class president. Zhao Ji. Why didn't you attend the freshman meeting yesterday? Su Qin was stunned. Freshman meeting? One doesn't know ah. Zhang Weigua didn't inform me ah. I didn't come over yesterday since I had something to do. And I didn't know there was this freshman meeting. Su Qin answered truthfully, spreading his hands. Zhao Ji coldly eyed. He he, what kind of university do you think we are? We're a defense university that fights for our country. Do you think it's an ordinary school? 10 points deduction. I was going to deduct 20 points. But since it's the first time, let's offset it with corporal punishment. Squad 500 and finish speaking before the principal starts his speech. Su Qin, the students next to him unconsciously laughed out. Looking bloating. This kid, he really doesn't know that we're in defense university. Ha, huh? he's from that dormitory? The roommate didn't even inform about it? Alas, now that class president Zhao Zhi has the rank of a substitute private, he is indeed one rank higher than us, and if he wants us to do squats, then he really has no choice but to do them. Zhao Zhi slightly narrowed his eyes as he looked at the young man in front of him. He was trying to establish authority. All people, they had to follow their orders. This was a military academy. He himself was considered their officer. Only by making this group of people under his command obey his orders, then he could make his men twist into a rope. Su Qin yawned. Forget about squatting. Why don't you deduct 20 points for me? Let's offset it. The others present. Ah, crazy. That kid is really stupid. Is he trying to drop out of school? If the points are negative at the end of the semester that's a dropout. Yeah, 10 points. One point is only 50 squats. This change me I also do ah. Silly, isn't it? Do you not want to study at Defense University anymore? A group of people were confused. Su Qin, on the other hand, didn't care. Scores? That would just be the sooner or later of the ordination. And then the scores might be judged as a part of the usual grades. Only, that was completely useless to himself. When the merits came down again, he himself would probably be promoted to the school rank. Zhao Zhi, for a moment, was also a bit baffled. This kid, what on earth was he thinking? Is this wanting to be dropped out of school? You, wait, he put down a harsh word. And in the end, he could only give up for the time being, but had decided to focus on Su Qin. Su Qin nodded. Well, I'll wait. Soon, the speech began. Zhang Weigua stood up and saluted before starting his speech. Students, welcome to Defense University. The principal's speech was stinky and long. Only, Zhang Weigua was the honorary principal. Speaking in spirit, so to wrap up as early as possible eventually let the practical principal make arrangements for specific matters. What makes me most happy is, in this session, there was a freshman class. He won a special honor. And to this day, he still continues to work hard. I hope everyone will also improve themselves as much as possible and strive forward. Those thousand or so freshmen at the scene were all dumbstruck. Holy shit. Freshman. A special class merit? This is too bullish. Kaoman. Crap. That guy is also too awesome. It's only freshman year. Are we in the same world? Really awesome. The surrounding Su Qin's classmates also began to marvel. All of them were very excited. Very inspired. Of course, 
Except for Su Qin who was yawning there, he acted as if he hadn't heard it at all, still doing what he was doing, not uplifted at all. Zhao Zhi slowly let out a breath. Your name is Su Qin right? Can you have a bit of a soldier's look? Is it okay to learn from that classmate? People can get special honors, but you got 20 points deducted at the beginning of the school year. Su Qin, actually, I'm that person, do you believe me? He helplessly spread his hands and said, I wanted to get along with you guys as an ordinary person, but what I got in return was indifference. I'm not pretending now, I'm showing my cards, I'm the captain, I'm the one who took the special forces. Zhao Zhi, however, laughed coldly, oh, you're dreaming? Deputy squad leader Huang Zhu also nodded, Su Qin, be honest, don't dream, Su Qin, to tell the truth, it was true that no one believed it, soon, class time arrived, pushing the door in, the person in class was, an academician, that was the academician who had previously saluted Su Qin, swish, after coming in, that academician directly saluted, the other students present, and so, they also followed along and saluted together, within this group, only Su Qin, saluted the least standardly, however, that academician, however, his gaze was always on him, chapter 050, you eat in class, the professor is so humble, well, today is the first class, so I won't do any self-introductions and just start the class, that professor said naturally, if there is anything incorrect during the lecture, or if there is anything out of place in the textbook, I hope everyone can point it out, after all, the textbook was written by me, and there might be mistakes as well, at that time, Please don't give me face. Just bring it up directly. Please. The whole class. Ha. Huh? What the hell. This academician came to be a professor for us. In and of itself. That's a pretty bizarre existence. You know. In the past. Teachers in the defense university. Especially like this introduction to electromagnetic principles now. That is completely for a new teacher to speak ah. Uh, the old professors often do not come to speak on basic theories. As a result. Now their three classes are not only academician level old professor to speak. Surprisingly, the old professor opened by saying, If there is a problem, please point it out. What the hell ah, class president, why is this academician Lu so rushed? How do I feel? It's like there's a very powerful person within our group? Vice squad leader Huang Zhu asked. Zhao Zhi was also a bit baffled. I don't know. The other two classes of electromagnetic principle probability. All of them are ordinary teachers. Not at all this kind of respected old professor. The two people's hearts, at this moment, are just agitated. Then, the lecture began. Su Qin was also listening carefully during class. For the electromagnetic principle, after he had received a systematic infusion, that was completely clear about the cutting edge science. But the foundational knowledge was still somewhat lacking. Therefore, it still needed to be studied properly. Thanks to the current super brain, Su Qin's speed of learning was called a crunchy fast. As long as he wanted to, turned on the 80% computing rate, that was really a top 8. Regarding electromagnetic theory, the speed of our lectures may be faster. And then the lesson progressed steadily. The other students were baffled. They were sketching out the highlights on the fly at this point. Their brains a blur. Academician Lu was speaking too fast. Many theories were even brought up in a single sentence. But, Academician Lu, however, said, that's the basic theory. So you can push through it and reason on your own after you go down there. In just over an hour's worth of lessons, Academician Lu went so far as to directly lecturing a chapter. All right, this chapter is over. All of them are exceptionally basic theories. Basically, they can be fully understood. If you have any questions, please raise them. Academician Lu stood on the stage and closed the book. A group of students below. Ah, they, dumbfounded. This speed, he me out too fast. I, I, I have a problem. Zhao Zhi raised his hand and stood up, posing a question. He was considered one of the few students who could barely keep up with the course. You turn to page 17. What's on there is the answer you want. Sit down. Academician Lu didn't flip the book, but instead spoke faintly. Next, there was silence. However, suddenly, ka, the sound of. Then came the sound of chewing. Everyone looked back. Hurrah! That Su Qin who was sitting at the very back and didn't look like he was trying to study hard at all. Surprisingly, he was eating compressed cookies. It was too much. That crunchy feeling, and it was with no feeling of embarrassment at all. In the face of the whole class staring at him, he was actually eating it there. Ka, Su Qin didn't care, but continued chewing. He was truly hungry. Right now, his own body had a fault. That is, as long as he used his brain a lot there would be a large amount of energy consumption. So he would be very hungry, and he carried high calorie food with him. It wasn't a fault, was it? Originally, the brain's thinking would also use up energy. 
Therefore, he ate without a care in the world. Teacher, this is too much for him. Zhao Zhi was the first to stand up. This kind of opportunity to brush up one's favor. That's not to be taken for nothing. Su Qin, this fool even ate snacks at this time. It's no wonder that he, the class president, doesn't give face. Su Qin, do you still want to be deducted points? You don't abide by the discipline in the army or classroom at all. However, Zhao Zhi hadn't finished speaking. Professor Lu opened his mouth to interrupt. It's fine. Let him eat. Don't disturb him. Huang Zhe, Zhao Zhi, other students in the class. Ah, uh, what do you mean? This is a bit too outrageous. Professor Lu lowered his head and rummaged for something inside his bag. Zhe Huang was dumbfounded and hurriedly asked Zhao Zhi beside himself. What is this? This is? Why? Why doesn't the teacher care at all? I don't fucking know ah. Uh. This is a professor ah. Uh. This is a national academician ah. Uh. Zhao Zhi was also near collapse. This was a bit too weird. It's completely confusing. Who can figure it out? At this time, Su Qin finally finished his piece of compressed cookie and continued to focus on the textbook in front of him. Does everyone still have any questions? Professor Lu found what he was looking for. He trembled as he took that thing out and placed it in his pocket. Because of the angle, none of the students below saw what it was. Nothing. Zhao Zhi replied. It wasn't like he didn't have any questions. Instead it was all questions. But because of the current situation he couldn't ask them one by one. He had to solve them during class time. Good. Then everyone study on your own. Professor Lu waved his hand. Soon, the students all started reading. Everyone was semi-competent and could only learn as much as they could on their own now. However, suddenly, Professor Lu came down from the stage. He went straight towards Su Qin's direction. The whole class. Coming. This is the moment. Finally getting to settle the score with him. There was joy on Zhao Zhi's face. As well as anticipation for the scene that was about to take place and what was hidden inside those eyes was complete theft. This heck, he could finally take a breath. Everyone felt that Professor Lu must have gone over to settle the score. Su Qin that kid, this time it's finished. Let him disrespect the collective, disrespect the discipline, and also disrespect the academician. However, only to see that Professor Lu walked to the side and bent over slightly. From his own pocket, he pulled out a piece of chocolate. This candy, it's delicious and tops off hunger. Su Qin nodded. Okay. You put it on the side. Good. Remember to eat. Professor Lu's tone carried some. Humility? Zhao Zhi. Huang Zhe. Everyone else in the class. Ah. Ah. What the hell? Chapter 051. All get out of the way. I'm going to start pretending. Everyone. Everyone was completely dumbfounded. Simply dogfaced dumbfounded. Ah. Why? Would Professor Lu look so humble? Is this real? This is also a little too bizarre. Outrageous. Ah. Everyone. All of them were dumbfounded. This scene was something that none of them had expected. How? How is this possible? Could this be a relative of Academician Lu's family? Could it be his grandson? Zhao Zhi's mind was working frantically as one possibility after another began to surface in his mind. Or could it be that this was some very strong researcher? Could it be a relative of some big leader? One by one, guesses slowly surfaced. Only, he still couldn't decide. Most likely, it would be a relative. It turns out that Professor Lu is such a person. This Su Qin no wonder has been emboldened. It turns out to be a relative of Professor Lu Zha. Zhao Zhi understood in his heart. He and Huang Zhu exchanged glances. Obviously, both of them could see the meaning hidden inside the other's eyes. Whom? This Su Qin, surprisingly, is a relative. Unexpectedly, Defense University is also so dark. Too dark. All the students, looking at Su Qin, all revealed disdainful looks. Oh, a relation. Look down. Which one of us didn't study hard to get in, either by doing the last big question of the college entrance exam physics, that are strength in the, now this Su Ping Shang, that is undoubtedly Go relations, who can look down, however, academician Lu looked at Su Qin and asked with great concern, is there any problem, need to raise, any questions, please speak to me as soon as possible, this academician, the tone of his voice that carried a call of respect, Su Qin nodded, well, if there is, I'll tell you, the surrounding students, all of them drew a breath of cool air. What? What situation ah? This Su Qin. Now it's a bit exaggerated. Eventually, the class ended. And Su Qin stayed there reading the textbook without talking to anyone. The other students all glanced at each other, only feeling confused. Don't worry. The next class is expected to be normal. There is a relationship that is definitely not that important. It's just a teacher. Zhao Xi comforted Huang Zhe who was next to him. Huang Zhe also nodded. Well, Let's go to the next classroom. The next classroom. Above. Stood yet another respected old professor. This time. Before that professor lectured. 
He still said with a low profile, Everyone, if you find any problems, you can talk to me as soon as possible. Everyone, still coming? That's a bit of an exaggeration. Tearing Dash Su Qin continued to eat. Only this time it wasn't a cookie or something, it was soundless Snickers bars, one by one, into his mouth. Students at the scene, you're a bit too much. Will you see if this old professor will still spoil you? However, the same break time after class, this time, that old professor slowly walked to the side of Su Qin and cleaned up the food garbage bag that was placed on his table and took it out and threw it away. Very humble, very well behaved. The whole class, ah, what kind of abstraction is this? It's outrageous. Helping him take out the trash? Zhao Ji's voice had some trembling. How can this be possible? This one is an academician of the country ah. That's a real academician ah. How can he go to a freshman to throw a garbage bag? Huang Zhou was also dog-faced dumbfounded. I don't know. This, this can't be right. This is fake, right? How is it possible? All the students in the class were completely dog-faced dumbfounded. And this time, Su Qin was halfway through the class and left directly. The academician on the stage had absolutely no opinion, but cheerfully waved his hand. Go ahead, everyone. What ah? Su Qin just walked on the campus road and yawned. This one course involved narrowing down and cutting edge up. And coincidentally when one was facing this kind of cutting edge technology, that could be a mainstay of enlightenment. There was no problem at all. Even letting himself go up to speak, he could still speak better than that academician. So, Su Qin came out early. Come out to do what? He thought carefully. Or else, go out for a meal? And just as he was walking, suddenly a silhouette appeared in front of him. Su Qin, why are you here? Yu Yuzhu asked in surprise. At this moment she had her arms around a girl. Yu Yuzhu's hair had been cut, and she looked very competent, adding a heroic spirit. The girl next to her was obviously from the same dormitory as her. I just got out of class. Su Qin replied truthfully. But it's not time for class to end yet? Yu Yuzhu was stunned and asked. Su Qin, I skipped class. Yu Yuzhu, the girl? This is too fierce, isn't it? This isn't an ordinary university ah, skipping class inside the defense university? Yu Yuzhu was stunned for a moment, then pointed at the girl next to herself. Su Qin, this is my roommate, Yuan Minmin. Hello you. Yuan Minmin also reacted and greeted. Su Qin also nodded. Hello, I'm. He was hesitating how to introduce himself to Yu Yuzhu's roommate. Yu Yuzhu spoke directly. His name is Su Qin. He's my boyfriend. I came to Defense University because of him. Yuan Minmin opened her mouth wide. Ah, but our school is not allowed to. So, Shu, please keep it a secret law. Yu Yuzhu smiled. Yu Yuzhu, Su Qin, we're going out for dinner to meet Yuan Minmin's boyfriend. Are you coming with us? Su Qin hesitated for a while, but still decided to go. He himself does still have to live a normal college life. Right, just studied for several hours. His brain is buzzing. It's good to relax a little. Soon, the three of them walked out of the school gates. This was the first time Su Qin walked out of the defense university's gates by himself. Swish, at the entrance of the school, there were two people who saw this and followed up. Su Qin knew that they were plainclothesmen protecting him, but he didn't remind the two girls. Soon, they met Yuan Minmin's boyfriend. It was a boy with expensive clothes, a white face, and a bookish aroma. At a glance, he was the child of a high intellectual family. Hello, I'm Yuan Minmin's boyfriend. My name is Li Changle, and I'm a special enrollment from Qingbei University. I already have a project in school, and after struggling for a summer in school, I gain special attention, and strive to be able to enroll in graduate school before my junior year. Inside the tone of voice, there was a sense, if any, of, sense of nobility? Su Qin, ah, are you pretending with me? I'll get out of the way. I'm going to start pretending. Chapter 052, I'm just an ordinary 20-year-old captain. Li Changdel's eyes held contempt. Well, it really was contempt. The sense of nobility that a person had cultivated for a long time was in his heart, especially when he encountered someone lower than himself. That sense of superiority in his heart naturally pressed on. Li Changdel looked at the small and obedient Yu Yuzhu, and then looked at Su Qin. Well, this boy, he doesn't match this girl. This girl looks small, no matter what. She's also a beautiful woman, and she's also so well behaved and cute. And her boyfriend? Li Changdel swept a glance at Su Qin, then shook his head. The face is haggard and depressed, like a person who cares completely about his outward image. And although the bottom is okay, it never looks too comfortable. And, at first sight, a lay flat kind of boy. How was he able to enter Defense University? It was Li Changdel's style to recognize people by their appearance. Su Qin heard the kind of superiority within the words and only frowned slightly. 
His mind wasn't here but on what he was studying today. Well, hello, I'm Su Qin. He politely extended his hand. Although he looked a bit uncomfortable with this Li Changle, Su Qin still pressed down that discomfort within him. However, as if he didn't see it, Li Changle walked right up to Yuan Minmin. Baby, I've been busy lately. My mentor had to make me do another project. At this moment, Yuan Minmin was also very embarrassed. She knew that this streak of her boyfriend was back. Su Qin, I'm sorry, he's usually like this, a bit unable to look at things. Yuan Minmin apologized with a smile. Su Ping Shang shook his head. It's fine. Nah, I'll hold this hand. Yu Yuzhu came up and directly reached out her left hand to hold Su Qin's right hand that had just reached out, interlocking her fingers, and then her right hand took his arm, appearing to be very intimate. Let's go. Let's go eat. The food was Kyoto's specialty. Quan He Diz roast duck. Su Qin and Yu Yuzhu were both eating it for the first time and looked rusty. Li Changle, on the other hand, smiled, skillfully holding a roast duck burrito. Quan He Diz roast duck ah, that's called an authentic. The flavor is just better than any other miscellaneous roast duck. When I was small, Li Changle has a lot of words. His tone spits out a sense of superiority. Su Qin. Su Qin slowly exhaled and finally made a decision. You're the one who first nourished me, so it's not my fault. You used to come and eat here when you were little? He asked with seeming surprise. This time, it was a slap on Li Changle's ass, causing him to rejoice. Yeah, when my mom was still a lecturer at Qingbei, she used to love to bring me here to eat roast duck. Watch, my mom was a lecturer at Qingbei. Can't beat that, right? Wow, your mom used to be a lecturer at Qingbei? What about now? Su Qin hurriedly asked with concern. Yuan Minmin wanted to pull her boyfriend to restrain him, but realized that she couldn't pull him at all. Li Changle hurriedly said, Now, ah, because my father entered the army to engage in scientific research. My mother also took her own project together into the army to engage in military industry. Of course the projects of scientific research are confidential. That cannot be said. Wow, then there must be a military rank, right? Su Qin looked concerned. We graduated from undergraduate school, and it seems like we only have the rank of second lieutenant. Li Changle hemmed and hawed. That's right, when my mom went in, she was a second lieutenant. Now, my mom is a captain. These words were not finished. The next moment, snap, with a sound, Su Qin slapped a rank shoulder badge directly on the table, which was the shoulder badge he had been putting in his pocket in the morning so as not to attract the attention of his classmates. Purr. It was, one bar and three stars. Captain, if he held an actual position inside the army, that would be a company commander, a full company level figure. Since that's the case, then you should recognize the shoulder insignia of this rank, right? Su Qin smiled, calmly, as if he had just done an insignificant thing. Li Changle, how is this? How is this possible? You, how is it that you have the same rank as my mom? Also a captain? How is it possible? Yu Yuzhu was aware of her boyfriend's rank, so she just covered her mouth and snickered. Splat! With a sound, Yuan Minmin directly stood up. She was also from the Defense University, so she naturally knew the importance of military rank. Captain! Su Qin was actually a captain. It's fine. Sit down. This is not inside the school. Su Qin waved his hand lightly, signaling that Yuan Minmin could sit down. You are Yu Yuzhu's friend. That means my friend, between friends having a meal in private. Do you still need to salute? Only then did Yuan Minmin slowly sit down. However, the astonishment in her eyes was still too much to lose. Captain, a 19-year-old captain? This, it's only freshman year ah. Su Qin was only a freshman. According to the normal graduation situation, the Defense University graduation will only be awarded the rank of second lieutenant. If there are special circumstances, research results, meritorious service, that can be broken the case of lieutenant, the other that is to be able to read the study, in order to be awarded the lieutenant. But now Su Qin, only freshman ah, just captain. Wait, Yuan Minmin suddenly realized something. Could Su Qin be, the one the principal was talking about? The one who, as a freshman, received a special honor? It couldn't be? Yuan Minmin's mind raced with thoughts. However, this is just a guess, and she can't say it to her boyfriend. After all, Li Changle is not a person in the army, and Zhang Weigwa's speech that is already considered confidential, can't be casually said outside. So, she then could only look at her boyfriend and continue to open her mouth. Li Changle was dumbfounded. Impossible ah, impossible ah, how can it be a captain? Are you stealing someone else's rank ah? I don't believe it. Unless, unless you wear it on your own shoulder. He knew that it was possible for a shoulder badge with a rank to be used from someone else to pretend to be a captain. However, it should never be worn. If you wear it, 
It's a violation of military discipline, and it's not such a big deal to be dealt with. It's a matter of being held accountable. Why not? Su Qin yawned. Then, put that military rank shoulder badge and wore it on his shoulder. Li Changle. This, this, Li Changle was completely confused. Su Qin snorted and hurriedly said, quickly eat. This roast duck will be cold in a while. If the roast duck is cold it can be a fishy odor. Li Changle was confused. He secretly made up his mind. The next time we meet, I must find out the evidence. And, come up with even better evidence of me. Punch him in the face. He had completely forgotten that Su Qin had only wanted to get along with him as an ordinary person in the beginning, and hadn't been prepared to take out his military rank. Come, have a duck roll. Yu Yuzhu wrapped a meat roll for Su Qin. Good. Su Qin took it and ate it. His gaze, rested on Li Changle's body. Still not convinced ah. Okay ah. Next time, continue to Z. Chapter 053, 800 km Electromagnetic Cannon? Are you crazy? Behind this meal, eating that was not so pleasant. Only Su Qin didn't have the effort to pretend with Li Changle, and was content to enjoy Yu Yuzhu's service. Yu Yuzhu rolled a roast duck roll for Su Qin a while ago, and poured water for Su Qin a while ago. This was the main focus of a virtuous. Moreover, even when Su Qin's mouth was stained with roast duck sauce, Yu Yuzhu picked up a paper towel and wiped it off. Very natural and sweet, gentle and loving. Be careful when you eat, no one will grab it from you. Yu Yuzhu persuaded. Su Qin nodded and continued to feast. When Li Changle saw this, he was instantly envious. Min Min. He looked at his girlfriend. Yuan Min Min gave him a blank look. Get lost. Yuan Min Min was not spoiled. Studying in the defense university, that could be what Yuan Min Min herself asked for. She was a girl with a strong sense of self-esteem. How could she be docile enough to pour water for Li Changle to serve? The reason why she doesn't go to an ordinary military school, a military school to become an officer, is because the recruitment is really too low. This kind of scientific research military school, the requirements for girls were not that strict, and also recruited a little more, which was why Yuan Minmin went to it. Take it yourself if you want to eat. I'm not going to get it with you. Yuan Minmin said. Li Changle, after a meal, Su Qin took Yu Yuzhu and went back. Yuan Minmin and Li Changle had their own things to do, supposedly dating or something. What are we going to do at night? Yu Yuzhu looked at the time. It was only 7 o'clock in the evening. It was still a long time. Su Qin yawned, go home, sleep, saying that, he wrapped his arms around Yu Yuzhu and went back, Yu Yuzhu, at that moment, it was as if she felt that Su Qin was going to do something strange with himself, I, I'm not ready yet, half an hour later, when Su Qin was lying on the bed and his breathing gradually became even, Yu Yuzhu knew that she was overthinking, this was really sleeping well, outrageous, Yu Yuzhu looked at the sleeping Su Qin and stood next to him, her mind was a muddle and her face was scarlet, she finally, hesitated for a moment. Then just like a dragonfly pointing at water, she pecked at Su Qin's lips, and immediately popped away the moment she touched it. Just like a cute girl who did something bad and was afraid of being discovered. In the evening, Yu Yuzhu went back to the dormitory. Su Qin, on the other hand, slept until dawn. Comfortable. He felt the feeling of abundant power coming from his body and only felt excited. Classes. Charge. The reverse gnosis system, is not going to react to basic concepts, so this has to be a continuous learning process on its own, otherwise the more one understands, the more it will be like a building in the air, and in the end, it will just be a dangerous building, and one has to construct the bottom as well, in order to make one's knowledge system a solid piece. In the morning, Su Qin arrived at the classroom and began to study. While listening, he studied. In fact, many times, the sound of the teacher's class was just background music. After all, by the time a class was over, Su Qin had already directly studied half of that course's book on his own. This can be different from the feeling of ordinary people's learning. It is possible that the knowledge is not instilled into the mind. For Su Qin, all this knowledge could be imprinted down, already belongs to the understanding. Memorization, become a part of their own knowledge system, at any time can be used in the work. The next few days were all about attending classes and learning, and Su Qin enjoyed the free time in class. As for the occasional, he would go for a meal with Yu Yuzhu, take a walk, and check out the school. Zhang Linyu? Su Qin hadn't seen it for many days, and it was clear that her course also took a leave of absence. Su Qin this was the first time to see a teacher taking a leave of absence. Some outrageous in. Recently this kid, the class is still very diligent, will not be what we think, because the study is very good by the teacher favorably? Huang Zhe said to Zhao Zhi. Zhao Zhi raised his eyebrows. Impossible. I'm the one who scored first in the college entrance exam in our major. I've looked at the college entrance exam admission table. I'm in first place. First place. 
Huang Jin nodded. That's still right. Zhao Zhi was sure. This Su Qin doesn't follow the discipline as soon as class starts. Even if a teacher sees it, it's as if it didn't happen. It must just be a relationship that makes it so. It must be the son of some dean's family. It must be. However, just as Zhao Zhi was talking there, suddenly, a person appeared at the door. Su Qin, come out. Zhang Weigua beckoned. Zhao Zhi, Huang Jie, the rest of the class? What the hell? That one is the honorary principal Ah, that's academician Zhang Ah, that's the president of the Army Central Academy of Sciences Ah, even now come over to find Su Qin? This relationship is also a little too hard. Surprisingly, it's a relationship with the principal? This, this damn, no wonder you can walk horizontally Ah, just when Zhao Zhi, Huang Jie two people think, this is a bullshit official second generation. Su Qin also want to stupidly go out, and then nodded in front of their elders. Su Qin raised his head, then lowered it again. Five minutes. His tone, light and calm. It was as if, he really had something to do and asked the other party to wait a bit. It was very relaxed and calm. Zhao Zhi, Huang Jie, the rest of the class. Not, brother, that is the principal Ah, that is the president of the Academy of Sciences Ah, that is our country's academician Ah, that is the leader to see also to be serious. Serious treatment for the country to forge the sword of the country ah, you even let people wait? Crazy. How big is your family's relationship? Just when they thought that Zhang Weiguo will definitely be angry, or silent and go away by himself. After all, this is a very proud character. It is impossible to endure. As a result, Zhang Weiguo nodded, good, I will wait for you. Huang Jie, Zhao Zhi, all the students in the class, you're fucking, outrageous ah, why would academician Zhang Weiguo wait? Is this your own grandson? Not right ah. Pro grandson cannot be so ah. This is your life-saving benefactor ah. Su Qin really continued to lower his head to study, and finally closed the book, put it all inside his bag and walked out. As he went out, he even greeted the academician who was in class. Well, go ahead. Academician Lu revealed a kind smile and waved his hand. The students at the scene. Su Qin walked next to Zhang Weigua and asked, What happened? Something happened. Zhang Weigua's tone was grave. The eagle put us on the shelf to be roasted, saying that we developed a long-range submersible fish, practiced bombardment of Wolfsbane, saying that we disregarded civilian casualties. Su Qin just froze. That's it? Ah, isn't this important? Zhang Weigua also froze. The corner of Su Qin's mouth picked up a hint of amplitude. Wouldn't it be fine to just say that we have electromagnetic cannons with a range of 800 kilometers? Zhang Weigua. Chapter 054. The War Terror Bureau is online. Zhang Weigua. Confused. What the hell? What do you mean? We have an 800 kilometer electromagnetic cannon? Crazy. Don't say that we don't have it at all. The important thing is that what we have now is only 400 kilometers of electromagnetic cannons. This is also a major secret ah. Uh, this is also considered to be a leak of secrets if the eagle knows about it. Let's go. I'll go see what's going on now. Su Qin opened his mouth and said. Zhang Weigua led the way. But at the same time still said seriously. I came to tell you. Not for you to take the decision but want you to know this matter, there is a possibility that the truth cannot be hidden, after all, has been applied to the real battle inside, we have no intention to hide, possibly, when exposed, you have to be mentally prepared, Su Qin was stunned, what psychological preparation do I have to make, become, Zhang Weigua took a deep breath, the preparation of a national hero, Su Qin, soon, it was time to arrive at the command room, at this time there was a large group of people standing inside, even Wang Zhan was here, Zhang Linyu, who hadn't been seen for a few days, was also there, looking anxious. Su Qin walked next to Zhang Linyu, took a look at the screen, and asked curiously, what is this about? Zhang Linyu's face was haggard, and it was obvious that she hadn't rested properly. Right now, the Eagle has launched an international denunciation against us, saying that we attacked Wolf's Tooth Bay with a long-range torpedo, and is denouncing us internationally. Su Qin took a look at the screen next to him. Good lord. The extranet was completely noisy. Shocked, the Dragon Kingdom has actually developed an ultra-long-range torpedo, disregarding the safe travel of normal fishing boats. It wasn't a torpedo, but a suicide submarine missile piloted by a real person. Hundreds of soldiers died trying to kill that group of bandits dragon. It's simply abominable. The Dragon Kingdom is too evil. A long-range torpedo. What if it hits a fishing boat? This is strictly forbidden internationally. Almost lopsided. The online public opinion was all condemnation of the Dragon Kingdom. The point of condemnation is to take Wolfsbane. In the end the use of what explosives? All said it was a torpedo. Because long-distance torpedoes are very easy to hurt innocent people. 
so when the international community is strictly prohibited, the importance of the submarine is also so out. Now, the people of the world, all of them are condemning the dragon state. Su Qin looked at his scalp. Good guy, Little Day has already sent out a statement of condemnation. The Prime Minister of Little Day stood in front of the television and faced the reporters on stage, the Dragon Kingdom's development of the ultra-long-range torpedo this time is not only a reckless disregard for the ecological environment, but it is also abandoning the safety of all the fishermen, which is an irresponsible manifestation of the community of mankind. I express my strong condemnation. Su Qin, ah, according to the current time, in a few months, Little Day will be discharging nuclear-contaminated water, right? He meow. How dare you have the nerve to make a statement of condemnation? It's really absolute ah. Su Qin only felt his scalp tingle. Now that we've been condemned by 12 countries, at the same time the network's public opinion is unfavorable to us, and the domestic public opinion has a prelude of being created. It should be the foreign forces lurking inside the country that are starting to make an impact as well. Wang Zhan said seriously. This time, we need to rely on your Ministry of Scientific Research to make a statement. Let's see if we need to think of a countermeasure of some sort and try to still hide the truth. Zhang Weiguan and the rest of the group fell silent. Hide it? The current truth? Could it still be hidden? There was simply no way out ah. For a while, only silence remained at the scene. My idea is to not admit that we have the truth, saying that it was our newly developed optical stealth fighter. That's why it wasn't photographed by the satellites. In short, to hide the truth. In the end, Wang Zhan said seriously. This was one of the scenarios he came up with. Everyone's eyes lit up. Zhang Weigua hurriedly nodded. Aha, this one is fine. It can hide the truth and still make the outside feel flabbergasted about our technology. The others had also felt that it could work. However, suddenly, a large amount of knowledge flooded into Su Qin's mind. Ding, war terror method detected. In the process of comprehending for you, your counterintuitive five enlightenment, successfully comprehended for you, war terror bureau's ultimate skill. Everyone, felt that this method was good. However, Su Qin, however, Spoke up, I think this method is still a little short of feeling. Zhang Weigui, Zhang Linyu, Wang Zhan, others, ah, Su Qin, you're a scientific researcher, big deal, you will still command the battlefield now, that is the top of the sky ah, the other basically to the top of the ah, the results of your meow now this is what do you mean, even to command diplomacy? Wang Zhan's expression grave, this is a very serious matter, about our official statement, not before the kind of, say before must think well. Zhang Weigua was also persuasive. Xiao Su, don't talk nonsense, that 800 kilometer electromagnetic cannon you said before, it is indeed exaggerated. Zhang Linyu was very nervous and pulled on Su Qin's coat. Su Qin, don't talk nonsense ah, the current situation is urgent, we also need to release the news as fast as possible, otherwise it will cause panic. Su Qin was cloudy, well, I know. Now immediately issue a statement that our Dragon Kingdom has developed a 1000 kilometer electromagnetic cannon. Codenamed Truth. Please suspend all attempts to destroy our territorial integrity and harass our shipping routes immediately. And we reserve the right to pursue responsibility. Everyone was confused. Good lord. You're still really the same method as before ah. Uh, haven't you already said that your method isn't quite working? This is preparing to go all the way to the black? The people at the scene were dumbfounded. Originally, everyone still had expectations. Thinking that Su Qin could be the same as before. And directly come up with a counterintuitive idea. Unexpectedly, this one was so mediocre. Zhang Weigua sighed in his heart. This is normal. After all, a person who can have a direction that he is good at is already very good. How can he ask for more? And then, Su Qin's words, hadn't finished. Begin to build airports all along the coast, under the pretense of building airports, with very low costs to disguise that airports are being built. And, have ourselves find people to create rumors about whether or not we have optical stealth fighters and then have the officials deny that we don't have optical stealth fighters, and have the rumor mongers arrested for leaking state secrets, Su Qin's voice, with a flatness, but it made all those who heard it, feel a coldness in their backs, good guy, this was, to come for real, I, Long Gua, there really are no optical stealth fighters, we really only have electromagnetic cannons, Eagle, you believe me, chapter 055, diplomatic statement, we have electromagnetic cannons, everyone, was shocked by this word spoken by Su Qin. It was true. The eyes froze. Then, instantly, they reacted. It's also, really true. If we do this, not only will we be able to divert the eagle's attention away, we will also be able to temporarily hide the final range of the electromagnetic cannon. Yeah, right now we want to hide the range of the electromagnetic cannons. 
but we also need to prepare for exposing them later. That's it. That's a great argument. Yes, there was some apprehension on the military side right now regarding the exposure of the truth. If it was directly exposed, it would be too early to be ready. But if it had been hidden, it wouldn't have been in the interests of the Dragon Kingdom. And the pineapple country was also within range. The back was definitely going to find a way to recover it. And with truth it might be possible to avoid a direct battle. The meaning is, now to create momentum, but not to expose the secret. It is best to also mislead the eagle a wave of truth. Wang Zhan nodded deeply. You kid, this ghost idea is really much. We'll use this program of yours. His expression, was very excited. Old Yang Ah, you hurry to come over. My side is already has a plan, to ensure that your requirements can be satisfied. Our military also recognizes this plan. Wang Zhan made a call over. Zhang Weigua patted Su Qin's shoulder with a smile on his face. You have to remember that you'll always be a member of our Army Central Research Institute. Zhang Weigua looked at his nephew's son-in-law as the more he looked at the more he liked. Very satisfied. Joking well. This all-round type of nephew's son-in-law who will not like. In the future. The future is unlimited. And this is not the most important. The most important thing is Su Qin has an absolute heart to serve the country. In the future. It was bound to be a figure that shone in history. Su Qin. Why did you say that all of a sudden? Zhang Lingyu stood up and poked Su Qin, that, Su Qin, you are indeed quite smart, but don't forget to study. You have to climb up the ladder one step at a time. Don't be careless. This tone, somewhat soft and sticky. Su Qin, ah, uh, how come it feels like the two of you are a bit off? Soon, a man walked over. That man's expression, very serious, carried a pair of sword eyebrows. Yang Zizhong, the chief spokesman of the Dragon Kingdom's diplomacy and the first person to speak to the outside world. Su Qin was also stunned. Holy shit. This is indeed someone who is already completely close to being inside the TV. Ah, if Zhang Weigua, these scholars who forged the sword for the country, is still considered to be not so real existence, after all, usually may not pay attention to this aspect of the military industrial research are likely to be unaware of it. That Yang Zizhong can be really in the formal occasions on behalf of the dragon country to speak of the person. That was the man who was known as the bureau chief on the internet. What is it that can't be said directly inside the video conference that requires me to come over? Yang Zizhong frowned. I'm very busy right now. It's all because a few of you were impulsive that time, causing international public opinion to almost turn upside down. Inside this tone, there was more or less some blame. Indeed, he had the qualifications to reproach. Wang Zhan was in charge of a war zone, a group army, while Yang Zizhong was responsible for the overall statement which was equivalent to being below the trouble that had to be set right. Wang Zhan was very unconvinced and directly opened his mouth to retort, then did we still do wrong? When encountering this kind of pirates, one must see a wave to fight a wave. Otherwise they will only give an inch. Otherwise, they would even dare to build toll booths on the shipping lanes. Wang Zhan's tone was resolute, with a sense of solemnity inside the barracks, and also naturally had the flavor of gunpowder. Yang Zizhong sighed, things have already happened. What exactly is going on? Just say it. He saw Su Qin standing next to him and raised his eyebrows. You're the Su Qin who's been producing a lot of research results lately. Right. Young and promising. Keep up the good work for the country in the future. Yang Zizhong said with a smile. Su Qin hurriedly nodded. I don't dare to be arrogant. Continue to work hard in the future. Wang Zhan's mouth was tinged with a smile. That argument we were going to take out. It was Su Qin who brought it up. Zhang Lingyu sniffed and was instantly shocked. This would definitely be said by Yang Zizhong, right? Yang Zizhong was already a very strict person, and it was even more unlikely that he would give the qualification to speak to a young man in this current situation, even if it was the core of the explanation. Su Qin. Otherwise, let's go out first. Zhang Linyu wanted to pull Su Qin out. She didn't want Su Qin's sharpness to be thwarted. Su Qin shook his head. No need. Just here. Yang Zizhong really spoke up. Su Qin? What does he know as a scientific researcher? This kind of thing is to brainstorm and then take the most mature ideas, and also to achieve the dual purpose of the military and military industry research. Let a young man to provide the core content? Young people always have heart, and the most feared thing in diplomatic speeches is instability. You guys are child's play ah. Then, Wang Zhan began to explain. Five minutes later, Yang Zizhong's expression, slightly stagnant, this. This is completely a heavenly deception, deceiving the whole world and still achieving our goal. This, completely meets our requirements. Five hours? This is something we haven't come up with in five hours. Yang Zizhong grabbed Su Qin's hand. Why don't you, come to our foreign ministry? The next moment, Zhang Weigua stormed out and loosened the two's hands. Old Yang Ah, please respect yourself. 
It's an indisputable fact that Su Qin is from our army. Even if he will provide ideas for foreign speeches in the future, it will be limited to the army side of technology. Wang Zhan decisively stood with Zhang Weigui at this moment. Yes, Su Qin is our army's man. The two were still there to grab Su Qin before, but as a result, now, that was directly standing together. At least, what Su Qin had researched in the army's military industrial research institute, that could be used inside the army. At this moment, the other people on the scene, good guy, three people who stood at the top of their respective fields were actually fighting for a young man less than 20 years old at this moment? This heck of a bit too heaven defying. Su Qin, this young man, is a bit too bullish. A group of people, all of them were numb. Only, Zhang Linyu was calm. Getting used to it, I'm already used to it. She said so to herself in her heart. Su Qin sighed. It's not too late. Let's start implementing the plan now. We can't delay it too late. Yang Zizhong immediately agreed. Zhang Weigui and Wang Zhan also immediately agreed. Soon, a spokesperson from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a press conference in response to the incident, this time to eliminate the pirates. Our country did not use long-range torpedoes, which are internationally banned, but instead chose a method that is much less likely to accidentally injure civilians. We have developed an electromagnetic cannon with a range of 1.000 kilometers, and because unguided shells cannot be detected, the militaries of various countries have become suspicious. We now hereby inform all countries that we have not used weapons that accidentally injure civilians. The spokeswoman from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs finished these words forcefully. Then, the reporters below were confused. Ah, electromagnetic cannon. An electromagnetic cannon with a range of 1,000 kilometers. Crazy, crazy, how can there be? That's something that's only found inside a sci-fi movie. Chapter 056, Eagle, this is the truth. Reporter below, is this sure it's not a joke? A 1,000 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon? Isn't this a bit too unreasonable? It's already been applied in actual combat? The first fears. Found that the dragon country even has entered the science fiction era how to do. Completely confused ah. All the reporters, at this time, were already completely confused. However, they still faithfully reported the news they got here. Then, the entire network, instantly exploded. Shocked, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Country of Dragon admitted that the way to eliminate pirates is the 1,000 kilometers range electromagnetic cannon. From today onwards, our country has entered the science fiction era. Science fiction comes to reality. The first proposed electromagnetic cannon concept of science fiction writers say so. The whole network, completely tumbled up. A foreign science fiction blogger, I really feel very excited now. This is science fiction imagination arise at reality. Now the dragon country certainly will not show the electromagnetic cannon, but I still look forward to one day to see in person. A certain eagle blowing blogger, I don't believe it, unless the specific parameters are put out, or rather the pictures are put out, just by virtue of the diplomatic spokesman saying so, a normal person won't believe it. Naturally, below him, there were many angry domestic netizens, listen to me, 50w, Blanche Nima, laughing to death, Osamu this time still do not believe up, you bring out the evidence ah, just simply do not believe it right? When did our Rokoka's diplomatic spokesman ever speak empty words? It's not like your president, who dares to brag about anything in order to get re-elected. Our country's brags are meant to be realized. Awesome, my country, bullshit plas. The network was very noisy. For a while, not only were the top 5 domestic hot searches all foreign ministries actual 1000 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon, but even foreign oil pipe platforms were completely excited. All the netizens who aspired to human progress were very excited about this news. However, in its place, it naturally possessed some, who were dumbfounded there. For example, Eagle Naval Command. At this time, Admiral Smith was completely dumbfounded. How is it possible? How could the Dragon Kingdom already possess a 1000 kilometer range electromagnetic cannon? His expression, completely dumbfounded, was just frozen there for a moment, his eyes were a little confused. Yeah. Colonel Brew was dumbfounded at the same time. This is too unbelievable. 1,000 kilometers range electromagnetic cannon. That's not just talk ah. Uh. Now the Eagle's electromagnetic cannon. The range is only 100 kilometers. And it's already close to the most cutting edge direction of scientific research. The latter content itself already needs more basic research support. 1,000 kilometers. What concept? Completely covers the land of pineapples. And. Enough to threaten the Eagle fleet in the Pacific. Even at the nearest place, able to fight from the dragon country, directly to the Japanese country, in Rukoku, directly bombard the capital of the stealing country, that's an absolutely terrifying range, it's outrageous, this is absolutely outrageous, general, 
A call from His Excellency the President. Colonel Brew picked up the landline, then heard that it was the secretary of the president's office calling from the other side, and handed the phone to Smith. Smith was stunned, then took it. His Excellency the President. Immediately analyze whether or not the Dragon Kingdom possesses a 1,000 kilometers range electromagnetic cannon. Immediately, over there, White Lantern's tone was tinged with anxiety. Within an hour, I want to know if this is true or not. Yes, Smith immediately hung up the phone, his expression incomparably grave. This was a direct order from the President, and it was clear that this action of the Dragon Kingdom was something that had shaken the entire Congress already as well. Gather information immediately, Smith gave the order down. Analyze the footage captured by the satellites before, as well as the footage during the bombing period. Give me a good analysis. Yes, all of the technical soldiers, all of them saluted, and then began to work. Busyness instantly swept through the entire office. For a while, a large number of soldiers came in and out. They wanted to analyze whether or not the Dragon Kingdom had developed a 1,000 kilometers range electromagnetic cannon or not. And on the Dragon Country's side, Su Qin was looking at the large screen in front of him with a calm face. Inside the intelligence command office, a piece of screen was hanging, and on the screen was the search content about the relevant words, and what was presented now was the search information that had already exploded. Yang Zizhong said excitedly, the current situation is as expected. It's not just the civilian ports at home and abroad that are searching for this information. The militaries of various countries around the globe are also verifying the authenticity of our message. The one with the most visits is the Eagle military. Everything, just as Su Qin predicted. At those words, everyone in the entire office, shared, everyone, looked at Su Qin, who was sitting in the center, at this young man who was supposed to be a scientific researcher, pa pa pa, a young female staff member, took the lead in clapping, then, boom, the applause came like a tidal wave, seeing this, Zhang Weiguo was very pleased, this kid, is considered someone I dug out, Zhang Linyu pinched her hand, her face scarlet, her mind thinking about something, Su Qin nodded, well, then we can begin. Start the next step. With these words, he said to Yang Zizhong. Yang Zizhong nodded. Good. Soon, the public number of the Ministry of Public Security sent out a tweet. A group of suspects spreading rumors are now arrested and will be detained according to the law. The tweet was, well, insidious. First of all, it wasn't sent from the microblog with the largest number of followers, but the public number. Secondly, there was no specific content of spreading rumors and it was not at all like a message sent from a normal speaking port. However, this one message completely agitated the eagle side. Lock that message. Get in there and dig for it immediately. Smith's sharp intuition told him that there was definitely something going on. The strength of the eagle's intelligence warfare was very strong, and its ability to search for intelligence should not be underestimated. General, we have searched the exact source of the message. That technician's tone was very excited, as he had indeed found a huge message, and his eyes carried excitement within them. The content of the message was a post. What the Dragon Kingdom is using this time is not an electromagnetic cannon at all, but an optical stealth fighter. Owner. I don't believe it. Oh, I have the captured video here. And even the difference from visible to stealth conversion. This post, the readership is only 7 or 8,000. Compared to the tens or millions of posts discussing EM guns at any given time, this is completely and very empty. However, the person who made this post was actually arrested? Smith was a bit confused. Soon, another message came in. General, Dragon Country's arrest this time is actually ranked as the first sequence, and ordered directly from the highest department. That technician man was confused. This post, it seems like, is the truth of this matter. Chapter 057, Su Qin's backstage is actually, all the eagle officers, understood. What else is there to say about this? All of this, it was already determined ah, what Long Gua had developed this time, that was the optical stealth fighter and it couldn't possibly be the electromagnetic cannon. Right, Smith tapped his head. Our electromagnetic cannon research, that can also be a hundred kilometers of range. According to the relevant research and development company, this is already close to the limit of the electromagnetic cannon. The back will have to wait for a breakthrough in material science. Quick, connect me to Mr. White immediately. The Eagle's research was not quite the same as the Dragon Nation's way. Even their military procurement, even the private companies are developed by the private sector. In addition to the government-led mandatory to do research and development projects accident, other weapons that is these companies to develop their own. Full market competition. And the dragon country. Military industry will only be carried out by the country's researchers for research and development. By the financial allocation. Hello, General Smith. Why it appeared on the screen. Mr. 
Wyatt, you have the most powerful scientific research institute for electromagnetism weapons in our country. I would like to ask you now if you can confirm the information that the Dragon Kingdom has taken out? Smith's expression was, well, serious. He desperately wanted to know the answer. In Smith's heart, a stone hung in the air. Eventually, Wyatt spoke. General Smith, what I want to tell you is this. The Dragon Kingdom that is bluffing. Electromagnetism weapons due to its material limitations. Our predicted range limit is 150 kilometers. Nowadays our products is only 100 kilometers range. Dragon Kingdom is using their national credibility as a bet this time. Smith rejoiced. Good. Ha 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 ha. This time, Dragon Kingdom's secrets have been detected by us. Optical stealth fighter? Soon after, Smith called the president. Your Excellency the President. After our detection, the attack method that the Dragon Kingdom adopted against that group of pirates is the optical stealth fighter. I suggest that we also complete the relevant experiments as soon as possible. White Lantern asked seriously. Are you sure? Very sure. In the end, the financial allocation signed by President Eagle Jam came down, using 20 billion knives as the initial cost, inviting the Air Force's military industrial giant company to lead the development of optical stealth fighters. Because, this has been scouted out. This path can be taken. In terms of military industry, if a country on a certain path goes first and proves that it can be realized, then the country behind will save at least 80% of the cost of trial and error. Which is also the reason why the technology of the Dragon Nation has skyrocketed in recent decades. By the time Su Qin received that the Eagle's side had been completely tricked and had already determined to research optical stealth fighters, it was already a month later. During this month, Su Qin lived, that is, a normal university life. Study, study hard, using brain capacity for rapid learning. Only a third of the university's curriculum has been learned now ah. Su Qin rubbed his brow and closed the last book. He only felt a little slow. Even with 10 times the brain capacity, in the face of replenishing the massive amount of basic knowledge, it seemed very constricted and insufficient. At this rate, learning the courses of his current specialty would be a full three months. If one added the basic courses on the drone side, half a year would go. System, can there still be a method that can allow me to have a faster speed to learn? Add a CPU to my brain ah. Suchin seriously asked the system in his heart. This system didn't come out for more than a month, and thought that he was out of the binding. Ding. When the host reaches a certain achievement, he can obtain the relevant rewards. What achievements? Su Qin continued to ask. Ding. The system can't tell. Su Qin. Gotta. Then proceed to follow the current situation. Ka. After eating the last cookie, the dry food he brought with him was completely broken. Now it can be said to be out of ammunition. It's time to go back. He was then ready to skip class and go back to change his books. The other students in the class were now numb. This Su Qin is also too outrageous. Classes at any time to leave early. Not to mention, but also is meow often in the back to eat. The most hateful time is to eat potato chips. That ringing floats are floating out. And Professor Liu even said, All right, if hungry panic can soak noodles to eat, this is an academician should be able to say out words? Ah, uh, this is not. More or less a little too outrageous ah. Uh. Therefore, the students in the class were microaggressions towards Su Qin. After all, they only felt that Su Qin was just related. Wasn't he just a relative of the principal? And he could get such good treatment? What's this about himself? I'm ready to report. It's, Zhao Zhi slowly exhaled. Anyway, I'm not decorated yet. The big deal is to go back to high school. I'm not going to military school. This Su Qin, I can't stand it anymore. Huang Zhu was confused. You're really going to report him? Just because he doesn't follow class discipline? No, the charge I'm placing on him is that he doesn't abide by military law and the principal maliciously condones it. Zhao Zhi's eyes were incomparably sharp. Su Qin would have been deducted at least 100 points by now if we were to say it was normal. He should, right now, be counseled out. The result is still fine. Zhao Zhi gritted his teeth and clenched his fists. At this moment, his will broke through the heavens. In his own imagination, he transformed into a light, completely illuminating the entire defense university. He was the hero. Just as Su Qin stood up, someone was waiting at the door. That was. Yang Zizhong, the head of the foreign ministry's speech. Yang Zizhong waved at Su Qin, smiling and looking cordial. Su Qin, come quickly, come quickly. There's good news for you from my side. Su Qin nodded. Uh, I'll pack my things. Class, Zhao Zhi, Huang Zhe, this is, head of the foreign ministry ah, uh, crap. Huang Zhe and Zhao Zhi, all confused, looked at each other. Both of them saw dumbfoundedness and disbelief in the other's eyes. This was a bit too outrageous ah. Uh, this backstage, thick black ah, there are a billion points outrageous okay, 
Huang Zhe's voice has a little trembling. Do you still go to report it? This can still find that organization to report. Ah, Zhao Zhi Thud swallowed a mouthful of saliva, his eyes with fear, but hit it. I, I definitely will not let him be so arrogant again. Now, there's no hurry. Now, be prepared. He, the backstage is hard again. Can he make the whole country go down for him? Who does he think he is? A genius demon scientist? So bullish. He thinks he built the electromagnetic cannon. Chapter 058. What if? Really? He wants to build optical stealth fighters? Su Qin walked outside and looked at Yang Zizhong's cheerful appearance. He knew that there was something good. So he asked. What's wrong? What's the matter? He he. Yang Zizhong's look. That's totally there's good news. According to our reliable tip-off, the eagle has already started its research on the optical stealth fighter. This time wasting tens of billions of their money. Su Qin said seriously. But how can we conclude? Optical stealth fighter really doesn't exist? It's really not feasible? Yang Zizhong. Ah, isn't this what you brought up? Ready to be a waste of enemy resources? What does this mean? It's not going to be a fairy pointing the way, is it? Ha ha ha. Just kidding. Su Qin looked at Yang Zizhong's greatly changed expression, and immediately laughed cheerfully, uncovering this matter. That's good. And just as Yang Zizhong was breathing a sigh of relief there, suddenly, in Su Qin's mind, the sound of the system suddenly came. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Successfully reaching achievement point 100. Latest achievement point harvest. Wasted 32. 5 billion knives of eagles funds. Successfully gained achievement point 7. Su Qin. Holy shit. This. What do you mean? Didn't read it on me this too. Achievement points? It just popped up now? How come I only have 100 achievement points so far? I've wasted tens of billions of dollars of the eagle's money and I've only got 7 achievement points? What kind of program is this? I don't know what the hell is going on. There's something wrong with it. Ding. 100 points gained. The host can use the points to exchange for various research directions and upgrade the brain rate. Note, the highest brain rate upgrade is 10. 000, 000 times the level of ordinary computers. And the upper limit of brain capacity cannot be improved. It is recommended that the development of external supercomputers as soon as possible to assist in the research. Su Qin. Unlocked. Point small. An image slowly unfolded in Su Qin's mind, as if it had appeared out of thin air, allowing him to see clearly. What's wrong? Yang Zizhong was a bit confused and asked. No. Nothing. I'm a little sleepy. Find a place to rest. Su Qin waved his hand. The system is his biggest secret. Absolutely impossible to let anyone know. Even if it's his wife and partner, it's bound to be a secret that will take himself to the grave. Exhale. He slowly. Exhaled. Okay. Anyway. The ride will take a while. Get in the car first. Yang Zizhong nodded. Soon. Su Qin leaned back in his chair and began to check the points mall that had just been unlocked. This does not look not no. Once he looked. His scalp went numb. Brain rate enhancement LV2. 100 points. Basic physics research direction bonus LV1. 100 points. Basic Chemistry Research Direction Bonus LV1, 100 points. Basic Genetics Research Direction Bonus LV1, 100 points. Note, Research Direction Bonus can make you twice as good with half the effort. Please exchange it as soon as possible before basic research. Su Qin was a bit confused. This achievement point, how in the world did it come about? The system quickly replied. All of the host's actions can earn achievement points. Every full meal will increase zero. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, achievement points. Every time you sleep, you can gain 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0000001 achievement points. Current achievement point income, 0. 5 point slash day, from the UAS system being researched. Su Qin. He slowly understood that it was about doing great things. That was how to gain more achievement points. Influence, is achievement points. That was pretty much it. That is, to keep doing great things. Redemption. Brain rate increase, Su Qin said seriously. This was the foundation of his future research. The brain turns fast then learning things up will be fast. He can't be held back by the current basic learning. He must learn all the knowledge as fast as possible and then go and trigger the counterintuitive enlightenment. Then, start researching more. Ding. Being redeemed. Redemption successful. Current points balance, 0. Current brain rate level, LV2. Current brain rate specific value, 50 times the normal human brain rate. Current level, 6 months of development of primary computer current level, 6 months of development of primary computer. Su Qin only felt that the brain's operation speed became fast. This, was indeed, a bit exciting. The brain's operating speed, faster. Who, he slowly exhaled. Then, taking out his tablet, he clicked out the paper he was going to read earlier. The result, good guy, 5 minutes to read it. 
the kind that even reads with understanding, and it's still the latest paper, and what you've read is basically memorized into your brain, as if there's a videotape that's specifically memorizing it. Gotta love it. It was really energizing. However, Su Qin also noticed that his perception of time seemed to be a bit more sensitive now. It's better to research the external brain as soon as possible later on. This is the last time to boost the brain capacity. After all, I also want to be an ordinary person. It's more appropriate to use an external computer brain to do the math. He made up his mind. Being a normal person was his bottom line. It was impossible to make himself inhuman for the sake of research. It was absolutely impossible. Half an hour later, the scene was reached. This was still the public opinion command center, and there were many people standing inside at this time. Zhang Linyu, Zhang Weigua, and a group of other people were all here. Wow. The moment they saw Su Qin, thunderous applause directly erupted from the scene. Su Qin you brat, this time is really a great achievement. To be able to coax the eagle, your tactics are too good. Wang Zhang gave a thumbs up. Now that the whole country is building airfields under false pretenses, the eagle's side is still adding radar facilities. It's killing me with laughter. Yang Zizhong nodded deeply. Yes. So, on behalf of the diplomatic department of the Dragon State, I officially grant Su Qin's truth research team the second level of diplomatic interpretation authority to hold a press conference on their own. But what is released needs to be reported in advance. Of course, you guys need a spokesperson. Just find one yourselves. When there is no scientific research technology that needs to be released, you don't need a spokesperson. And if you don't want to you can always not hold a conference. Su Qin, what do you mean? This is to let me take on some of the duties of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? You can hold press conferences? What the hell is this? And it also gives me the authority to hold provincial level conferences. What's this about? Zhang Weigua walked over and patted Su Qin's shoulder. Well, this time, it's us who gave in because your kid is really good in the area of being smart. If you have an idea, go boldly. Go mislead the eagle. Su Qin was stunned. Who said I was misleading eagles there? I'm really building optical stealth fighters. Zhang Weigui. Yang Zizhong, Zhang Linyu, Wang Zhang, ah, what the hell, isn't that just misleading, chapter 059, what is the upper limit of drone control, those who were present were all confused, great guy, originally, I thought that when you said it was going to be induced, it was just simply induced, an unrelated waste of eagles money in the wrong direction of research, turns out, what's the deal with you saying that you're really going to get into optical fighters, outrageous ah, Yang Zizhong said in a daze, I don't know much about the scientific research direction here. Is the optical stealth fighter a very common affair? Is it something that can be manufactured casually? Zhang Weigua immediately replied, Definitely not. Optical stealth fighter. That's a project that all countries have only come up with a concept now, without daring to research it on a large scale, and at the most, only arranging for a research institute to be at the stage of exploring the feasibility. Su Qin, you don't joke ah, so many people around were. It's fine. It's good for young people to have heart. I'm afraid of that kind of dead air. Wang Zhan, on the other hand, felt indifferent. He was even a bit relieved. Bull blowing again. That's all right. Zhang Lingyu also came over and reminded in a whisper. Su Qin, don't talk nonsense. There are several future subordinates here. If you talk big and get known, you will be looked down upon. Well, no one believed it. This claim, indeed, was a little too bizarre. You just said that it was impossible to develop this and took it to mislead the eagle's military development. But now you're saying that you can develop it? Play it? Impossible. It's simply impossible. Su Qin's expression was calm. And he waved his hand lightly. For this kind of thing, you only need to let Prof. One make a sample. His teaching level is very strong. It was him who demonstrated with a model drone before. And I comprehended the method of making a drone swarm. People on the scene. Ah, it's a bit outrageous, isn't it? Is academician one so awesome? How come I haven't heard of it before? Ah cut. Inside the car. When Cheng Yuan sneezed. What he didn't know was that Su Pingsheng had already assigned him the status of a teaching capable person. Zhang Weigua blankly glanced at Su Qin. Then according to you. I'm also considered a teaching master? Gave you a Gaokao question. And as a result you built the electromagnetic cannon. Poor mouth how still. Ha 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 ha. The atmosphere of the scene was eased down at once. Zhang Weigua's accent still retained the tone of his old home which was hilarious. Everyone didn't take it to heart either. Su Qin this is just joking. Are their own people? There is no need to get on the line. Everyone is doing things for the country. Working together to serve the country is the most important thing. Su Qin, it's better not to talk like that in the back ah. You need to have the appearance of a major officer. Zhang Linyu said seriously. Major? Su Qin was stunned. Wow. Right. 
The day after tomorrow was his own ordination ceremony. It wasn't the credit of the drone swarm, which was still in the deep learning process of the mother aircraft, but the credit of the time when he had temporarily gone to eliminate Wolfsbane Command, which would have been enough to get himself promoted to major. And just at this time, bang, the sound, when Chang Yuan violently rushed in through the door. Su Qin, his tone, was anxious. I just went to the school. Why aren't you inside the school? I heard that you were picked up by Yang Zizhong and immediately rushed over. You quickly follow me. When Shang Yuan even carried a gust of wind with him as he rushed in, diplomats on the scene, Yang Zizhong, Zhang Weigui, Zhang Linyu, what the hell? Academician when Chang Yuan, haven't you always regarded yourself as steady? But you are a steady man who even published a paper to list the possible deficiencies at the end, and also give the way to prove it, and show that you can withdraw the publication at any time. Why are you still in the wind now? What the hell? Su Qin, however, was bashful, and as if he had predicted something, he looked up and asked, Is it the deep learning that's finished? Yes, Wen Sheng Yuan nodded heavily. The deep learning process is finished. Now the trained AI intelligence can only be manipulated by you. You hurry over there now. It's urgent. People on the scene. Zhang Weigui. Zhang Linyu. Zhang Weigui immediately stood out and expressed his disbelief. The trained AI that isn't can be manipulated through the code. That's the result of a group of code after training. How do you need Su Qin to manipulate it? That learning should also be a drone to perform tasks ah. Will not be related to face recognition. Voice recognition inside. Zhang Weigua was confused because he didn't understand why he needed Su Qin to go over there. Wen Cheng Yuan also didn't have time to explain, but instead pushed Su Qin and walked away. Just follow along to see. Anyway, the situation is urgent. Soon, a convoy of five vehicles set off. Yang Zizhong followed along even though he didn't understand. He had a hunch that this must be a new technological revolution. Zhang Weigua then needless to say, definitely got on the car. Zhang Linyu also followed along. As for the others, then they couldn't come along. This is classified. The diplomatic command department people can only be in the brain inside the brain will be what kind of event. Enough to let an academician rushed out to personally invite people. Zhang Linyu was inside the car, seriously analyzing, maybe Su Qin left a program to enter a password? Su Qin scratched his head. The password I left is something that anyone can solve. Then, upon arriving, the crowd saw the large screen hanging in the air, and the flashing of a throbbing virtual image. That virtual image was a hive. A huge beehive with countless holes, with countless bees going in and out of it, and although it was said to appear to be in a hurry, there was no collision, just as if their consciousnesses were connected as one. Is this the hive consciousness that was trained? Zhang Linyu's expression was a bit dazed. Zhang Weigua also looked dumbfounded, only feeling as if the hive was conscious. Yes, this is the result of the nation's supercomputer arithmetic, which took more than a month while being trained. When Chang Yuan took a deep breath, then exhaled slowly, his eyes heavy. This is the result of more than 3,000 researchers working night and day, 300 supercomputers, and more than 10 million kilowatts of electricity trained. Zhang Linyu was a bit stunned, although it is indeed impressive. But what does it have to do with Su Qin? When Chang Yuan looked complicated, you'll know when you look at it. Then, that hive, a message popped up. Please enter the password. What is the upper limit of drones that this hive consciousness can carry and control? That was it. The password. Zhang Linyu, Zhang Weigui, Yang Zizhong. They look at Su Qin. You, you call this not having a password? Do you have some kind of misunderstanding about passwords that can be solved by anyone? I hello? Chapter 060, Hive Drone Swarm Actual Test. When Chang Yuan's tone, there is some bitterness, this is set up. Who knows ah? Now only just completed the deep learning, has not yet begun the specific connection to the testing process. How is it possible to know the upper limit of the manipulated drone? The rest of the crowd all nodded their heads as well. Indeed, this was simply impossible ah. This was clearly information that Su Qin himself only knew. How could everyone know? However, Su Qin was stunned for a moment. Ah, shouldn't, shouldn't this be common knowledge? The upper limit of drones that the Hive network can maneuver is infinite. He then tapped the answer directly on it. Pressing enter snapped. The password is correct. Opening Hive network. Now, on the screen, it showed that the password had been lost. Researchers on the site, Wen Chang Yuan, Zhang Weigui, Zhang Linyu, what the hell? Infinity? Are you kidding me? Wen Chang Yuan immediately opened his mouth and denied, how can it be uncapped? Any operational network should possess an operational cap. After all, it wouldn't be an algorithmic network if it didn't have an upper limit ah. Uh, by definition, Su Qin spoke faintly, it is indeed uncapped. The Hive network is not an ordinary already perfected algorithmic design. 
a product after deep learning. It is now still in the process of self-learning. From now on, no matter if it's for combat, training, or active data input, or even accessing enemy algorithms after accessing enemy drones, the Hive network can learn from them, thus moving towards a smarter, more perfect place. He tapped the keyboard and then pulled up a series of data. Right now, the Hive network needs one supercomputer to drive the program, thus driving 50 groups of drones, or 1, 0, 0, 0. But after continued learning, there will be more room for its growth. All the researchers at the scene, all stiffened. This was explained, very clearly, very clearly. Even so, it was completely laying things out. This Hive network, can perform deep learning. It could also continue to learn, learn in battle, and improve. This, this, this is too incredible. When Chang Yuan's eyes, slightly dull, even his body began to tremble. This, this is simply a genius design. Yeah, I've only heard of ordinary algorithm designs. This is the first time I've seen an algorithm used in actual combat that can even upgrade itself. Zhang Weiguo was also lax in his gaze. Zhang Linyu, who was standing below, had her eyes locked on Su Qin's body. She clenched her white fists and looked at Su Qin. In her eyes, there was a blazing heat. Ha, huh, does this mean that it's awesome? Are you guys so surprised? Yang Zizhong asked in a confused manner. He was studying liberal arts and that could be said to know nothing about scientific research. Not to mention deep learning these things. When Chang Yuan nodded deeply, aha, this should be, an epic making product for low altitude combat. From today onwards, all skies below 500 meters will all belong to the Dragon Kingdom. This value of 500 meters was the best area for various low cost drones to fight, and was not the upper limit of the Hive network. Yang Zizhong was also stunned. Really? Really? Bang! With a sound, Wang Zhan slammed the table. Good boy, you are simply a big treasure of our army. This can simply be taken to our army to use. And in the future, the low altitude air control will belong to us. Ha 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 ha. The one who was the happiest in here was none other than Wang Zhan. He was the happiest. To know, the scientific research results taken out, that is 100% will be taken to the army to use, because of the drone's combat range limitations, so it is impossible to be assigned to the Air Force side. After all, the Air Force can't send a special person to stretch to the airport 1 or 200 kilometers away to specifically manipulate the drone, right? In the future, this high drone swarm system would inevitably fall under the use of the army. Let's give it a try then. Su Qin exhaled slowly. How many groups of drone swarms are here now? The production line has already been set up, and production can be ramped up at any time, but there are only two groups of drone swarms here now. When Chang Yuan replied, the production line had already been set up, but he didn't have the authority to start mass production yet. After all, as soon as the production line moved, the money consumed would be huge. One couldn't place such a big bet. One had to experiment with the weapons first in advance before they could do so. Aha! Su Qi nodded. Is the test site ready? When Chang Yuan hurriedly responded, it can start any time. Good. Then let's go. Su Qin took the lead and walked ahead. Unconsciously, even a big bull like Zhang Weigua followed Su Qin at this time. It was from the heart, a respect that came from the heart. No one walked in front of Su Qin, as if he was the center of the group. If someone who didn't know the situation saw this scene, they would definitely be shocked beyond belief. A lieutenant general, several major generals, and even the head of the foreign ministry statement were all following behind a young captain, and by the look of their expressions, all of them were voluntary and submissive. This would definitely shock countless people. Soon, the test site was reached. This place was a three square kilometer large forest, and in front of the grandstand at the front of the forest there were two large boxes, just like the compartments of a truck, only in a square shape. We've set up 100 targets in there, 80 ground combatants and 20 armored units, and all the drones have to do is successfully annihilate 80% of them with detection. When Chang Yuan explained, the people in the back were a bit surprised. Wang Zhan was a bit confused. All relying on drones? This is in the woods. The trees are at least 7 or 8 meters tall, right? Such a dense forest is the natural enemy of drones. Indeed, the woods would hinder drone attacks. In today's Maoist civil war, one operational guideline is to move through the woods as much as possible to avoid drone reconnaissance and attacks. In such a scenario, it's bound to be a test for the drone hive network. A true test. Begin. Su Qin pressed the enter key. Executing command. Authorized secondary network. Ready for disconnected combat. Current connection mode. Direct connection. The hive network, which was connected to the laptop in front of him, was giving commands. Subsequently. Buzz. Buzz. Those two metal squares. Each opened their sides. One by one. The drones swarmed out. 
Chapter 061, Hive Network, Quick Response, One by One, The Drones Flew Out, A Group of 20 Drones in Total, It Was Divided Into Three Types, The First Type, That Was The Reconnaissance Drones, Which Flew In An Ordinary Drone Type, At This Moment, A Total Of Six Reconnaissance Drones Flew Out Directly, Spreading Out Like A Net, They Would Be The Eyes Of The Entire Drone Swarm, Spreading All The Information Back, This Is The One In Charge Of Reconnaissance, Right, Although Wang Zhan was not very proficient in the concept, but as a combat commander, he still had a clear understanding of these approximate types. After all, this was still in line with the current definition of the battlefield, and also practiced inside the Maoist War. Yes, the reconnaissance drones will be disseminating all the information back. Bunjabuchi nodded. What then came out? Those were the jet drone fighters and jet drone bombers. Boom dash for a moment. The sound of compressed air being ejected could be heard on the scene. Ha, huh? Wang Zhan was directly confused. A jet airplane. This is going out? It's too early, isn't it? It hasn't found the target yet. And this is going out? Inside his concept, this kind of combat style fighter jet, because of its range, had to wait until the ground troops or other reconnaissance units had discovered the target before going out. This was the kind of weapon that was impossible to depart early ah. This is the terror of the drones developed by Su Qin. When Chang Yuan slowly exhaled, it's still in a state of seizing air power so it needs to hover over the battlefield at all times. Guess, how long is the endurance? Wang Zhan thought seriously for a moment. Half an hour? This was already a very bold guess on his part. This was a military drone. Even civilian drone endurance was generally about 20 minutes or so, followed by a battery replacement. And although military drones could burn oil, it was impossible to bring too much fuel with them. No. When Shan Yuan shook his head slightly. Four hours. Fully fueled. The Hive fighter can hover over the battlefield at low speed for 4 hours, and the Hive bomber can hover for 3 hours when fully fueled. 4. 4 hours. Wang Zhan was completely confused. This duration of endurance was far beyond his imagination. Really 4 hours? Zhang Weiguo was also astonished. Even though he knew that the aerodynamics of Su Qin's drone design was really too cutting edge, he still didn't think that it would have such a terrifying endurance. It was indeed. Terrifying. Zhang Li Yu was shocked. Su Qin. How did you research this? 4 hours of endurance ah, wouldn't that allow for long cruises? The application of fuel is also very economical? Seeing that they were so surprised, Su Qin also smiled and shook his head. It's nothing too high tech. After all, I did omit the operation and network system, and on the fighter and bomber side, there's not even a camera. It's just an empty shelf inside. It doesn't consume much fuel. Then, Zhang Weiguai and Zhang Linyu were both confused. Wang Zhan, Yang Zizhong, ha, huh? a drone. You streamlined the camera? Is this something that can be streamlined? Why don't you say that when you developed the cannon, you saved the button to fire the cannon by the way? Zhang Weiguo was instantly incomparably shocked, and hurriedly asked Wen Cheng Yuan, Old one, how did you review this? Those two drones don't even have cameras? This, isn't it a bit too provincial? So provincial that it's a bit childish? Zhang Weiguo man was confused. Zhang Lin Yu nodded along. Yes, a camera is a must for drones ah. Even if they have specialized reconnaissance drones, the Hive Fighter and Hive Bomber, if they are in the absence of a camera, there is bound to be no way to accurately hit the target. Even if it's through the coordinate system, then there's still a time delay. However, when Shang Yuan smiled and shook his head, all right, this, none of this is a problem. It's better for us to cut to the drone's perspective and seriously watch the current battlefield. His smile was subtle. Of course, at this time, everyone looked at Su Qin again wanting to see the nervousness and uneasiness on his face. After all, this was a project he had developed that was now being tested, and they all wanted to know how he felt about it. As a result, Su Qin was still standing there, with a cloudy face, he even took out a Snickers bar from inside his pocket. Ka, with a sound, Su Qin took a bite, then came the sound of chewing peanuts. Crowd, you're a bit too calm here, so fierce, there was no way around it, and all of them carefully looked at the information transmitted back. Hive Scout number 3 has found the target, when Shang Yuan said excitedly, only to see a screen, a target appeared, it was a stationary human nature target, just standing there, but it definitely didn't look dumb, because it was a camouflage clothed target, surrounded by woods, even if a real person came to look at it, he or she wouldn't necessarily be able to recognize it at first glance, well, really, this recognition algorithm can indeed work, Zhang Weiguan nodded with satisfaction, I think, the attack will come within 10 minutes, right? Jade, what do you think? Zhang Lin you thought carefully for a while, based on the drones that took off in advance. I feel that 7 minutes will be enough to arrive and execute a destructive strike on this target. However, 
Zhang Lingyu's words had not yet fallen. Boom. Suddenly, there was a direct explosion. Several people didn't even see the falling bomb. That humanoid target directly exploded, and the upper half of its body was directly blown away, revealing all of its internal adhesive structure. Only then, after more than 50 seconds, Zhang Lingyu, Zhang Weigwei, Yang Zizhong, Wang Zhan, ah, he immediately became angry. What is wrong with you guys? It's only been a minute now, right? Did you plant a time bomb inside ahead of time just to hide it from the inspection? How can this be? He was really angry. The testing of the weapons could not allow for the slightest bit of falsification. It had to be 100% correct. Therefore, he now had some anger. When Chang Yuan laughed, ha ha ha, what are you thinking? Immediately take manual control and have the drone raise its head. Soon, the camera was lifted online, only to see, boom, over that sky hovered the hive bomber. This, so fast, Wang Zhan's expression, instantly stiffened. Just now, was it the one that dropped the bomb? It's only been a minute. This, how is this possible? Chapter 062, Armored Target. In the beginning, Wang Zhan did have suspicions of counterfeiting. After all, this speed was indeed a bit too outrageous. It was too fast. It really was too fast. He had thought that it was possible that the bomb was buried inside the dummy's body ahead of time and then just detonated it by remote control. But, the situation now, surprisingly, the bomber had already finished dropping the bombs within a minute of the reconnaissance plane spotting the target. Too fast. Zhang Weigwa stared blankly. Is it really that fast? It takes 5 seconds to reach the ground in a free fall, right? Yes, I also have some disbelief. Even a young man like Zhang Lingyu, at this time, did not dare to be convinced that everything in front of him was really happening. It was really a bit too bizarre. It made people feel shocked. Yang Zizhong glanced around and finally nodded. I think it's still unlikely that it will be faked. I believe. Wang Zhan immediately retorted. You're doing it because you don't understand. It was too fast. And I didn't even see the trajectory of the bomb falling. This is a bit too fake. According to the altitude of the drone bomber. When it descended to the ground that bomb was definitely not fast. Yet we didn't see any traces of the bomb. Once these words came out. Everyone understood why Wang Zhan had been retorting and questioning. Right. Where did the bomb fall? How did it blow up? At least, you this bomb fell down when everyone is also to be able to see ah, this is the most correct way ah. Therefore, everyone in the group looked at Wen Chang Yuan with grave expressions. This, Zhang Wei was slowly spoke out, as if he wanted Wen Chang Yuan to give a statement. No one would doubt Su Qin. After all, Su Qin in this project also put forward the initial idea, as well as to give a full set of design drawings. In terms of testing he is not involved at all. So everyone looked at Wen Chang Yuan. He is the chief of this project. Wen Chang Yuan laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha. You guys are also underestimating me? Mr. Wen, really think I'm the type to falsify data? Ha, huh? it was all Su Qin's idea. He contacted me. I knew you guys wouldn't believe me. You guys watch this one video. It's one of the other drones that I purposely arranged to follow the Hive Scout specifically for the Hive Scout. The video, played on the big screen. Just see, that one Hive bomber. After dropping a bomb, that bomb that, surprisingly, it exploded in mid-air when it was about to land. Air explosion. It was an airburst. This is able to achieve the maximum power of the air explosion. Everyone, at this moment, incomparable shock. This, is too unbelievable, right? How is this, possible? Why is it an airburst? Is this a coincidence? Was the bomb's fuse arranged just too close? That's too much of a coincidence isn't it? How did you guys arrange for a drone to follow the shot in advance? Wang Zhan's tone of voice was starting to get messed up. He was almost incoherent with his words. Zhang Weigua also called out impossibly. This is impossible. Drone airbursts are generally said to be impossible. Ah, drone bombs generally have longer fuses. Old one, you guys couldn't have intentionally shortened the fuse in order to create an airburst, right? When Cheng Yuan patted Su Qin's shoulder, it's better for you to say it. Su Qin nodded and walked over. No. This is an adjunct to the swarm network. Each bomb can be connected into the swarm network, and through the images observed by the reconnaissance aircraft, the timing of the bomb's explosion can be controlled. It will be able to reach the maximum killing area. This is by design. Our bombs, without countdown fuses, rely on specific electronic signals to explode. Zhang Weigwei, Yang Zizhong, Zhang Linyu, Wang Zhan, not. This is too heaven defying. Wang Zhan directly mentally collapsed. This. This is too bullying. Right. Can create an airburst? When I fucking threw an airburst on the battlefield, the company commander directly boasted that I was a good seedling that I hadn't seen in 20 years as a soldier. You guys can create airbursts at any time now? 
The point where Zhang Lingyu and Zhang Weiguo were shocked was not in this aspect. What they were shocked was surprisingly being able to link all the bombs into the swarm network. This was also a bit too unbelievable. Linking bombs into the swarm network as well. Zhang Weiguo's eyes were dull, staring blankly at Zhang Lingyu next to him. Zhang Lingyu struggled and nodded. Um, perhaps this should be true. It's the level of technology that Su Qin can bring out. The two men's gazes were a bit complicated for a while. Su Qin stretched a lazy waist. Well, continue to start. In order to give you guys answers to your doubts have also been on the pause button. A moment after the end of the I still have to go back to class. What he had to do now was to try to improve himself. He was also thinking that after learning the basics, it was time to figure out how to tackle the basic research field. Pretending was too much of a delay. Well, several people nodded. Then, the point that shocked them came again. After Su Qin pressed the enter key and continued to start. Boom, over the entire battlefield, the hovering drones immediately moved. 12 targets detected. Strikes in progress. Strike complete, 1 to 12. Strike complete, 3 to 12. Strike, within 3 minutes. Inside the entire mountain forest, bursts of explosions erupted, and every sound represented the complete annihilation of a target. Wang Zhan's expression froze, his voice trembling, too fast. This speed is a bit too fast. Zhang Wei was similarly stared dumbfounded. This, this can definitely dominate the initiative of the future war. Will do absolute suppression force? Absolute horror suppression force ah. Su Qin. Zhang Lingyu was another picture. She slowly leaned two steps towards Su Qin's side. Then, stretched out her hand and pulled Su Qin's corner. What for? Su Qin turned his head and asked. Can't I pull you? Zhang Lingyu said with a small arrogance. Only it was true that her small face was red. Armored target found. When Chang Yuan was excited, finally found the armored target. This is the obsolete tank we asked the army for. Although it's from the previous generation, it should be enough. Wang Zhan, on the other hand, was confused. No, drones can still strike armored targets? The bombs thrown by the drones were soft and flimsy, and there was no concept of armor piercing. So that basically meant that there was no way to deal with armored targets. When Chang Yuan nodded, that's for sure. Watch. Then, just see. Boom, the loud sound came. A high fighter that came barreling in. Chapter 063, The Supply Plane That Is The Brain. Wang Zhan's expression was dumbfounded. Ha, huh? why is it coming? It's a fighter jet? Why is it a high fighter? His expression, that was completely dog-faced and confused. Now coming, shouldn't it be a bombing drone? Surely that's what bombing drones were used for in this situation. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Is there a bug in the program? Something wrong with the hive network? Zhang Weigua also immediately asked. His eyes equally confused. Su Qin put his finger on his lips. Shu. Soon, the hive fighter jerked downward. Buzz. With a loud sound. The next moment. Rumble. That hive fighter directly and fiercely pierced into the armor of that retired tank, and then began to explode. Rumble. The ammunition inside the tank was martyred, triggering multiple chain explosions. The flames burned away and also set the surrounding grass on fire. However, the firefighting drones were already prepared and started pouring water to prevent the fire from spreading. This scene completely shocked the crowd that was here watching the screen. Is this a suicide drone? Zhang Weigua's eyes slightly glazed over. Su Qi nodded. Yes, the high fighter, as the cheapest fighter inside the entire system, has only one mission. That is to use its body to completely destroy local valuable targets. A tank costs $10 million, while a high fighter only requires 18000 Plus the fuel cost is only 2,000. It can be accurately exchanged for 500 times the results. Su Qin's tone was very plain. But it was his calmly opening and uttering every word that struck in the hearts of all the scientists present. And what stirred up in their hearts was horror. This. It's too terrifying. This design. Simply invincible. Wang Zhan rushed forward violently. Well well well. This is really great. Your kid is a fucking genius. Zhang Weiguan nodded his head deeply. Not bad. From today onwards. The air control in the low altitude field belongs to our dragon kingdom. Zhang Linyu, on the other hand, was a little curious. Su Qin, what if, say, it was interfered with? In this case, the network is what's particularly important, but the signal is very easily blocked, and the hive signal should eventually be cut off. She posed her question. It was posed from a very professional perspective, and was the reason why drone swarms hadn't been developed much. It was too easy to jam. Strike jamming bombs sent over. A large amount of graphite floating in the air. Then the electromagnetic signals would be greatly infected. And even more awesome drone swarm technology, and even more powerful communication technology, would be of little use. Zhang Weigua's face changed. I'll go. 
Little Su Yu wouldn't have not considered this condition, right? Wang Zhan also slapped his head. That's right, that's right. If this wasn't taken into consideration, it would be over. Of course, Su Qin wore a smile on his face. He looked at Wen Cheng Yuan next to him. Academician 1, let's enter the second stage now. Wen Cheng Yuan nodded. Good. Afterwards, Wen Cheng Yuan picked up the intercom and said something. Five minutes later, boom, 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 several missiles launched in the air. Subsequently, it blew up. A large amount of graphene fragments began to float away. Buzz, several signal jamming vehicles, at this time, also slowly drove out, with high powered signal jammers on them, which were currently in operation, and the target was naturally the entire battlefield of the mountain forest. Right now on the entire battlefield, the signal should have been shielded by more than 99%. The shielding effect is very good. Basically it has reached the ceiling of the display battlefield. Looking at the image on the camera, when Chang Yuan said, as for why the camera still had a picture, that was because, of course, the fiber optic itself was used, and it wasn't connected wirelessly. Zhang Weigua smacked his lips a little. Isn't it playing a little big? Straight up the spheres? This is still just a product in experimentation. It shouldn't be this difficult right off the bat? Sweating it out. Wang Zhan also agreed, indeed. The experimental program should be reduced to 50% on it. It should be possible to pass the report upwards. That's right. Uncle when you're not making things difficult for Su Qin's project, are you? Zhang Lin Yu also beamed and said with dissatisfaction. When Chang Yuan smiled and shook his head, this is not what I said. This is what Su Qin requested. Even the request to shield the signal vehicle mobilization had his signature on it. Zhang Lin Yu, Wang Zhang, Zhang Weigui. Ah, Zhang Weigui gritted his teeth and said, Su Qin, you have too much guts. Don't you know that signal shielding is the biggest weakness of your project, and you still dare to challenge your weakness? Su Qin spread his hands indifferently. Let's start. If you can't even carry the signal shielding, then this drone swarm system is of no use. Subsequently, start. The hive network didn't need anyone to maneuver it. And as soon as the button to start was pressed, it began to automatically pop up messages on the screen. Ding. Warning. Signal interference. Lost contact with two supply planes. Current effective communication distance, 100 meters. No signal mode has been automatically activated. Current prediction, the resupply planes have begun operations. It was only then that Zhang Lin Yu and the others remembered. Right. How come we haven't seen the supply planes? Where was the resupply machine? Weren't there four designs at the time? Then, they then saw a scene that they would, in their lifetime, never forget. Only to see that the iron box that had just originally seemed to be like a container, containing those drones, slowly stretched out its propellers. It was as if it was a transformer, and it directly began to transform its form. The propellers were stretched out, and the detection cameras were also released. Then, it flew. Hooray. That is, the supply plane. Several people, instantly sweated. Good guy. We thought it was just an ordinary container. But heck, this is a supply plane? Play it. Su Qin explained. In order to facilitate transportation on the battlefield, the capacity design is a must. And each group of drones has its own special signals, so they need to be deployed together. Zhang Weigua only felt marveled. As for Wang Zhan, he looked at the scene with gloomy eyes. It's starting. A battlefield without signals. Throughout the battlefield, the hive supply planes could be seen moving quickly, swiftly heading towards the nearest hive drone. As if picking up something, the hive drones approached and then collected the drones that had originally lost their signals and were hovering in place, regaining their signals. It was as if, the command center. Su Qin's tone was calm, every group of hive drones, all of them can fight off the hive network. Each supply machine is an independent brain. Each hive drone is a nerve end sticking out of the brain. Chapter 064, I've been fucking forcibly kissed? Accompanied by Su Qin's faint opening, a drone had already joined the battlefield at this time. They were originally hovering in the sky automatically after losing the signal. And when the supply plane found the hovering signal-less drones based on the information on the data, it would automatically enter the formation. That's two drone formations, in a safe state. None of the drones, which had lost their bearings in the extreme no signal condition, had crashed at all either, and all returned to the formation. Could it be that? Could it be that? Wang Zhan looked at the screen, and for a moment, rippling emotion stirred within him. His expression, slightly stiffened, because, next, there was a possibility that something was going to happen that would make even him incredulous. Yes, when there is no signal, Su Qin slowly spoke, each supply machine, will act as a temporary hive brain to continue commanding the other drones, and complete the previous mission. Then, boom, boom, several more targets were attacked and successfully destroyed. 
Zhang Weigui immediately stood up. Great. This is really great. The problem of signaling has been solved. Then things of this design drone. That is really without any weaknesses. His expression was very excited. Next to him, Wang Zhan also nodded his head deeply. Everything was moving in a good direction. When Chang Yuan proudly nodded, that's for sure. This is a future technology that will determine the future air power. It definitely goes without saying. Soon, the entire experiment came to an end. It took a total of 45 minutes to completely destroy 100 targets in the entire mountain forest, which also included armored targets. Good, great. Wang Zhan was overjoyed. This technology was mostly going to be used for the army. The future of his own hands under the weapons research level is even higher. All have come to this point. Of course he was very happy. When Chang Yuan also nodded his head. Now then, this is considered to be precisely passing the test. Then how many are prepared to be produced in the first batch? Zhang Weigua asked. When Chang Yuan hesitated for a moment, this has to be handed over to the top to study. I can only give my suggestions up, but my estimate is that it should start at least at 3,000 sets. This is definitely a big killer when it comes to the battlefield. For the discussion of this aspect of the content, Su Qin over there was not interested. Sleepy, really sleepy, wanted to rest. He had been studying hard for more than a month, and in this case, he had a serious lack of sleep. And now that he had determined that the high drone network was usable, that would do. Su Qin yawned. I'll go back then? A few people. Ah, this mustn't be a celebration banquet? This must be a report to the higher ups? You're going to take credit for this? You're just going to go back? When Chen Yuan was also confused, and quickly said, the content of the project report has to be written later. Su Qin, since you're the developer, your name has to be written at the top, and you're the first one to get the credit. Su Qin stretches his waist, Professor Wen, you watch and get it. I'll go back to sleep. If you have any plans behind you, remember to call out to me. After saying that, he turned around and left. Zhang Weigua said to Zhang Linyu, you send him back, go back together. You can contact in the middle if there happens to be something in a while. In the past, Zhang Weigua would not dare to make Zhang Linyu. But now, as long as it was about Su Qin, his own condescending niece ran as fast as she could. Right. Now you should also go back to class. It's not good to miss too many classes inside the school. It's still important to work well back inside Su Qin's research group and assist him. Zhang Weigua said seriously. Zhang Linyu nodded. Aha. She got up and led Su Qin out. The two of them got into a car and then headed towards the school. Su Qin was asleep in the car, looking very tired. Su Qin, get up. We're all there already. Zhang Linyu came over and pushed Su Qin. Su Qin got up with a dumbfounded face and nodded. Okay, let's go back then. The two of them then went back to their respective dormitories. But of course before that Zhang Linyu went to the cafeteria to call for food. Su Qin went back to sleep first while Zhang Linyu went to the cafeteria to call a meal for him as well and brought it back to eat. Because with the key to Su Qin's room there wasn't much to say. Ka, open the door. Bang, Su Qin closed the door. Few dash as soon as he touched the pillow, he immediately fell asleep, looking very natural, and his breathing all became even. The next days would still be this busy, but for Su Qin, the body was the most important thing. It was time to sleep, it was time to eat, it was time to drink and he would definitely not delay his emotions and body because of his work. Ding! Inside the elevator, the doors opened. Zhang Linyu looked at the six meals she had typed and looked satisfied. Su Qin liked to eat dishes with spices and had a large meal. One meal was worth three or four of her own. Therefore, Zhang Linyu would rather fight more. It was hard to free her hand to open the door, and after opening the door, Zhang Linyu suddenly realized that Su Qin was actually asleep. This is only how many points ah, this is asleep? Zhang Lin Yu was a bit confused. He went to fight dinner only spent less than 20 minutes it. Su Qin even can directly sleep over. That is really tired too. She had thought that nowadays people before going to bed have to brush the phone for a while in order to rest assured that they can fall asleep it. Who? Su Qin's breathing was very even. Zhang Lin Yu came up and looked at Su Qin who was lying on the sofa. Also not to mention, Su Qin is really quite handsome when he sleeps over. At least I haven't seen a better one than him inside the research institute. This high cold female researcher. At this moment, she didn't know why, but she only felt her heart thumping wildly. There was an impulse that rose up from her heart. She stretched out her clean and slender fingers, then gently touched Su Qin's face for a bit, then, poked it again. After poking several times in a row, Su Qin didn't have any reaction, which made her even more reckless. In the end, I don't know where the courage came from. Zhang Lin Yu slightly closed her eyes. Her eyelashes, too, were trembling. She gently lowered her head and looked at Su Qin's lips that appeared somewhat dry at the moment. 
she was prepared to kiss up with a single mouthful. This was preparation for a sneak attack. However, a puff of air hit Su Qin's face, and this originally was not a particularly deep sleep. He directly woke up. After waking up, I saw Zhang Lingyu who came over. Her eyes closed and her face dyed red. Su Qin, kiss, kiss me? What the hell ah? What do you want? For a moment, Su Qin seemed to feel as if she was a little girl being forced. Chapter 065, Optical Stealth Fighter. Just a minute before Su Qin was born, Su Qin stared at this with wide eyes, confused. What came between her lips was a soft touch. There was no flavor, only a sense of touch. After all, at this time, Su Qin hadn't stuck out his tongue, and he shouldn't be the one sticking out his tongue. After all, he was now dog-faced and confused. He could even feel that hot air coming from Zhang Linyu's breath. Himself, being secretly kissed, Zhang Linyu's eyes were closed. Her face was completely colored with a blush. She was very shy at the moment, but she didn't shrink back. She was still, maintaining that angle, gently touching Su Qin's lips. Su Qin, it's not enough for you to kiss once, you then kiss? Originally, his intention was to not squeak and treat it as if nothing had happened, pretending that he was still sleeping and was unknowingly stealing a kiss. As a result, Zheng Lin Yu really maintained that position and was still kissing. You, in the end, Su Junzi couldn't hold back and took the initiative to break the current situation. Ah, Zhang Lin Yu was startled. She was like a child who had been caught stealing candy and instantly shrunk her head back and immediately squatted there, looking very well behaved, as if she was trying to pretend that she hadn't done anything. You, you're awake? Ah, ah ha 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 ha, you must be hungry. We dinner meal it? Su Qin, did you just kiss me? Zhang Lin Yu tried to suppress her emotions and let herself regain her composure. She stood up, her 1 meter 7 height with an extremely perfect figure, and slowly restored her usual high spirits. How could that be? That should just be your illusion. I came to call you for dinner. Get up quickly. Don't have a beautiful dream. Su Qin. Nice guy. If you don't know, you'd think it was me who stole the kiss. Well, it should be me dreaming. This dream still has a little bit of reality. Su Qin licked his lips, then said faintly. It's still lychee flavored lipstick. It should have been accidentally brought out from the dream. At those words, Zhang Linyu's little face directly turned red. It was like a blood red apple that one couldn't help but want to pick. Well, that, that's a dream, that's a dream. The high cold female researcher regained her composure at this moment and said with her usual iceberg beauty stance, How can I kiss you? Now eat quickly. Su Qin. This meal, eating Su Qin was also very comfortable. It wasn't that the cafeteria's food was so delicious, but even though it was packed, Zhang Linyu would take the initiative to take each portion inside the microwave to heat it up before she was going to eat it herself so that every time she ate it, it was hot. And also when you are hungry, everything you eat tastes good. I'm also going to start classes starting tomorrow. A hint of delight flashed through Zhang Lin Yu's eyes. At that time, you come and beg me. Beg me not to give you homework. Beg me to speak in more detail. Ha ha ha. She smiled, trying to flirt with Su Qin. Herself was the teacher. One is Su Qin's teacher. This was definitely worth being a little proud of. One could flunk Su Qin himself. Himself. He was also a genius. Moreover, this also shows that Su Qin's class is not at a high level, and he still needs to take classes to learn it, but he himself has mastered the essence of this class, and is even a deep plumber in. However, Zhang Lingyu's words and the dark thoughts in her mind had not yet finished. Su Qin spoke. Su Qin calmly opened his mouth and said, Wow, I've already finished self-studying what you're going to teach this semester, so I won't go to that class of yours. This tone, cloudy and light. Zhang Lingyu. This, so fast? Su Qin nodded, well, it's not just your course, the other teachers courses are basically finished, and there's a total of 4 years of college. Next, I'm going to first engage in a research to practice, or to continue studying other majors. Zhang Lin Yu. Zhang Lin Yu was dumbfounded, she hadn't thought of this possibility at all. Su Qin had actually finished his semester's content, studying, so quickly? This, is too unbelievable, shall I? Quiz you? Zhang Lin Yu hesitated and asked. Su Qin spread his hands. Look at a document over there. Zhang Lin Yu hurriedly picked it up and read it. That was, the one textbook that Su Qin had targeted for suggestions. There were two mistakes and three blunders within the textbook, all of which were marked out, and 18 sentences that could be described in a clearer, more lucid way. That one book suggested, a student's suggestion for a textbook. Zhang Lin Yu, this textbook, is written by the principal. You surprisingly, Learn the contents inside this book so quickly and have eaten through it. Zhang Lin Yu, dumbfounded. Su Qin this speed of learning, was really too heaven-defying, right? 
Su Qin didn't say much, but took a big mouthful of rice and ate the vegetables. After eating dinner, Zhang Linyu cleaned up, took all the packing boxes and threw them away, and also went back to her room. Su someone took a bath, and then went to sleep contentedly. Sleeping, it was really too comfortable. The next few days were naturally another learning process. Starting from today, he was not going to go to the classroom anymore, and was going to just study in the arranged dormitory, and start wrapping up the contents of this major, and start completely completing the learning of the contents of this major. Zhang Linyu came to deliver food every day. Yu Yu Zhu, on the other hand, was like she had disappeared. Hiss, where is Yu Yu Zhu that niece? How come she doesn't even come over to me anymore? Su Qin was a bit puzzled, and even when he sent a message, it was returned very briefly. However, Su Qin was also busy with his own things, and hearing her say that she was working on a project, he didn't bother much more. Soon, Su Qin completed the course on the modern theory of electromagnetic weaponry, plus the knowledge of the truth canon that he had comprehended before. Basically, he had already completely figured out electromagnetic weaponry. If the direction of research is any indication, it can be in the direction of finding magnets with greater magnetism, and lowering the resistance on electromagnetic orbits. His expression was grave as he pondered how to make improvements to the truth. Then, a phone call came in. It was from Zhang Linyu, Su Qin. Hurry up and pack your things. There's an impromptu lecture right now. You should go and listen to it. I have a feeling you should be interested. Zhang Linyu's tone was very sure. It was as if Su Qin really wanted to go and wanted to go. You said, I don't necessarily go ooh. It mainly depended on whether it was really useful or not. Lectures on basic research didn't need to be listened to because it was 100% impossible to have comprehension. This was something that he had already tested himself many times, and the same was true for lectures that weren't qualified or good enough. Zhang Linyu said this, excitedly, you'll definitely be interested. Yes, the Optical Stealth Fighter Feasibility Lecture. Chapter 066, I really don't want to scare the elderly. Optical Stealth Fighter? Su Qin was also stunned. He didn't expect that Zhang Linyu had really remembered it in his heart when he casually said it. If it was true that he was going to make it, then Su Qin would definitely be able to accomplish it, only that he might need to wait for more than 10 years. After all, the optical stealth fighter also had a technological content, and he would still need to spend at least half a month's time to lay the foundation first. And now, Zhang Linyu had even found such a lecture? Su Qin didn't know if this lecture would be useful by then, but he still decided to take a look. What if it could be triggered? He was also unclear about the system's triggering mechanism, and the main thing was a randomization. It would just be a matter of trying it out. All right, let's go listen and see then. Su Qin stood up and stretched. Zhang Linyu nodded obediently. Well, I'll accompany you. Su Qin didn't refuse. He himself didn't know the place. Letting Zhang Linyu bring herself forward was clearly the best course of action and the most time-saving. Half an hour later, the two of them sat inside a stepped classroom within the Defense University directly sitting in the best position in the third row. And on the stage, there was a banner that read Optical Stealth Fighter Feasibility Exploration Lecture. Warmly welcome Professor Gao Yuping Yuan to our school to give a lecture. The name on it, Su Qin was unclear. It was indeed unclear. Mainly because he himself didn't dabble in this area. The most relevant thing about the Air Force was the high drone swarm, but that also wasn't for the Air Force to use. It was also considered as the Army Equipment. So for the Air Force this side of the professors also just recognized a Wen Chang Yuan. Su Qin yawned, and then started flipping through his books in boredom. Zhang Weiguo walked in from outside the classroom. Su Qin, listen well in a while, this is the professor I specially invited to give a lecture for you. Su Qin was stunned, not bad, very much in Zhang Weiguo's style. Alright, next time, invite the Navy's shipbuilding's expert over as well. I also want to listen. Su Qin grinned and said with an inch of his life, Zhang Weiguo. You kid, don't go overboard. Having a professor from the Air Force come over to talk about advanced knowledge that has absolutely nothing to do with the army, like this optical stealth fighter for example, that's already rude as well. The Defense University is engaged in army weapons research. What are you doing listening to so much Air Force knowledge in an army military engineering university? Zhang Weigui can still barely use the air ground integration, the need for coordination, the equivalent of a knowledge reserve for the cadets, to be able to let them know more knowledge. This argument is already very reluctant. As for inviting professors from the Navy's military industry, Zhang Weigua had such a big face, but not such a thick skin. The relationship between the Navy and the Army was at best assistance with logging in and artillery support, and it was simply gone. It wasn't as good as a coordinated relationship with the Air Force. You listen first. Anyway, whatever lectures there are later, I'll try to pull them for you at the Defense University. If you want to listen, I'll satisfy you. 
Zhang Weiguo rubbed his eyebrows. Su Qi nodded. Aha. Soon, an old woman in her 80s walked in trembling under the support of her students. That stance was as if it was at a level where it could fall to the ground at any time. Su Qin, oh come on, you're playing with me like this, aren't you? You even invited this heavyweight professor out? If this professor Gao suddenly collapsed, he would really be a sinner. It's fine. Zhang Weiguo waved his hand indifferently as if he could see Su Qin's worry. Professor Gao, although she looks trembling, her spirit is very good. You don't need to worry. In a moment, if there are any questions that should be mentioned, just mention them, just say them, just the same as when Wen Cheng Yuan was standing up there. At this moment, the few graduate students who had previously sat next to Su Qin in the last lecture, the one Cheng Yuan lecture, were listening to Zhang Weigua's words, especially, the graduate student who said that Su Qin wore his shoulder insignia haphazardly. His expression, completely stiffened. Holy shit. How is this possible? How is this possible? Only to see. Su Qin at this moment, the rank on his shoulders had changed from the captain they had initially seen had turned into major, major ah, a major officer, a freshman, but a major, what anticlimactic situation, did you guys hear what principal Zhang said, telling him to raise any questions at any time in a while, this 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 this, is this still something our principal would say, holy shit, this kid can do it, goods then goods have to throw, people then people have to die ah, this is a bit too bullish, the graduate student who said that Su Qin casually wore his rank was currently staring blankly, his eyes, gradually lost their luster. This, it's too heaven-defying ah. No, of course, this group of graduate students' discussion is still very aware of the atmosphere, are using a very small voice in the speech, all did not cause the attention of the surrounding people. Immediately, Prof. Gao Liping's lecture began, to talk about optical stealth fighters, then we need to talk about the current stealth materials, although the female old professor looked physically incapable, when she was speaking, he he he, her voice was faint as a swimmer as if she was about to break, soft and without a middle voice, Su Qin, no, this old professor is really no way to insist on it, this should go to the hospital, rather than to do the lecture ah hello, Su Qin people numb all, Zhang Lingyu sat next to him and blinked, it's fine, don't worry, Zhang Weigua also looked relieved, Professor Gao's body is very good, it's just that his speaking voice is a little lower, looking at the podium, shaky old professor Su Qin, you guys call this good health, outrageous, just outrageous, no matter what, Su Qin was just about ready to lie down flat, no longer going for a detailed understanding, that should the system will not have an epiphany, he himself will be finished if he comes up with a new theory later on to scare the old professor directly over, the definition of optical stealth fighter can be more than just optically, but also includes shielding against radar, being able to do things that ordinary stealth fighters and bombers also need to do, Prof, Gao Liping continued to speak, the technical difficulty right now is that if radar stealth material is used, there is no way to do the current implementation of optical stealth, which is to install a screen that plays the scenery behind you. So, currently, the most important thing that needs to be done for the realization of the optical stealth fighter is to find materials that can replace the screen that can achieve the purpose of radar stealth. Su Qin was below, praying that he would never have an epiphany. If he has an epiphany, this old professor will be finished if he gets excited and goes directly to the past. However, just at this time, ding, congratulations to the host successfully understanding the current breakthrough difficulty of the optical stealth fighter. The gift of the antithetical enlightenment has been activated. Acquired, first generation optical stealth fighter design drawings. Su Qin, chapter 067, you kid, are a genius, right? Su Qin was confused. He originally didn't want to listen carefully. But, indeed, although Professor Gao Liping's tone was weak and her voice sounded as if it was about to break at any time, she gave a lecture that was in depth. Speaking the profound specialized knowledge in plain language, this also allowed the knowledge to flow, unknowingly, into Su Qin's mind. And so, ding, please host as soon as possible will comprehend the knowledge written down, otherwise it will be forgotten. For scientific and technological knowledge such as if not recorded will be permanently misplaced. The next time the same situation cannot continue to activate. Su Qin, this is why he doesn't want to listen, wanted to keep a low profile, couldn't keep a low profile anymore, gotta take it out now. Su Qin looked at Zhang Weigui in the back. Principal, did you bring paper? Pen and paper. Zhang Weigui was first stunned, then instantly was ecstatic. Ha 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 ha. You kid. I knew it. Professor Gao, pause for a moment. I have a student here who has something to say. Zhang Weigui didn't care in the slightest to Su Qin's horrified eyes, and directly stood up to speak to Prof. Gao Liping, asking her to pause first then wait for Su Qin to speak. Gao Liping's figure, 
Shook. What? Is it? She that tone. Feel at any time maybe hit 120 emergency on the spot. Why? Why not directly let the rescuers on the side ready ah? But also can start first aid at any time ah. Zhang Weigui, you have a problem with this theory. I have a student here who wants to come up with a new theory. Zhang Weigui's tone. Decisive and firm without a doubt. However, at this moment, Su Qin. Ah, old Zhang. You're overdoing it. Did I say that? I just want a pen and paper. You're overdoing it ah. What? What? The old professor Gao Liping above. Instantly shook his figure. His wrinkled face piled with incredulity. Then. Then you say. What's the problem? Some of the students on the Air Force side of the scene began to discuss. That one called Su Qin. Is it that young major? Yes. 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 It's that young major. Sitting next to the beautiful major one. Say is this Major Zhang Lin Yu's boyfriend? Definitely. Is this worshipping? I see. That Su Qin is walking the line. He should be Major Zhang Lin Yu's boyfriend. That's why Principal Zhang is supporting him so much. These people on the Air Force side who didn't know the situation in the slightest were all discussing there. Although the sound of the discussion was small. So small that the people around them couldn't hear it at all. But. These students from the army all knew what that meant. Totally know. Totally understand. Because. When they were discussing before. They were all in such a state ah. They were also all questioning Su Qin ah. As a result, at that time, they were directly kicked out, to the extent that the entire classroom building was blocked off. And at this moment Su Qin. Now, this was also something that had to go on. If this old professor's body breaks down because of this, and he can't take the blow all of a sudden, then he can't blame himself. He didn't want to. He was sort of pushed out by Zhang Weigua. Next to him, Zhang Lin Yu pulled Su Qin's coat corner. Cheer up. In the end, Su Qin stood up. Clang. The seat bounced upwards with a sound. Su Qin looked at the content on the PowerPoint and said seriously, Professor Gao, I think the current development ideas are all problematic throughout. The development focus of the optical stealth fighter should never be placed on the exploration of material science. This is one thing that is absolutely wrong. His tone even carried a sternness. Well, there were a few hints of reprimand. Air Force research students below. The other army students. Zhang Weigui. Zhang Lin Yu. Not. You can say that the research direction is wrong. But what's with you being so agitated? Also, what's with the reprimanding tone? You were asked to give your opinion. You weren't asked to be tongue-tied. Outrageous. Tiao Liping was startled. But then she recovered her original soft image. Oh. Then according to your opinion. How should it be? Ugly words to the front. If you cannot say a 3722. Then I will not be polite. Today. You can have to stand for me to listen to this lecture. Everyone could hear it. Professor Gao. Angry. This was anger after being questioned by Su Qin. You kid. Very good at stabbing thunder. Isn't this just looking for a fight? Everyone felt that Su Qin should be able to come up with a little bit of a different theory. And there was even a high possibility that it was correct and made sense. But, definitely not to the point of being able to criticize the entire direction of research as being wrong ah. Zhang Weigua was confused. I just let you go up to discuss it. And as a result, you went up to fight? Zhang Linyu was also a bit dumbfounded. At the very beginning, wasn't Su Qin still very reluctant? Could that Sai be an illusion? How did he start criticizing strongly on his own? Say it. Tiao Li Ping's expression was instead much more natural. Now I'll hand over the podium to you. Su Qin nodded and directly stepped up to the podium without any hesitation. People below. Letting you go on you're really going on ah? You're really brave are you? Subsequently, Su Qin faintly opened his mouth. The current research direction as a whole is wrong. What we have to do is not to go on an inquiry into the direction of material science research. What we have to do now. It's a massive reform of the projection equipment. Gao Liping froze. Then, she burst out laughing. Ha 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 ha. That means installing cameras to capture the before and after view. And then just present it on the screen. And you'll be able to achieve stealth in the optical sense. Why do you need projection? What is being applied now is an optical screen. Su Qi nodded. Right. That's why I said that projection is needed. The stealth material nowadays is already enough to use. Optical stealth can be directly realized through a projection mounted on the stealth material's body. So why use an optical screen? Projection, no doubt, is a more practical device. It also only requires a few holes in the stealth material, and doesn't really have much of an effect on radar stealth effectiveness. So, I say, the current research direction, is wrong. The moment Su Qin's words came out, the students below, their expressions froze. However, they weren't dumbfounded in the sense of being enlightened, but rather dumbfounded. Not, he really dares to mention his own ideas? An Air Force military school student exclaimed. This person, a bit too fierce, 
actually dared to really bring up his idea. Yeah, really a newborn calf is not afraid of tigers. This idea of his, I can't understand it. What about you guys? Definitely nothing too good law. It's just plain law. However, just when they were spitting here, Gal Liping violently opened her eyes. Bang. With a sound, she fiercely slapped on the table. That loud sound. Deafening. This completely lacked the appearance of the old, yellow soil buried to the hairline just now, but instead looked very spiritual. You. You kid. Gal Liping's tone. Very excited. It's a genius right. Chapter 068. This program. At least worth a first class merit. You brat. It's really a genius. Right. If the previous Gal Liping seems to be a dying, dying old man, at any time may be on the spot to swallow the last breath of the remains of the old man words. At this moment, she completely changed her appearance. Spirit. Exuberance. Extreme excitement. These words that describe young people, at this moment all used to Gal Liping's body are not too much. Directly changed like a person. The state is 20 years younger. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Gal Liping's expression was agitated as she let out a continuous and trembling laughter. If one were to describe it, it would be the kind of laughter that my Dong Mei had when she ran out of the classroom. Su Qin. Su Qin. Man was confused. Good guy. Just now. Wasn't this old lady like she might hang up at any moment? How did she suddenly turn into this now? Why was she suddenly in high spirits? At this moment, he only felt that he hadn't made some big mistake. It couldn't be a flashback. Right? Holy shit. I won't become a murderer. Right? I'm sorry for the country and the people. For a moment, Su Qin only felt that this old lady was not overly agitated and was going to pass away in a while. At this moment, the other officers present were similarly shocked. They were shocked that this proposal of Su Qin's had really been recognized by Gao Liping. A 50-something Air Force military industrial researcher at the rank of Lieutenant Colonel looked at his companion next to him. The theory this young man came up with is still really feasible. Right, the high academicians have all endorsed it. It's absolutely correct. Optical stealth fighter. Optical stealth fighter. One of the Air Force military research trainees from earlier only felt his scalp tingle at this moment. This is true. He blushed. He had, just now, actually mocked Su Qin. He actually thought that this was just intellectual claptrap on Su Qin's part, and actually thought that Su Qin was wrong. Now, he only felt that he was groundless. Holy shit, old Meng. This brother is really fierce. Worthy of being from our defense university, the theory he proposed is really correct. The second lieutenant graduate student known as Old Meng only felt numb at the moment. Meng Hai's scalp went numb, this scene, it seems really similar. The last time he did this, he had been so shocked once. However, for some reason, now that he saw that the Air Force's fellows were also shocked all over again, he felt much more comfortable in his heart. After all, it wouldn't be just himself who was shocked. Get ready to pack up. Meng Hai sighed. Why? The few roommates next to him were still a bit confused. Have you guys forgotten the experience from last time? Meng Hai said helplessly, but his face inexplicably took on a hint of pride. It was a proud color. Let's go. I guess we'll be driven away. Also, old Meng, why do you look so happy? Yes? No. Sure enough. Soon, Zhang Weigua was ready to give the order. And this order, the person who finally gave it was not Zhang Weigua. Instead, it was Gao Liping. Gao Liping spoke in a neutral tone, with the demeanor of a strong woman. Guards. At the door, several soldiers appeared, present. Their expressions were serious, with respect inside their eyes, and just as iron between their actions. Clean up the grounds. Clear the unrelated personnel out of this building. Gal Liping directly opened her mouth and said, the moment she opened her mouth, she cleared the entire building. The officers and students at the scene were all happy in their hearts. Fine, fine. Only clean up the unrelated personnel, right? Then these people don't count as unrelated personnel? That means, they can all participate in the next discussion, then they will be able to know exactly how it is going to develop. However, the next moment, the head guard asked, Academician Gao, may I ask what is considered unrelated personnel? Gao Liping's expression was agitated, but she still answered patiently. Everyone below the colonel is considered to be a service member, and all of them are cleared out except for those who have the general's guarantee. Other students on the scene, Meng Hai, Meng Hai's roommates, doesn't this mean that they, the students who came to listen to the lecture, also have to go. Ugh, Meng Hai's roommates, sighed and all stood up. Swish, and the way Meng Hai moved when he got up, it was cool. It was as if, he knew it all along. As he walked out the door, Meng Hai's movements were athletic, as if he knew everything. In Meng Hai's heart, a hint of pride appeared. Oh, you ordinary people who don't know the situation. You haven't seen this kind of clearing scene, have you? 
I could have been ready a long time ago, so let's go straight away. Soon, the clearing began. Of course, it was no difficulty. Everyone was a soldier, and when the superiors said to clear the field, they naturally started to clean up very consciously, and put in a very fast speed. All the unrelated personnel, all left. Of course, except for Zhang Linyu. She naturally had Zhang Weigui to vouch for her, and didn't need to follow her out at all. Good, good ahahahahaha. Gao Liping looked at the blackboard that Su Qin had just drawn, looked at the schematic diagram on it, and was incomparably excited at the moment. Great, it's really great. For a moment, she was so excited that she couldn't help herself. Her body all began to tremble along with her. Su Qin, Principal Zhang. Zhang, isn't this something that should be advised? He slipped down and came next to Zhang Weigua, asking with concern. This is if you let Gao Liping really back over the gas here. Then you are also considered a murderer. Your own sin can be big. This old lady can also be a great master of the country ah. Zhang Weigua was stunned, then laughed, don't worry, Professor Gao has always been like this. When faced with something he is not interested in, he appears soft and weak, as if he is going to die soon. But when she encounters a major breakthrough in scientific research, she will instantly become agitated. Just like this look now. You don't have to worry that she will carry on her back in one breath. Her body is fine. Su Qin. Numb. He thought that this old lady was really dying. Unexpectedly, it was actually an appearance. Worried for nothing. Why does it feel a bit shameful? Puff. Zhang Linyu looked at the worried Su Qin and burst out laughing. It's okay. Su Qin you're not ashamed of this. When I first met Prof. Gao Liping. I was also terrified. Zhang Linyu said seriously. The tone was one of relief. Su Qin. This comforting of yours. How does it make me feel even more uncomfortable? At this time. Standing on the stage. Looking at the solution proposed by Su Qin. Gao Liping's expression was grave. Well. This solution. It's worth at least a first class merit. The research direction is given out now, to develop the projection and the degree of reception of the material to the projection. It should still take at least a year to make a breakthrough. The corner of Su Qin's mouth picked up. Actually, it doesn't need to. Regarding the new type of projection, I have an immature idea. Gao Liping, Zhang Linyu, Zhang Weigui. Chapter 069, This is Major Technology. Be serious, okay? Gao Liping's question mark. That came out naturally. HM, you're a youngster. It's already rare that you can come up with a theoretical improvement. It's a big feat, and it can be said that it can be a great pavement for you in the future. This is already very unpoking. It's really good. And you're going to say that you have improvements on the projection equipment side? Crazy. How is it possible? It's often good enough for a young man to specialize in one area. That's already a rare talent. And it's totally the point where you can be praised for it. And you thought you were really a pentagram warrior. How can that be? Gao Liping's behavior at this time was disbelief. Zhang Linyu and Zhang Weigua, on the other hand, were excited, excited, because they knew that as long as Su Qin opened his mouth and said that he was having an idea, then he must really have an idea, he must really have a direction for improvement, even, in fact, every time, he was able to come up with real results, bang, with a sound, when Chen Yuan rushed straight in from the doorway, with tension and excitement inside his expression, he directly rushed over, how? What did Su Qin's side say? Any thoughts on the new design drawings? Taken out? Professor Gao Liping on the stage looked up at the person who rushed in and was directly confused. Gao Liping? Academician 1. Why are you here? Gao Liping was now confused. Aren't you going to be busy with that project on drones? I heard from you when I was working on this project that you had achieved significant results on the drone swarm side. Why do you have time to come here to my lecture now? That was her tone. Tinged with doubt. Indeed. It was very doubtful. Gao Liping was the head of the Air Force Military Industrial Research Institute, which was equivalent to Zhang Weigui in the Army Military Industrial Research Institute. Therefore, she was aware of Wen Cheng Yuan's calm character, and that worldly attitude of being unperturbed by the waves of things. As a result, now Wen Cheng Yuan all rushed in in a hurry. When Shang Yuan said excitedly, Optical Stealth Fighter Ah, we're about to achieve another major achievement. Have the drawings come out? Has the production line been designed? Now we can have that side start assembling the prototype first. The feasibility verification can be put on the back burner first. There's no rush. Build it first. Gao Liping. Gao Liping was completely confused. When Chang Yuan was crazy? It was crazy, right? Drawings? Where did the drawings come from? Even if he got the news that the optical stealth fighter had gotten some theoretical breakthroughs. But that was at most theoretical awe. And it wasn't necessarily feasible yet and he still had to look for the experts on the side of the projection equipment. So how was it possible to design the drawings so quickly? However, 
only to see, Zhang Weigua calmly opened his mouth, it's already being drawn, it's estimated that it can be finished in three days, sha 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 dash it was only at this time that Gao Liping noticed the sound of a pen sliding on paper coming from inside the classroom, Gao Liping turned her head to take a look and, then, was confused, only to see Su Qin at this moment, already drawing drawings there, that look, focused and serious, as if the whole person had been immersed into his own world, acting there at a very fast speed, that was drawing the drawings without questioning or altering them, it was simply outrageous, Gao Liping was confused, you're directly starting to draw drawings now, you guys are crazy, right, with her worldview, it seemed impossible, Zhang Wei was smiled broadly, ha 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 ha, why don't you, otherwise, take a look at the drawings he's working on, he then stepped aside and gave up the best position, Gao Liping asked in confusion, since when do you know how to look at the design drawings of the Air Force side? I don't know how to read them. Who said I would? Zhang Weigua innocently spread his hands, indicating that he knew nothing about it. Gao Liping, you don't know how to read the drawings. Then why did you say that you would let me read them? And still so confident? You don't even know how to look at it. Where did you get this show of confidence from? Zhang Weigua arrogantly raised his head. Otherwise, why don't you take a look yourself? Gao Liping shook her head while murmuring. It's impossible. Your side is the army's teaching, no matter how much of a genius you are, it's impossible to draw the Air Force's side's design drawings, besides, even the optical stealth fighters are all still in the air right now, however, Cao Liping hadn't even finished her words, her expression, then, completely stiffened, only to see, Su Qin's hand that drew the drawings was quick, it was very firm, more importantly, it was completely in line with the aerodynamic, high-tech fighter design, this wouldn't be something that an uneducated person could draw, this was clearly a professional, at least at the PhD level. HM, are you guys sure that this Su Qin is from the army? This isn't a young doctorate from our Air Force Military Research Institute? Cao Liping was confused, and she asked at first. That was her thought. This Su Qin should be someone from the Air Force. Zhang Weigua was immediately alert. What do you want? This is someone from our army. Why don't you take a closer look? Is it something that someone from your Air Force Research Institute can develop? Cao Liping. She was confused but still looked carefully, then, her expression, completely stiffened, this, this is, a special form of the most advanced invisibility material now, how do you know about this special form, this special form is the latest direction that our lab is developing, and it hasn't yet reached a level where it can be applied, how did you directly apply it to it, this is a ground that none of us have conquered, Gal Liping's voice, at this time, trembled a little, in shock, it was tinged with trembling, her expression was one of utter shock, how is it possible? Hush. Zhang Lingyu put her finger to her mouth and made the hush sign, signaling Gao Liping to keep her voice down. Ha 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 ha. Zhang Weigua laughed out happily, being able to make even Gao Liping shocked. It made him feel especially satisfied as well. This Su Qin is the tip of our army's heart, so you can just watch. Gao Liping's expression slowly recovered, then became grave, good. She nodded heavily. From now on, she no longer had the same kind of frivolity and disdain for Su Qin that she had before the kind of attitude that was merely for her juniors, and replaced it with gravity. Now then, we'll have to be on standby. Gao Liping put away her other thoughts and looked serious. Zhang Weigua also nodded. Aha, uh -huh. yes. So, why don't we have a roast in the evening? I feel that the young man's barbecue is quite tasty. Call for a takeaway or have someone send the dine-in food over directly? Zhang Weigua's tone was casual and relaxed. Next to him, when Chang Yuan, sour soup hot pot, let's do it. The hot pot is faster or else we won't be able to keep up with Su Qin. Gao Liping. What about the promised strict weight? Ah, you guys are discussing what to eat at night. What the hell is that? Chapter 070, Outrageous. You guys are on a blind date with here? Gao Li Ping people are directly confused. A time is directly stupid there. Good guy. Now the situation. Should belong to the whole Dragon Country's turnaround. Right. In the Air Force in this aspect of the Dragon Country has always been backward. The light fighter engine this fighter's heart have not yet been fixed. Now, this young man really have hope. You two do not say in the side guard. What questions immediately follow the answer? Help calculate some data. As a result, you two discuss what to eat at night? You two academicians still want to eat barbecue at night? Crazy. No, this is an optical stealth fighter ah. A real optical stealth fighter. Gao Liping was afraid that these two old men didn't hear clearly. So she repeated herself several times. This was a decisive moment that would change the air control of the entire battlefield you should be on guard, what the hell are you guys so relaxed there, however, those two old men acted as if they hadn't heard it, continuing to discuss their own matters, then let's have the sour soup hot pot, 
Have the guards get it over here? I know of a place that has a particularly good sour soup hot pot flavor. Get more vegetables over here after bringing the pot base over. Where's the refrigerator that was prepared last time? Get it over together. Zhang Wei was seemed to be familiar with it. And next to him, when Chang Yuan, also had a completely relaxed look on his face. Okay, get some ergwo too? Yes, just get some ergwo too. Other wines have no feeling when I drink them. Last time a student came to visit me, he mentioned that what Mao Tai, he was not used to drinking it at all. Zhang Weigua followed and nodded. Of course, Zhang Weigua's student was now estimated to have been at least at the director level. The two of them were discussing while ordering the guards to go buy something. Gao Liping, she, human, was directly confused. What are you two doing? It's too outrageous. Su Qin is still writing there now ah. Still drawing drawings there ah. And the drawings are also very valuable for research. Gao Liping said firmly, her tone firm. How can you guys discuss what to eat at night? With this stance, if no one stops you guys, I'm afraid you'll even set up the pot right here? Zhang Weigua was stunned. How do you know that we will set up the pot here? Gao Liping. Hearing Zhang Weigua's waveless reply, Gao Liping was completely confused. Professor Gao, you can also just rest assured that you don't need to worry about the current problem. Zhang Linyu was beside her, saying with a smile on her face, Su Qin alone is capable of accomplishing this. We need to ensure good logistics. Gao Liping turned around and looked at Zhang Linyu incredulously. Zhang Linyu was known to her, was clear, even. During the summer vacation Zhang Weigua had sent over to Gao Liping's site to study for a small half month in order to find her her favorite research direction. This was clearly a steady, high-flying girl, was not going to be frivolous at all. As a result, now, she even said that there was no problem? Really? Really? Gao Liping was still a bit in disbelief. Zhang Weigua and Wen Cheng Yuan grinned, and the two of them revealed their teeth. Just rest assured. Drinking? Have a drink together in a while? Half an hour later, Gao Liping understood. Well, it turned out to be like this, only to see. Su Qin was there drawing the drawings without looking back, while salsaing the notes. He was completely immersed in his own world, not paying the slightest attention to the people outside. Gudong Gudong. The sour soup hot pot was bubbling hot, and the slices of meat inside were tossing and turning. Surprisingly to Gao Liping, those two old men didn't seem to want to eat the sour soup hot pot on their own, but seemed to have really prepared it for this time of the year. It was just that the preparation was different from what she had expected. Just this. Feed it over after it cools. Zhang Weigua fished up a large chopstick of sliced beef, then put it into an empty bowl. Continue to put down the meat. Hurrah! The slices of meat that were scalded out, as well as the various dishes, were all taken over to Zhang Linyu's side. Gao Liping looked at Zhang Linyu in a daze. Can you finish it all by yourself? She thought that it was Zhang Lin used to eat. Such a small girl, although it is said that her height is quite high. One meter seven. But overall it is still a small girl ah. How can she eat so much? And it is not so direct to let her eat alone ah. Zhang Lin Yu shook her head. No, it wasn't me who ate it. With a smile on her face, she looked at Su Qin next to her. I'm feeding this to Su Qin. He can't care about anything else as long as he's working afterward. Then only to see that Zhang Lin Yu skillfully brought up a bowl of sliced meat after it had cooled down, and then fed it to Su Qin piece by piece. Su Qin, on the other hand, opened his mouth after his lips touched the food and ate it naturally. The state of the two people, were just as alive as a young couple. No, 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 a small couple can no longer depict the state of tacit understanding between the two at this moment. It should be said that they are, couple, well, a small couple, a very loving kind of small couple, Gao Liping. Gao Liping walked to Zhang Weigua's side in a daze. This genius niece of your family, who is usually in your mouth for fear of melting and in your hand for fear of breaking, is now actually feeding a boy? Are you, all right, just let an orderly come? Why let a female researcher do it herself? She was confused. And Zhang Weigua was even more pleased at the moment. He he, Su Qin is my family's niece-in-law. How's that? Envious? I advise you not to think too much. So Su Qin will definitely be my army's person in the future and also definitely my defense university's person. Definitely don't think about digging away. This little old man, at this moment, had more than a hint of pride in his eyes. Gao Liping. As I recall, there was a young doctor who tried to pursue Zhang Linyu before and was chased and beaten by you with a stick, right? That doctor even received a second-class merit. Zhang Weigua raised his head in disdain. Ha, huh, I don't remember that. Gao Liping. When Chun Yuan looked at this scene and burst out laughing thoroughly, ha 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 ha, this is a real double standard. Just favoring Su Qin. Zhang Linyu was said by a few people. At this moment his also cheeks flushed. I. You guys don't say Aya. The sound is too big to affect Su Qin writing all. At this moment. 
Su Qin was immersed in his own world. Ding. Current immersion status, 99%. Research rate decreasing, 20%. Please enter the state as soon as possible. Su Qin. It's not that he doesn't want to immerse ah. The point is that these few old men and women are talking about their own gossip ah. Zhang Lin Yu. How come you don't even bring a rebuttal ah? This is more or less a rumor. However, Su someone vaguely heard Zhang Lin Yu's voice. You guys stop talking. I'm afraid Su Qin will be upset. We were not officially together yet. Su Qin. Chapter 071. This is an absolute stealth fighter. No longer bothering with these people talking next to him. Su Qin slowly emptied his distracting thoughts. These few people, speaking really is a bit too outrageous. In the side hot pot even if, the girl is still talking about their gossip, only the sour soup hot pot is really quite delicious. Current immersion ratio, 80%. Immersion will be launched soon. Please pay attention. Warning, warning, Su Qin. Thus, he immediately pulled all of his energies back to the task at hand, fully concentrating on his task of blocking the wall. The improvement of the projector is the simplest part. Why do I need to do the thinking now as well? And also consider improvements to the existing projector? Su Qin was a bit confused. To know, before the time, that can be the drawings directly toward the head poured down. The gods pointed the way belonged to be, directly all the information to the brain inside. As a result, now, damn, even fill in the blanks, there are a lot of things, is the need to think for themselves, their own work to complete. This cannot be a small thing, need to be fully concentrated to carry out the thinking. If in the past, it was all about understanding the scientific content, and after understanding it, you could write it out. In the past, understanding was all that was needed. And now, on top of understanding, one even needed to use one's own brain? This, before, could simply be impossible to happen ah. System, what is this situation? Could it be that because I used labor to learn, it led to this situation now? He was all in all just a dogface days, completely failing to figure out the situation. Ding. The host's learning did not negatively affect the reverse comprehension skill. Instead it had a positive effect. Because the current comprehension is close to the boundary of human research, the host needs to participate on his own. Please promote the advancement of human technology as soon as possible. Su Qin's expression was, somewhat, grave. The things behind, there was still more. Who? He slowly exhaled, then continued the work at hand. Ding. Current state of immersion, 100%. Entering the state of heartstream. Outside, a hot pot was flipping and carrying hot air, and the entire stepping stone classroom looked incomparably lively. Clang! Zhang Weigua raised his wine glass and clinked it with Wen Chang Yuan. Well, the two old men were really drinking. Before serving Su Qin the mutton rolls, both old men each tacitly saved a slice for themselves, and then beautifully dabbled in a sour soup hot pot as well, filling the room with the aroma of wine. Gao Liping carefully looked at the way Su Qin was drawing the drawings. Her expression was slightly dazed. What kind of expression is this on his face now? At this moment, Su Qin's expression was a bit grave. It was even so grave that he frowned. Wow, this is actually common. Zhang Lin Yu walked up and said, As long as he feels tricky, then he will have this expression. And you can see that his hands have slowed down as well. Gao Liping took a look and it was true. She also thought, Su Qin that was really stuck it. She even had some happiness. That means that there is no demon to the point of that kind of completely imperceptible. As long as it is able to be stuck, then it means that it is still in the realm of ordinary people. Even, one can still go up and explain for it? The result, Gal Lightning saw that the so-called won't be anymore. The person was directly numb, and his expression directly stiffened. No, isn't this just the pen speed slowed down a little? Ah, her face was written with a great deal of doubt, and her entire person was in a state of confusion. This is called getting stuck? This is called encountering a difficult point? Hurrah! Su Qin had really encountered a difficult point, only that it had changed from writing like copying at full speed before, to the same relaxed and cozy shoe speed as Gao Liping and the others used to write simple essays. Zhang Lin Yu nodded seriously, then blinked her pretty eyes. Yeah, this is how Su Qin encounters a difficult point. If anything, it's even faster if it's the usual. Gao Liping, she, for one, was completely numb, tired, destroy it, hurry up. It didn't matter. It simply didn't matter. As it turned out, Zhang Weigua and Wen Chang Yuan's two arrangements were spot on and prescient. In the evening, Gao Liping was also hungry and joined the sour soup hot pot army. The hot pot had been added to the base twice, and the whole process was still in progress. What's the situation? Why isn't Professor Gao Liping coming out yet? Is this not ready to go back to school? An Air Force Research Department student looked at the building that was sealed up in a daze. I don't know either, so we'll just have to go back first? It can't be helped. How long will the building ceiling last anyway? 
or else wait a little longer? I feel like there are still some questions I need to ask. And at this time, Meng Hai walked next to them with a smile on his face. Ha ha, you guys just don't struggle. This kind of building closure as far as I can see, that would be at least five days to start. So, all of you can return. Meng Hai's eyes were filled with arrogance. See, bullish or not, on our side, being able to seal the building for so long is bullish. Okay? The time that followed flew by. The group of Air Force research students themselves were sitting there, and as a result of the current situation, they all went back in their cars, and even Meng Hai and the others lost interest in waiting here after dinner. I guess it's almost the same as last time, right? Time flew by, and a few days passed by in a hurry. What's the situation now? Exactly? Any results? Zhang Weigua's expression was excited. Of course, his eyes were on Gao Liping. He wanted Gao Liping to give a definite answer. To give a definite answer. He wanted to know, this time, what kind of results Su Qin had taken out. Gao Liping was looking at a drawing at the moment. Underneath that drawing, there was a thick stack. Obviously, these were Su Qin's results from the past two days. This, is right again. The key structure has been filled in. Gao Liping's expression was filled with excitement. As if, as if it's really feasible, completely able to be used. Her hands, slightly, began to tremble, as if she couldn't believe it all. Half an hour later, Su Qin put down his pen. He stood up. A sense of vertigo came along with it, and his mind was like mush. Done. Optical. Radar stealth fighter. Zhang Weigua and Wen Cheng Yuan were both overjoyed. And at this moment, they were both placing their eyes on Gao Liping, who was the absolute top expert in this area. And the assessment made was also the most convincing and feasible judgment. Gao Liping looked at the two, then slowly opened her mouth. The bad news. This may not be an optical stealth fighter, but the good news is, she took all the remaining drawings and raised her head after looking at them, her eyes filled with dullness inside. The good news, this is a full stealth fighter, capable of absolute stealth. Chapter 072, Absolute Silence, Invincible. What, does that mean? Zhang Weigua was a bit confused. A fully stealthy fighter? Is this talking about the condition of being a full stealth fighter? Aside from stealth on the optical and radar level, are there any other concepts on other levels? Zhang Linyu followed suit and asked. When Chang Yuan turned his head and explained, Yes, looking at the current situation, this drawing that Su Qin wrote out, is still able to achieve auditory invisibility. Zhang Linyu, Zhang Weigui, generally speaking, as long as it's a flying machine then it will be very fast, thus producing a strange sound. If the enemy knows of the existence of a stealth fighter then they can determine the location of the fighter through the sound, although it will be difficult to say. But there is still a possibility of this, Gao Liping added. So, for the time being, a stealth bomber flying at high altitude is the most suitable. After all, it's in a super high altitude position and the sound produced won't attract attention from below, Zhang Weigua asked in a daze. So, Gao Liping took a deep breath, and this one of Su Qin's, although it says that the limiting speed is not fast, only 200 kilometers per hour. At those words, Zhang Weigua and Zhang Linyu were both confused. 200 kilometers. There are cars that can go that fast ah, what's the point of this? At 200 kilometers per hour, isn't it just a target in the sky? Both of them were not confident in the results Su Qin took out this time. After all, the performance of a fighter jet, to a large extent, also depends on the speed. In a dogfight, speed was the key factor in determining victory or defeat. Only 200 kilometers. Ha, huh? Zhang Linyu said in a daze. Zhang Weigua was serious and stroked his chin. Although I don't really understand it. But this 200 kilometers does seem a bit slow. Won't we really get hit by someone on the head at this speed? Gao Liping's face, changed. Well, it was exasperated. What the hell do you know? Although it is said that the hourly speed is slow, but this is equipped with room for improvement. Su Qin wrote on it that it is our previous generation's engine, which is something that can be replaced at any time. But instead of, the noise distance is only 100 meters. Beyond 100 meters, there is no way to hear the noise. Instantly, the atmosphere of the scene, directly solidified, the noise distance, 100 meters, just 100 meters, are you kidding, Zhang Weigua was instantly confused, how is it possible that it's only 100 meters of noise distance, then doesn't that mean it can be unheard at any time, or even, flying at a height of 100 meters without being noticed, this was even a guess on his part, and he didn't even dare to guess deeper, let's put it, this way, Gao Liping's eyes, gradually became deep, this fighter plane of Su Qin, if it is said to be flying 100 meters above the capital of the small days, then they all also have no possibility of discovering this plane in the sky above them at all. The noise, it would be completely covered by the hustle and bustle of the city. She exhaled slowly. At this moment, 
the sickly old woman was gone, and in her place was a female scientist with plenty of essence, whose eyes were glowing at this time, obviously very excited. I'll say it. Su Qin stood up, his brain all a bit hollow and very tired. In this situation, it is completely possible to create panic, casualties without any losses. It is possible to realize a deterrent action against the army, generals, officials, and even the head of the enemy. The people present were, by this statement, completely shocked. Yes, in this situation, who dared to gamble with their own lives? Who knew, if there was a phantom fighter hovering above them? That ghost, at any time, was capable of dropping a bomb and sending himself into the sky. Under such circumstances, who can gamble? He didn't dare to. Bang, the door was opened. It was Wang Zhan who hurriedly arrived. Is this, this true? The person he was looking at was Wen Chang Yuan. Wen Chang Yuan nodded deeply, right now in theory, it is completely possible, and next if it passes the simulation experiment test, it can be assembled in the testing machine. So, what exactly can this accomplish by then? Wang Zhan took a deep breath. Can it reach the kind of level I imagined? Wen Cheng Yuan's eyes were complicated. Then, just look at the simulation experiment. Half an hour later, the simulation lab of the Defense University. At this moment, the staff was inputting various data. Data reading completed. Weapon self-testing in progress. Self-test completed. Starting experiment. Only to see, on the screen, a fighter jet appeared. And that was the result of the fighter jet drawing that Su Qin took out after the simulation. This was the latest experimental application principle now. As long as the relevant data was input, it was able to do the simulation experiment. Buzz, accompanied by a slight ringing sound. The not-so-large fighter jet that looked no different from a small civilian airplane slowly took off. It doesn't look very special. Wang Zhan was a little hesitant. From his perspective, it did seem like it was no big deal. Wasn't this just an ordinary small airplane? And it was still the kind that had no special significance at all. However, just as Wang Zhan hesitated there, Su Qin slowly pressed a button. Turn on radar stealth mode. Subsequently, sure enough, tick tock tick tock, tick 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 tick. This was the simulated radar system that detected the radar information. And just at this time, the sound of that ticking sound slowly became weaker. Tick tock, drip. Then, the radar sound completely disappeared, completely disappeared. Successfully achieved invisibility on the radar system. Good. Bunjabuchi heavily waved his fist towards the air, having achieved stealth on the radar level. This is our Dragon Kingdom stealth fighter now. At least it has the ability to fight stealthily on the ordinary level. Wang Zhan lifted his head. This seems a little different from the previously stated effect. Zhang Weigua said breathlessly, General Wang, can you keep a steady hand? Su Qin's expression was very calm as he stretched out his hand and pressed the next button. Snap. Optical stealth mode on. Hurrah. That fighter rapidly changed. On the surface, it gradually became illusory. Then, it was completely hidden in the air, 360 degrees without dead angle. Pure. Stealth. That is invisibility. The atmosphere of the scene instantly had some solidification. Subsequently, it was the cheering. Instantly, the atmosphere ignited. Zhang Weigua waved his hand fiercely. Ha 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 ha. It's really done. It really is a stealth fighter. It's really optically invisible. Wang Zhan, at this time, was also completely taut. It's too awesome. Who will dare to threaten us in the future? Gao Liping directly smiled. Not bad. Not bad. Great. Su Qin. Zhang Lingyu was filled with joy as she looked towards Su Qin. Su Qin was stunned and turned around. Then, he then only saw Zhang Lingyu rushing over. Sending a fragrant kiss. Chapter 073, starting Shura after doing scientific research. Right? Su Qin. This is also not a big project that we do together ah. If it is a big project that we all complete together, you rushed over to give me a perfumed kiss that I can indeed accept. This is, after all, cannot help it. But, this is something I made myself ah. What are you, doing? Su Qin was a bit flustered and slightly stepped back. Zhang Lin Yu blinked her beautiful big eyes and looked at him with a burning gaze. No, nothing, nothing happened just now. Really nothing happened. You've forgotten all about it. She repeated, Su Qin, come on, this is still not admitted. Fortunately, at this time several old men and women were looking at the hands-on program on the screen, very excited and thrilled. Of course, the other staff members, at this time, were dumbfounded. Holy shit, the goddess of my defense university. Today she even took the initiative to kiss a boy? Help, what happened to a bit of a good knock? What's wrong with me wanting to shake my flower hand on the spot to give this young couple a celebration? Some of the younger researchers looked at this scene of the two of them, and for a moment they all revealed a knowing look. 
all with a ripple in their eyes. Everyone was young. They all understood. Soon, the overall work was completed. The next thing to do was to give the project to the hands-on team and start assembling the testing machine. Tired, going back to sleep. Su Qin stretched, then stood up. He was ready to go back to the dormitory to sleep. Really tired. This kind of exhaustion from continuously attacking the drawings was incomparable to any other work. Right now he just wanted to lie in bed and relax his body. Okay, let's go have a meal together first, Zhang Lingyu said. Su Qin nodded. Well, that's fine. Although she had been feeding before, this time of the day was the meal time, and the amount she had consumed was really big. So going to have a meal now was just right. Ding, the two walked into the elevator. At this moment, the elevator was unoccupied. Now that the entire school building had been closed off, there were naturally less people riding the elevator, and there were only Su Qin and Zhang Lingyu inside, and the atmosphere appeared to be a little hot. Inside the elevator, Zhang Lingyu quietly kissed Su Qin. The warm touch tickled and imprinted on the face. It was very gentle and still had an itchy feeling. It's very comfortable. It was very real. Su Qin was alert this time. Good fellow. This wouldn't be my illusion. Would it? Did you just give me a kiss? Ha! Huh? Zhang Lingyu revealed a surprised look. Did I? You must have felt wrong. No. It was too hard. It was an illusion. She said seriously, with the air of the iceberg beauty of the past, and spoke faintly. Su Qin, is it really my illusion? It's not. Is it? Indeed now brain melon buzzing. To the surrounding scenario appeared to misjudgment is also right. After all, their own now at this time that is indeed has completely no previous days of sharp judgment ability. Hiss. Suddenly, Su Qin drew a mouthful of cool air. Shouldn't be. Damn. It really was an illusion. When they were in the cafeteria, the hallucination didn't appear, and Zhang Lingyu just appeared to be calmly eating her meal there. Of course, during this process, she also went to help Su Qin add food from time to time. Su Qin's meal was huge, and he basically had to eat a three-person portion. Fried pork with chili peppers, tomato eggs, and spicy chicken. Iceberg Beauty brought over a few small bowls of dishes as if she were counting them, her eyes filled with tenderness, knowing Su Qin's favorite dishes like the back of her hand. Although she was an idiot at cooking, she had made the effort to notice and learn about Su Qin's tastes. Good. Su Qin nodded with satisfaction. In the cafeteria, it was mealtime. Bustling crowds came and went, appearing very lively. In the distance, Yu Zhu, is that your boyfriend? Yuan Minmin came over and said to Yu Zhu, Ha, huh? Yu Yu Zhu was also stunned. Afterward, she thought about her toes and looked over. Um, it's really Su Qin. She was just delighted in her heart and subconsciously wanted to run over. Don't, Yuan Minmin immediately pulled back. Look, the teacher sitting opposite. Look at her rank. Yu Yu Zhu looked over and saw a high and cold sitting iceberg beauty who was currently looking at Su Qin as if she had a cold face. That woman was 23 or 24 years old and looked charming, like a rose that had already bloomed, and her military rank was clearly major, a school grade officer. This was a real officer. Really, is this Su Qin lab's teacher? Yu Yuzhu also stopped in her tracks. If it was Su Qin alone there, or if it was someone her own age there, then she would have definitely rushed over at the first opportunity. But now the one eating with Su Qin was a teacher in the school and still had the rank of major, then this must be the teacher, it must be Su Qin's teacher, forget it, he's very busy right now, he couldn't even get back to me in time to reply to my messages, and now he's eating a meal like a starving ghost, he must be very busy, I won't bother, Yu Yuzhu revealed a doting smile, aha, Yuan Minmin nodded, they were both soldiers and knew that the project Su Qin was in charge of right now was definitely not simple, otherwise it wouldn't have been possible for him to have been commissioned as a captain just after joining the school, so he definitely couldn't be bothered. They hadn't seen the major rank on Su Qin's shoulder yet. So, the two of them turned around and left. That is, Su Qin did not see her. If he really saw it, then it would definitely be sweating. There is simply no way to say. Isn't this the Shura? Isn't this the delightful Shura? Well, Su Qin had a good appetite and finished eating all the rice. He didn't have the slightest idea that he had just brushed past the edge of death. Let's go. Go back. Su Qin stood up and stretched. He just wanted to go back and take a nap. A good full night's sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. Zhang Lingyu nodded her head. Walking to the location where she put the dinner plates, she looked back. What's wrong? Su Qin asked. Nothing. Zhang Lingyu shook her head slightly. When she walked to the stairway, she was still a bit relieved. Is it an illusion? It should be an illusion. Just now it seems like a very cute girl has been looking at Su Qin. It's. It's an illusion. Well, it's definitely an illusion. She shook her head emptying her mind of distracting thoughts. Soon, Su Qin reached the front of her room, 
Ka, opening the door to his room. He directly went to finish his shower as fast as he could and then drilled into the comforter. A warm feeling then wrapped around him with a soothing sensation. Cool. It also has to be sleeping cool ah. Soon, Su Qin's breathing began to become even. Only, between his days, as if he felt it, a soft body burrowed into his arms. Um, is it a hallucination? Well, it must be an illusion. Sleep. Chapter 074, Su Qin, I've come to cook you a big meal. This sleep, directly, was already sleeping until the next morning. 14 or 15 hours of sleep had allowed Su Qin's brain to return to a more awake state. As for why it was more awake, that is of course, when waking up, suddenly realized that, there seems to be a person in one's arms? Su Qin lowered his head and took a look. Zhang Linyu was breathing evenly, the gas exhaled from her small mouth puffing on her own chest position, bringing an itchy feeling. She was wearing a white shirt at the moment, and from Su Qin's angle, he could see the snow-white skin inside through the gap of the buttons. A blood-filled feeling instantly went to his head. Temptation. Too tempting. Especially, at this moment, Zhang Linyu was lying in her arms. This, should be an illusion, right? Su Qin still thought it was an illusion like before. And for a moment, he couldn't believe this. Who would dare to believe this? It was the age of the most energetic, and as a result, there was suddenly an iceberg beauty in one's arms. Who could believe this? Impossible. This was definitely an illusion. Since it's an illusion, there's nothing to hide, right? Su Qin suddenly thought, this is all an illusion now. Why don't you indulge yourself for once? He he he. Thinking of this, Su Qin stretched out her hands. Then, it touched her delicate face. A delicate touch instantly swept through Su Qin's brain. Accompanied by the slight fluttering of the eyelashes of the beautiful person in his arms, Su Qin stroked Zhang Linyu's face. Hmm, this must be an illusion. I must still be in a dream. He thought so while nonchalantly mooching. Then, just when he was about to fulfill satisfy his other exploratory desires again, the iceberg beauty's eyes opened. Eyelashes blinked. What are you doing? Zhang Linyu's voice was tinged with shyness, not daring to look at Su Qin for a moment. Her small face was scarlet. You knocked into me. Su Qin, is this dream so real? Good guy. It even comes with a shy reaction. Wait. After sensing that the delicate body in his body was unable to hold back the trembling, and between his complexion was completely shy, even Su Qin, who had just woken up from sleeping to get rid of that groggy state, reacted. This, this seems to be, is not an illusion. What was in one's arms was Zhang Linyu herself. Su Qin, confused. Why was Zhang Linyu in his room? He lifted the quilt and took a closer look. This was indeed his own room. He put his head under the quilt again and came eye to eye with Zhang Linyu. Well, Zhang Linyu was really in his own quilt, in his own arms. You, why are you here? Su Qin's tone carried a sense of confusion. He was indeed confused. Zhang Linyu was inexplicably in his comforter. Ah, Principal Zhang, you have to believe me. I am truly innocent. I don't know anything about anything. Ah, it's your illusion. Zhang Linyu's voice was crispy with shyness. Su Qin, I've woken up from my sleep. It's not the same as before. Wait, you said the same thing before? So it was really you who kissed me inside the elevator before, right? That was you swindling me, right? Holy shit. Su Junzi really didn't react before and really thought it was an illusion. There was no way. After the brain overused his brain, his mind was full of things floating inside the research. There was really a delay in the perception of the things around him, and he really thought that it could be an illusion. It really is an illusion. Zhang Lin you said pitifully, please, Su Qin, just believe that it was an illusion, okay? A soft and sticky voice rang out. At this moment, Zhang Lin Yu revealed a completely different youthfulness, gentleness, shyness, and softness from her previous days, making people's blood spurt and giving birth to an endless desire for protection. Su Qin, that, since it's an illusion and hallucination, is it okay if I go a little more overboard? Zhang Lin Yu, suddenly, she felt herself under attack. A feeling of shame arose. Ah, she was soft and sticky, and although she felt bad when confronted with this feeling, she didn't dare to make a sound. Half an hour later, Su Qin climbed out of the comforter with satisfaction and licked her lips. Comfortable. Of course, it was just an addiction. He didn't dare to really eat Zhang Lingyu, the heart of the Defense University. Dry. Although he was now the new heart of the Defense University, but if Zhang Wei was started to go crazy, he might not be able to run away. However, this was also very satisfying, especially when he saw Zhang Lingyu, who was blushing, with messy hair and disheveled clothes. Walking out, that sense of conquest was even more overwhelming. This was the dream girl of all the defense university students. Of course, 
The major rank on that shoulder was also a chasm that countless people couldn't cross over. Su Qin, promise me that you'll forget about the ones that just happened, okay? She lowered her head and stammered, her tone very warm. Su Qin, on the other hand, scratched his head with an innocent look. What just happened? Didn't you just come over from your own room? You just came over to wake me up. We didn't do anything else. Zhang Lin Yu, her small face, at this moment, suddenly revealed a sad and angry look. Damn it. You scum. Ignore you. Humph. After she punched Su Qin's chest with a small fist, she straightened her clothes and ran away. Su Qin, you didn't say this yourself? Blame me for that? Su Qin was truly innocent. He had clearly satisfied Zhang Lin Yu's request, but as a result, he was now being blamed instead. This is not related to me at all. I'm innocent. Drrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Z Z Z Z within the entire house. There was the loud sound of stir frying vegetables, and the aroma was overwhelming. Other than that, Yu Yu Yu's song of Sichuan and Chongqing dishes deeply won Su Qin's heart. You even know how to make spicy fish, and it's still without seasoning. Su Qin was all shocked and called out while eating it. The spicy sensation stimulated his taste buds, causing him to enjoy himself immensely for a moment, as if he had returned to his hometown. Zhang Cheng's specialty was the spicy crushing carp. Comfortable. Su Qin sighed in admiration as he savored it. He had to admit that Su Qin's stomach was already in Yu Yuju's hands, and his stomach was really captured this time. Su Qin, you're actually major? Yu Yuju looked at the rank on the hanging uniform, and for a moment her expression stiffened. This, this is a bit too fast, isn't it? Her expression was stiff. Major, a 19-year-old major ah, this, this will inevitably be a general in the future, right? Yu Yuju couldn't even recall for a moment if there was such a person-like existence in history, only feeling that what was happening in front of her eyes wasn't so real. Su Qin is now a major. When he was a captain before, that was a shock to his own party. The speed of this military rank rise was also too fast, right? Well, major now. Su Qin nodded his head as he ate the authentic Chuan's chili fried pork with satisfaction. The merit badge for one of the previous programs came down, but there are two more still on the way. He wasn't bullshitting about this. The high drone swarm and optical stealth fighter could both still be on their way. The rank of major now could be said to have come solely by virtue of the truth electromagnetic cannon. Ah, Yu Yuju was dumbfounded for a moment, her small mouth wide open, not reacting. Then, then you shouldn't become a general without finishing college, right? What exactly did you develop? Ah, she froze a little. Su Qin hesitated for a moment, thinking about whether or not to tell Yu Yuju about it. Should this be considered confidential? He didn't know whether he should say it or not. Although with himself inside the current military industrial system, he was already considered in existence with the highest level of attention and secrecy. However, he also didn't know if he could say it. It shouldn't be possible, right? Only, Yu Yuju immediately noticed Su Qin's hesitation, which made it clear what it meant. Wow, it's fine. I just need to know that you're doing great things. She revealed a good-natured smile while picking up a tissue to help Su Qin wipe away the remaining rice at the corner of his mouth. All right, keep eating. Just pretend I didn't ask. You're serving the country. Just remember to check in with me when you're free. She had a sweet smile on her face. It's okay. Luckily, I liked you a long time ago. At that time, you weren't so dazzling. Yu Yuju went back after dinner. She still had her own project to do and didn't have much time to play with Su Qin. Of course Su Qin didn't intend to waste her time either. Because. There were still important things to do today. Good day sir. A squad of soldiers stood downstairs at the moment. Saluting Su Qin. General Wang has been waiting for you for a long time. Su Qin nodded. Well, take me there now. Soon, he first got into the car. And the place the vehicle was heading to was the airport. Then, the helicopter took off. This time, the place to travel to was. The place where the East Sea Group Army was located. This was once again, an actual battle. Chapter 076, Leave It To Me, Guaranteed To Be Completely Resolved. Buzz, the sound of the helicopter's propellers slowly became weaker, and the speed of rotation gradually slowed down. Slowly, the helicopter landed. Su Qin walked down from the airplane, and below, there was already a large group of officers waiting. At the head of the group, naturally, was Wang Zhan. Su Qin, you can finally come, didn't I tell you to come all last night? But it turned out to be delayed until today. In Wang Zhan's tone, there was still some grudges. At this moment, the naval officers standing next to him were confused. This was a lieutenant general. How could it be so difficult to get a major to come? What grade was this major? How could he make Admiral Wang Warshow such a resigned expression? It's not true, is it? For a while, the naval officers present looked at each other in disbelief, not knowing what kind of status this was. It was only natural. Su Qin's identity was also highly classified within the military. Many people were unaware of it and only knew that there was a young major who was highly protected, but nothing else. Who is this person? So young to be a major. There must be a general rank waiting in the future. To have General Wang waiting, how big a curiosity is this? General Wang's violent temper is known throughout the entire military region. It should be related to today's plan, right? At this time, when Chang Yuan and Zhang Weigua were also there, the two of them, on the other hand, were happily looking at Su Qin, a look of relief in their eyes. It felt as if their own disciple had made his mark, and even though they hadn't taught Su Qin anything, and it was all self-taught by him, there was still a sense of pride in their hearts. What are you showing this look for? Zhang Weigua looked at that look in Wen Cheng Yuan's eyes. This is a student of my defense university, but it has nothing to do with your air force. 
I advise you to put the hit back in your stomach and don't think of robbing anyone, Wen Chang Yuan, he was now, already being treated as a weasel for robbing people by Zhang Legua, Su Qin jumped down from the helicopter and then saluted, but didn't stay serious for long, immediately returning to his usual demeanor, mainly because I'm too tired, I need to take a break after all, what's the plan this time, he opened the door and asked directly, his time was still precious, Wang Zhan nodded, well, it's all about this thunderous attitude, go, go to the warship and talk about it, soon, a kind of officers and generals all boarded a warship, in the command room of the bridge, a group of generals had serious expressions as they looked at the battle map, next, Wang Zhan walked up and took out his baton, last time, after we completely annihilated the pirates in Wolf's Tooth Bay, because it was too far away from my territorial waters and was located in the open sea, we didn't occupy the place, but instead, we retreated after blasting the anti-aircraft defense facilities, now, there, there's another group of pirates, at these words, the hearts of the officers present were instantly appalled, this, was also too fast, it's only been less than a month or two, right, there are actually pirates in Wolf Spain again, this is not the same as the usual action, if there is a place where the pirates are entrenched, and the location is very good, it is true that after being eliminated soon another pirate will occupy that one place, but, generally speaking, that can be at least a year or two of time off, one is that the pirates themselves are also concerned about feng shui, the second point is that the pirates are also afraid of regular patrols, now there is a navy to go on regular patrols, and the second wave of pirates even took advantage of the gap between patrols to occupy wolf's tooth bay, and this is still in the case of the navy is completely unprepared for the situation, the current situation, it's tricky, Wang Zhan's expression was incomparably grave, our suspicion is, there is the involvement of reactionary forces from outside the country, as of now, the other party is bound to have the right to use satellites and be able to monitor our territorial waters, otherwise it would be impossible to be able to board the island so easily in the gap between the patrols of the warships, completing the second reinforcement of the air defense offensive, Su Qin nodded as he listened to Wang Zhan's analysis, it was indeed true that the strength shown by the other party was too much beyond the original expectations, this group of pirates, it was very likely that there were national forces behind them for support, Zhang Wei was slammed the table, holy shit, damn it, which country is this to find trouble, to deliberately place bandits within our country, this is too outrageous, kill, must be killed, beat them down ruthlessly, although Zhang Weigua was an amateur, he also felt anger at this time, who didn't have a temper yet, Wen Cheng Yuan also nodded, well, I also agree, Wang Zhan nodded, right, so this time, we'll prepare to annihilate the pirates of Wolfsbain Bay once again, Su Qin was beside him, pondering, whom, he thought seriously, then made a request, Otherwise, this matter should be left entirely to our truth research team, we also have a diplomatic say now, how about that? Wang Zhan was also stunned. Oh, leave it to Su Qin's truth scientific research team? Yes, before, Yang Zizhong had handed over the right to speak to the truth scientific research group, which meant that the current Su Qin could speak on behalf of the Ministry of Scientific Research on a foreign level. Let me think about it. Wang Zhan hesitated. If this matter was handed over to Su Qin, then it was inevitable that the army would need to be deployed to him, and that would require at least one destroyer or frigate, and it would also have to be equipped with at least one battalion of army troops, with your rank now Su Qin then, it's enough, although it's still a bit short, but, well, Wang Zhan pondered there, in the end, he clapped his hands and decided, damn, your kid's ability is here, it's not a waste if you don't use it, the big deal is to take a disciplinary action, this matter will be given to you to do, from now on, your truth scientific research group also has the regimental command of my East Sea Group Army at the same time. I'll allocate you a battalion of land forces, and then give you a destroyer. Don't worry and go boldly. With these words, Wang Zhan was completely assured of Su Qin's ability. He picked up the phone and began to talk to the leader on the other side. Why not? Researchers can't command battles? On what grounds? Is the rank of major on his shoulder given for nothing? I don't care. Old boss you have to agree today. If you don't agree... I don't care about the East Sea Group Army. You're in charge of the recent chaos. Wang Zhan spoke in a very impulsive tone, and only in front of Su Qin would he be gentle down. Just like this. Su Qin's Truth Research Group, successfully attached to the name of the East Sea Group Army. Not only was it a scientific research group of the Army Research Institute and Defense University, but it was also a regimental command unit of the East Sea Group Army. Su Qin. There was military power. At the same time, it also had the right to speak on behalf of the official Dragon Kingdom. Thank you General Wang for your trust. Su Qin raised his hand and saluted. Su Qin promises to complete the mission. This time, 
I guarantee that I can completely solve the pirate problem in Wolfsbane Bay. Chapter 077, if only Su Qin wasn't so all-powerful. Hello? Zhen Lin Yu was still a bit confused when she received Su Qin's call. What did you say? Say it again? She simply couldn't believe her ears, couldn't believe that this was actually true, and was stunned for a moment, with shock inside her eyes. It's just what I just said ah, now let all the team members come to the East Sea Group Army Command. We now have a team of thousands of people. We have to integrate them first. Su Qin's tone of voice was rather indifferent. There's an army mechanized infantry battalion and a destroyer all under our command. By the way, there's also a diplomatic spokesperson. Remember to train it. Zhang Linyu. What the hell? What the hell? She was actually doing the scientific research tasks within the group right now because Su Qin hadn't been able to designate a scientific research direction. So the entire truth scientific research group of 10 or so people had now been optimizing and organizing the various numerical values of the truth giant canon, as well as providing guidance on the use of the sectors that had already been actualized. In a nutshell, this was a scientific research team. As a result, Su Qin said that he had pulled in an army of a thousand people for the group, both navy and army? Ha! Huh? And a destroyer? What the hell? Team leader Zhang. What's wrong? A female researcher saw that Zhang Linyu had changed her usual icy image and was now sitting there dumbfounded. So she came up and asked with concern. Is there something wrong? Zhang Linyu said in a daze. Our group now has a battalion under it. The mechanized infantry battalion. And, and a destroyer. That female researcher. The other researchers of the truth team. What the hell? They, all of them, were completely confused. What the hell? Everyone now. That was honestly doing scientific research there ah. What the hell is the army? We are a scientific research group inside the school ah. Until the helicopter came to pick them up. This group of researchers didn't even react. Buzz. The helicopter. Slowly took off. Good day. Deputy group leader. A major stood in front of Zhen Lin Yu and gave him a salute. I am Lian Wu. The battalion commander of the subordinate infantry battalion. You can call me anytime for anything. This battalion commander. Then was on the same level as Zhang Linyu, a major. Zhang Linyu's expression was slightly dumbfounded. Well, she was the deputy group leader, and her position was above the captain of the warship and the battalion commander of the infantry battalion. For a moment, she didn't even react. This is coming for real awe. Here, Zhang Linyu why are you still on the airplane? Come down quickly. Su Qin stood in front, waving her hand with an impatient face, signaling that Zhang Linyu could come down quickly. Zhang Lin Yu's gaze was dull as she walked down. This is Zhang Yang, also the captain of our subordinate destroyer. If there's anything you need to contact in the back, you can do so. Su Qin introduced another person. Good day, vice group leader. That captain also saluted. Well, Zhang Yang, damn, the rank was lieutenant colonel. It's all higher than Su Qin and Zhang Lin Yu, and having reached this position of captain, his age has long gone up, and Captain Zhang Yang is now in his 40s, but still salutes with respect. Zhang Lin Yu. Good. Now start the combat meeting. I'll arrange it. With that, the group walked into the combat conference room and started the meeting. At the same time, inside the group army's combat conference room, Zhang Weiguo was anxious as stomping his feet there. Aya, old Wang, aren't you a bit too anxious? Su Qin he's still so young right now. You're just going to directly put the army on the line. If there are casualties, it'll be the end of the line. Not only will it lead to damage to the warriors not to mention, Su Qin's research state of mind will also take a big hit. Zhang Weiguo was all in all a disagreement. He was disagreeing. After all, Su Qin honestly engaged in scientific research in order to achieve maximum efficiency and be able to create the most value for the country. Wang Zhang, on the other hand, shook his head. He he, old Zhang Ah, this is also a bit too much for you, isn't it? This is Su Qin's own request. Don't forget, before you promise something, I don't come to you to rob Su Qin's premise. That can be to let him choose freely. Wang Zhang's mouth was tinged with a smile as he looked at the anxious Zhang Weigua. Wen Cheng Yuan also wore a playful smile as he nodded. That's right. If one day, Su Qin wants to come to the Air Force, you two can't stop. It's, Zhang Weigua slapped his head and cried out in regret. This was indeed the agreement reached before. Letting all the other departments not come to rob Su Qin. That could be, was completely okay, as long as Zhang Weigua was made to promise that if Su Qin wanted to go to the other departments, he wouldn't stop it. At that time, Zhang Weigua didn't think so much and felt that Su Qin definitely wouldn't go. As a result, now, Su Qin had half of it, and became a person of the army group army. Damn, Zhang Weigua had a face of grief and anger. Although it is said that now Su Qin is also your army group army's person, 
Then can't we go in and see their program arrangement, letting such a young man arrange this mission alone? Suddenly, when Cheng Yuan reacted, he was a bit worried. Wang Zhan, on the other hand, shook his head indifferently. It's fine, we have to trust Su Qin. This kid, always has some ghostly ideas. No, 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 saying ghost ideas is too demeaning to him. There should always be great talent. He'll definitely be able to work it out, and it'll serve our purpose as well. There were two requirements for this operation. One, the pirates entrenched in Wolf's Tooth Bay must be driven away, and it would be best if they could be wiped out, or rather captured in their entirety. Two, and that was to conduct a live combat drill on the Hive drones. There were only these two purposes, and all of it had been left to Su Qin to arrange. Night, slowly descended on Earth. Su Qin yawned, then made a call out. This is East Sea Group Army, requesting Air Force fighter support. Immediately cruise to the target location. When this call from Su Qin went out, Zhang Weigua and the rest of the group were baffled. Even Wang Zhan did not understand. What is Su Qin trying to do? Let the Air Force go? Isn't this just spooking the snakes? And it definitely won't have any good results either. What's the situation? Wang Zhan was also confused, but he had a lot of insight into combat. After all, he was a general in the true sense of the word. Zhang Weigua was delighted. It couldn't be that Su Qin was a blind cat that ran into a dead rat last time, right? Could it be that he knows nothing about tactics? Well, Zhang Weigua was surprisingly joyful. He really wanted Su Qin to honestly engage in scientific research. Chapter 078, You're Going to Play with Fighters? It was already known from what was known now that the Wolfsbane pirates couldn't be so clean behind the scenes. There were definitely other forces in the mix. Moreover, it was bound to be a national level force. Of course, there are a few current suspicions on Wang Zhan's side, but it is true that there is no conclusion. After all, the previous few pirates did not have tongues, and in the end all of them bit their tongues and killed themselves, hiding the poison under their tongues. I do not know how. At the beginning of the two are clearly afraid of, and finally escorted just ashore, all to bite through the poison, which also let the investigation once in a stalemate, can only be judged by the weapons, but those weapons are also still not easy to see. After all, the gun can be bought from inside the black market. There shouldn't be any way to really find the big power hidden behind it through this stuff. But, no matter what, even if Su Qin messes things up, I still want to let him try. Wang Zhan pondered for a while before finally speaking slowly. Su Qin's level is truly incomparably surprising so far. I believe in him. Zhang Weigua also sighed. Who doesn't believe in him? I just have a little bit of expectation. It would be great if he would only engage in research. Except that this kid will give us a surprise every time. When Chang Yuan nodded. Yes, that's why you all look at me without bringing an opening. Zhang Weigua, you old boy. You only know how to peep from behind right? The truth research team was given a high level of authority. So the application to the Air Force went through quickly. Buzz. Several fighter jets. Slowly took off. Meanwhile. A group of pirates were on board, waiting with immense nervousness. Everyone, don't be nervous or scared, the 40-year-old man at the head of the group said seriously. Behind us, is the entire society? Dragon Kingdom was just a coincidence last time. This time, it's impossible for them to wipe us out again. Kill. All the pirates picked up the guns in their hands and roared. The words they spoke were naturally Japanese. Only this could not be used as evidence for judgment. After all, the pirates entrenched in the sea could not judge which country it was haphazardly because of its original nationality. This was after all, there had to be evidence. It involved the adjustment of the direction of the military equipment, and it could not be used haphazardly. Chinaman, there is no way to bring us down. The supervisor picked up the assault rifle in his hand. Next time, we rob the next cargo ship. We can enjoy the women on board as much as we want. Great ha 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 ha. Great. Yossi, red bean mud arigato. Kill those Chinamen. Everyone, now please tear off the club's insignia. The male supervisor had a serious expression. Let's get ready to go. Yes, the pirates on the three landing crafts all tore off the insignia that was on their shoulders. And that badge, which dissolved completely when it met water, was obviously of special quality. At that moment, the fiery red rising sun flag, which was clearly the military flag of the Japanese cuckoo decades ago, representing the purest militarism, was clearly the co-prosperity society. The Co-Prosperity Society, the fourth largest party within the Japanese nation, represents extreme left-wing radical forces, with a self-defense force army of 10, 000 men in size, as well as the support of several large Japanese conglomerates. This party was banned from participating in the prime ministerial election because the eagle was afraid of too much public opinion. And at the moment, they, precisely, are the pawns driven by the eagle, pawns used to check and balance the Rokoku at this moment. 
Depart, the supervisor waved his hand, and all the pirates stood at attention, then sailed the ship, avenge the young president, avenge the young president, they, left the harbor, this is going out to hijack the ship, reporting to the president, we have already departed, the supervisor answered the order sullenly, Toshi Yamashita over there nodded, well, be safe, Toshi Yamashita said calmly, don't let the sons and daughters lose too many, all of you are great warriors of the co-prosperity circle, yes, the pirate supervisor nodded solemnly, Toshi Yamashita then connected to the Eagle Pacific Naval Command, Rear Admiral Smith, my men have departed as you requested, be sure to provide satellite support throughout, please, Toshi Yamashita said as he stood up and bowed slightly, Smith was currently holding a cigar, don't worry, my friend, right now there are seven satellites that are dead center monitoring the entire western Pacific, there is no way that the Dragon Kingdom's army can cross our monitoring range. It's all under control. Smith's tone was, well, assured. Toshi Yamashita eventually sat down and put his heart down, and on the monitor in front of him. At this moment, three landing craft were violating the waters of the Dragon Kingdom. Their target was the cargo ships that were sailing in the Dragon Kingdom. When the news was sent back to the Dragon Kingdom, Wang Zhan was directly confused. What is this situation now? That group of pirates actually set off? Zhang Weigua was also confused when he heard the news. They're departing now, but our warplanes shouldn't have been discovered yet. Yeah, so what now? When Chang Yuan also spoke up, immediately go and find out where exactly that group of pirates is aiming for. Why did they suddenly move? Wang Zhang was very anxious and immediately gave the order. After the pirates moved, then it would be difficult to eliminate these pirates again without exposing the high drone swarm. But now... What Su Qin wanted to do was to let the High Drone Swarm destroy this group of pirates again without exposing the High Drone Swarm. Difficulty can be more difficult than reaching the sky. Su Qin, if it's not possible, you should pull back. Wang Zhan picked up the communicator and said anxiously, The current situation really isn't very suitable for you to practice anymore. Withdraw. Su Qin's voice slowly came from over there. But the wind noise was a bit loud. What's wrong? Wow. I know. It's just that the pirates have already departed right? It's fine. Don't worry. Just leave it to me. Not a big problem. Zhang Weigui. Zhang Weigui and Wen Chang Yuan were unaware of what was going on. They just felt that this Su Qin kid might be blowing smoke. Call him back. Forget it. It's better to let the normal officers take command of the current situation. However, Wang Zhan was confused. Wang Zhan. This kid. Surprisingly, he's on a warplane now. That's our newly developed 20 series fighter jet. That kid actually sat directly on our fighter and entered the secondary cabin. Zhang Weigui, Wen Chang Yuan, ah, giving you command. It's for you to fucking play with a fighter jet? Play it. Outrageous. Chapter 079, who told him to risk his life? The three generals present were a bit confused. Ah, no, you personally sat in a warplane? What the hell? There's a bit of a problem. You're the commander ah, what's the situation? How did Su Qin run to the warplane? How is this possible? Wang Zhan's mouth started shivering for a moment, and he immediately rushed out of the command room. Hurry, hurry and pull him down. Don't let him take off. Quickly, reject this takeoff request. Zhang Weigua also rolled and rushed outside the room. He even fell, completely lacking the poise that a major general should have. Just like a young man who had fallen and lost his way. And at the moment, there was even panic within his eyes as well. Yes, quickly, refuse to take off. If it takes off, then let the 20 series fighters fly back. Hurry. Up. Su Qin can't have an accident. At this moment, the two men were not just nervous. They were even flustered. Really flustered. Who was Su Qin? Within three months, three consecutive major projects had been brought out. And each project was a special merit. And could reward the existence of a 10 million level bonus. Any one of these projects would be equivalent to the output of a 1.000 person level research institute for 20 years. And. It also has to be 20 years to find the right direction. Therefore, Su Qin absolutely can't have an accident. Definitely can't go to the front line. The most he can do is to be a commander, which is already the biggest risk the country can bear. And he absolutely cannot be allowed to risk his life. Wang. General Wang. That soldier in charge of communications was a little confused. But, now that one fighter has already taken off, formed a formation with five other fighters, and has long since departed. Wang Zhan immediately became furious, damn it, then let them return, hurry up and make them return, Zhang Weigua, on the other hand, was incomparably furious, Wang Zhan, if anything happens to Su Qin, I'm definitely going to take you to task, so prepare to carry the disciplinary action, at this moment, he was incomparably flustered, Su Qin was the heart of defense university, 
Wang Zhan waved his hand. I know. Now hurry and go to the command headquarters of the Truth Research Team first. After saying that, he didn't care about his previous order of letting Su Qin command the whole thing on her own, and directly ran to the Truth Team's command headquarters which was at least a thousand meters away from the command headquarters in a single breath. Bang! He pushed the door and entered, running at full speed. Even a general like Wang Zhan who worked out every day could feel his own lack of energy, and was panting heavily at this moment. Inside the temporary command headquarters of the truth team, everyone looked up in confusion. General Wang, why are you here? Zhang Linyu asked suspiciously, her fingers still tapping something at the moment. Where's Su Qin? Hurry up and have him return to the ship. Hurry! Wang Zhan immediately gave the order. This is an order. It was an order given as a lieutenant general and at the same time as the commander-in-chief of the East Sea Group Army. Zhang Lin Yu could only execute it. However, Zhang Lin Yu there was confused. Ha, huh, but, Su Qin had the entire fighter formation execute radio silence. So we have no way of knowing Su Qin's movements, let alone being able to make contact, other than being able to see the footage captured through fixed cameras and satellites. Zhang Weiguo also ran in at this time and learned of this bad news. S.H. What? For a moment? Zhang Weigua had difficulty accepting this news. Why didn't you stop it? For the first time, he chided his niece in a scolding tone. His expression that was harsh and his tone was bad. Zhang Lin Yu instantly became aggrieved. Su Qin forced an order on me as the leader of the group, telling me not to tell you guys, so what can I do? He has full command. I, I can't do anything about it. Soon, the two old men knew. The wood had been turned. Su Qin had already gone out. Out with his own battle plan. Damn it. It's all we can do now. Wang Zhan gritted his teeth, and his tone was not as amicable as usual, but instead, he put on the kind of demeanor he usually had when commanding battles. Wang Zhan's fondness for swearing was usually under control. It was only when it came to the tensions of combat that he was prone to recidivism. This was a habit left over from the counterattack against the South. On my order, the entire East Sea Group Army is on first class combat readiness. Be ready to attack on all fronts at any time. Keep an eye on the roots and the group of pirates immediately. Wang Zhan gave the order. Yes. Soon, the entire East Sea Group army moved. Instead of moving, it was better to say that they were all ready. Buzz. One by one, the Truth Giant cannons adjusted their trajectories, aiming at Wolfsbane Bay and the direction where the enemy fleet might appear, just in case the third country's army might jeopardize Su Qin. Hundreds of Truth electromagnetic cannons that had just been installed bared their fangs at this moment. All the warships that were resting in the harbor were reorganized and departed, and all the officers and soldiers who were on leave in the vicinity were recalled. The hangar attached to the first group army. At this moment, a rack of fighters, ready to depart at any time. Ready for takeoff? Crap! A new recruit who just got off the company looked at the busy camp in a daze, feeling the solemn atmosphere. Two, there's going to be a war. Ha! Huh? But we are the East China Sea Ah, and there is no border with any country Ah. Someone landed? Little day coming? Or is it an eagle? The entire East Sea Group army, like a wild wolf with open fangs, was slowly awakening at this moment. Of course, because the movements were rather stealthy, the eagle side couldn't see it. They would only be able to know that a fighter jet had taken off. Eagle Pacific Naval Command. Report. A soldier relayed his screen over. Dragon Kingdom movement detected. Be careful. A fighter jet has taken off. Smith nodded while picking up the phone and dialing. It should be six fighters. The model is unclear for now. Judging by the speed it's a series 20. Hurrah! As long as they were out of the sea, everything of the Dragon Country's military was within the Eagle's grasp. This is also a common problem in the information age. All countries are pretty much the same. After all, the satellites in the sky took clear pictures. As long as there was no space war going on and they were willing to invest manpower, then the sea was basically a full map unfolding. Thank you, Your Excellency General. Over there, Toshi Yamashito replied respectfully. General Smith, our boys are talking about working too many hours. Colonel Blue came over and said. Smith frowned. Keep them working. They'll get a bonus at the end of the year. For full-scale surveillance. At the moment, there were thousands of technicians working intensely. Soon, Toshi Yamashita informed the pirates he had sent out with the news he had gotten. The pirate supervisor said loudly at this moment. Brothers, the Chinaman's fighters are here. What should we do now? He asked loudly. The pirates, on the other hand, all grinned. Ha 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 ha. Rob, board the ship. Chapter 080, Choice. The group of pirates all laughed naturally and happily. For this kind of thing, they had a strict plan. They were trained in a strict sense. The Dragon Country's military sending out fighter jets? Then only if they were normally floating in the sea. Then they would be able to attack Ah. 
If they directly approached the Dragon Kingdom's cargo ship and kept circling around, then it was the Dragon Kingdom's fighter jets that didn't have any solutions. The attack of the fighter jets was not that precise, especially when they were on the coast. Then let's set off. Rumble, accompanied by the pirate supervisor's order, the three landing craft erupted into an extremely fast speed, swiftly heading towards the freighter among the targets. In 10 more minutes, we'll be able to reach where the freighter is. It will take 13 minutes for the Dragon Kingdom's fighter jets to arrive, so everyone doesn't need to worry. The pirate supervisor even analyzed the current situation a bit in order to comfort. Unexpectedly, none of these pirates were scared, and one of them was incredibly excited. Kill, kill all the men on the ship and ravage the women on the wheeze. Chinaman, it would have been long ago that we should rule. Kill ah. Uh. For a time, the entire pirate team was highly demoralized. Phew, the pirate supervisor also breathed a sigh of relief. Fearing that all these brothers were scared out of their wits by the previous lesser president's annihilation by the regiment. As this group of pirates advanced, naturally, the Dragon Kingdom command room also got the news. A researcher picked up the results of the judgment and walked over. Somewhat cautious, I calculated based on the trajectory. This group of pirates is targeting the Zhujiang port cargo ship J28371. We need to notify immediately now. Zhang Lin Yu nodded as she was about to make a call. Suddenly, she froze. What's wrong? Wang Zhan was a bit confused when he saw the pause. Hurry up. We have to keep that cargo ship away from the pirates. Otherwise there's a good chance that lives will be in danger. This is not a joke. Hurry up and make contact. Zhang Lin Yu raised her head and said in a daze. Su Qin's orders are, not allowed to notify that group of freighters, make the notification three minutes before the pirates arrive, and have them not allowed to change course. At those words, Zhang Weigua and Wang Zhan were both stunned. Ah, what kind of order was this? The pirates were coming and told the freighter not to be allowed to run? Isn't this waiting to be boarded? Who told him to give this order? Wang Zhan immediately said angrily, this is taking the lives of the masses for a joke. I disagree. I strongly disagree with this plan. Our mission is to protect the masses. How can we possibly go and joke with the lives of the people? However, Zhang Weigua hesitated at this time. Lao Wang Ah. He took a deep breath. Right now Su Qin is in a state of radio silence. We can't contact him at all. Even if we can contact him it's too late to change the plan now. By now, we can only do what Su Qin said. Inside Zhang Weigua's eyes, a brilliant light was bubbling. It was as if he was a falcon at the moment. Looking at something. I believe Su Qin. I think he knows what he's doing, just like the measures he's been taking all along. The atmosphere of the scene was instantly somewhat stagnant. Wang Zhan fell silent. For a while, he didn't say a word. He lowered his head, as if pondering something, and did not speak. Eventually, Su Qin's aim is to maintain the original course? Wang Zhan raised his head and asked Zhang Linyu. Zhang Linyu nodded. Yes, just to keep the ship on its original course. Then if it's just a matter of not notifying, it's not only disrespectful to the other party but it's also too much to allow them to make advance plans. Wang Zhan finally made a decision. I'll do it. I'll make the call. Let me talk to them. In the name of my East Sea Group Army, let them cooperate. The Truth Group researchers present were appalled and looked at each other for a moment. Wang War. Surprisingly, he was willing to use the reputation of the East Sea Group Army as a guarantee. This was an entire group army. He was a lieutenant general of the Dragon Kingdom, a mainstay of the Republic. He surprisingly chose to use his reputation and even everything he had for most of his life, to press Su Qin to order a move that would allow the people of the Dragon Kingdom to risk their lives. That's definitely possible. Having defended the East Sea for 20 years, General Wang War can definitely convince the people. That would definitely be no problem. The other party will definitely cooperate. Everyone felt that as long as Wang Zhan opened his mouth, the other party would definitely cooperate even if they knew it was pirates coming. Everyone was sure of it. However, Zhang Linyu's complexion was somewhat complicated. But, General Wang, Zhujiang Harbor cargo ship J28371, is the same cargo ship that was attacked by the pirates from Wolfsbane last time and was eventually rescued by us. They had two women who were attacked by pirates the last time. For a while, the scene was silent. This is, that freighter from the last time, the daughter of the ship's owner, the wife of the first mate, could be the victims of that disaster. They, for that one-time disaster, absolutely vividly remembered it. If they were notified, they would inevitably refuse. This is human nature. Human beings will avoid the things they fear. Silence, once again, fell upon the scene. But if they were not informed, then this would go against the entire Dragon Kingdom's action guide. The purpose of acting for the sake of the people. Wang Zhan took a deep breath. Make the call. I'll do it. I'll do it. In the fighter jet. 
Su Qin wore a headset and listened to the voice coming from the opposite side. Ha! I knew it. On his face, he was wearing a smile. Click. He pressed the button, which counted as a complete radio silence. Clap 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 dash. The freighter traveled on the waves, breaking the waves. It's already entered our country's waters. There shouldn't be any more pirates. Lu Jun looked at the waves in front of him for a moment. Dad, it's time to eat. A young girl wearing a long floral dress and carrying rice in a wooden box walked in. HM. Lu Jun nodded his head. He looked at his daughter. And after that incident, the blow cause didn't seem to be as big as imagined. After learning that the murderers had all been put right in the video provided, his daughter's state wasn't too bad, only occasionally screaming in her dreams. Let's eat. Lu Jun sat down and served the meal. The young girl, on the other hand, was sitting across from him. Suddenly, tick tock. It was an official emergency call. Lu Jun stood up at the first time and picked up the phone. Hello? Over there? It was an old, thick voice. Hello, mister. Lu Jun. We should have met. The voiceover there made Lu Jun feel familiar. I am the commander in chief of the East Sea Group Army. Wang War. Chapter 081. In the name of the Dragon Nation's military. Wang Zhan. Lu Jun was confused. This, this was the protector of the entire East Sea. Although it was said that he had suffered a pirate attack before. That only happened when he had taken a non-patrol route in order to rush to avoid the typhoon and did not choose to wait in place for the typhoon to pass. Therefore, Lu Jun didn't have any complaints against the Dragon Kingdom's military at the time of that accident. Even more so, he was grateful. Grateful that the Dragon military was able to get them back. Being able to punish that group of damned pirates in a way that was more brutal than the law. General Wang. Wang. May I ask what you have to do? If any cooperation is needed, my side will absolutely support unconditionally. Lu Jun's tone was a little trembling, obviously agitated. Well, there are indeed things that I need to ask you guys. Wang Zhan slowly spoke. You say. The first mate also walked in, listening attentively to what Wang Zhan said at this time. Wang Zhan's next sentence was nearly word for word, in nine minutes, you will be attacked by pirates. In about three minutes, you will be able to see the pirates. They are very fast using military landing craft that are faster than yours. Instantly, Lu Jun was shocked. For a moment he didn't know what to do, we are on the route this time ah, how how is it possible ah, those pirates have already entered our territorial waters and routes, the first mate is also horrified beyond measure, how, how, and Lu Jun's daughter, at this moment, covered her ears and squatted down, ah, for a moment, she let out a shrieking sound, that is, panic, the entire cabin. All the crew members who heard the words were all shocked and afraid. Once that horrible picture quickly surfaced into the mind at this time, they were all completely already scared at this moment. This, really come, come on, the group of pirates, to come. Even at this moment, the first mate directly overstepped his authority to give the order. We, we must now immediately change course. If we now go directly towards the nearest harbor, should, it's too late for that. Two, what to do, however. Lu Jun also maintained a rare calmness at this time, and immediately stood up. General Wang, if there's anything you want us to do, then just ask directly. We promise to cooperate. Good. Wang Zhan did not sell himself short. Next, the Dragon Kingdom's military needs you to maintain your original course, while at the same time everyone enters the shelter. Pretend that you haven't found any pirates. When Wang Zhan said this, all the crew members were shocked. The first mate directly exclaimed, How can this be? Isn't this putting our lives in crisis? How can this be? Ah, ah, Lu Jun's daughter, on the other hand, revealed a look of horror. Lu Jun was also silent at this moment. He did not agree. All the crew members present, more or less expressed their unwillingness, to go through that kind of crisis before again, is what all of them don't want. That is a real nightmare. A nightmare enough to remember for a lifetime. Wang Zhan sighed, but his tone gradually became firm. I know that you guys might be very frightened after experiencing what happened last time. Very frightened. That absolute once was a nightmare for you guys. But, I, Wang Zhan, Wang Zhan's tone, firm and powerful, in the name of the Lieutenant General of the Dragon Kingdom and the Commander-in-Chief of the East Sea Group Army, I am here to assure you all, the military of the Dragon Kingdom, will guarantee your safety. This time, we'll definitely let these upcoming pirates, be wiped out. Once these words came out, everyone, was silent. This was using the name of the Dragon Country's military. The first mate, still a bit terrified, looked at his wife and mustered up the courage to speak. The military can only ask us to cooperate. According to the law as long as it will threaten our lives, we can refuse, brother Lu Jun. However, Lu Jun then glanced at his daughter. His daughter, gave a response, a firm look. Lu Jun slammed the table, 
and the meal he had just eaten was spilled on the ground. Damn, this group of pirates are all family with the group of pirates from before. This is to take revenge. Every time, they commit atrocities. If we go back this time and let this group of pirates be let go, then won't there be the next victim? I've decided to do it. Whoever doesn't do it, whoever drives their own lifeboat with a woman to go first, I'll wait here. For a while, all the crew members stayed silent. The first mate who wanted to leave just now also shut his mouth at this time. Fuck it. Fuck it. The first mate clenched his teeth and rushed straight to the front. In his voice, there was anger. His wife could be one of the victims. He already hated these pirates to the bone and couldn't wait to thwart them. These motherfucking pirates. Motherfucker. After harboring them for more than 10 years, I'll do it with them this time. I'll go get a fire axe. If they come on board, we'll chop them up. Fuck. For a while, the entire cabin erupted with a burst of angry curses. Two minutes later, a flying survival dinghy was lowered from the cargo ship and drove out, with five women on it. The rest of the crew, all on board, they, pretending not to know anything, drove normally, and gradually, on the skyline, a landing craft without a skull and crossbones flag appeared. Then, another one. In total, there were three landing crafts that were rapidly coming. Ha 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 ha. The pirate supervisor revealed an excited smile. When we board the ship, we'll take our time dashing around. Yes, supervisor, we can drive this freighter to the open sea so we can get away as well. Woohoo. Kill all the men. Tow the ship away. For a while, all the pirates were excited. In their opinion, this freighter was already in their possession. It was already meat in their mouths, ready to be feasted on. Accelerate. Charge up. Soon, the three landing craft erupted into extreme speed, approaching the freighter at a very fast speed. The situation at the scene was incomparably tense for a while, and as if it was an afterthought, the freighter began to slowly change its course, but it was futile because the landing crafts were faster and close enough. Anyone with eyes could see that the freighter was completely finished. Next, it was time for the pirates on the landing craft to board and take control of the entire freighter. At this time, even Jun Yamashita couldn't help but chime in. Ha 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 ha, General Smith, my sons and daughters, this time they have taken credit again. They've entered the range where the fighters can't shoot at them. This mission. Done. Chapter 082. I'll see what you can do with us. Major General Smith's expression. At this moment, also had an overwhelming joy. It was genuine joy. Well done. Toshi Yamashita. The next weapons you need can be reported to our side. We will try to supply whatever we can give. Smith couldn't help but give his promise as well. In his opinion, it was already over. General. The Dragon Kingdom's fighters are almost here. A technical soldier came over and reported respectfully. Smith nodded. Good. Just tell them. Fighters? What's the use? Right now. All of the several landing craft had reached the waters near that freighter. And if they used missiles to lock on, they would also reach that freighter. Machine guns? If the advance wasn't estimated well and early bullets were fired, then it would also cause a lot of damage to the freighter. Within a certain range, the fighter jets at the moment were of no use at all. Precision strikes. That was under the premise that all the surrounding targets could be harmed. If the surrounding targets could not be affected at all and were friendly targets, at a distance to exceptionally close, there was no way for even the topmost fighters to launch an attack. Ha 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 ha. Get the news reporters all set up and ready to report on this story. Smith had already made follow-up arrangements. Killing people was not the goal. Just one freighter. How much could it be worth? If it was just a freighter, then it wasn't worth the Eagle Navy's trouble at all and the important thing was to make news. You, the Dragon Kingdom, don't even have a guarantee for the cargo ships within your own waters, and you don't even have a way to guarantee the safety of the ships on your routes, so who else would dare to do business with you? In this way, the economic power of the Dragon Kingdom, which is increasingly dominating the world, will definitely decline. That was what Smith was aiming for, and that was what the President had ordered. Yes, General, an officer next to him nodded and then went down to make arrangements. Smith leaned back in his chair, looking very relaxed. Ha 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 ha. Quick, hang the ropes. Hang the rope. The pirate supervisor stood up and shouted loudly. At this moment, the sound of rumbling warplanes had already appeared faintly in the sky. They needed to board the ship as soon as possible. Only, now that it was already close to this cargo ship, then it meant. Invincible. There was no need to worry about the Dragon Kingdom's fighter jets. And naturally, this scene was transmitted to the Dragon Kingdom's command headquarters. Ouch, Zhang Weigua slapped his thigh, worry all over his face, it's over, there's no steering, it was hooked up so quickly, in 10 more minutes the pirates will be able to board the ship, when Shang Yuan also came over at this time, very anxious, where are the other troops, both the marine police and the navy went over to save the day, 
The current situation looked very critical indeed, because a wave of pirates had been eliminated before. Then the damage brought by the second wave of pirates was bound to be even higher. It was close to a no-holds-barred affair, and might even result in a massacre fiasco. Wang Zhan stood there with a grave expression. The navy has already departed, but it will take half an hour for the nearest ship to arrive. The helicopters going over will also take 15 minutes. It's too late. It's already too late. The officers in the command room all had heavy expressions, but there was nothing they could do. Yes, it was too late. The location of Wolf's Tooth Bay was too good, and it was too close to the roots and the waters of the Dragon Kingdom, so that the 20 series fighters couldn't even catch up from the coastal airfields, not to mention the even slower ships and helicopter gunships. All this, it was as if, this was going to be a tragedy. It was as if the curtain of tragedy was about to be drawn at this very moment. However, a voice rang out. Zhang Lin Yu firmly said, I believe in Su Qin. We must now follow the orders Su Qin left behind. He must have his own arrangements. I trust him. Her eyes, resolute and sure. Zhang Lin Yu stood up. The rank of major on her shoulder was obviously not enough in front of a few generals, but she didn't know where the strength came from. At this moment, her aura didn't lose out to a few old men in the slightest. Now, everyone, start moving immediately. Follow the predetermined plan and cooperate with the group leader's action. I announce that the action begins. Zhang Weiguo was also stunned at this moment. This was the first time he had seen his grandniece being so determined in front of so many people. Normally, she only secretly made up her mind and then went on to take firm actions, and had always been of a high and cold nature. High and cold and leader. This itself was a contradictory image, and at this moment, Zhang Lingyu was clearly a leader. A leader who had taken up the role of the entire truth group in Su Qin's absence, and her personal temperament had changed greatly. Good. I announced that the command is all returned. Wang Zhang gave the final order. Begin. Soon, the entire Dragon Kingdom command acted. At this time, a pirate who was climbing the rope had already left the landing craft. He was climbing up the rope. Hurry up. The pirate supervisor urged from behind. Hurry up and climb up. Rumble dash in the distance. The sound of fighter planes skimming low over the ground was getting closer and closer, and it also created a tense atmosphere on the entire battlefield all of a sudden. Sure enough, the first pirate fell into the sea, but he wouldn't be dropped because he had a rope on his body over the landing craft. Bastard, what's going on? The pirate supervisor shouted angrily. The fighters on the other side have no effect on us at all. What are all afraid of? Hurry up and board the ship. We are safe now. These words were spoken with great determination. Indeed. It was indeed completely safe if one looked at the situation as it had been in the past. There was no way for the Dragon Country's military to cause harm to them. Yes, I'll do it. Ha ha ha, Kimura is such a coward. Soon, one by one, the bold pirates began to climb the ropes. On the ship, Lu Jun was grasping the rudder of the cargo ship. Brother Lu, the first mate's expression, at this time, was a bit panicked, but he was holding a fire axe in his hand at this time, and his face also carried some ferocity. No rush. Lu Jun's forehead was oozing sweat. Wait for the order. He unconditionally trusted the military. He believed that the military would give him the right orders. Sure enough, soon, the order came. I am the commanding officer of the military command. Now immediately right full rudder. Lu Jun immediately hit full. Right full rudder. Wow. The entire freighter, slowly moved its direction. This also caused the ropes to sway. Plop, plop, plop. Several pirates went into the water. Damn. Still want to run? How can that be? The pirate supervisor grinned. Maintain relative speed for me. Now get on board immediately. The steering of the freighter was not flexible. It was a trick that could only be used once. Five minutes at most. We'll be able to go up. Ha 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 ha. And at this time, at the edge of the sky, the silhouettes of the Dragon Kingdom's fighters had already appeared. It was six fighter jets, arrayed in formation. Dragon Kingdom's fighter jets? The pirate supervisor skimmed disdainfully with a smile. Too late. Ha 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 ha. I'll see what you can do with us. Chapter 083. This is just, well, carnage. Let me go on. I'm good at being afraid of ropes. A pirate cheerfully rushed up. Takeda, you must climb up. Once you're up there you mustn't be in a hurry to kill anyone. Occupy the deck first and wait for us to come aboard. Do you hear me? The pirate supervisor said seriously. Takeda was good at everything, and was also very tough. But there was only one thing, and that was too murderous. Every time he fought, he couldn't wait to kill more people. Don't worry, Takeda directly put his rifle behind his back, and then his hands directly grabbed the rope. Stiffly, he pulled upwards along the rope. Amazing arm strength. In a moment, he directly climbed to the halfway point of the ship and had a place to land. Ha 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 ha, I'm coming up. Damn, is there a woman? 
I want to play with a woman ha 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 ha. Rumble. Vaguely, the roar of the fighter jet was getting closer and closer. The pirate supervisor didn't care. Need to care? There was no need at all. It was just a fighter plane that couldn't do anything anyway. There was absolutely no need to worry about getting hurt or anything. This fighter plane couldn't do anything to his party anyway. It was completely fine to not worry about it. Steady. Touche. Ha 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 ha. We. Just as the pirate supervisor opened his mouth to laugh. Suddenly. Buzz. The sound of a noise came violently. That sound was quickly covered by a louder sound. Rumble dash six fighter jets directly roared past, carrying extreme sonic booms as they broke through the air. It was the same as the pirate supervisor's idea. Those six fighters didn't do anything. They didn't even throw down any bombs. Smoke bombs or gas bombs were not used. It was all as if they didn't exist. It was just gone. Those six fighter jets just walked away. Ha 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 ha. The pirate supervisor instantly rejoiced when he saw that everything was as he expected. Wastes. The Chinamen are all wastes. What's the difference between this and 80 years ago? Don't dare to fire. Don't dare to fire. Ha 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 ha. In a trance, he felt as if he had returned to those times. As if it was the glory days of being able to casually enter places where the Chinese army was stationed and start a war simply by virtue of fabricated missing soldiers and bombed railroad tracks. Lord. Supervisor. A pirate was at his side. His voice trembling a little. It was panic. Extreme fear. That brought about the trembling. What's wrong? How to be afraid into this way? The pirate supervisor first frowned, then raised his eyes. He heard the sound first. Buzz buzz buzz. The sound was like the sound of bees in flight. Only, the sound was a bit loud, especially after the six fighters were far away. The pirate supervisor looked in the direction of the sound, only to see six drones, which were a whole lot smaller than helicopters, hovering in midair. Ha! Huh? Drones? Or is this a helicopter? The pirate supervisor didn't react for a moment. However, the next moment, the hive unmanned supplies directly unfolded. A single drone directly sewed away. Yes, it was more appropriate to use sewed. Da day 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 day. Below the scout plane. Heck, there were machine guns hanging. At this moment, it was firing. Bullets quickly sprayed out. More than 10 drones fired at the same time. And suddenly the pirate's blood dyed the entire surface of the sea red. Sub. Bullets? Zhang Weigua was confused as he looked at the images sent back. In the previous display, it seemed like no guns existed. Aren't they all bombs? Zhang Lingyu smiled and said, This is Su Qin's follow-up to make improvements. Carrying small strike firearms equipped with 50 rounds of ammunition on the reconnaissance aircraft, capable of achieving a temporary fire delay. For the follow-up, to buy time. In the end, both Zhang Weigua and Wen Cheng Yuan knew exactly what this was buying time for. Boom! 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 The sound of explosions instantly resounded throughout the sea. With each explosion, a sea wave was lifted. That was, the hive bombers were conducting a cruise bombing. The hive bombers were paired with small equivalent explosives and artificial intelligence programs that were fully capable of accurate and differentiated bombardment after recognizing the enemy in us. Tool. It really is a muslin. It's a massacre. Boom. A landing craft. Was directly hit by the bomb. Instantly flames in the sky. In the ship has not yet had time to come down the pirates a time directly engulfed by the flames. Turned into a fireman. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm going to die. Help. Help. Mom. I want to go home. I want to go home ah. Uh. Death. Blooming like a flower. One bonobo's life. Just like that. Passed away. The pirate supervisor was standing on the only landing craft that still existed at the moment. Looking at everything in front of him with a dumbfounded gaze. How could this be? How could this be possible? What was that? A drone? Was it a drone that started the killing? Why are there drones in the ocean? How could this be? It just doesn't make sense. It's impossible. On the ocean, why would a drone appear? Why? This. This this is impossible. This is absolutely impossible. Fake. This is fake ha 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 ha. This is fake ah ah ah. This is fake. The pirate supervisor was dumbfounded as he said all of this, completely unable to believe it. Of course, there was no need for him to believe it. The next moment. A bomb fell with precision. Boom. He was instantly blown into mush. Not even enjoying the pain of the sparks, but rather getting a bargain. The preparation before the battle was long, but the battle was short. A complete victory. That was a complete victory. One by one, the pirates floated on the surface of the sea, sinking one after another. And some were already pissing their pants calling for help. 
hoping that this freighter could save them. In the sea, even if one knew how to swim, it was only a dead end. It wasn't a river either. Give the order to rescue. Wang Zhan stood in front of the command screen and spoke gruffly. It wasn't that it was intolerant of killing. It was necessary to keep the survivors. It was necessary to know who the forces behind them really were. And that was the most important thing about this operation. So keeping them alive was necessary now. Well, I'm ready to give the order now. Zhen Lin Yu was just about to send a naval ship over. Definitely not allowing the freighter to administer the rescue. In case it boarded the ship again it would be more than worth it. However, at this time, a man's voice came. Don't give aid. Su Qin's tone. Very calm. I already know who the power behind supporting this group of pirates is. These pirates. Let them die. Remember to make up for it. For the press conference later, I've already figured out how to speak. Our site actively launched rescue, but the tragedy is that none of the pirates who fell into the water survived. Su Qin's voice. It's cold. Chapter 084, Leave None Behind. All killed. Save. Help. Help. The pirates who still survived in the sea desperately called for help at this time. However, that freighter, however, had no intention of stopping. Help. We're prisoners now. We definitely won't resist. Help. Please. Save us. Stop the ship and save us. One by one. The pirates were calling for help. Some of them had their faces full of burns. Some of their arms were burned. And at the moment, being immersed in the salty seawater made them suffer immensely for a moment. Pain that tore through their bodies. Buzz. The freighter still maintained its original traveling direction, gradually moving away from the scene of this maritime disaster. As if nothing had happened. As if it didn't know. You kid. Hurry up and get out of the way. Lu Jun stood solemnly beside the rudder and said to the first mate. However, the first mate shook his head. Brother Lu, I know you want to save these pirates, but how can we? Then can we stand up to little Wang? Xiao Wang. Was the victim who was killed in the last robbery? Because Xiao Wang was not willing to hand over his hard-earned money that he had saved. He was killed by these pirates. It was a lively teenager. Just in his early twenties. No way. Lu Jun's tone was firm. We can't just walk away now. If the military wants us to save people, we have to cooperate. These pirates, if they are captured, then they give to deal with our intelligence is more useful than to die now. Lu Jun took out the temper of his usual big brother. For a time, the scene was deadlocked. The first mate was refusing. He didn't want to administer to this group of pirates. Absolutely did not want to. And just at this time, ZZZZ the communication sound rang out. Zhang Lin Yu's voice came out. This is the East Sea Group Army Command, calling Captain Lu Jun. Lu Jun immediately rushed forward and pushed the first mate away. In this situation, the first mate did not stop anymore. If it was really more helpful to the military, then it was inevitably impossible for him to stop it. He was just not willing to do so. Harm. The first mate sighed and waved his fist unwillingly. Hello, I'm Lu Jun. Is it necessary to administer aid to these pirates? We are preparing. Lu Jun immediately replied. Ready to reply to the official order. No matter what Zhang Lin Yu was going to say next, he would choose to cooperate. However, Zhang Lin Yu's words, however, made all the sailors present. Confused. Please avoid pirates from boarding the ship. If any pirates attempt to board the ship, they can fight back. Please do not give aid to any pirates. Zhang Lin Yu's words were cold and resolute. With these words, she decided more than a dozen lives. Those pirates. No need to save? Crazy. What the hell? How is this possible? Everyone was baffled. And the crew was outright dumbfounded. No. No need to save? Lu Jun's tone was stiff. Just. Watch them die? Zhang Lin Yu replied affirmatively. Yes. Just watch them die. After receiving the answer. Instantly. The entire cabin erupted in cheers. Ha 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 ha. Good. I thought I had to go and save these goddamned pirates. Great. I'm going to go out and watch them die. Long live. Long live the dragon military. Obviously. Everyone was happy. They run the ship. Naturally the pirates are abhorrent. Especially there is also the experience of the last time in. That is hate these pirates to be thwarted. Really. Really. Lu Jun also overjoyed. Ha ha ha. It's true. The first mate stood in front of the table. For a while his eyes fluttered, surprisingly. Surprisingly really do not need to administer help. Great. Great ha 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 Really great. Right. Zhang Lin you added. There is a pirate hanging out of your window below deck. Beware of him moving into the ship. Mom. Mom. How can this be? How can this happen? Takeda at this moment had completely collapsed. Buzz. Outside. A drone. Still hovering. How could these drones suddenly appear? Where did this come from? It must be a dream. It must be a dream. For a moment, Takeda couldn't believe what was happening. It was too fast. 
His own companions died too quickly. Fake. It must be a fake. However, as the salty sea breeze mixed with the smell of grilled meat floated in front of his nose, Takeda gradually accepted the reality and the tragedy of this time. Continue? No, it can't continue. With these drones, then it is inevitably impossible for me to continue. Then I, then I need now, to live, surrender, I'll say anything. Takeda ignited a hope for life. He knew that the Rococo side was kind to prisoners, which meant that as long as he didn't resist, then he wouldn't die. And he even had a chance to be repatriated after going to jail for a few years. Dun dun dun. Behind them, the sound of someone walking over. Me. I surrender. Takeda said in unskilled Rukoku. I surrender now. However, what Takeda waited for was not to be dragged into the cabin and tied up. Instead, it was a fire axe. Poof. The sound of a bang. Takeda's head. Opened a large mouth. Revealing its contents. His figure instantly went limp and then fell into the sea. Plop. In the sea. A large splash was stirred up. Blood instantly colored the water. Death. This was death. Da day day day. The hive scout continued to fire bullets, pouring them at the pirates who were struggling to float and survive in the sea. Poof poof poof. For a while, blood splattered everywhere. Five minutes later, at sea, dozens of floating corpses were left empty. Toshi Yamashita was eating when he got the news. President, something's wrong. Kobayashi Kuan is dead. They all lost their vital signs. The footage that was transmitted back to us we weren't able to see. What? Toshi Yamashita snapped to his feet. Clang. He angrily threw the ramen in his hand directly onto the ground. The steaming soup pouring out all over the place. How can this be? They should have already boarded the ship. How is this possible? Dang. Smith picked up his wine glass and clinked it with his female secretary. When His Excellency the President inquires, he can report for him. Smith stood up and looked out the window at the sea. At the moment, he was on the bridge of an aircraft carrier. He was aboard the Eagle's Pacific Fleet. And just as Smith was enjoying the quiet before victory, a soldier rushed in. Admiral, it's bad. Something's wrong. That group of pirates. Wiped out completely. Smith's expression froze violently. His expression stagnant. What? What? How is that possible? Chapter 085, Flying Your Own Fighter? You come for real? Buzz. The entire series 20 fighter was slowly landing. Rumble dash the sound of breaking air, gradually weakened. With the buffer of the runway, the entire fighter stopped. Not bad, Major Liang you have good skills. You can drive. Su Qin was at the back, praising. Colonel Liang was 27 or 18 years old. A little shy. Still, not bad. Su Qin looked at the front operating console. Some desire. j 20 ah. This was a fighter plane that only appeared in various news. This represented the latest scientific research results of the Dragon Country's fighter jets, as well as the most cutting-edge military industrial strength. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at driving. If I really know how to drive, then I also want to. Su Qin unabashedly revealed his desire. Men, like fighter jets what's wrong? If you know how to drive it, who wouldn't want to try it out? I'm sure I'd like to try it out. The powerful pushback feeling, the rotating speed, the sci-fi appearance, and, most importantly, Soar into the sky. Soaring through the sky at supersonic speeds. It's really cool. If only I could drive it myself. Su Qin hearts some regrets. This driving operation in the end they still do not know. However, instantly, ding dong, the host has successfully received teachings from Liang Changha, learning about the piloting method of the 20 series fighter. Unbelievable enlightenment has been automatically learned. Ding. Current level of piloting 20 series fighters. No. One in the world. When a large amount of memories of piloting techniques and muscles flooded into his mind. Su Qin. Confused. Su Qin. Completely dumbfounded. Nice guy. I'm just thinking. System. System brother. Too powerful. Su Qin slowly raised his head and looked at Major Liang. Major Liang ah. If I say that I want to fly this 20 series fighter, do I have to go through any formalities? Liang sex 20 series pilot. Major Liang awkwardly laughed. That. Team leader Su. You cannot joke. This is a real fighter. If also want to try the words, can go to the simulation cockpit to try. There are 20 series of 1 colon 1 cockpit. Su Qin smiled with a smile on his face. If I say I watched you operate and learned. And how should your excellency respond? Major Liang's expression was grave. This is a very big matter that must be reported to the top. If I say that my authority in the East Sea Group Army is second only to your General Wang War. Your excellency. And how should I respond? Su Qin looked at the operating dashboard. Revealing a longing. Fifteen minutes later, Su Qin was sitting in the cockpit of the Series 20 fighter, while Major Liang was sitting in the same position that Su Qin was sitting in just now with a dumbfounded look on his face. At the same time, 
A large number of logistics personnel were sitting in the final preparations before takeoff. Missile piggybacking complete. Fuel check complete. System check complete. Major Liang. The others, straight away, were dumbfounded. Don't worry, we have a full set of automatic cruise authority on our side, which has just been added, and we can disconnect team leader Su's operating authority at any time, so that we can use auto flight and make a landing. The leader's words appeared in Major Liang's headset. Major Liang's mind collapsed. This group leader Su, is clearly a major like himself, but this authority was too high. It's simply too high to be outrageous ah. Surprisingly, he can experience fighter jets without a license. This damn, permission is so high that it is outrageous ah, and it's still 20 series. Good, remember to, be sure to. Major Liang's words have not finished, still hidden in his heart. After all, now Su Qin is sitting in the driver's seat at, be sure to. Well, I know. That leader nodded and answered affirmatively. Don't worry, if there is something wrong, we will take measures even if. The next moment, snap, with a sound, Su Qin skillfully turned off the automatic cruise control system. Well, completely shut down, activating hand-operated combat mode, remote control system is turned off. Major Liang, ah, off, operating system, was shut down, was shut down ah, that leader just now. This, how did it appear? Obviously there's an anti-false touch barrier in place. How did Su Qin do it? This, this can't be possible. Buzz. Su Qin pushed the engine, and then a violent sound erupted. Rumble. Like an old pilot, Su Qin skillfully took off. Afterward, leaving a trail of exhaust behind, it headed directly towards the sky. Successful takeoff. Those crew members below. The leader who was just about to start the automatic flight. Major Liang on the airplane. What the hell ah hello? This Su team leader. Why is the operation more skillful than yourself ah? This is too outrageous ah hey. Simply. Too. Outrageous. Spectrum. It's. Of course. The most shot should not be this group of people. Rather. It was. Inside the command headquarters of the East Sea Group Army of the Dragon Kingdom. A group of people were incomparably happy at this moment. Report. The nearest naval ship has rushed to the scene and managed to salvage all the corpses. A total of 82 pirates. None of them have been spared. The report from the command room came over. Ha 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 ha. Su Qin did a fantastic job. Relief. Wang Zhan waved his fist fiercely. It was too relieving. Su Qin gave the order. But not a single one was left behind. This was just too much of a relief. Causing a wave of relief in everyone's hearts. It was too refreshing. It was really too refreshing. Zhang Weigua wore a smile on his face. All that was hidden in those eyes was pride. Ha 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 ha. So ah. Su Qin is justified in everything he does. Not only did he take it down, but he also wiped it out completely. So, high drone swarms can be dropped onto the battlefield by fighters ah. When Chang Yuan nodded, that's right, this is a function that was originally equipped. At this time, everyone was happy, including the other researchers of the truth team. There was an excitement in their eyes that they couldn't hide. This was a great victory. Knowing that there were no casualties at all in this aspect of the dragon country, the sovereignty and integrity of the motherland had been defended, protected the people. This was their original intention when they chose to forge swords for the country ah. It was indeed better to engage in research than to be directly involved in this kind of event. It's great. I'm so proud. Zhang Linyu also nodded. Well, Su Qin's plan. It is indeed very good. But where is he now? Why hasn't he returned yet? It should be about the same. Right? Wang Zhan was also a bit confused. Right ha. Huh? Where is Su Qin? Wait. I'll make a call to check. Soon. The person in charge of the East Sea Group armies know. Seven Airport received a call. The person in charge over there cried out. General Wang. Team leader Su Qin personally flew a Series 20 fighter into the sky. Now. It's already flown out of the country. Heading towards the sea. Wang Zhan. Zhang Weigui. Wen Chang Yuan. Zhang Linyu. Su Qin. Fly your own fighter jet? Ah. What the hell? Crazy. How is it possible? How is this possible? Chapter 086. The Best Fighter Pilot. Stagnation. Stagnation with the air. Everyone at the scene was dumbfounded. Whether it was the generals Zhang Weigua and Wang Zhan, or the commanders who were originally researchers at the scene, all of them were staring blankly. What? Ghosts? Su Qin. Isn't this a bit too outrageous? He is a scientist ah. He's a scientist. He should belong to the type of honest scientific research. Is to engage in the type of intellectual fight ah. Whether it is command or scientific research. That belongs to the category of brain. Which we can understand. After all, there are people really is a genius. The brain is flexible that the command of the battlefield have their own ideas and very correct. That is also normal. But, now, 
Su Qin really is driving a fighter jet, flying to the sky ah, this is outrageous, this is a great deal more outrageous, this was completely out of everyone's expectation ah, how is this, possible, who let him go up, who issued this order, Su Qin doesn't even have the training or documents to fly it, who let him fly a 20 series fighter, for a moment, Wang Zhan began to sputter angrily there, yes, he was furious, the anger wasn't that Su Qin had gone to pilot a 20 series fighter, but that Su Qin had once again risked his life, Right. Who let him go up there? Zhang Wei was said loudly, his tone full of blame. This kind of thing, without approval from our side. Who can give permission? Who has this authority? If something happens to Su Qin, who can take the responsibility? These few generals at this time, the object of blame was who let Su Qin go up. This was simply done to make the motherland damaged. For a time, the natural anger spewed out, and Zhang Lingyu, dumbfounded, said, that, General Wang, seems like, Su Qin's own authority right now, he is able to make the entire no. 7 airport conceal the news for him, and at the same time, he is also able to let him go and pilot a series 20 fighter. Wang Zhan, Zhang Weigui, Wen Chang Yuan, shit, it seems like it's still true. Su Qin's command level was very high right now. In his heart at the moment, Wang Zhan only felt incomparable regret. Damn, I shouldn't have given that kid such a big authority, he's really going to have an accident this time. Fuck. I remember didn't the 20 series fighter have an auto cruise system? Did you turn it on? A glimmer of hope flared up in Wang Zhan's heart and he hurriedly inquired. The expression of the person in charge of the airport was tinged with despair. General Wang. That's what I thought at first. The big thing is to turn on the auto cruise function. So that team leader Su can land early. Or can take over at any time if something goes wrong. And it won't lead to too serious of an accident. But, Team leader Su bypassed the three layers of anti-false touch buttons and managed to turn off the autocruise function of the 20 series fighters ah. It doesn't look like he hasn't touched a series 20 fighter at all. Zhang Weigui, Wang Zhan, Wen Chang Yuan, Zhang Lin Yu. Ha? Huh? Su Qin can turn off the takeover function on his own? What the hell? Due to the fear of a situation where the command headquarters would be taken over and then the wrong instructions would be issued, or even a forcible takeover of the fighters, series 20 still had the highest standard of pilot authority. But turning off the takeover function, that wasn't something that could be accomplished easily. Ha, huh? that's several steps of double confirmation, and there are no voice prompts for that process. That means, Su Qin, learned the Series 20 operating system ahead of time, and, as if, it's still familiar, and, the expression of the person in charge of airport no. 7 was filled with despair. Team leader Su, it's in the sky now, he does know how to fly a fighter jet, and his skills are still very good. It should be almost on your side now. Officers on the scene. Zhang Lin Yu. Rumble. Suddenly. A low, depressing sound suddenly appeared. It was, the roar of fighter jets. Alert. Air raid. Air defense equipment ready. At the first moment, the reaction of the defense forces stationed in the city was to feel that there was an enemy force coming to attack. So all of them moved at once. The scene, instantly, was incredibly tense. Soon, the alarm was lifted. It's a friendly fighter. Cancel targeting immediately. Cancel immediately. Then, there were cries of alarm. Crap. So handsome. Damn this is too handsome. Who brought a series 20 fighter over to perform acrobatics? Wang Zhan was stunned and immediately reacted. Jogging to the door. Let's go. Let's go out and take a look. Several people also reacted and followed to the door. Then, they heatedly realized exactly why the scene that happened caused the soldiers to exclaim in shock. Rumble. Only to see. A Series 20 fighter jet soared in the sky, with its sharp fuselage and agile trajectory, it was as if it was a swallow circling in the air, and one extremely difficult tactical maneuver was then accomplished. For example, the tail biting and ground sweeping maneuvers were even more easily accomplished. Cool. So damn handsome. Handsome to the point of making one's hair stand on end. For a while, everyone's eyes glowed. However, Zhang Lin Yu reacted. Is that Su Qin up there? That's Su Qin, right? At this time, the officers in the command center reacted. Holy shit. Right. If it was a professional 20 series fighter pilot performing the show, it would still make sense. After all, with a lot of training and professional teaching in place, this kind of maneuver, although it was difficult, could still be accomplished. But, this pilot, is Su Qin ah. It's a freshman student. Can this be his play? Crazy. How can it be? He's really good at martial arts. Isn't he? Damn it. You tell me this is Su Qin? Wang Zhan gritted his teeth and chased after the person in charge of airport no. 7. Ha, huh? yeah, the radar shows that it's team leader Su's fighter plane in your airspace. The person in charge was also confused. He couldn't see it. 
but only felt that the fighter was simply circling. There was no need to ask, right? Just tell me how many pilots on your side can do these maneuvers. Wang Zhan snorted coldly and sent the video over. Finally, the person in charge replied with a message. The message was as if it took a lot of effort to type it out. This operation, this operation, this operation on our side. No pilot can accomplish it. I can be sure, in the entire East Sea Group Army, there is no better pilot than the one inside the video. I'm sorry, General Wang. I must report this to Air Force Headquarters. Seeing this message, the Wang Zhan's heart inexplicably shuddered. Hmm, report? Why report? Chapter 087, showing you the real backstage. Wang Zhan didn't know why he had to report over to the Air Force Headquarters, and he was also too worried about Su Qin because he was too worried about Su Qin at this time and even his brain was a bit bad. Well, really didn't react. Because of today's slowness, General Wang Zhan regretted the entire rest of his life. After all, although he said that there was an air force attached to his group army, its supreme commander was not himself, and his authority was limited to cooperating in combat. If there is a large-scale air force operation above, such as long-distance bombing, these fighters are likely to be transferred. Of course, that was already a very extreme case. In short, Wang Zhan did not have the authority to stop the head of airport no. 7 from sending back messages to the Air Force headquarters during non-war time. At this moment, the Southern Air Force Theater Command. Dot day day. One by one, the soldiers were busy with their own affairs, looking very busy at the moment. However, compared to the East Sea Group Army, the Air Force side was much more relaxed and cozy. At least it was compared to the East Sea Group Army's side where there were real battles to be fought. The Air Force's side had all kinds of affairs that seemed more usual just everyday affairs, who who, in the center of the command headquarters, an old man was sitting there, holding a teacup and drinking tea, there are a bit too many department 20 outings today ah, what's going on over at the East Sea Group Army, have to send an official message over to ask, the old man didn't look closely, just skimmed over it, he could only see a departure frequency here, he didn't know anything else, this was to avoid information being leaked, so Meng Changkong hadn't realized the seriousness of the matter at this time, this tea is a bit bland. Change a cup. Meng Changkong stood up and prepared to make tea himself. And it was at this time. Jingling. A phone call that came in. Meng Changkong shivered. And even his water cup fell to the ground. Clang. With a sound. The teacup shattered. It wasn't that he didn't know the importance of doing things. Nor was he easily frightened. Rather. The call that came through. It was an emergency call. It was a cross-level contact call. The last time. This phone rang but there was a fighter jet that had its engine swapped, that was espionage, and it shook the entire dragon nation at that time, and this time, there must be something important again, General Meng, I have something urgent to report, the voice over there, was anxious, I hear, a good seed has been found, on my side is the 7th airfield of the Eastern Sea Group Army, eh, Meng Chankong was just stunned at his words, East Sea Group Army, the same group army that sent out the 20th system today, Meng Chankong here, was only in charge of a few group army fighters, so he also reacted immediately, knowing that the commander-in-chief of the East Sea Group Army was Wang Zhan, found a good seedling, you follow the normal process to report it upwards, Meng Chankong said somewhat breathlessly, anger, some anger, truly, the commander of this airport was also too unaware of the importance of the situation, the Air Force had a whole set of assessment and recommendation mechanisms, and that was completely unnecessary to use the process of reporting over the top, how could this be used indiscriminately? Meng Chankong already has negative feelings towards the leadership of this airport, and there will definitely be repercussions later on. Flimsy, not knowing what's important. This was Meng Chankong's evaluation of the other party, General Meng. But the other party is not within the Air Force system. It's the army? Meng Chankong was just stunned at his words. If it was from the army, then it was actually convenient to ask for it. One must know that it took hundreds of millions to train a qualified fighter pilot. If there was a good seedling, the cost could be halved, and an army soldier that was cheaper to train, which was why Air Force pilots generally serve longer than ordinary soldiers, a matter of cost. However, the other side continued to speak. No, it's not the army, it's the Army Research Institute. Meng Chong Kong. Ah, Research Institute. Crazy. What the hell? General Meng. I'm immediately sending you the video of the driving now. This is the first time he's ever driven a Series 20 fighter. And after my inquiries that's also the first time he's ever driven a fighter, or even a fighter. Meng Chankong was once again confused. First time piloting? Who told him to take the Series 20 for practice right off the bat? It couldn't be that bastard Wang War's own son, could it? Which enabled him to reach that point of strict authority? In short, 
Meng Chankong was completely confused at this time. There was no other reason, because it was true that he didn't know why this was happening. But five minutes later, Meng Chankong saw that video and stood up at the same time. Come on people. His expression was so excited that his hands were trembling slightly. Ha 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 ha. Come on people. Hurry. Hurry up and prepare the fighter jets. I want to fly to the East Sea Group immediately. Immediately. He was really overly excited and wanted to immediately rush to the relevant place. So much so that he even directly chose a fighter jet as a mode of transportation to be able to arrive earlier. The group of officers were also confused. What was the situation? How could the normally stable General Nang Chankong suddenly be like this? This was the first time he took a fighter jet as a mode of transportation, right? What the hell? For a while, the officers below were also a bit confused. However, very quickly, rumble, the fighter jet, took off. At the same time, Su Qin was piloting the fighter jet, officially crossing the coastline and successfully entering the sea. Major Liang was dumbfounded. Team leader Su, flying at sea and on land are completely different. The sea will have a lot of dazzling effects on the field of vision. Otherwise let's go back. Su Qin skillfully piloted the fighter plane. It's fine. There is not an altitude meter. Don't talk. Just watch honestly. Major Liang. He was completely confused. Su Qin was a bit too outrageous. So outrageous that he still feels like it's a dream alright. Zhang Weigua's voice came from the headset. Su Qin Su Qin. Where are you going? You're about to cross our country's waters. Where are you planning to go now? Report immediately. Su Qin yawned. Just preparing to go to the open sea. Don't panic. Zhang Weigua? Zhang Lin Yu, Wen Chang Yuan, going to the high seas? You're not thinking of taking a Series 20 fighter out and selling it to the enemy, are you? This is a bit too outrageous, ah. What do you want to do? Wang Zhang's voice, a little trembling. Su Qin grinned. Don't you guys want to know who is behind this? Then I'll let you all see. Just who has been helping that group of pirates? Rumble. Fiercely, the speed of Series 20 soared, and at this moment, in front, slowly appeared, an aircraft carrier fleet. A carrier fleet. Above it, flew the star-spangled banner of the eagles. Chapter 088, crap, Su Qin you're declaring war on the eagles? It really was the eagles army. Ninth carrier fleet. At this moment, the entire eagles ninth carrier fleet, completely neatly arranged in the sea area. Like, a dense swarm of bees unfolding. Cruisers, destroyers, and aircraft carriers. A rack of fighters are now arranged in front of the aircraft carriers, like a pair of open fangs, carrying a very intimidating power. Crouching, crouching, Wang Zhan looked at the screen, and for a moment, his eyes froze. His expression, at this time, was completely dumbfounded. Really, it really is, it really is the Eagle's Ninth Carrier Fleet. Deterrence, a huge deterrent. That was the tentacles left in the Pacific Ocean by the Eagle's Mammoth War Monster, which was clearly and unmistakably revealed in front of all the officers at this moment. For a moment, everyone's breath, stopped. War, this was the harbinger of war. Su Qin, this was actually really just charging towards the eagle, charged over hard, Zhang Weigui, Zhang Linyu, Wen Chang Yuan, ah, Wang Zhang's gaze was frozen, his mouth couldn't close for a moment, it wasn't due to joy, but true shock, Su Qin, you, what do you want, you, don't be impulsive ah, Wang Zhang was the first to react and immediately spoke out to stop him, even if, even if, don't say that we don't have evidence now, if even if there is evidence, then it's impossible to directly declare war ah, uh, aren't you just completely choosing to declare war? Su Qin, don't be impulsive ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. Wang Zhang's tone, immediately became anxious. Wen Cheng Yuan also spoke immediately. Right, Su Qin, you hurry back. That's the eagle's fleet ah, uh, that's the eagle's fleet. You can't risk your life. Zhang Weigua became anxious at this time. Su Qin, you hurry back ah, uh. if you enter the range of air defense, then now it's over. Your value to us is a hundred times more precious than even that 120 series fighter. Hurry back. Zhang Lin you also immediately persuaded. Su Qin. Su Qin. Su Qin. Hurry back. Su Qin. Zhang Lin Yu's tone was filled with worry. However, Su Qin's reply was simple. There's no rush. What's the rush? Don't you want evidence? I'll bring out the evidence for you now. Su Qin gave a strong wrench to the joystick. Subsequently, the entire fighter plane, heck, started to dive. Rumble, it was as if, was a precursor to dropping a torpedo, against the aircraft carrier. Su Qin, this is really a declaration of war. Zhang Weigua, Wang Zhan, crap, you fucking, Wen Chang Yuan, holy shit, you kid you're for real. Zhang Lin Yu, everyone, their eyes were horrified. Inside those eyes, there was complete and genuine horror. Shock, 
Long Wei was now facing the eagle. It was indeed not false. But, fighting is definitely the dragon country to suffer ah, this is not even have to say, is bound to be the dragon country to suffer. Now the dragon country's economy is flourishing. If really go to war, then is not it is obvious to stand in their own time to push to the old United States? Cannot go to war. Especially, Su Qin is now the tip of the nation's heart. The value can never be limited by money. War can be, but Su Qin can't have an accident. Crap. Su Qin, you, don't mess up. Everyone's gazes, at this moment, gradually fell into a stupor. Three minutes ago, on Smith's side, he was still in shock at this moment. How is it possible? Smith's expression was still a bit dumbfounded. How could this pair of pirates be wiped out? They could have already reached the location closest to that freighter. This is simply impossible. Even if the Dragon Kingdom had deployed its air force, it would have been completely impossible. Toshi Yamashita, over there, is also incredibly shocked at the moment. I, don't know either. According to the video news coming from the front is that the Dragon Kingdom fighters that appeared, airdropped a new type of weapon. It seems to be, a drone? The technical officer next to him immediately dismissed it. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. It's absolutely impossible for Dragon Kingdom's current drone level to do an airdrop using a fighter jet. Secondly, this kind of precision that is also completely impossible to achieve. So, impossible. It's simply impossible. Yamashita Jun's expression was a bit complicated. So, you think I would lie to you? This video. See for yourselves. The final video was quickly transmitted. Smith's eyes widened was really not able to see the very traces of the drone, only to see that the video shot was floating, and when it reacted, there was only the sound of buzzing, and the scene of floating in the sea, as well as the bursting landing craft. In short, there was just no shooting at all. How did you see this? Smith's tone, a little dull. That was an audio clip. The last thing our supervisor said before he died, and combined with the drone sounds from the scene, that would be a complete deduction. Toshi Yamashita began to explain. That's no way to make a judgment. Smith's tone was somewhat contemptuous. The technical officer, on the other hand, began to explain, in the current Rukoku, the biggest scientific research forces have already been put into researching optical stealth fighters. Therefore, it's simply impossible for them to make a breakthrough in the field of drones. It definitely can't be a drone. Just as Smith's side was still discussing with Toshi Yamashita, suddenly, a sound came faintly. Rumble dash of such a sound. Smith? Soon. A soldier rushed in. Police. Warning. Something's wrong. Now. Now there's a 20 series fighter approaching us fast. He. He's. Like. Getting ready to launch an attack on us. Smith. Colonel Blue. Other officers on the scene. Takeshita Toshi. Connected to the video? Ah. A fighter jet. Attacking towards us? Ha. Huh? What the hell? We're. We're a whole fleet of carriers. A whole fleet of carriers. A whole fleet of carriers. No less. And. This is the Series 20. This is the most powerful fighter in Rokoku. Bar none. In other words, there is absolutely no way this is a mistake. This is definitely an offense. For a while, the scene was a bit stagnant. Rumble. That 20 Series fighter. Posed to drop a torpedo. Smith hissed. Quickly. Activate anti-aircraft fire. Lock on to him. Hurry. Chapter 089. What's the interception for? Froze ah. This kind of thing is not something to joke about. Let alone now. Even a few decades ago, that one fighter's torpedo would most likely be able to sink an aircraft carrier. The only natural enemy of an aircraft carrier is the torpedo. This is a case in point. That's why the Japanese chose the Jade Helm Plan in the Middle and Late Pacific War. Using a single fighter to attack the old American fleet. That's just a gamble on the big one. Although the price of fighters itself is quite expensive. However, compared with the aircraft carrier, that again is not worth mentioning. See open things that the cheapest can be more expensive than the sky. Of course, the cost effective is higher, but the risk faced in times of war is likewise greater. Rumble that 20 series, representing the highest scientific research level of Dragon Country's fighter. At this moment, it was coming towards the Eagle's carrier in the position of dropping fish bombs, air defense sirens, resounding over the entire fleet. Quickly, Smith had broken his voice, and by this time was close to hissing. Immediately have the battleships in the other direction take up blocking positions. Definitely can't let his torpedo smash on the carrier's body. This was the most correct decision. However, in the end, the technical soldier gave the result of the simulation. Admiral, no, our formation is too loose. This is not a fighting formation at all. According to the model's calculations, if that fighter drops a torpedo, then we will have no battleships that can act as a shield. The technician's voice was tinged with panic. Slack. It really was slack. 
if the Dragon Kingdom had sent out, this time, several hundred fighters, then there would have been news before approaching the carriers, and would have been able to get the carrier fleet to make full preparations and set up an air defense formation to respond, then the casualties would be minimized without limit, if the news had been known one minute earlier, then the result would have been different, but now, the facts are just laid out here, all this, the wood has been turned into a boat, when that 120 series fighter dropped its torpedo, that was the moment when the entire carrier faced a crisis, let, the people in the maintenance group, get ready immediately, fix the carrier's planes immediately, fighter pilots get on board immediately, stand by to take off at the end of the torpedo bombardment, the rest of the fleet, immediately enter anti-aircraft defense, when the explosion is over, prepare for rescue immediately, rear admiral white, if unfortunately the flagship is destroyed, then it will be the new command of the pacific fleet, smith's tone, with bravado, as if the moment had reached its final moments, even as he had begun to organize his attire, beacon of liberty, hurrah, lighthouse, hooray, for a moment, there was something magnificent about the atmosphere, major general white's eyes were moist, but his expression was very firm, don't worry, admiral smith, i will bring the fleet well, the radar soldier then began to broadcast, warning, Enemy fighters will enter the range of the anti-aircraft guns in one minute's time. The enemy planes are now ready to drop their torpedoes but have not done so. Ha! Smith smiled and shook his head. A veteran indeed. It seems. That's right. Those who can fly 20 series fighters are bound to be the elite of the Rokoku Air Force. Surely they would have chosen to drop them at the closest distance. Dropping a torpedo at the closest distance was an operation that only veterans would do. After all, it was in the sea. And as long as the torpedo was once dropped then its trajectory would be able to be calculated. Therefore, the later it was dropped, then the greater the chance of a successful hit. At the same time, team leader Su, Major Liang had a firm expression at the moment. It's an honor to fight alongside you. At this moment, Major Liang no longer had the initial shock and stagnation. Instead, he had an expression of looking at death as if he was at home, as well as a full-blooded fervor. His patriotic fervor ignited at this moment. Him, he, was willing to sacrifice his life for his country. Su Qin was a bit confused, huh? What's with this immediately we're going to sacrifice look on your face? Major Liang, over there, the Dragon Nation Command Headquarters, was also reporting the news. In one minute, it will enter the firing range of the enemy air defense fire. This was Zhang Lin Yu's voice, and her voice was still tinged with trembling at the moment. She knew that. Once Su Qin entered the range of the carrier fleet's air defense fire, then what was about to come was an irreparable tragedy. Really, there is no way to undo. Behind Zhang Linyu, a group of generals had already begun to wipe their tears. Wiping tears in the true sense of the word. They all felt that this time Su Qin would definitely be sacrificed. Even Zhang Weiguo was still beating his chest there. Feeling that such a talented military industrial scientist shouldn't have died here. Blaming the doggone Wang Zhan for having to give military power or something. Wang Zhan has to bear a huge portion of the responsibility for this accident. Ah, I know. Su Qin nodded. So, How's the signal interception going on your side? For a moment, everyone was confused. Ah, signal? What signal? What the hell? Signal interception? Su Qin immediately mentally exploded. Holy shit, I'm not really coming to die. Now that I'm close, with this 20 series fighter as the base, you guys can analyze the enemy carrier's information. And the probability is that you'll be able to intercept and pirate side of the connection from the electromagnetic channel. Ah, isn't this the evidence you want? Hurry up and analyze it. I go, hurry ah, I'll bugger off and come back right away. For a while, the atmosphere of the scene, was somewhat frozen. Ah, aren't you going to go and use your own life to destroy one of the enemy carriers? Then, you now this immediately ready to turn back, and what is the meaning? Play it? Ah, but very quickly, Zhang Lin you reacted. Immediately have the technical department, start analyzing. We must intercept the other party's dialogue information as soon as possible. Hurry, nearly instantly. All of the technical soldiers, all of them moved, using the series 20 fighter piloted by Su Qin as the base point. They intercepted and analyzed the electromagnetic signals sent from the carrier. And Su Qin, of course, started in rubbing mode. On the eagle's side, Admiral, that fighter is turning. General, that fighter plane is circling around us. General, he's jammed right outside our air defense fire. Seeing this, Smith immediately gave the order. Have the fighters take off and repel. Activate air defense mode immediately to prevent the carrier from being destroyed. In an instant, the scene was in chaos, and the Dragon Kingdom command headquarters. Soon, a technical soldier stood up violently with an excited expression. Report. Got the message. It's done. 
successfully intercepted the message from the enemy carrier. Destination. The headquarters of the Umaniko Kaioiku Society. Chapter 090, The Truth, Bonobos and Eagles, Pirates True Culprit. The final destination of the signal, is the Kaioi Society of Japan. That technical soldier, at the moment, had some shock inside his tone, and his expression stiffened with it. Zhang Wei was face froze. For a moment, the atmosphere of the scene, at this time, completely froze in general. Damn, it's actually the small day of the dog day. Wang Zhan fiercely slammed his fist on the table. The group of scumbags from the Co-Prosperity Society, hiding behind the back to make underhanded moves. Fuck, the officers in the entire room were all in shock as well. This was a civilized society now. In the 21st century, how could there still be pirates that were condoned by the state? Japanese pirates. It really was a Japanese pirate. When Chung Yuan bared his teeth and said, what else can we say? We absolutely cannot tolerate it. Wang Zhan nodded. Well, but we can't make a decision on our own. We must report what we find upwards. The situation now was clear. Bonobos. These were the bonobos. The eagles and the Japanese pirates had joined forces to infest the shipping lanes of the Dragon Kingdom. And there were even lives lost. In a way, this has already been considered a declaration of war. So the military absolutely can't deal with it right now. It must report to the top. There are many things that the military can't decide. This matter has involved a great deal. If it's not good, then it's really going to the point of war. Yes, report it immediately now. Zhang Weigwa's expression was grave. Report. Report. On the bridge, a radar soldier rushed over. Admiral Smith, that Dragon Kingdom Series 20 fighter has been circling around us, hovering outside of our missile range, but just now he chose to pull back, and has now left. Smith's expression was, somewhat, dumbfounded. Ha, huh? he hadn't expected that the fighter jet had suddenly left. Didn't it play any voice? According to the Dragon Kingdom style, he was now hovering next to its waters. Then so that means that this fighter plane was able to make a voice repulsion. And because it was too close to the Dragon Kingdom's territorial waters, he would have retreated as well. In other words, the purpose of this fighter jet's arrival was not to drive away this fleet of its own. This purpose is not to drive away the fleet. Then, suddenly, Smith's expression immediately became stiff. I, hurry, hurry, disconnect from Toshi Yamashita. Immediately disconnect the connection with Jun Yamashita. Soon, the connection channel was disconnected. But, for all of this, it was already too late. In the sky, came the sound of a warplane. Buzz, the sound came from the sky. Su Chin piloted the fighter jet and slowly landed. Su Chin steadily descended from the fighter jet, looking valiant for a moment. And behind him, Major Liang also climbed down. Team Leader Su. Major Liang's eyes were filled with respect at the moment. Your driving level. It's really impressive. I think that if you join the Air Force, then you will definitely become an ace pilot. His tone was sincere. He truly admired Su Qin's learning ability. By the way, where did you go to learn the 20 series piloting skills? Even if you're not an official cadet of the Air Force, then you should have been an exchange cadet at one time. Perhaps we're still alumni who once crossed paths in a school. The leader of airport number 7 nodded along. Yeah, should have been an exchange student at an Air Force school. They all thought. Su Qin, surely, surely, surely had studied at one time, and was bound to be very familiar with the operating system of the 20th series. Su Qin was stunned. Ha, huh? it's still thanks to your good teaching. Su Qin patted Major Liang's shoulder. I can all learn from watching you operate. Isn't this just a glance? Major Liang, leader of airport no. 7. Ah, look, just by just looking, can you learn it? What the hell? How is that even possible? Outrageous. Just he me how outrageous. Su Qin got into the car that came to pick him up and headed in the direction of the group's military headquarters. Half an hour later. Salute. At the entrance position, several guards saluted Su Qin. Su Qin raised his hand to return the salute, and then walked into the command headquarters. You kid. Finally back. Wang Zhan went forward and patted Su Qin's shoulder. Ha 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 ha. You scared the eagle's side this time. Su Qin grinned. That naturally might still be a bit exciting. They could all see the reaction that the eagle carrier fleet made at that time. That was completely ready for the carriers to be destroyed. Su Qin directly found an insertion point that could destroy the carriers, which at that time sent the Eagle's fleet into a complete panic, allowing everyone to see that the Eagle Navy actually had a lot of broken bones. Zhang Weigua, on the other hand, nodded in relief. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Su Qin absolutely cannot be allowed to go out and risk his life again back there. If this runs out again, then risking his life will be more than worth it. When Chang Yuan also nodded along. That's right, clearly you can let the others go. What are you doing there? 
Su Qin scratched his head. That is actually just an itchy hand, wanting to fly a Series 20 fighter. Wen Chang Yuan, Zhang Weigua, Wang Zhan, Zhang Lin Yu trotted over and rushed over. In the next moment, she directly jumped into Su Qin's arms. Su Qin, you, how can you go risk your life like this? Do you know how worried I am? In the future, you're absolutely not allowed to go out and take risks again. Got it? Even though there was some complaining in her tone, Zhang Lin Yu's expression was completely filled with concern inside. Wow. Can't look ah can't look. Cough cough cough. Zhang Weigua coughed. Zhang Lin Yu's small face flushed and she hurriedly broke away from Su Qin's arms. Su Qin was skinless. What are you afraid of? Come on. Let's keep hugging. Virtuous Zhang Lin Yu stomped her foot and shyly ran back to her work position. Okay. Okay. Enough warmth then we can get straight to the point now. Wang Zhan's expression was incomparably heavy. Watch this video. This is the signal we intercepted. Su Qi nodded. Hmm. Play it. Soon. The picture appeared on the big screen. Once the screen opened, it was clearly the image of Jun Yamashita and Smith. The two were in a video conference as it were. Toshi Yamashita was incomparably furious. Why? Why were the Dragon Kingdom's fighters able to destroy all of our landing craft? Moreover, it now shows that there aren't any survivors. Smith's expression, too, was astonished. Our investigation will also take time. Right now we can only learn that everyone is dead. Whether we can investigate or not, we are not sure. Toshi Yamashita was devastated. We once shed blood and did everything to cut off the root of the Dragon Kingdom. Please Pacific Fleet, we must be avenged. Su Chi nodded. Hmm. The officers present, all smiled and nodded. Well, this kind of information is all there are. Then the matter now, could be clear. The Japanese Co-Prosperity Society, was a pirate group, and standing behind it, is the Eagle Pacific Fleet. Chapter 091, Want to Poach People? You come to my army to rob them. I'm going back to sleep. Su Qin yawned, still feeling a little dizzy for a while. Tired. Too tired. Every time one used the reverse gnosis skill, after one's mind was filled with knowledge and muscle memory, that inevitably followed with the emptiness of the brain, empty belonging to his. Fatigue would naturally follow. So, he already wanted to go back to his two-room apartment. Wanted to sleep well. Wang Zhan nodded, his eyes filled with excitement. Good. Su Qin, you've made a big achievement this time too. Hurry up and go back to rest. With this harvest, we'll be able to make some degree of changes to our strategy. This news, it's worth at least a hundred billion. When Cheng Yuan was also deeply impressed. Yes, Zhang Weigua patted Su Qin's shoulder. Good boy, it's worthy that I let you take a risk. You didn't let everyone down. This time it's another great achievement. This was indeed true. When it was understood that all of this was caused by the eagle, the dragon countryside would inevitably make adjustments to a certain extent. Whether it was in terms of roots, diplomacy, economy, or even the military, there would be adjustments as well. This was real and definite news. It was enough to make the Dragon Kingdom's military raise its vigilance and even raise its level of war readiness. Zhang Lin Yu held Su Qin's hand. Su Qin, you're really great this time. To reward you, I, I'll go back and order takeout for you. Several generals, good guy, thought you were going back to cook a good meal and treat yourself. It turned out to be ordering takeout? Zhang Weigua, on the other hand, his old face reddened, Su Qin, this niece of mine is good at everything, but it's just in the area of housework, cough cough, it's okay, her own salary is quite high, she can afford a nanny, this is true, Zhang Lin Yu's annual salary is four or five hundred thousand dollars, but also does not come with a variety of welfare benefits, she was a senior researcher, the kind with a centralized research institute establishment, now it looked like a mascot, but once she was out of the defense university, or even just out of the truth scientific research group, she would be a meat and potatoes person wherever she went, and this was an elite scientific research force, scientific research talent, Zhang Lin Yu reddened her face, oops, let's go, we'll go back first, Su Qi nodded and also prepared to leave, and at this time, bang, with a sound, a person violently rushed in, who, is it, who is called Su Qi, who called Su Qi, Meng Chang Kong directly rushed in with big strides, his eyes with a refined light, Su Qin was stunned and turned around. I am. What's wrong? Meng Chang Kong directly rushed over and held Su Qin's hand, his eyes filled with excitement and enthusiasm. Your name is Su Qin, right? Now from the Army Research Institute? Come, enter our Air Force. You'll be our ace pilot. I'll let you directly lead a 20 series fighter formation. Directly assume the position of Colonel. Meng Chang Kong was thrilled. However, upon hearing this, Zhang Weigua's expression violently stiffened. The next moment, 
Old thief, how dare you snatch someone from my army research institute? If you want to snatch Su Qin away, unless you step on my corpse, Zhang Weigwood directly popped out, his expression filled with anger within. Absolutely not. Wang Zhan also spoke directly. Su Qin must be from the army. He can only be from the army. Now, the one who was confused became Meng Changkong. Wang Zhuan, Zhang Weigua, Wen Chang Yuan, why are you all here? Meng Changkong held Su Qin's hand tightly in front of him, and it became these three old men with the rank of general that he was facing. So petty? Even if it's from the Military Industrial Research Institute, that's just spending a little more money on training is all. An ace pilot, that could be worth more than a billion dollars. It would even be worth an entire aircraft carrier. Don't be so petty, it'll go to my air force haha. <laughs> Meng Changkong hadn't realized the seriousness of the matter yet. He thought that this was just an ordinary dig. There was no other way, because this had indeed happened too many times. It was normal for the air force to dig in, as this could represent air control. In modern warfare, air control often meant everything. Air control, that was the key that both the navy and the army needed to attack. Therefore, Meng Changkong robbed people are used to rob. From the students in high school began to enter the school to recruit fighter pilots in advance. Two from the recruiting company inside the search for soldiers pointed. He didn't take it seriously now, thinking that these few old men were making a fuss. I'll take it away ha. Huh? Strive to turn all the files tonight. Meng Changkong pulled Su Qin to go. Old thief, I'll fight you. Zhang Weigui roared angrily. Afterward, he literally punched Meng Changkong in the stomach. Hiss. Meng Changkong took a step back in pain. Zhang Weigui, you kid in scientific research. Don't force me. Wang Zhang lunged forward. I'll see who dares to take Su Qin away today. He was born as my army's man and died as my army's soul. When Cheng Yuan spread his hands, you guys feel free? I'm a man of culture, so I won't get involved in the fight haha. <laughs> the surrounding officers, for a moment, froze. Help who? Help Zhang Weigua and Wang Zhan? Shit. The one standing opposite was the Air Force's lieutenant general. Help this lieutenant general across the street? That's not right. Who the hell would dare to help? Isn't that like asking for death? Thus, the command headquarters appeared shocking scene. Well, Two lieutenant generals and one major general were fighting there at the moment over the attribution of a major. This is the ace pilot of our future air force. Can you guys be generous? Fuck. He has to come with me today. Meng Chang Kong was enraged. There was no one that his air force couldn't take away. You fart. He's still a scientist worth hundreds of billions of dollars. I'll see who dares to take him away today. Zhang Weigua said angrily. For a while, the atmosphere of the scene was bizarre. I'm a lieutenant general. Get out of my way. Meng Chang Kong was ready to use his rank to press. Then I'm also a lieutenant general, and I definitely won't allow it. Wang Zhan locked Meng Chang Kong in a death grip. The three generals, fighting is one. Su Qin next to him. The, that. Otherwise, you guys will fight first? I withdraw first? I'll go back, and take a nap? After saying that, Su Qin brought Zhang Linyu and prepared to retreat. In the next moment, his mouth was covered to death by Zhang Weigua. Thus, he could only watch Su Qin leave the place unwillingly. It wasn't until half an hour later, after making sure Su Qin had left, that Wang Zhan released Meng Changkong. Meng Changkong's eyes were like murder. This Su Qin must be our. Wang Zhan spread his hands. You're thinking beautifully. If you're capable, you call out for someone to come and rob us. Come on, come to my army to grab it. My air defense firepower is fierce. Come and grab it. Chapter 092, Press Conference? Are you serious? You think I'm not afraid of you? Meng Chengkong's eyes widened and he lifted his sleeves. My air force's largest airfield is only 300 kilometers away from you. It can be there in half an hour. And how much stronger can your air defense firepower be to hit a bomber 8 or 9,000 meters high? You just let your air defenses be ready to try. Let's see if you can stop it. Wang Zhan snorted coldly. Then you let the fighter bombing formation come. Hurry up and come. It's been a long time since I've done an air defense exercise. This time it's just the right time for real combat as well as practice. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Hurry up. And Zhang Weigua, who was next to him, was also confused at this time. Ha, huh? obviously Su Qin was from his own army research institute. Why were these two arguing? Thus, the wise Zhang Weigua decisively flashed to the side. You two bickering is all. Then I won't bother ha ha. Just like that, the two lieutenant generals were bickering here at the moment. And from time to time, they were ready to make a move. And if they weren't stopped by the soldiers at the back, they might have really gotten into a fight. Of course, a mouthful of words was ultimately just that. A mouthful of words. The two could only take out their stances. After Meng Changkong realized that Wang Zhan this was really refusing to let go, he also realized the seriousness of the matter. This Su Qin, was that good? 
it is reasonable to say that the priority of the Air Force itself is the highest, which is determined by its important status, and generally speaking the person Meng Chankon looks at, regardless of which department, will end up reporting to the Air Force Department, which is close to the nail in the coffin. However, now, Wang Zhan unexpectedly did not allow it? This Su Qin, why don't you guys allow it? Meng Chankon said without any good humor, if we take it to our Air Force, it's at least an eagle carrier, at least one carrier can be knocked out. Wang Zhan revealed a disdainful expression, an aircraft carrier, just one carrier? He, 2A, come on, old Zhang, just tell us properly what level Su Qin's achievements are now, so that our general Meng can properly realize what it means to be outstandingly self-reliant. Zhang Weigua, who was eating melon next to him, true, he's really eating melon, I don't know who took a thermos box with an iced watermelon inside, Zhang Weigua, after realizing that there was nothing more to do with himself after these two had quarreled, he felt relieved to watch the show from the side with his melon, and this time, he was still a bit confused when he found out that he was called, eh, cough cough cough, Zhang Weigua placed a large piece of watermelon on one side while swallowing the flesh in his mouth, the results that Su Qin is currently showing are, First, develop the Truth Electromagnetic Cannon, which has now produced 500 doors, all of which have been installed, and there are 50, 000 more production plans being arranged. Second, Operational Command, successfully wiped out the pirates entrenched in Wolf's Tooth Bay, and figured out the mastermind forces behind it, pointing out the direction for us to respond. Third, developed a high drone swarm system and has been verified, will decisively gain low altitude air control. Fourth, an optical stealth fighter has been developed. Test aircraft are already in production, and the theory has been successfully verified. Fifth, Zhang Weigua's accomplishments of Su Qin could be described as a treasure trove. Indeed, Su Qin now can start out from here, from his defense university, in the final analysis is also his students. His own students have the strength, have a big achievement, that Zhang Weigua is not very on the heart? No he, the first thing you need to do is to get your hands on a new one, and you'll be able to do it. The proper face ah, for a time, the atmosphere of the scene, was somewhat frozen. Meng Chengkong's expression, was completely stiff. Ah, 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 serious? You this he meow serious? No, you're really not kidding? Really not a joke? Meng Chengkong confirmed several times in succession, completely disbelieving. Aha, uh -huh. Zheng Weigui nodded. Wang Zhan was very self-satisfied. Ha 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 ha, can we still lie to you? Such a talent. You're going to take it as an ace pilot? You have to line up even if you're dreaming. At the back, when Chang Yuan weakly opened his mouth, cough cough cough, General Meng, I can prove that the achievements made by Su Qin are all true, because I've been involved in the whole process for these several times nearly, and these scientific research results are highly confidential, and in general, if a general of your level doesn't ask, the top won't actively say it either of it. Meng Chang Kong, ah, really? These achievements are really on one person? Crazy. In this, but whenever an achievement if rested on a person's body, that person would inevitably like become a terrifying existence, which means that it would definitely be the recipient of a certain badge, belonging to the national key protection. The result, all of these achievements were made by one person? All of them were made by one person. How is this? This possible? Meng Chang Kong, who thought that he was probing, had his mind collapsed at this moment, compared to the lively atmosphere on this side. The helicopter Su Qin was sitting in was much quieter. Rumble, inside the entire cabin, one could only hear the sound of the propellers outside. This was not an armed helicopter, but a comfort helicopter for the VIPs, where the ride environment, noise, and other issues were controlled as much as possible, so that it wasn't so uncomfortable for people to sit on it. At least it was barely able to rest. Who? Su Qin leaned back in his chair, tethered to his seatbelt, and had begun to breathe evenly. Zhang Lin Yu just quietly looked at him, her eyes fluctuating. Whom? I don't know why, it always feels like, he seems to have an inexplicable attraction? For a while, her heart thumped as if it was a deer in headlights, her face, slowly, turned red, blushing, are we there yet? Su Qin woke up at the moment when the helicopter was descending, Zhang Lin Yu nodded, well, it's already here, let's go back now, good, soon, the car that picked them up drove straight over, and the two of them got into the car and started heading in the direction of the defense university, and at the back, one after another, the researchers of the truth research team also came back one by one, after all, they were to come back to work, defense university was the place where the research team was at, Su Qin, we've kept an undergraduate student over at the East Sea Group Army, let's use him as our commanding officer, so that we can command at any time, Zhang Lin Yu said, Su Qin spread his hands, 
I don't have a problem with that. Anyway, they can just come out when I need the troops. Bang! With a sound, Su Qin closed the door to his room. Right, his voice came from the room. Arrange a press conference for me, and get yourself ready to go up and speak as the press spokesperson. For the world. Zhang Lin Yu. Ah. New. Press conference? Ah. What the hell? Chapter 093, Let him let go of his hands. Zhang Lin Yu pondered outside the door on how to go about this. Su Qin? Zhang Lin Yu came outside the door and called out tentatively. In the end, the only thing that replied to her was Su Qin's continuous breathing. He fell asleep as soon as he went inside, and it was obvious that he was already in a very exhausted state. Ka! With a sound, the high cooled female researcher opened the door to her room. She looked at Su Qin, who was lying on the bed, as well as entering dreamland, and for a moment, her expression was complicated. Um, in the end, Zhang Lingyu obliterated her lips, gritted her teeth, and picked up her cell phone to make a call out. After making the call, she carefully entered the room and quietly looked at the sleeping Su Qin. Su Qin, why are you so powerful? Why are you all so powerful that you don't even need us to help a little bit? Could it be that you're really just an uncompromising genius? At first, Zhang Lin Yu's tone was that of jealousy and envy, but slowly, her tone, gradually became softer. Gentleness and lightness were synonymous with her at this moment. Su Qin, if you've always been a shining star hanging in the sky, then how should I be allowed to chase after it? I don't even have a direction to chase. Zhang Lin Yu took off her boots, revealing her crystal clear white jade feet. She removed her outerwear, leaving her shirt behind, and then also got under the covers. Who, at this moment, Su Qin didn't wake up. He slept very deeply and had already entered dreamland at this time, and generally speaking he wouldn't wake up if it wasn't any particularly loud noise. Zhang Lin Yu wasn't scared either, but looked at Su Qin timidly. This wasn't fear, this was shyness. She reached out her hand and poked Su Qin's face. Wow. This was the first time Zhang Lin Yu dared to be so bold to fiddle with Su Qin in her sleep. Before that she didn't dare to be so intimate. That is, she would just lie in Su Qin's arms. And she would think a lot before she could sleep. Su Qin. I'm a little worried now ah. Uh, if you fly higher and higher, will I still be able to hold you? The woman pressed her body. Into Su Qin's arms. She felt Su Qin's breathing. And then her own breathing slowly became lighter. Who? Zhang Lin Yu. Too fell asleep. The two of them were in a state that seemed very sweet at the moment. Su Qin, Su Qin, you let me help you. Will I help you? Zhang Lin Yu stammered, speaking in her sleep. And at this time, Su Qin's hand in his sleep also subconsciously reached over, placed on the soft ground that should not be placed. Of course at this moment he is also unaware of it. Two tired people, slowly fall asleep, greedily immersed into the sleep. Compared to the sweetness on this side, the one who was called was completely confused. Ha, when Yang Zizhong received the call, his small face turned white for a moment. Ha, ha, he was stupid. Not it, not it, this kid, Su Qin, is going to hold a press conference, and still at this time, Yang Zizhong was the one who received the news. He received the news from Wang Zhan at the first moment the battle ended. Of course it was about Su Qin's command and the successful annihilation of the bandits in Wolf's Tooth Bay. This was big news. This was definitely big international news that could attract the attention of various countries. Therefore, Yang Zizhong, as the person in charge of diplomacy, would naturally receive the news so that he could respond in time. But, when the situation now comes out, good guy, Su Qin wants to personally open a conference? How about playing? Isn't this a warlord? If a set of powers are given to him, wouldn't that make him a mini warlord with military, diplomatic, and scientific research powers? This shit is a big no-no. Damn. The situation now is to see me fulfill my promise. Yang Zizhong bared his teeth there for a moment. Fucking. Those old men can think well. Anyway, directly decentralize the power in hand to Su Qin. Now leave me this one to give or not to give or not. Yang Zizhong felt that he could not be difficult alone. So, he immediately made an emergency call right to Wang Zhan. Ha! Huh? Wang Zhan was also confused when he saw that it was Yang Zizhong who called. Dear Chief Yang, what kind of wind has blown you to the point where you can call me? This is simply rare. Worthy of being someone who had seen a lot of wind and rain, Wang Zhan immediately asked with a smile on his face, looking as if he really didn't know anything about it. He he, you guys should know, right? That Su Qin kid. This time he's preparing to open a press conference by himself. Yang Zizhong gritted his teeth and said. Wang Zhan revealed a shocked expression, looking very surprised. Really? Really? It can't be? That kid even wanted to personally go and speak himself? Good. Isn't that giving too much power? It looked as if Wang Zhan really didn't know anything. At the back, Zhang Weigua and Wen Chang Yuan both revealed expressions that they couldn't help but laugh. 
but they couldn't even hold it in at all. Really couldn't hold it in. Ha 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 ha. John Legua was the first one who didn't hold back and immediately laughed. That laughter was heartless. You few bad old men are truly detrimental. When Shan Yuan also couldn't hold back and laughed out. Well, it was indeed heartless. Who was Zhang Lingyu? That was Zhang Weigua's niece. Su Qin wants to do such a big thing. That is certainly the first first to say to Zhang Weigua ah. Su Qin strictly speaking led the Truth Scientific Research Group but belongs to Zhang Weigua management. In reason should first ask Zhang Weigua should not apply upward. As a result, these old boys obviously can directly contact Yang Zizhong, but also have to let Zhang Lingyu to contact themselves. It made him mentally apprehensive for a wave. A few of you. Yang Zizhong was so angry that his old face turned white. It only felt like he was really being viciously molested for a wave. Ha ha ha, that's it then. Wang Zhan also laughed. Now it's up to you. Whether you give Su Qin this power or not. Su Qin has military power now. I've already told you that, right? I gave him a battalion and a ship. And his real position should already be that of a regimental commander. Now it's up to your side. Whether you're willing to give him the right to speak as you promised before. For a while, the scene fell into silence. Yang Zizhong's expression was so grave that he didn't even realize that his hat had fallen off at some point. Give? Then Su Qin's power. That would be all-encompassing. Not give? Then this kind of genius. You don't use it properly. What are you waiting for? Genius. Is to let him shine. Is to give him a can give full play to the stage. In the end, Yang Zizhong nodded deeply. Good. Then let him drive. I've decided to allow Su Qin to be able to directly make diplomatic speeches without prior approval and reporting. Yang Zizhong's expression. Very grave. Chapter 094, it's over. I've really become a scumbag. This matter was simple. When the layer upon layer of orders were given over, everyone who handled it felt incomparably shocked. Because, this was too much for people to feel shocked. A 20-year-old young man was actually combining military power, scientific research power, and diplomatic power in one place. This was often something that was tabooed by all those in power. And this taking it out, that was directly lifting Su Qin to a point that many people had not reached since the beginning of time. In the dragon country, also never had such a person. Therefore, when this order was given, but anyone who knew about it, it was bound to be a shock. Su Qin was also going to start speaking to the outside world, truly, facing the globe to speak. Diplomatic speeches. Maybe Su Qin can really do something shocking this time. Yang Zizhong was slightly lost in thought, and his expression carried some unimaginable anticipation. He also wanted to know what Su Qin really wanted to do. I told you, this old boy will definitely agree. Wang Zhan raised his eyebrows and said smugly, Let's go. Both of you lost. The previously agreed upon treat for a drink. And don't ever think of reneging. Zhang Weigua laughed cheerfully. A treat is a treat. How much wine can you drink oh? I'll move a few big boxes of wine from my cellar for you. You'll just be in the office. Drinking slowly. Wang Zhan, say drink hard to drink. Right? You mustn't find a restaurant to treat yourself to a rubdown? Ha? Huh? So playful, huh? When Shang Yuan was in exhaustion and laughed, then I'll treat you to a meal and old Zhang will treat you to a drink. Wang Zhan, shouldn't it be one person buying a meal? Over here, there was already a discussion about drinking. And over there, Yang Zizhong, confused. You few old guys, betting on my response, right? Playing around like that? No way. I'll drink this drink too. I'm coming now. In contrast to the warmth on this side, Su Qin's side was much quieter. The two of them just embraced each other and slept. No, not quite accurate. It should be that Zhang Lin was leaning into Su Qin's arms and then so kept sleeping. In Su Qin's dream, he only felt that there was an ethereal scent drilling into his nose, but he didn't know exactly what it was. How do I feel? Something in my arms? It's the same as holding a doll. He was in his sleep, and he couldn't distinguish it very clearly. After all, his consciousness was all unconscious. It must be a dream. Since it was a dream, then Su Qin didn't want to reserve anything anymore. He directly stretched out his leg and placed it on the body of the beautiful person in his arms. Clamped. It was the same as clamping the quilt to sleep. It was very comfortable. Soft. This was the last thing Su Qin realized. And then came that drowsy sleep. Night. Slowly descending. In a beautiful dream it was as if time had pressed the accelerator button. Passing very quickly. When Su Qin got up with a yawn, he suddenly felt that something was wrong. Um. What am I holding in my hand? He hadn't opened his eyes yet, but he could sense a soft touch. Try squeezing it? Hmm, how come it's indeed round? Ah, Zhang Lin you immediately blushed red, then climbed up. What are you? You doing? She broke free from Su Qin's arms and hurriedly ran to the side, her face full of blush. The whole person was completely in a state of shyness. Su Qin, ha, huh? for a moment, it was like a thunderclap. Crap, 
Finished. What have I done? Su Qin looked at Zhang Lingyu, who was already completely shy, and secretly said that it was not good. Cough cough cough. That, if I say, this is an illusion, do you believe it? Well, this is an illusion. Zhang Lingyu sniffed. Shy and angry, you big rascal. You even don't want to admit it. What hallucination? Isn't that what you big rascal doesn't want to admit? I really have seen through you. Poof. Su Qin. Don't worry. I'll be responsible for you. He grinned. Since I accidentally rubbed it, I'll treat you to the same as compensation. Rabbit meat or not? What kind of rabbit meat do you want to eat? How about the sour soup one? Or the spicy rabbit head kind? What you eat makes up for what you have. Zhang Lin Yu. You 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 you. The high cooled beauty was completely infuriated at this time, even shivering a little when she spoke. You 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 you. You big rascal. Hooligan ah. Su Qin wasn't polite either, and directly took Zhang Lin Yu into his arms. What's wrong with being a hooligan? Didn't you come to kiss me before? Just allow you to take advantage of me. Can't let me take advantage of you? Zhang Lin Yu. Her face was already red, as if it was going to seep out of her blood. It was called shyness, and she looked very shy and cute as a whole. Su Qin, on the other hand, was nonchalant. Boo. With a sound, Zhang Lin Yu's small mouth was kissed. She lowered her head for a moment, not daring to look at Su Qin. As for Su Qin over there, he was comfortably lying on the bed again. This dream can be quite good and the sense of touch is too real. Next time it would be good if I can still have this dream again. The sleepy-eyed Su Qin just lay on the bed, ready to switch dream worlds. HMHMM in his ears. There is still the voice of Zhang Lingyu in her shyness. Su Qin. Holy shit. Ah. What the hell? He. Directly confused. This. This is not a dream. This is not a rip. The reason why Su Qin was able to let go so openly, appearing exactly like a hooligan, was because he hadn't even woken up yet at all so he felt that this was a dream, and did this kind of thing while half asleep and half awake. The behavior that had just been displayed was not at all like Su Qin's usual style. As a result, he was now completely awake. Ha! Huh? Not a dream, not a dream. Su Qin, Zhang Lin Yu blushed and lowered her head. Still, still want to kiss? Su Qin, cough cough cough. Su Qin coughed. If I say that everything that just happened was an illusion, do you believe it? Zhang Lin Yu, Zhang Lin Yu, you. You big rascal. Stinking hooligan. I'll never care about you again. The next moment, Zhang Lin Yu put on her clothes and walked out of the bedroom with a puff of anger. Su Qin. It's over. This time it's really his own initiative to tease. It's all said not to marry he teased. This time, it seems to be to marry ah. But what about you Yu Zhu? His brain for a time is pulp. At this time some dog face confused. This time, it really became a scum ah. Su Qin put on his clothes and got up. Then he saw something in the kitchen. That was, a sumptuous takeout, which was placed inside the microwave at this time. Ding for two minutes before you eat do. It was a note left by Zhang Lingyu. Thump. Su Qin only felt. Finished. Wanting to marry. Chapter 095, Yu Yuzhu, Virtuous Wife and Good Mother. Su Qin was also a bit moved at this time. The small heart. That is a hard wave of beating. Really. Very on the head. This kind of outside cold inside hot goddess who can top off, in a word, simply can not top. Who? Su Qin slowly calmed herself, and then, as if in compliance, opened the microwave. Ding! The sound of the microwave oven hit the right spot, and a fragrance of rice drifted over in a ghostly manner. Nice. Smells good. He didn't know what it was, but anyway, he just dinged it according to Zhang Lin Yu's instructions, so he could just eat it at this time. And just as he was about to turn on the microwave, knock knock knock, the sound of someone knocking on the door. Su Qin was just about to go up and open the door. Then, Ka, the sound came. Someone, with a key, had come in. Then there were only two possibilities. The first one was of course Zhang Linyu, who had the key to her own room on her side from the very beginning. And the second, that would be Yu Yuzhu who had taken the initiative to give the key herself. Su Qin, are you there? Yu Yuzhu poked in while opening the door. Su Qin didn't dare to reveal the dishes inside the microwave this time, and directly tore off the note along with it and put it in the takeout inside the microwave. Yu Yuzhu is here. This absolutely cannot be seen ah. If it's really seen then, isn't that the legendary Shura? This is clearly the real Shura yard ah. If you ask, you'll have to lie. Su Qin but will not lie at will. If lie then it really is to prove their own personality is different. Now their own and the relationship can be a little active behavior or not. Then he himself wasn't considered a scumbag, right? Ah, I'm in. Su Qin hurriedly walked out from the kitchen. I knew that you came back today, so I hurriedly bought vegetables. Yu Yuzhu said with a smile, Yu Yuzhu, who was going to be 1 meter 6, 
was wearing a halter dress and looked very pure. However, her figure was still revealing, and with her small family face, she was clearly a stunningly beautiful and exquisite young girl, standing in front of Su Qin at the moment with endless charm. She didn't wear a military uniform for months like Zhang Lin Yu did, but wore the dress she brought with her. The slightly exposed white calves carried a point of throbbing that made people swallow their saliva. Know that I am back today. Su Qin's brain, at this time a little confused. Wait, how did you usually you know that I came back today? No ah, uh, she shouldn't know that ah. Uh? Su Qin's mind was filled with doubts. Su Qin ah, uh, come over here okay. Yu Yuzhu pampered herself and stood at the door. Su Qin was stunned. What for? You come over first. Yu Yuzhu's tone was soft and sticky, just like when the two were in high school. Su Qin did not know what to do, but subconsciously still came over. The next moment, a pair of soft lips, sent up, tightly printed on Su Qin's lips. Su Qin, gulp, stimulating, a little too stimulating. Just now, if that wasn't a dream, then had he or she just warmed up with Zhang Linyu? And now, Yu Yuzhu had clearly sent out her lips. To be reasonable, the dish that was sent to the door was not eaten for nothing. Su Qin Yu was feasting on it. Of course, it was limited to lips only. M. Yu Yuzhu's little face blushed and colored with a reddish hue. All right, all right. I'm going to cook for you first. If you want a kiss, then I'll give it to you later. I'll make you the new dish I recently researched. Microwave baked fish. Su Qin. Microwave oven. At that moment, Su Qin's heart directly thumped. It's over. Inside the microwave, the takeout and note that Zhang Lin Yu had ordered for herself would now be discovered by Yu Yuzhu. Ha! Huh? That. Grilled fish made in a microwave. Will it not be good? Su Qin revealed a slightly embarrassed smile and asked tentatively. It wasn't really a lie. Well, it wasn't really a lie. Yu Yuzhu thought seriously. Well, it seems like it's really like this hey. I see that all the cooking shared is because I'm too busy to make a real grilled fish. Then I'll make you real grilled fish. I will. Soon. Yu Yuzhu was busy in the kitchen. Z Z Z Z. She started frying the seasonings. Only. Inside this process. Even though she had already made a cough 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 coughing sound. Su Qin was still standing inside the kitchen. Without the slightest intention of walking out. Su Qin. You work too hard. Yu Yuzhu stretched out her slender finger and pointed it on Su Qin's head. Go out and rest. I'll do it. I promise I'll make it delicious. Just like me. Yu Yuzhu was very confident. Wearing an apron. She looked very virtuous at this time. Su Qin. Of course he is not to help to stay in the kitchen. Of course. In order to always be ready to save the scene ah. The microwave can be in the kitchen. If you use you want to use the microwave then. If you use you wants to use the microwave. Then it will be exposed. Su Qin smiled. That. I'll help you kill the fish. Right? You use you blinked. Do you? Still know how to kill fish? Su Qin hesitated for a while. Then. Try it. Only Su Qin picked up the knife. Five minutes later, Su Qin all over the body by that messy fish to all over the body to get water stains. Not only so, but also the hole has a fishy odor. Just kidding, Su Qin's cooking skills, that can be nearly equal to zero. This is also very normal, not only because he is a boy, but also because he reads when the results are also good. In the family that is completely do not have to move housework, the family reads a powerful school bully cannot wait to be treated as a county master to spoil it. So at this moment Su Qin, looks very woeful. Ha 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 ha. Yu Yuzhu laughed her head off. Come, let me do it. She took the knife in Su Qin's hand. Bang, with a sound. She used the back of the knife to skillfully and ruthlessly smash the fish's head a few times. This time, the fish didn't move. To kill a fish ah, at the very beginning, you should make a few hard blows towards its head. Yu Yuzhu looked very skillful. Then, scraping the fish scales and removing the internal organs in one set of rows. The whole process took less than five minutes. All right, you go out. Yu Yuzhu pushed Su Qin. Su Qin said seriously, I can't bear the thought of you being busy alone in the kitchen, so I want to come and help you. Yu Yuzhu smiled. Her smile was beautiful. Good. Then why don't you just be complicated and watch me from the side? Okay? Su Qin took a deep breath. Just what I want ah. Su Qin, you're not hiding a girl inside the kitchen, are you? So afraid of me finding out? Su Qin. Chapter 096, Opening the Lunch. It's over. Su Qin's heart just thumped. Crap. This is really finished. It's really been discovered. Su Qin, asking you, are you hiding a other girl in your room? That's why you're afraid I'll find out? Yu Yuzhu said seriously, while her cooking hand kept moving. Bear 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 bear, the roasted fish ingredients were poured into the pot, giving off a rice-scented scent that made one's stomach turn. Su Qin was completely numb at that moment. He himself casually coped while outside, facing the lieutenant general that could be similar to facing an ordinary person. 
As a result, now in the face of Yu Yuju's inquiry, unexpectedly, panic would also appear in his heart. Lying? If one's own lie, casually can cope with the past, out of trust Yu Yuju is certainly will not have suspicion. But, that would go against Su Qin's own personality. Really, he definitely didn't want to talk like that. That was something he never wanted to do. He didn't want to lie to Yuju, it went against his personality and made him feel that his character would be in question, which also made him also look very disgusting. So, Su Qin took a deep breath. He seriously looked at Yu Yuju's good looking, cute side face. Yeah, I really hit a girl in this room of mine. Just last night, she was still sleeping with me. Me, showdown. I really am scum. I'm showing my cards. When Su Qin said this, he was already prepared to deal with the cultivation ground. He was already prepared to answer truthfully no matter what Yu Yuju asked. He could not go against his own personality no matter what. Ha ha ha. Yu Yuju covered her mouth and laughed lightly. You this mouth. In addition to kiss me when slippery. Usually also well. Su Qin. I really wasn't joking ah. However, since Yu Yuju misunderstood, it wasn't his own problem. Anyway, one has questions and answers. I didn't hide it ah. This is something you didn't ask yourselves. Su Qin touched Yu Yuju's little head just smiling without any fluctuation. Gulyolu, the roasted fish bubbled and gave off an exclusive aroma. Delicious, very delicious. Yu Yuju had rummaged out an induction cooker from somewhere, so the two of them roasted the fish for heating while eating. There was beer inside the refrigerator, and the two of them had a good meal for a while. Delicious. Su Qin gave a positive evaluation. It feels much better than those grilled fish inside many stores in Sichuan and Chongqing. Your level of cooking simply makes one's stomach cup dead hook ah. Yu Yuju, on the other hand, was embarrassed and lowered her head. Su Qin, that, that, do you like to eat? Su Qin nodded, well, especially like, your handicraft put aside who who can not like ah. Su Qin this is to say the truth. You use you this cooking level is simply absolute. Anyway, then Su Qin's mom at least to be good on one or two grades it. That, you use you blushed, with a hand can't stop pulling his own corner, looks very tangled. Su Qin, I'll sit and eat for you for the rest of my life, can I? Whatever you want to eat, I'll make it for you in the future. Do it for the rest of your life. Su Qin. Su Qin. It was as if an arrow had shot into Su Qin's heart. Something seemed to loosen in Su's heart. Heartbeat. Too heartwarming. Who wouldn't be moved by this? At this time, Su Qin completely discovered his scum quality. It's over. He likes both of them. What should I do? Wait online. Urgent. I just like two girls at the same time. It shouldn't be considered a big crime. Right? Okay. Su Qin hesitated for a while and finally nodded deeply. Pipe the fuck. The ship will naturally straighten out when it reaches the bridge. What's the big deal? Can't you build a country for yourself and enact a law specifically for yourself that allows the head to marry two wives? Can't we open a back door? I've shed blood for my country. I've shed tears for my country. Aha. That's it. Hurry up and eat. Yu Yuju lowered her head and gave Su Qin a large piece of fish. Aha. Su Qin savored the fish in large chunks. This was a typical Sichuan and Chongqing practice. The spicy flavor infused into the mouth. The richness of the flavors that filled the mouth for a time made Su Qin feel incomparably happy. This was the true taste of his hometown. Very and his appetite. After eating, Su Qin was about to leave. Yu Yu Zhu, on the other hand, was going to stay for a while longer. She was going to finish washing the dishes first before she left. Be careful out there Yu Yu Zhu was a bit shy. Then said weakly, that, I'll spend the night, waiting for you to come back. You go quickly. Su Qin nodded, aha. Suddenly there is a kind of, there is a wife at home waiting for their own off work vestigial feeling is what is going on. This he meow has a little bit of comfort in the heart ah. Finished, this fatal emotion. Su Qin went downstairs and got into the car waiting for him. He was going to go and do a big thing. That is naturally, carry out diplomatic speeches. And the place where the diplomatic speech is set up, naturally, is the Truth Scientific Research Office, only to specialize in even an area that is used to speak. And the diplomatic spokesperson was Zhang Lin Yu. Go. Su Qin beckoned, signaling that the driver could depart. Okay. The driver nodded. Soon, Su Qin arrived at the Truth Research Team's office. This was the first time he had come here. In the previous times he was either studying or doing all sorts of scientific research. He was usually busy. And now this was really the first time he had arrived at the scientific research office that belonged to his own management. Said is the office. In fact more is a whole building. The floor is not high. Five floors only enabled one of the floor. A total of more than 20 researchers were members of the group. And now the main scientific research activity was to maintain and answer questions on those three items Su Qin had taken out earlier. 
Have you eaten? Zhang Lingyu walked out from inside to receive it and asked. Aha. Su Qi nodded. Did you heat up the takeout I left for you in the microwave and eat it? Right? Zhang Lingyu smiled sweetly and asked. Su Qi. Um. He nodded shamelessly. It couldn't be helped. He hadn't even warmed himself up. So what was this talk of eating? For a while, Su Qin only felt his scalp go numb. However, he took a deep breath. It's fine. It's simply fine. We have thick skin. Let's go. It's almost time to start. Su Qin's expression was serious. Aha. Zhang Linyu enthusiastically pulled Su Qin's hand. As the soft jade entered his hand, Su Qin only felt a surge of heartbeat. Finished. I've really become a scumbag. Yu Yuzhu's breath on his hand hadn't faded yet. In the end, he took a deep breath. Phew. Su Qin pulled himself back slowly. Okay, get ready to start. I'll now write the script in response to this action. Chapter 097, Statement on our country's self-defense counterattack to annihilate the pirates. Zhang Lin Yu. Other people in the office. Ah, are you really serious about this? Crazy. Writing a manuscript now? Playing with it. Zhang Lin Yu was also there for a while, and started to froze. And at this time, the few old men who were peering at the screen were also in a daze. Yang Zizhong looked completely unconvinced, his gaze tinged with dumbfoundedness, just now Su Qin was really saying, that he wants to, he is going to start writing the manuscript now, he didn't prepare it in advance, no, Yang Zizhong even preferred to believe that his ears had misheard him, Zhang Wei was scratched his head, it seems, really like this, next to Wang Zhan was laughing, ha 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 ha, Su Qin this kid is really confident ah, not to say not to take the diplomatic speech to minister Yang you see, now even more ready to now write the script on the spot. This is afraid are not even on the heart oh. Yang Zizhong. No way. His face sank. I think, diplomatic speech or can't just hand over to Su Qin. For the time being, must first let him throw out the manuscript in advance to me to review before saying. After all, is really a matter of great importance. Yang Zizhong's words, set in place. Yes, Su Qin now. As if he felt that these things were very simple. And even completely didn't care anymore not even willing to spend more time to prepare, didn't even prepare a draft. This was completely something that Yang Zizhong had no way of imagining, because for him diplomacy and speeches were everything in his working life and his ultimate mission. So, at this moment, he was a little uneasy. Wang Zhan, on the other hand, was cheerful, old Yang Ah, your pattern is small. Which time did Su Qin he prepare in advance? When he does things, doesn't he just look at it? On this aspect of your diplomacy, I'm afraid I simply read the spring and autumn and warring states should be able to operate ooh. You, Yang Zizhong glared angrily. Humph. Anyway, I think it's still not possible to just give him the right to speak just like that. I'm not comfortable with it. His tone, gradually became serious and serious. His eyes gradually became sharp. Maybe you give him the military power. That can create a stir maybe military district level. Maybe military friction. But if he issued a diplomatic statement at the provincial level, then the entire country would have to follow his statement. Zhang Weiguan nodded alone. He also understood the stakes involved, so he didn't have a brain to persuade at this time. Although Zhang Weiguan hoped that Su Qin could have more and more power, could go higher and higher, and could become the most shining planet, he also had to take into account the consequences that would be caused to the country. The risk was really too big, so big that for a time even he did not have the means to take it on. Wang Zhan patted Yang Zizhong's shoulder. It's fine. After all, this aspect of diplomatic speeches is indeed too important. If that kid Su Qin declared war on behalf of the Truth Scientific Research Group against the Little Day, then I'm afraid that several of our military districts will have to follow along and prepare for war. That kid, indeed a bit rampant. This tone of Wang Zhan's voice originally sounded like he was on Yang Zizhong's side. However, inside a paragraph, often the front is padding, the back of that but is the most important ingredient. And as expected, Wang Zhan's but was thrown out. But, Wang Zhan's tone, Interested. Before Su Qin has shown maturity in diplomacy, and also successfully induced the eagle to invest 10 billion knives in the wrong direction. Then if this time, directly delegate the power to Su Qin. What on earth can he do? Will he, be able to give us a hard kick on the gas in the time period when our country is now bending the road to overtake? Even if it's not the right time to step on the gas, but it's just as able to bring us a huge amount of kinetic energy. In the end, we will also be able to overtake the eagles. Wang Zhan's meaning was obvious. Delegating power to Su Qin might bring unexpected surprises. Zhang Weigua also nodded deeply. I didn't believe in Su Qin before, but he proved to me with his own strength that he is indeed a heavenly genius. Perhaps the days to come are long. But, the window period of a genius is not always constant. Zhang Weigua's tone, fluttering, as if he was persuading, 
but as if he was talking to himself in the slightest. Yang Zizhong hesitated. Who? He exhaled deeply. His mood, at the moment, was very tangled. Decentralize? He was worried that it would cause the entire Dragon Kingdom to fall into a crisis. Not releasing power? He was unwilling to do so. Su Qin has been behaving in a way that can only be described by the word demon. If the revitalization process is delayed because of his own insecurity, then he is the sinner of the country. In the end, Yang Zizhong made a decision. Good. Then I'll listen to you guys. From now on, the Truth Scientific Research Group has independent diplomatic speaking qualifications and does not need to be vetted in advance by their superiors. Wang Zhan's words changed. HM, what do you mean listen to us? What did we say? Zhang Weigua also smiled. Yes, did I say anything too? Yang Zizhong. For a moment, he looked at the two bad old men. You too. Count yourselves ruthless. However, it's better to let Su Qin let go. I'll take the blame if something goes wrong. Of course, and this side of the ups and downs of the mood is very different. In the truth scientific research group is only shocked at the mood in. There was no way that anyone present could refuse. They were all Su Qin's subordinates. And no matter what orders Su Qin gave, then they could only go and answer. I, Zhang Lingyu hesitated for a while, but finally made up her mind. I'll support you. Now hurry up and go right. Everyone, start preparing. We now have the right to speak diplomatically without vetting. The press conference will start soon. The press conference will be conducted as it should be. Yes, all the staff members, one after another, stood and saluted. Soon, they were put into their busy work. Su Qin, who was writing the script, was yawning at this time. He then shallowly wrote 200 words. Zhang Lin Yu looked at these 200 words and was a bit confused. Su Qin, is just this much? The speech must be at least a thousand, right? Su Qin spread his hands. If that's all it is, what's the point of gathering reporters? That's all. After you go up and read it, let the interested reporters ask. I'll type out the answers for you on the screen. Zhang Lin Yu nodded. Okay, then I'll take a look at the manuscript. The moment she saw the text on the manuscript, her expression, completely dumbfounded. Name of the article, Speech on Our Country's Self-Defense Counterattack to Annihilate the Pirates. Zhang Lin Yu. Chapter 098, You Come for Real? Zhang Lin Yu. Confused. Although she didn't quite understand these wordings of diplomatic speeches, but are you sure this title isn't a bit too aggressive? This is completely putting I. Rabbit, wipe out the pirates. Come and do it if you don't want to. Written on the face. This aspect of diplomacy is often to be gentle. Smiling is the best style. And now, Su Qin this was completely clear cut ah. Isn't this, a bit too aggressive? Zhang Lin Yu hesitantly asked. Su Qin grinned. Radical my ass. Just send it out like this. Just read from this script of mine. Zhang Lin Yu. Other staff members who saw the content of the script. This, it's too just ah. According to the anticipation, Su Qin would at most write a statement on the pirates being rammed and sunk rescue unsuccessful which was already considered very radical news. The result, Su Qin this next, directly on the card? Just say he really annihilated the group of pirates? Crazy, is this speech something that can just be taken out? I'm afraid this will cause an earthquake in the international community. Definitely, there was no other possibility. For a while, the atmosphere of the scene, instantly froze. What are you looking at me for? Hurry up and prepare a press statement. Su Qin blankly glanced at these staff members, and then began to doze off. Right, let's leave the script to Zhang Lin Yu to speak. Zhang Lin Yu you'll be our truth team's diplomatic spokesperson for the time being. And at this moment, the news venue, one by one, the reporters entered. Most of these reporters were from Rokoku, but there were also representatives of reporters from other countries. Mike, you must ask about the news content. In the headset, the chief editor of an Eagle reporter was talking to him. But, I don't know exactly which aspect the top wants. Mike whispered. Although he was a trained professional reporter, he had to know the general direction in order to target his questions, right? He couldn't just ask questions and dig up the news he wanted, right? Well, the editor-in-chief over there, hesitated. Presumably, that destroyed ship that appeared in the East China Sea was a pirate and was sunk by the Rococo Navy. Make sure the information is here, and we'll be able to make a big deal out of it. Mike nodded. Okay, this was indeed already big news in their eyes, because according to the past, the spokesperson of the dragon country would inevitably play down the pirate attribute this time, and would even say that it was a fishing boat of the unknown country. After all, once there were pirates, then the economic situation would take a hit. Pirates ah, counterattack ah, is that still suitable for business? Otherwise, let's these foreign investors run away first? Domestic assets can also run out ah, first go to the lighthouse country to avoid the risk, right? So, all the reporters, 
all think the dragon country this time, will certainly cover up, otherwise it will be too affected by the business environment, they all think it will be an ordinary press conference, until, a young and beautiful woman in a military uniform walked up to the speaker's podium, hello all journalists, I am the spokesperson for the truth research team, my name is Zhang Linyu, Zhang Linyu opened her mouth lightly, her tone was very bland, and her entire temperament was like a white lotus flower that stood out and stood on its own, instantly, exclamations and murmurs came out from the reporters below, too young, really too young, diplomatic spokespersons generally need to be 40 years old or older, because being too young means not having enough stamina and experience to cope with the old-fashioned inquiries of the reporters under the stage, you know, this is a diplomatic occasion on behalf of the country, young people, are absolutely not to be used, good, great, such a young female spokesperson is simply just what I want, Mike's heart was overjoyed, a beautiful young woman, this was a good breakthrough, steady on, all right then, let's cut the crap and start our press conference today, Zhang Lin you wore a smile and looked official, she then took out her script, yesterday, pirates appeared near our country's East China seawaters, seriously jeopardizing the lives and properties of the people, so our navy cracked down on them, successfully wiped out 83 pirates and destroyed 3 enemy landing craft, regrettably, due to the firepower is too fierce, and did not leave alive, no office know the power behind it, but, in general, the determination of the military of my country, dragon, to protect the people and the territorial integrity of our country is undying, and no matter if the incoming enemy is a group of bandits or a fleet of aircraft carriers, we will annihilate them outside the gates of our country, Zhang Linyu's voice was already high and cold, and at this moment, it was even more like an iceberg, her tone, cold and stern, at this moment, everyone seemed to see a lion, slowly opening its eyes, and those reporters under the stage, at this moment have all been shocked, their eyes, without exception, were all shocked at this moment, this really was being completely shocked, direct, too direct, this time, Dragon Country's statement was like a thunderbolt, so direct that it couldn't be any more direct, it was as if it was plainly telling the world that the current me was no longer pretending, I, Dragon Kingdom, no longer hold back, this, this, how is this possible, off stage, Mike's expression had been completely dumbfounded, the words spoken by Zhang Linyu, that is, this diplomatic spokesperson at this moment, had left him dog-faced and confused for a moment, you know, the purpose of his current visit could be to make the Dragon Kingdom admit that there were pirates in the surrounding area, and that the navy had struck, as a result, this diplomatic spokesperson directly admitted it, surprisingly, he directly admitted it, crazy, this is also, really is crazy it, Mike stagnant at the moment, he stared dumbfounded at the scene in front of him, inside his eyes is completely unexpected, chief editor, I now, do I still need to ask questions now, he pressed his voice and also asked his supervisor with a bewildered face, because, people long would directly admitted it, is there still a need for himself to ask, there was simply no need to ask anymore ah, uh, outrageous, the ones who were dumbfounded were not just these staff members, there is also, a group of generals over there, Yang Zizhong directly stupid, this, this kid is crazy, he even directly admitted it, he, he this is really crazy, even if it was as radical as Wang Zhan, at this moment, he was also at a loss, ah, that Su Qin kid still really dares ah, good boy, he's preparing to directly admit it and show his cards, damn, usually each and every one of you say that I'm a radical, how do I see that Su Qin kid is still more like it, Zhang Weigua was beside him, covering his face with a bitter smile at this time, Su Qin ah Su Qin, you stabbed a big basket this time ah, chapter 099, sword to eagle, the dragon kingdom showed its cards, the dragon kingdom wasn't some small country, some of the small countries of the black continent, that on diplomatic occasions is simply in the main road tearing almost, completely swear words randomly, just do not bring over the brain kind of, there is the feeling of the street scolding each other, and the dragon country this kind of every move caused the existence of the world level news, that must be small and careful, diplomatic speech words, that can be word for word, pay close attention to precision, even if a word goes wrong, the person responsible for writing the script will be severely criticized, in order to be calm and unobtrusive, the impact, it must be kept within certain limits, however, now, this kid Su Qin, he actually, directly recognized, Yang Zizhong's mind collapsed, what is he doing, he this really is to give the country's revitalization process step on the gas ah, also do not care if the front is a sharp curve ah, Zhang Weigui is also numb, there's no way out, now that it's already like this, let's just hope that the later questioning session doesn't have too many forks in it, this also can also have what to say, there was simply no way out ah, it could only be left to Su Qin to say, 
It can't be that Su Qin has just said something. The state side will directly disown it, right? If you really do that, what about the authority of the state? Okay, okay. Yang Zizhong's mindset is now completely broken. Let Su Qin let go of his hand to do it. What problems I bear? Big deal. The big deal is that I don't wear this body of clothes is, afraid of a fart ah. Next to the Wang War comfortably padded Yang Zizhong's shoulder, old Yang ah. You this mentality is very good. Not bad. Worth encouraging. I appreciate you. Or else can you lend me these clothes for two days? Yang Zizhong, scram. Eagle Navy Pacific Fleet. Aircraft carrier flagship. What? What? Smith stared dead center at the live feed for a moment in disbelief. The Dragon Kingdom. The Dragon Kingdom has actually admitted it. He thought that it was simply impossible for the Dragon Kingdom to admit this. And now, on the video screen that was broadcast, that translated content was clearly saying that the Dragon Country admitted that it had just killed many pirates and successfully defended the country. Crazy. Smith clenched his fist fiercely. My god. The Dragon Kingdom actually doesn't want a business environment anymore. Brew. Hurry up and let the interpreter determine if this content is really okay. There's no way a spokesperson for the Dragon Kingdom would say something like this. However, the finalized result was, indeed, this, the feeling was like, I'm showing my cards, I'm not going to act, I, Long Guo, will not act. At the press conference site, Zhang Linyu stood there with a smile on her face, but she was incomparably cold, alright, my speech is over, now everyone can ask questions if they have any. At the bottom, the reporters were confused. The big news we want to dig up has been told by you. What else do we need to ask? However, Mike, the eagle reporter, gritted his teeth. Lord, I hope to give me some more enlightenment. Then, he stood up directly. Hello, I want to ask. Can the pirates that Dragon Country killed this time distinguish their nationality? Can you tell which country the original nationality was? Obviously, this was a pitfall. In a diplomatic setting, one should never bring down a country of another. It was a pit left by Mike. Crap. The reporters below all raised their spirits at this time. Good guy. This is the rhythm of a big news. Tong Ren, this is a really good question. Zhang Lin Yu was stunned. This question, indeed, was out of her expectation. And at this moment, on the screen, a line of text slowly appeared. That was the words typed out by Su Qin. Seeing that text, Zhang Lin Yu was even more confused. No. No. For a moment, she didn't react really say that? This, isn't it, a bit too bold? Zhang Lin Yu was a bit hesitant. However, that text, was what Su Qin typed out, and what Su Qin instructed her to mean. That was to always follow the text he typed out. Zhang Lin Yu pursed her lips, not knowing what to do for a while. On that side, Yang Zizhong who witnessed all this was a bit anxious. These questions are all pits. If you answer truthfully, that pulls the small days down. Then the business environment can be comparable to the damage caused by military friction. Su Qin that kid, the won't come for real, right? He, Zhang Weigua hurriedly persuaded, don't worry don't worry, Su Qin definitely won't be like this, although he is a bit aggressive at times, he is actually still very stable overall, he never does anything he isn't sure of, right? Wang Zhan also nodded along, right, right, don't worry about it, that Su Qin kid, he really does have his heart in the right place, then, only to see that Zhang Linyu, who was in the live broadcast room, opened her mouth. Zhang Lin Yu's tone, firm as iron, in response to your question, I will now answer on behalf of the Truth Scientific Research Team. The military personnel sent out by the Truth Scientific Research Team found that the pirates are inextricably linked to the Eagles, in which the Eagle Pacific Fleet is in the vicinity of our territorial waters to take military command of the pirates. Now, we hereby lodge a solemn protest. If the Eagles continue their aggressive behavior, we will strike back with the same means. Currently, our stealth combat tactics have been maturely applied and experimented with. We can act as stealthy pirates at any time, covering all routes, and we can launch an attack on the Eagle Pacific Fleet at any time. Zhang Lin Yu picked up the microphone and looked at Mike coldly. Therefore, I advise the Eagle military to tighten up, otherwise our military will strike hard. The speeches are over, and so is the press conference. After saying that, Zhang Lin Yu directly walked away, leaving behind only, the group of journalists who were staring blankly at the same spot. Ah, the mastermind behind this. Is it Eagle? It really is the Eagle. They, all of them, were dumbfounded. A lot of times. In fact, this is the unspoken rules. The Eagle in the previous small days of the economic boom period has done this kind of thing. But the small days cannot dare to point to break ah. And now, Dragon Nation actually nailed it. And is ready to fight back. Nice guy. The two most powerful countries in the world. Are going to fight? Crap. 
and the Eagles are the invading party? Fuck, this scene was simulcast live on the internet. Obviously, the netizens were immediately interested in this matter, and it led to a heated discussion that bombarded the entire online world station. Shocked, the Dragon Kingdom officially showed its cards. The Eagles' aggressive behavior has been exposed. Run, the Eagles are going to war. The domestic economy is about to collapse. Caught in a war with the Dragon Kingdom at a time of great release, can Eagles survive this round of economic crisis? For a while, the network's discussion was rampant. Chapter 100, when it's so tense, you sleep? Inside the research office, a group of staff members wore despair on their faces. It was over. This time, public opinion was really up. The news that the Dragon Kingdom was going to war with the Eagles was now all over the internet. And there were many people who really felt that there was going to be a war soon. It's over. It's really over. Now it's not just the external internet. Even the domestic web pages are blowing up with it. Yes, everyone feels that there is some kind of foreshadowing in Dragon Country's statement this time. After all, in the past it could be very serious. And this sudden radicalization has caused a lot of people to pay attention to it. I see that there are already companies announcing their withdrawal from the Dragon Kingdom market. Zhang Lin you came down from the stage. At this time, her face was pale. No longer the valiant look she had on the stage, Su Qin. Su Qin. This time we really intruded a big trouble. However, the culprit at this moment, Su someone, was already lying on the sofa asleep. Who? His breathing? It was very even. Well, really asleep. There was even a bit of snoring going on. The other staff around. Ah, that's asleep? You stirred up such a big mess and this is how you're going to sleep? Are you crazy? Zhang Lingyu was also confused. She looked blankly at Su Qin who was already asleep. And for a while, she didn't know what to do. She was aware of Su Qin's situation. Su Qin, well, was always very sleepy after a big operation. As if he wanted to replenish his energy. But, this was still a very important occasion. Team leader Zhang. Phone call. A staff member took the landline and raised it up. Saying, it's a call from the East Sea Military Region. East Sea Military Region? That would be Wang Zhang's guys. And after picking up the phone, Yang Zizhong's anxious voice came out. Where's Su Qin? Where's that Su Qin kid? He stabbed such a big basket for me this time. Where is he? Hurry up and let him answer the phone. I want to ask him what he really thinks. Zhang Linyu was stunned, then glanced at Su Qin who was asleep next to her. That. He seems to be very tired and has already fallen asleep. Yang Zizhong. Zhang Weigwei. Wang Zhang. Ha. Crazy. Yu He Miao have almost declared war on the eagle. This is already inside a formal diplomatic occasion directly to the eagle's nose. This is more serious than military friction. As a result, are you asleep? Crazy. Definitely crazy it. Several generals over there. This time completely numb. The kind of numbness where the eyes are dull. Tell him to get up. Yang Zizhong said with dissatisfaction. Diplomatic issues are also very important. How can you go to sleep after getting into trouble? There is a mistake to be recognized. And to stand upright after being beaten. Immediately letting Su Qin wake up now would let him know that he really did wrong. That, a female staff member said, when team leader Su went to sleep just now, he gave special instructions. Don't call him up. He'll sleep until he wakes up naturally. Yang Zizhong. Over there, a group of generals are really taught. MD. What kind of person is this? Is sleeping so important? Outrageous ah. Outrageous. Hurry up and call. Yang Zizhong said with dissatisfaction. There was no need for a person of his segment to care about the feelings of a major sleeping. He could even keep an entire regiment or brigade from sleeping if he wanted to. Ah, the female staff member was a little hesitant. Zhang Lin you sighed. General Yang, there's nothing we can do about it. Su Qin is our immediate leader. And because of the special scientific research group status, military orders are not given ah. He also gave us orders. Either you remove Su Qin's position or let him sleep. Gotta. It was still true. According to the set rules of the truth research team, Zhang Weigua had emphasized on making everyone unconditionally follow Su Qin's orders, starting from the time they entered the truth team to the time the truth team was disbanded. The current Yang Zizhong had only these two choices. Yang Zizhong angrily looked at Zhang Weigua. What are you giving him so much power for? Zhang Weigua helplessly spread his hands. There's nothing I can do about it. If you had a descendant who easily drove the eagle out of the Pacific Ocean through diplomacy, would you think highly of him and then give him a diplomatic team with great autonomy? It was analogous. Yang Zizhong choked for a moment. Damn. It was still true. The truth cannon developed by Su Qin that could be considered a weapon that changed the pattern of modern artillery. Give him a team with absolute autonomy. This is still afraid that he is too young. Promoted too quickly and easy to accident results. 
according to the normal rate of promotion that at least a few universities of scientific research leadership must be given up. Yang Zizhong bared his teeth, this time there is no way. Zhang Wei was spread his hands, otherwise you remove his position. Yang Zizhong, he angrily opened his eyes for a moment, do you want me to die? Really, this really wanted him to die, no other? Now Suqin can be said to be the dragon country since the founding of the country to come up with scientific research results of one of the biggest people, the current several achievements to which country can be treated as a national treasure. Remove Su Qin's position? He Yang Zizhong still do not want to mix in the system? So, at this moment, in the public opinion completely exploded when, Su Qin just so deep sleep, letting the public opinion outside be overwhelming. Su Qin just laid down on the sofa and slept. The number of discussions in the country has already broken through a hundred million. Currently there are seven multinational corporations announcing that they are withdrawing from our country and 82 multinational corporations announcing that they have plans to withdraw from our country. The female staff reported to Zhang Linyu. Zhang Linyu looked at the sleeping Su Qin inside. Ugh, it's okay, just let him sleep. Zhang Linyu took off the military uniform she was wearing and covered Su Qin's body. She looked at the discussion on the internet, and for a moment, she only felt her scalp go numb. There's really going to be a war, and when there's a war, there will be no salt to eat. So everyone go grab some salt. Young people are still waiting to see what happens. The really experienced veterans are already snapping it up at the supermarket. Help, the supermarket next door to me has been emptied. It's impossible to buy anything. There's a war going on. Run if you can. Discussions on the internet are all sad. What dragon country's revival to this end of the speech? Abound. Alas, this time is really in trouble. Zhang Lin you sighed deeply. There were only two solutions right now. One, the dragon kingdom admitted that it was a diplomatic blunder. But this was undoubtedly slapping itself in the face and it was impossible to do such a thing. Two, that would be for the eagle to deny it and say that it was a misunderstanding. But this itself was a dispute started by the eagle, and it would be even more impossible if the eagle conceded that it was a mistake. However, suddenly, the female staff member from earlier rushed over. Very excited. Zhang, Vice Group Leader Zhang, Eagle Congress. A statement was released. They announced that it was a misunderstanding. They and that group of pirates have no relationship. They wimped out. 